Pokemon Legends Arceus is the perfect modern Pokemon game. This is the most fun I've had catching Pokemon and exploring a world of Pokemon, and the incentives in the game make Pokemon Legends Arceus gameplay so rewarding. Whether you're sneaking around trying to catch Pokemon, exploring, collecting resources to make your own Pokeballs and items, or trying to catch them all, the entire game is seriously enjoyable, and with the number of hours of gameplay that this game has, it is so worth getting. I really hope you enjoy this massive journey, and I hope you enjoy this video. What is this? We see a light. Is this is this the Legend of Zelda or is this Pokemon that we are playing now? Starting off, welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Okay, starting to sound a bit like Zelda. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Okay, now. I wish to know thine appearance. <laughs> That's kind of a funny thing to ask. It's like, what do you look like? Okay, we're gonna be this guy over here. What is thy name? What if my name is also Arceus? That would be such a big troll. Kind of tempted to make our name Arceus. I think that would be a big troll, but I'm gonna make it ZX Mini. ZX Mini. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a strange world to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. ZX many. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Alright, let's go find Arceus. What if you start off with Arceus? What if Arceus is one of your starter Pokemon? That would be quite the plot twist. Oh, here I am! Whoa, this looks pretty cool. This is, uh, surprisingly realistic. Oh! I'm, oh, do you guys ever have a dream where you're falling? Let me know in a comment if you ever- Oh my goodness! It is the new Poképhone! It is the new iPhone, created by Pokémon, licensed by Game Freak. Like, no, my phone! I'm gonna have to get a new one! All these lights are around me. I wish a pillow to form so that my phone will fall onto a pillow and be safe. Oh, but look, it is Arceus! Arceus returns your phone to you! Like, okay, thanks, Arceus. I want to play Pokemon Go now. Arceus is like, wait, human. There's something I must tell you. Like, no, there's a rare Snorlax. I have to catch it. <laughs> okay, you're spinning. Oh, that is quite nice. I like all the, I like the concentric circles there. That is quite nice. Pokemon Legends Arceus. We have got a very deep story in this game so far. Very excited to see what this is going to be like. What is my phone used for? What is the phone used for? We have to find out what the telephone is for. Then who was for- WAKE UP! Wah! Do wake up, won't you? Is this mom, or who- Oh, It's Pokemon, it's Cyndaquil! I don't know what these other ones are, I think they're from New York Pokemon games. Are you alive, my boy? Wait, it's not the Pokemon- Okay, yeah, like, it's not the Pokemon speaking to me, is it? <laughs> he had such a worried look on his face. Oh, here I am! This looks so much like a Zelda game. Oh my goodness, this reminds me so much of Wind Waker. The graphics remind me very much of Wind Waker. You gave me quite a shock falling from the sky like that, but thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you or where am I? Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come now, who in the world does that? What are you, a bird type Pokemon or something? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. <laughs> My person looks so worried, it looks like he's about to cry. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. This guy has a funny hat. What is his hat? Might I offer some directions? You have somewhere around here? You could stay? I don't know. We shake our head. So, you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? <laughs> I've played Minecraft before. I'm pretty good at surviving, but I'm gonna say I don't know what to do. So this game might be different from Minecraft. I don't see any blocks over here. I don't know if I chop down these trees and make a house. I don't even have a pickaxe. I see! Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. I like his bow tie. Crawl! Flum! Please splash! Oh my! I'd completely forgotten! I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokémon when you tumbled out of the sky! It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here! Ah, but do you even know what a Pokémon is? Of course I do! I'm playing a Pokémon game after all! Nods his head, nods his head. My, that's a relief! 
Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? No pun intended, common ground, yeah? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. You can't have them. They're mine. If you try to take them, I won't help you. Oh, so you're called ZX Spinny. That name has quite the ring to it. Thank you, thank you. Could be used to make a YouTube channel, maybe. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. It's a secret meaning. No one knows what it means. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. Wait, is this like the meme? I'm something of a scientist myself from Spider-Man? That's actually such a funny reference if that's meant to be a reference to that. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these here. Wh wh wait, where are they going? Why, you scared away my Pokemon! Why must you run from me, my darling Pokemon? I'm terribly sorry, but could you run them up? I beg of you. Wait, you three! Wait! Do I go catch the Pokemon now? Whoa! This is just like the Legend of Zelda! Wait, 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 what's that portal over there? Is that a little portal over there? This looks like an Oblivion portal. What is this? What is this right here? We're getting close to something. It's like, you can't go into the tall grass. It's, wait a minute. It's a little Arceus thing. It looks like it's an Arceus phone. Can I call Arceus on it? Let's investigate this. Let's see, let's pick it up. Come on, what is this? What is this? I have got to hack this game and see what happens when you go out of bounds and do all kinds of crazy stuff on this. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Wait, is that something that typically happens with phones? They change shapes? A message appeared on the screen! We're like, what? You could use phones to send messages? I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Like, all right, put it in the back pocket. <laughs> Just nonchalantly put it in the back pocket. Okay, where do we go now? Let's seek out these Pokemon. Okay, there's a professor. Professor! Oh, oh wait, how did I, how did I crouch? Oh, oh, and there's a run. We have a run button. Okay, okay, but we made it up to the professor. This guy looks so goofy with this hat. Ah, another miss. Ah, I'm glad you've come to the rescue, my new friend from the sky. There are so many screenshots that could be taken from this game that would look so weird out of context. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now, that one is Rowlet! It's so adorable! Rowlet can synthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers! Oh, so what, is it like a grass flying type or something? Crew, crew. I love it! Cyndaquil! Cyndaquil, the Gen 2 fire type starter. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Throw, throw. And what about this one? This is the water type, I guess. Oh, do I only get to have one? The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh, it has a little shell. I didn't even notice that. It looks like a SpongeBob character, almost. Oh, my! I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you go. My, here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50? You gave me 50 Pokeballs? My goodness, my goodness, this guy is a baller. No pun intended, because he gave us Pokeballs. Ah, uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize, let me be more thorough. I mentioned that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. Yeah, when it uses the attack minimize, its evasiveness goes up. That's where Pokeballs come in. It's a recent invention. You see, it thrown out a Pokemon and why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the bowl, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. <laughs> I'd be grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the bow fly. It's quite simple. It's so simple, why can't you do it? Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in there. Oh, I guess that's fine. He looks so sad. He's so sad. He's so sad right now. We gotta help the sad professor. All right, Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at- Wait, I actually throw Pokeballs at them? Hold down the ZR button? Okay, okay. And then you aim. Release ZR to throw a Pokeball. You may be able to catch it. Okay, let's- Go and throw some Pokeballs then. Can I get them from here? Let's go, let's go. Let's go, I'm ready. Oh, bam! Do we catch him, do we catch him? Let's see. Wait. Did it break free? Did we catch it? Oh, wonderful, you've got a Pokemon! Seems you've got quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business. 
Jolly, it's most skilled to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Wait, should I be afraid of them? You didn't tell me there's a reason to be afraid of them. You're just like, they're wonderful mystical creatures. They shrink down into these little balls. And then we could use these cool inventions to catch them. But there's no reason to be scared of them. Hey, where's the other Pokemon at? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, please don't go. I need you to catch my runaway Pokemon. I'm not trying to run away. I'm looking for the Pokemon. What if we throw a Pokemon at him? Oh, there's one. Oh, if you run out of Pokeballs, do just say the word. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, Cyndaquil, let's go. Bam! Ah, what a nice throw. Okay, do we catch it? Do we catch it? Do we catch it? Let's see. Oh, little sparks came out. We got it. We got Cyndaquil. I can hardly believe it. Incredible. You know, many people are scared to approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up, shall we? Wait, I didn't realize that I'm supposed to be afraid of Pokemon. You know, what if you're actually a Pokemon? I bet that you're a Pokemon. Pokeball went right through him. If you run out of balls, just do say the word. Yeah, right, Mr. Pokemon. I'm on to you. I know that you're a Pokemon. Okay, so that's where Cyndaquil was. Now, where's... Where's... It, was it Rowlet? <gasps> there it is. There it is. It sees me. Let's go. Let's aim. Bam. There we go. It's like throwing an apple in Pokemon Snap. Oh, it ran away. No. Ah, oh, yes. I'm afraid that's going to happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Other than Master Balls, that is. His head kind of looks like a Master Ball. Wait, where did the Pokemon go? Where'd it go? There you are. Let's go. And bam. How's that? Let's go. Let's go. If I come up to it, do I have a better chance? I wonder how it works. Yeah, we got it. Little fireworks came out. Where? Are we wearing sandals? I think we're wearing sandals. Must be nice and warm over here. Man, it's so cold where we are right now. We got a lot of snow recently. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, I was taken aback by how well you used the Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? Ah, a little suspicious of this. It's almost like there's a reason you've come here. Look at my phone. Put your number in it right now. Seek out all Pokemon. Th that object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to become the very, I mean, to record data of all the Pokemon. We call this catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research, containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And I'm not good at that, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using- Oh! You know what I just realized? This is probably like back in time. This is probably like one of the first Pokemon games, probably. And to you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. That's why he's saying like Pokeballs have just been invented. Okay, so that's why we have to work together. Come now, what do you say? Shall we help out one another, my boy? You've convinced me or well. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's catch these Pokemon. What could possibly go wrong? Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. It's so weird that he said we've instead of we have. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your launchings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Hey, what's wrong with my clothes? Follow me then onto Jubilee Village. Jubilee Village? Jubilee City was in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So I guess this is back in the past. It's when Jubilee, back when Jubilee was still a village, before it became a city. But what's that in the sky? I noticed that in the background. Do we have to go there? Is that where the, is that where the big bird from The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker is? Is that where we have to go? Maybe that is where we have to go. Maybe that's what we have to do. Oh, here's the village. This looks so much like a Zelda game. Thank you for your tireless work, keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon. So I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. They nod. They, they don't even have any dialogue. Like, it would have costed too much to make them to make them have any lines in this movie. We didn't want to pay them for that. I look so nervous right now. Okay, let's have a nice look at this village over here, okay? Just like a typical anime village, little Legend of Zelda village over here. Reminds me kind of of, what is that game called? Mystical Ninja Goemon or something like that? Reminds me of that a lot of, okay. Are we just gonna see the same cutscene of people walking by? That lady's giving us the eye, she's staring at us. This way, if you please. Is everyone gonna stare at me? Wait a minute. Jubilee Village! It's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But wait a minute. This road we're on now is what the locals know as Canala Avenue. Where'd you come from? 
This village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet, and not many to do it. What manner of dress is that? And since we know little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside of the village. Now, that impressive building up ahead is Galaxy Hall, headquarters for this entire outfit. We're not supposed to talk to strangers, you know? Who's that with the professor? I'm right in front of you, I can hear you, kid. Oh, botheration! I'd almost forgot- and wait! They were saying Galaxy HQ, so is that like Team Galaxy who wants to steal the Pokemon? I wonder if they're evil back- back now! Or if only in the future they become evil, because in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, they're the evil ones. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you if you wait for me at the canteen? Okay, let's see. It's just past this bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Alright. Good thing I can't read Japanese. We pull out our phone. Your arc phone is beeping! Oh, I thought it's like whenever someone's bored, they pull out their phone, check their messages. Somehow, it seems to show you where you need to go next. Oh, that is so useful! Okay, that's nice. You could use a button. Uh, you also see guidance markers when you're out of way. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions. Oh, that's so cool! Okay, it's nice that you get some guidance. You know what? This is something that I have kind of mixed opinions about, but you know what? It's nice that this seems optional. Where it's like, if you want to check- Oh, oh, actually no, it's just it shows you where to go right over there. It's like you're that far away, it shows you exactly where you have to go. Some games, it's like there's a lot of hand-holding and it shows you exactly where you have to go. But on the other end, sometimes you have no idea at all where you have to go. Wait, does that person have a green mustache? They're looking at me very suspiciously. Wow, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? You have a green mustache and I look suspicious? The wallflower's for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along, buddy. We are heartbroken! Man, our character just gets so disappointed so often in this game. Who's this coming to us? Who's this in the background? Wait, is this Dawn? Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Yeah, the professor. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. Makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thunder Shock not too long ago and had to take to my bed. Well, good thing it wasn't Thunderbolt or Thunder. But the Professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! Ah, <laughs> uh, he was listening the whole time. But everything will be quite all right now. The x Mini here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. She looks at me suspiciously. Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? Survey Corps? What is this, Attack on Titan? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. <laughs> Captain Silene? Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. This is just like Attack on Titan. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. All right, the whole crew's here. Professor Laverton has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Huh, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. <laughs> but we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Yeah, this is back when they didn't have child labor laws. Tomorrow, we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Also, you smell funny, so I'm going to walk away. Wow, what a grump! Aloof as always, I see. Well, anyways, the rest of us can share a meal, huh? I can, that girl's gonna be like, no, I'm not going either. Penny, you old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please. But make it for three today. Oh, cool, and we're eating outside. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. So far, there hasn't been a lot of Pokemon. There's been a lot of backstory so far. Professor Laventon, uh, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, oh, well, you know the great hole in the sky? The one people call the space-time rift? A new friend fell right out of- Wait, we fell out of a space-time rift? You can't be serious. <laughs> I don't know why, but this professor just looks so crazy to me. 
Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Yes, yeah, science is about coming up with the best explanation. The best prediction for an explanation for something and having a coherent explanation for something. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That's right, there are! In, in the grass, in the forest, by the water, or wherever they like! Our job as a survey corpse is to defeat the titans! I mean, research them and find out what kind of creatures they are! Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying. Terrifying creatures. But it's all impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they might do! Then he smiles. But that's where ZX Money comes in. He successfully caught three Pokemon! Three of them in quick order, you understand. He even tried throwing a Pokeball at me! Nobody in Team Galactic, nobody in nobody in the Galaxy Team is capable of a feat such as that! This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three! We have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us! Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider here? Our captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know? The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has it on edge, mate. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, CX Many, and think! If you make it into the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again! The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. I didn't know falling out of the sky was such a bad thing. They're like, even if you fall out of the sky, we'll give you a meal. Oh, it's nighttime now. Wow, what a hard day's work. Evening of the first day. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Ah, yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that CX Mini has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in CX Mini's skills. Let's see. Let's hope it is not misplaced. CX Many, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Oh, I hope I pass the test, because what's going to happen if I don't? Where am I going to sleep? Are they going to kick me outside the village? But if you fail to pass the trial, we put you out tomorrow. You must move on. You'll be expelled from the village, excommunicated to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Wow. They're just gonna leave a 15-year-old to die out in the wild. Captain Silene is somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. No, no, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. Falling in love, that is. Ha ha ha, good night, everybody. I'll leave you two alone. Yes, good night. All right. Wait, so is that the space-time rift that we fell out of? A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. I guess we fell out of that rift in the sky. Can we go back home? Oh, oh, an unfamiliar line. Head to the Survey Corps quarters you've been assigned. Okay, so I guess we have to go over there. Let's go. Can we jump? I would love for there to be a jump button. Can I just throw poke? Oh, I can't throw Pokeballs in here. It'd be funny if I go into the village and I just start throwing Pokeballs at all the people here. Everyone is like, no! We are not Pokemon! We are villagers! Wow, we have a great place to live here. This looks just like a house out of uh, Paper Mario the Origami King. Okay, let's go to bed now, right? Let's see. We look around. Is that our diary? What is this? Okay, so you could hold up to get tips. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Okay, okay, so it's like you could press up and then you scroll left and right with ZL and ZR to save. So you know what? Let's save. Where do we go save? Where's save? Oh, right there, save your progress, there we go. Nice! We saved our progress! Okay, so let's go into our bed now. Oh, oh, and you actually have to press the A button to rest. Rest until tomorrow morning? This makes me feel like we are playing a Harvest Moon game right now, going to bed like this now in our house. What a lovely area we have over here. I wonder if these graphics are at all like Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda- Oh, look at the Bidoof and the Valfour Bidoof! Wait, and what is forming here in the sky? Whoa! A very large lightning bolt struck by that tree over there. Yeah, but I wonder if these graphics are at all like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's a game I've been wanting to play for so many years. I really hope I can play it soon. The next day. Let's see, we wake up. Did that lightning wake us or no? Good morning, ZX Mini. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? 
Today is the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it our all. Let's see. Okay, time to get- wait. How did I hear her voice? Where is she? Okay, we got to go to the headquarters, and then we will find out about what to do for our trial. Oh, here's our friend. What lovely weather we've got, isn't it? I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene's waiting. This person is so much nicer. <coughs> Excuse me, this person's so much nicer than Captain Silene. Wait, what is her name? I should probably remember what her name is. Is her name Akira? Oh, and the headquarters is right here. Okay, so let's just pop into the headquarters right here. And we can just go into the door. I pressed the A button. I don't know if you have to press the A button. Here we are. Oh, my friend rushed off ahead of me. Hello. This looks like this could be the scene for a horror game with the red carpet over here and the big stairs. The Survey Corpse's offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon, they, they, they were everywhere attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield. The medical corpse will put you to the right. Ah, that man's with the security corpse, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. No pun intended. Trial trying, it sounds similar. I don't think that was meant to be a joke, though. Captain Silene, uh, ZX Menny's here, sorry to disturb you. She looks so angry. You may enter. Oh, man. She's got a lot of paperwork. Wait, I thought they were gonna give me different clothes. Didn't they say they'd give me different clothes? Let's see. Attention! Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Those sound like very legendary tough Pokemon to catch. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My Charles should be simple enough from him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is, as he often does. <clears throat> the Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I love the floating Abra in the background. Steps up to us. I will lend you one of our Survey Corp satchels to carry whatever you may in the field. Wait, do Pokemon actually attack me then? Oh cool, I've got a little satchel over here. Wow, I look great now. I'm so prepared. I look so prepared. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. That's what I'm saying. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Mission, the Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, okay, so there are two types of tasks. Missions are necessary to progress in the game, and requests are optional. Okay. Pardon, ZX Mini! Come with me for a moment! <laughs> I just want whatever I see the thing around his head. His hat is great. Now then, a jolly good morning, everybody! Is something the matter, Professor Lavington? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, ZX Mini absolutely must pass this trial. Not sure why his accent's changing. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help him accomplish that. <laughs> Am I gonna get to have these three? Wait, or will you only let me have one? Oh man, this is gonna be such a tough choice if I can only have one. Can I only have one or will you give me three? Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. No, can I only have one? Can I only have one? These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see that they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Choose a Pokemon to be your first partner. I would love all three of them. This is such a tough choice. Oh uh, man, I really, 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 really want to take Cyndaquil because I'm the type of person who normally always takes the fire type starters in Pokemon games, but you know what? I'm actually gonna have to go with this little bird guy because this little bird guy is just so adorable. Look at it. And I think it'll probably have a pretty good set of moves that it can learn. Oh, look at him! Look at the little bird! And my person's so happy that he chose the bird. And with that, one of the Pokemon you got at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Oh, and look how sad the little, look how sad the little water guy is that we didn't pick him. Good show! I've tucked Rowlet back inside his Pokeball for you, so take it! 
It's yours. Thank you. Wow, the bottom of the Pokeball looks kind of dirty. I thought the bottom part was supposed to be white. We received Rowlet. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Frog! Flash! They look as if they're cheering on their friend Rowlet. Maybe they want to also join, or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. Yeah, I want to take both of them. That could well be. They did do dashing from the village when ZX Mini fell out of the sky after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Foom! Splish splash! By the boy, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Ah, well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs for use doing your trial then. I love his little bow tie. How many Pokeballs do I get? 20. Wait, is that on top of the 50 that I got earlier? These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a treat, as you've seen. You'll definitely have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Okay, sounds simple enough. Thank you for the directions. Okay, let's get out of here. Man, you know what? It's like... I wonder if it'll ever be difficult to get lost in this game because, wait, 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 they said turn left here. Yeah, it's like, you can always see directly where you have to go and it shows how far away you are. So like, if you start moving away, the number gets bigger. As you move closer, the number gets smaller. So it seems like it's pretty straightforward where you have to go, oh, is this my friend over here? Is this my friend? Hey, who are you talking to? She's mine, stay back. Oh wait, is that, or is that another woman? Let's see. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. Is this Link? I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Well, yeah, sure, I fell from the sky. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in a battle? <gasps> Sounds good or maybe not. Let's do it, I'm ready. Look at the lady in the background just watching. She's like, oh, a Pokemon battle. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. All right, we're ready, let's go rally. I don't even know what moves you have. I don't know how to battle. Okay, chat. Oh, I thought he was gonna uh, switch his hat backwards. Okay, let's see. Togepi! Togepi! What a funny Pokemon to start with. Let's go, Rowlet! Let's go! Level 5, 78 HP. Okay, battle. How do we battle? What do we do? Oh, oh, we can choose fight or whatever. Wait, wait, wait. Fight, fight, fight. Use Gust. Let's go, let's go. Let him get close. Let's do Gust. Rowlet, use Gust. Ha! Did a lot of damage there. He used Tackle. Dodge it! No, Rowlet, you didn't dodge it. Okay, use Gust again! Let's go, Rowlet, use Gust! Yes! One more hit and he should be out. Our Rowlet is going to destroy your Togepi, bro. Bro. Get wrecked, bro! Nice try. Bro, send back your Togepi. Battle decided. This is so cool. These animations are so great. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Let's go! We won our first battle. Oh, nice, and we get some experience for that. Wait, new move, did we level up? What's our new move? It's always good fun to have Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience, they'll learn moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. Yes, yes, we did learn moves. We learned a move right now, but so few people but so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. Well, I'm quite the Pokeball expert. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. What are you, Nurse Joy now? And to you, my skull fallen friend, I present some potions in thanks. Wow! Five potions, let's go! Heal 60 HP, that's so useful. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might get worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. Thank you for the good luck. Oh, more galaxy members means more customers. That's so funny. Uh, and is my friend impressed now that I did very well here? Did I impress my friend? That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, onto the Obsidian Fields. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell Rest the Guardsman where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Whoa, ho, ho, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, that sounds quite scary. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. 
Thank you. I am- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoops. I didn't mean to throw a Pokeball. I did not mean to throw a Pokeball. I just wanted to run. I accidentally pressed the throw a Pokeball button. I just wasted a Pokeball. Yours the x Mini, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care and come back alive. Okay, so. Let's see. Where are we going? Okay, Jubilee Village, that's where we are, and we are going to Obsidian Fieldlands. This is actually very different from any Pokemon game that I've played. Granted that I've only played Gen 1 to 4, and then I played the remake of Brilliant Diamond, and I also played uh, Pokemon Stadium and both Pokemon Snaps. I didn't finish the second Pokemon Snap, though. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wild. Yeah, and I'm just walking around in sandals. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Okay, yeah, I'm, I know those. Are you ready to get started? Yes, I am. Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Look at her face. Her face is like she just got caught doing something she shouldn't be doing. It's like, hey, you're not supposed to help him on this trial. Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Silene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guests. That's our unsparing captain. But what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. The X-Men's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure zx Mini will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Akari. Akari, right? That's her name? Wait, she's over there. How did you get over there? How are you so fast? She's like, look at me. I'm over here. Now I'm over here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Whoa, we are so surprised. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. What a beautiful looking area. I wonder if this is, is I wonder if when I play Breath of the Wild, if it's going to be similar. Obsidian Fieldlands. I feel like I am watching an anime. This looks so good. And along comes a Bidoof. Okay, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. I'm ready to throw a Pokeball at Wait, I wonder if I have to weaken it first. Do I have to battle it first or do I just go catch them? The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. You are good at aiming. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It said press the ZL button. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where did it go? What are you doing? How did you get down there? How are you so fast always? Let's see. I'm ready. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. Bam. Hit it with a Pokeball. Can we catch it now? Let's see. Do we catch it or does it break free? Bro, we already got it. Let's go. Ah, oh, you got a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Okay, so we need a Starly and a Shinx still. Okay, she's going up there. Wait, is there a Pokemon around there? Let's see. I'm going to avoid her and see if I can just find a Pokemon. Let's see. Oh, oh, I see a Starly up there. You don't have to speak to me. I can see it. I can see it. There it is. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. Run or fly. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Press the B button to crouch. Okay, okay, okay. That's a good idea. And I can... Wait, it's so funny that uh, in other Pokemon games, Pokemon hide in tall grass. But now we want to catch Pokemon by us hiding in tall grass, which is kind of funny. Okay, can I aim at it from here? Let's go. How's that? Bam, got it. Okay, now can we catch it or does it escape? Will I have to weaken it or do we catch it? We caught it! I am so good at this game. I don't know if they're all like guaranteed 100% caches. Only one more Pokemon to go. Yeah, all I need is a Shinx now. Shinx is such a darn cool Pokemon. Wait, can you pick this? <gasps> Medicinal Leak. I thought that that was something that we could pick. That looks like the kind of thing that Farfetch'd holds. Wait, where's the Shinx? I don't see a Shinx. Do I have to go up to this girl? Will she tell me where the Shinx is? Wait, are, they're not in the trees. Are, wait, what's that in the tree? Can I pick something from these trees? Let's see. I forgot, there's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Okay, tell me, tell me, Akari. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. Oh, if we want to send out our partner. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready but want to send out a Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item, press, wait. The captain's a real expert on these things. Hold on, I'm a bit confused. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Try throwing your Pokeballs. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, they'll bring it to you. <gasps> oh! Okay, okay, so we're gonna get a Shinx in a moment, but first, let's see. Okay, so you press X. Oh, oh, and I can send out whatever of these Pokemon I want. I am sending out, though, my Rowlet. My dear Rowlet. Wait. 
Oh, you punched the tree. That was so cool. Uh, isn't Rowlet amazing? Rowlet just punched the tree for us and all those berries came down. Okay, now are we gonna find a Shinx? There, that's Shinx. There it is. Look how adorable it is. And it's such a great Pokemon, a nice electric type. Stink, Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? More or less, yeah, I can tell. I'm quite the Pokemon expert, if I do say so myself. I thought you might... I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. I wish I was as good as you. Once aggressive Pokemon get a rate, they'll knock aside any balls you throw at them. When you hold the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. Oh, the more arrows, the easier it is to catch. Oh, that's so cool. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Be warned. Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Okay, okay, so some Pokemon, you actually have to battle them. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now, you've got several of your own Pokemon, don't you? Yes. Take one of their Pokemon, take one of their Pokeballs, and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Okay, so do I have to battle this? I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. I can do it. Okay, so to start a battle... Okay, so all I have to do is throw a Pokeball with one of my own Pokemon at it to battle it. Wait. Ah, it's charging towards me! I want to battle. I want to battle. Let's go battle! Let's go. I'm ready to battle. Let's go. Oh, oh, this probably wasn't a good idea. Ah, uh, use quick attack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, because I am... Wait, Leafage? Hold on. Give me more info. 40%. Oh, the Gus would be not very effective. This one's also 40 power, and it's normally effective. So let's do this. But I don't know if that's also same type attack bonus. Okay, not bad amount of damage. Shinx is looking around. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I almost uh went to defeat it, but I forgot. I've got to use some items. Okay, let's use a Pokeball. Let's see. Can I use a Pokeball now? Can I catch it? Because if I do one more of those attacks, I'll defeat it. Unless I use Gus. Gus probably won't defeat it. Let's see. Hey, we caught it. All right, Shinx was caught. That's great. So I passed the trial. You, you approached those Pokemon without a hint of fear and you got each one. What can these Pokemon do to me if I don't catch them? Everyone's making me terrified. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. Oh, it's like, are you an angel? Because you fell from heaven. But for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Let's go, let's go. Ah, what a great expedition we had. We caught all those Pokemon, and I'm very happy with our choice of starter Pokemon. I wonder if you always choose between those three Pokemon as a starter, or if it's random. Well, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems like you went into just that. Congratulations, the X-Many. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. This is great. Look at how we're smiling. Ah, <laughs> Smiling for the photo. Is my friend in the photo too? With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene, eh? Time to head back to Jubilife Village. Every time they say Jubilife Village, I'm like, but Jubilife is a city. It's a city and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So I guess this does confirm that we are in the past. This is the past. I wonder if this is like the first Pokemon chronologically i wonder if this is like chronologically the first pokemon game okay here we go in time you'll be able to send pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures you can bring up to six pokemon with you into the field in theory though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so Ca uh, professor turns around come now you two let's not dilly dally captain silene awaits our report at headquarters i bet captain silene will be very pleased she runs along all right i want to go too all right oh oh I thought that the cutscene would just take us there, but we have to go there ourselves. Okay, okay. Let's go tell Captain Silane about how the trial went, and I'm getting familiar with the village now. I wonder what a Starly would like. Hey, I've got a Starly. Wait, do you sell berries? Oh, it looks like this person sells berries. Choi. Like, buck Choi. Alright, let's head in here then. This is where we have to go. It's time to head in here and continue this story. We have completed our mission. Now then. Oh, oh, we actually have to go to the later Silene. What if we go to her Abra? What if we catch her Abra? That would be so funny. Seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. We won't have to leave you to die. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you've cleared it. How did she get in front of her desk all of a sudden? This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. All right. 
Wait, you don't- you don't hand a uniform, like, in a hand like that. It, it, it looks like she just put something into my hand, like, it looks like she dropped a Pokeball into my hand. Get changed in the room you used last night. Then, report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from the captain. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay, I know what I have to do. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Okay, let's go. I'm going back to my room now. So where's my house? My house is- wait, 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 wait. Do I remember where I live? Yeah, I live this way. Okay, I thought I lived the other way for a second. So my house is over here. So let's get dressed. Let's see what our new outfit is going to be like. Very excited to see this. Man, I am really enjoying this game. Like, this is very different from every Pokemon game that I've played before. Oh, you can use the mirror to get changed. Wait, behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. Those are some great rules. Those are some great rules over there. Do you want to change your outfit? Yes. Let's see. Time to put on the Survey Corps uniform. Okay, let's see. Let's see. None available. None available. Survey Corps uniform or casualty? Let's put on Survey Corps uniform. Whoa! That's so cool! Okay, and we've got to put on the Survey Corps sandals as well. Ah, those shoes look so funny. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> we have color contacts? We can make our eyes any color we want. Let's have purple eyes. Oh my goodness, we can have purple eyes. Ultramarine. Okay, let's make our eye color this, so it kind of matches with our outfit and our hair. Would you like to go with this outfit? Yes, I would. All right, all decked out in the Survey Corps outfit. There we go. I wonder if we're gonna join any of the other corps later in the game. This is so cool that we got this scarf and everything. All right, here we go. Hey, look, we match, we match. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. Yeah, we're in the red scarf, gang. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. What is it, a hat or what? What is she giving me? Ah, we got a hat. Ah, that's so funny. Okay, we're now at that point of the game where we get the hat. Okay. We nod. I like that it matches this scarf. Now present yourself to the commander. All right, so now we have to go up to the third floor. Okay, so we're on the first floor. Let's see, if only we could run faster. Let's see, where's the next set of stairs? Okay, there's another set of stairs. Man, there's a big place over here. A lot of rooms to explore. A lot of people to talk to, I guess. I am the Pokemon Master, guys. Catching those Pokemon were so easy and everyone's so impressed at what I'm doing. Okay, let's talk to this guy. We're walking in here like we're the big shot. We just caught all these Pokemon. Wait, this guy looks so familiar. Where do we know this guy from? Is he from another Pokemon game? I've been waiting for you. We walk in, we're like, who are you? I like his outfit a lot. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Ah, she owes the X money? Yes, sir. Ha! Ah. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Wait, are we gonna battle? Face me in combat! <laughs> Try to throw him? Charge at him. Try to throw him. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> I don't think that's gonna go well. Uh, am I on the floor now? Huh, you've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. How do we do? Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. That's quite funny. The superstitious among us might see our arrival as a portent of disaster. But, you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, ZX Many, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. We nod. Yes, sir! Alright, mission complete. What's our next mission, sir? What is our next mission, sir? Okay, everybody's over here. Hello, everybody. So, the commander has also accepted you. Why do we all have these funny shoes? But to understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you'll move up through the ranks. I'm gonna become president of this corporation. Indeed! You say, uh, the, the more you add to your Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer towards that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon- Oh yeah, that's right, the game started, we had this cell phone. We haven't looked at our cell phone or any messages in a while. Here, you'll need this. Do we get a sword now? 
Wait, a recipe for crafting Pokeballs? One Apricorn, Apricorn, and one Tumblestone. And $3,000 as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Oh, man. Oh, cool. We, oh, we were given $3,000. I see. Akari, you're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Oh, of course, Captain Silene. And now, as the experienced craftsperson here, let me explain with a bit to start. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. Oh, really, now? It almost looks like she has an Abra backpack right now. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the crafts works. Okay, the basics of crafting. Okay, let's learn how to craft some Pokeballs, my friend. I am ready to be taught how to make Pokeballs. Okay, let's leave from here. And we probably have to go meet our friend somewhere, and it's probably going to show us exactly where we have to go, if she's not already outside waiting for us. Well done, earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. That's so nice. I hope you'll avail yourself of the city's humble shops. Well, thank you so much, Anne. Oh, and here's my friend. Hello, miss. This way to the Craftsworks X Mini. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. She's right over there. Let's go, let's go. I am ready to craft some Pokeballs. All right, friend, let's talk. It almost looks like we are in ninja outfits. You can use the workbench here at the Craftsworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. That guy doesn't look too happy about that. He's like, uh, wh who's this guy? He's gonna be using my workbench? And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes, or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench, choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. You can use the workbench in Jubilife Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Makes sense. All right, let's craft some items. This guy is looking at me so suspiciously. He's like, huh. He thinks he can use my crafting bench, huh? Well, look at these knives I've got behind me. <laughs> okay, so we need one apricorn and one tumble sp and one tumble stone. Wait, oh, I could probably only craft one, right? Wait, wait, wait. What if I just say I want to make four of them right now? You made four pokeballs. You put them in your satchel. Wait, can you make as many as you want for your first free one? Should I have done like 999 for free? Oh, now that's some craftsmanship. Hard to believe this is your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. I probably should have tried making as many Pokeballs as possible, because I think those were free. Were those free? You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. But why are we recording the Pokemon in the Pokedex? Why are we doing this? Oh, and he has something for me. Oh, you received a Pokedex. Nice, nice. We finally got the Pokedex. Okay, so this stores the information. Okay, scene seven, caught four. Will we be able to catch everyone in the Hisui region? I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your- Oh, in your aim to seek out all Pokemon. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands Camp whenever you are ready, my good ZX money. Look at his smile there. Okay, so, we'll want to head over to him to continue the mission. Oh wait, oh, we're all going. I wanted to see how the Pokeballs were working. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands Camps, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Those are some nice sideburns. I'm a standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Okay, let's see. Should we help him with his request? You know what? Let's help him with his request. What is your request? Maybe I'll help you. Let's see. What's your request, man? Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. You ever heard of it? Yeah, I heard of it. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Leventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it sometimes changes its appearance. He said it was called evolution. Yeah, Pokemon can evolve, yes. When they level up enough, they can evolve. Some Pokemon. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, right? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple. 
Okay, so we want to get that guy a worm pole. Okay, and our Rowlet is level seven. Rowlet is so good. I wonder what game Rowlet is from. Oh, does this person also want a task? Those ears, huh? No, I can't recall them. Wait, do you also want a Pokemon? What do you want? I know Shinx's ears have odd markings on the insides, but what were they? Oh, it's this guy! Are you the guy from the shop? No use, I can't remember! This will keep me up at night! Hey! Are you not with the survey corpse? If you have a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see one! Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like! What do Shinx's ears look like? Here, let me show you what Shinx looks like. You wanna know what a Shinx looks like? Here, I'll show you right here. Bam! Right there, you see? Look, turn around! Just turn around, bro! Die, ah, you missed it! You got one of those Shinx to show me? Yeah. Yeah, right here. Take a look at it. But don't, you can't keep it, it's my Shinx. You can only look at it. Ah, let's have a peek at those round ears. Ah, my Shinx is a door. That is it, the ears, they have the yellow cross pattern, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. I felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone is a thought. Thank you for helping me get the bone out. Now what, do I get a prize for that? Oh, three potions, nice, nice. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Is this the same person from before? No, this is someone else. This is someone else. What do you want? What task do you have? I wonder what a Starly would like. I've got a Starly, so you know what? Let me speak to you. You're the newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you headed outside the village? Uh, of course you are. You, you gotta go work on your Pokedex, right? By the way, find out all about Starly. Pokemon are terrifying creatures, but when I see a Starly, I feel simple, whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please, let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed. I caught a Starly, so can I speak to you? Let's see. I, I, I have a Starly, though. What makes you complete the entry for... Oh, maybe it's like once Starly fully evolves or something? I have no idea. Let's see. Let's get going, though. We are on our way out. Do we have to tell this guy where we're going? Heading outside the village. Stay safe out there, kid. All right, let's go. To the up wait, do we want to go to Obsidian Fields? I think that's the only option, right? Yeah, it looks like we're going to Obsidian Fields. Let's go! Oh, that's a pretty cool loading screen. I like that. I like that a lot. Very nice loading screen. All right, here we are. Here we are with the Professor and Akari. Righto, let's get right to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many tasks. I'll need your help to carry them out, boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Okay, research tasks are tasks that you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press the down button. Okay, so you press down to open your Pokedex. Oh, and with some Pokemon we have unusual tasks. Okay. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Akari, what do you have to say? One last piece of advice, ZX Benny. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Here, watch closely and do what I do so you remember to do it later. Okay, let's see. Hup! Oh man, we do a roll just like Link from The Legend of Zelda. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. Oh, that sounds horrifying. The security corpse had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx's thunder shock. Good thing it wasn't a thunder or thunderbolt. But don't you worry, I've got plenty of experience to draw on and I'll teach you plenty. If someone uses a move like Shockwave or Swift that never misses, can you dodge it? Because there are some moves that even if your evasiveness is high, you can't dodge them. Wait, where are you running off to? I thought we would be together on our journey. Okay, well, I guess I'm heading this way. Getting to work on the research stuff. Oh, we actually... We are still following her. Okay. Wait, what is my dodge button? Oh, why is dodge? Oh, do you move more quickly like this? Is this like, a uh, dashing in Zelda? Now, let me share some Survey Corps wisdom. Focus on the Pokemon with the ZL, then press down to open up the Pokedex. Okay, then we see... Okay, yes, 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 we are aware. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoof you've got. That's right. Just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, and then more and more. What, do I have to catch, like, 64 Bidoofs? And then, when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Go on, give it a- okay, okay, okay. I'll try it out. Thank you, Akari. Let's see. Let me zoom in on that Bidoof. Let's check our Pokedex. Number caught. Wait, we want to catch 25 of them? Oh, and also there's a- 
There's number defeated. Number of different forms obtained. Okay. Ah, okay. Sure, let's catch it then. Let's go. Oh, whoops, I accidentally sent out a Pokemon. Okay. Well, I guess we'll defeat it then instead of, uh... I guess we'll defeat it instead of catching it. I didn't realize that I had Pokeballs out. Okay, Badoof is looking around. Oh, Badoof isn't, uh, Badoof isn't attacking. Okay, let's attack again. Use Leafage over here. What if it attacks me? Can I block my Pokemon? You will not attack my Pokemon! I will protect my Pokemon! That's actually probably very dangerous to do. Let's go, Leafage! Bam! Take that, Badoof! We defeated you, Badoof! Ha ha ha! Alright, oh! Everyone got experience! Very nice! That's so cool that you can move around while you're getting experience like that. Okay, you know what? Let's... Oh, don't want to dive into it. You know what? Let's do that! Let's throw a Pokeball at it! Can I catch it? Because we have to catch a bunch of Bidoofs. No, it ran away! Okay, you know what? Oh, and it's gone. It's gone for good now. You know what? You Bidoofs have Bidoofed your last Bidoof, if you know what I mean. We're going to battle you now. Let's go. Let's do a Leafage. Or you know what? Wait, I'm curious if I stand in front of it, if it'll attack me. Ah! <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Okay, I have to run, I have to run. Let's use Gus. I will protect my Pokemon. Nobody will hurt my Pokemon. Uh, Badoof is looking around. Yeah, yeah, what? You wanna fight, bro? You wanna fight, bro? Come on, come on, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro, huh? Come at me, bro. This is so cool, the way that you battle the Pokemon. You can get, like, up in their face. What are those guys down there? What are those? Oh, those are Starlies there. Okay. Hello, friend. Tell me more. Did you like how I dove to you? I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your task. It's just ZL, then down. Okay, okay. Try it with the Starlies. Okay, okay. Let's see. What do these Starlies want? Or what do we want to do with the Starlies? One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. Okay. Wait, I could have sworn that's how I caught the first one. I'll go wait ahead. Catch up to me after you've finished some tasks. Okay, bye. Bye, friend. Hello, what are you doing here? I'm gonna jump off this cliff. Ha! Oh, wait, did the Starly notice me? That one noticed me. I don't know if this one noticed me, though. Senpai, did you notice me? Are you too far? Let's see. No, oh, I'm sending out a Pokemon, not catching a Pokemon. Oh, I keep doing that. I wanna... Oh, the Starly ran away. Okay, that's good. I didn't want to battle it anyways. Oh, man, I have to get used to what item and what Pokemon I have out. Okay, where's my friend? Is my friend up ahead this way? Let's see. Okay, there's a Shinx. Okay, what do I want to do with the Shinx? Uh-oh. It's getting angry. Let me lock onto it. Now, let's see. Let me check the Pokedex. Let's see. For Shinx. Times you've seen it used bite. Number of different forms you've obtained. Number you defeated with ground type moves. Number defeated. Okay. No, no, no. We gotta fight it. We gotta fight it. We gotta fight it. We gotta fight it. Gotta fight it. Let's go. I am ready to fight. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. I'm ready to fight you. Let's go, because we could get points for number defeated. Number defeated with ground type moves. Number of times we see it use the move bite. Quick attack. Nice try using a quick attack. Oh, no. Our HP is actually getting a bit low. So, you know what? Let's use the leafage. Let's go. Use a leafage over here. You can't attack me. Haha. Because I'm over here. I'm safe. Okay, let's finish it off with a leafage over here. Let's go. Bam! Shinx is defeated. Nice try, wild Shinx. Okay, and let's see. What Pokemon do we want next? You know what? Let's use a Shinx later on. All right, now where's our friend? Where's our friend? Where's our friend? Do we want to go? Wait, wait, wait. Are you going to tell me I can't go here? Is that why you are here? Galaxy member. Can I not go here? There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you are a first star recruit. Then you'll probably be alright. I'm jumping into the water then! We can swim! We can swim. It's a good thing that I... Oh! Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. Does this mean that we're almost blacked out? The stuff on the edge that we're seeing like this? Oh, no, no, no. We're back to normal. Okay. It looks like you could swim, but not for long. What if we go like this? Man, we can do parkour! What if I bonk into the tree? No, I can't bonk into the tree. Okay, I can have my Pokemon attack the trees, though. Pokemon, attack the tree! Collect the berries for me. Yes, five apricorns. We are 
in the process of becoming self-sufficient. Okay, let's go. You wanna fight me, bro? You wanna fight me, bro? Let's fight, bro! I'll fight you, bro. Let's go. Shinx versus Shinx. Oh, it's level four, I'm level five. Let's see, we're gonna do quick attacks then. Let's do some quick attacks over here. Let's see, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Let's do another quick attack. I wonder if it's gonna run away. Shinx, use quick attack! Bam, got him. Let's see, what are you gonna do next? Ah, uh, looking around, huh? Well, I'm gonna attack you again with quick attack. Aren't I supposed to be afraid of Pokemon? Look at how close I'm getting to it. Oh, and we defeated it even. Haha. <laughs> Wait, we got a Cherry Berry. Oh, number defeated two out of two. Okay, so it looks like we filled up some kind of task. Now then, quite a few trees around here. We can collect some stuff from the trees. Okay, let's see. Pokemon, get the tree for me! Attack that. Are those Wurmples there? That's a Wurmple over there. That is a Wurmple. I see a Wurmple. Okay, so let's do this. Let's swap to this. Now let's go. Let's go, bro. How do you crouch? Let's go. I'm gonna sneak up on that Wurmple over there. Gonna get him with a Pokeball! Let's go. There's quite a few, so we might be able to just catch one like this. Let's see. Can we catch it? Yeah, we got it! And you know what? Let's catch another Wurmple so we have one for ourselves also. Let's go like this. Because there's one Wurmple that that one guy wants. But we'll also get a Wurmple for ourselves. Wait, I wonder if that's like, uh... I wonder if this is something that we can pick up over here. Is this an item? What is this? Let's see. Can we attack that maybe? Oh cool! Tumblestone and Stardust! Stardust is an item that you can sell. This completely changes Pokemon. My goodness, Pokemon is like... A completely different game now. This is actually unbelievable. I imagine that this is what Breath of the Wild is like. This is so crazy to me. Uh-oh. I actually didn't mean to do that. I wanted to do the dive attack, actually. Okay. Well, let's do a Thundershock over here. Oh, the Wurmple. How you like that, Wurmple, huh? Wurmple's paralyzed. I uh, looking around, huh? Why don't you look around over here, huh? Huh? You want to fight me, bro? You want to fight me, bro? Thundershock. Bam! Oh! Whoa, did I get hit by my own Thundershock? But we defeated Wurmple, there we go. Let's go! That's so cool, the way that everyone gets experience. I, I actually love the way that the battle system has changed. This is amazing. Okay, break this for me, my friend. What an amazing Shinx we have over here. Hey, Shinx, I need you to attack this tree for me. Let's go, bro, attack the tree for me. Bam! Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, we have to go over there, I guess. I wonder if it's because it's taking me so long to find my friend that that just showed up over here? But let's go over there. Okay, and there's another tree. Wait, did we get this tree yet? Have we hit this tree yet? It looks like this tree's empty. Yeah, I think we already hit that tree. Okay, so let's go over there. I think our friend's gonna be over there. Where, where's Shinx at? Shinx, where are you? Okay, come back to me, Shinx. I was worried about you, Shinx. Okay, so we are going to head this way, just doing some dives over here. I wonder if this is faster than moving normally. It's kind of cool to be moving around like this, gotta admit. Let's see, okay, so we have gotten that tree before. Oh, we haven't gotten that tree. Let's dive onto this rock. Bam! Oh, wait, can we break this rock? Maybe if we had an extremely powerful Pokemon, we'd be able to break that rock. But yeah, I don't think our Shinx wants to break that rock. Let's see, Shinx get this tree for us. Some Bidoofs over here. Eh, not too worried about the Bidoofs. I don't care about the Bidoofs. We've done enough with Bidoofs. Let's... Oh! Oh, there's a Boizel over there! Let's first break this. Go over to that Boizel over there. Boizel, bro. Let's go, bro. Fight me, bro. Oh, you got an X, huh? You want to fight? Let's go. Let's go, little water type guy. Uh, level three water. You know, I'm actually scared that I might defeat it if I use Thundershock. Let's try. Please don't. Ah, we defeated it. Okay. Maybe if we find another Boizel, we can capture it. We'll use a quick attack. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, more of these. So that means that we could get more, uh, more Pokeballs later. This is actually so fun! You go around collecting resources to, uh, to make Pokeballs. Then you can go and capture these guys. Okay, let's go. I'm ready, bro. Fight me, bro. Fight me, bro. I'm not gonna use Quick Attack this time, unless it's level 4. It's level 2, it's even weaker. Okay, so let's go. Let's do a Quick Attack. Hopefully Quick Attack doesn't defeat it in one turn. Let's see. Okay, almost half defeated, so I'll do one more quick attack. Hopefully we don't defeat it. Good, it's in the red. Now then. Oh, it uses quick attack. Oh, attacking my Shinx, huh? Well then, what if I throw a Pokeball at you? Bam! Take this. Hopefully we catch it, because its HP is pretty low. Man, this completely changes the way that I view Pokeballs. Knowing that, like, we can go around and get resources 
to use and create our own Pokeballs. It's like, imagine if you're fighting a legendary Pokemon and it takes like hundreds of Pokeballs to capture it, then that certainly would feel different compared to if you could just buy a bunch of Pokeballs from the shop. Okay, these guys, I'm not too worried about them. Don't really care about them. Don't care about Bidoof's. Not super worried about Bidoof's. Let's go over to our friend over here. Hello, friend. I haven't seen you in so long. How are you, my friend? I'm sneaking up on you. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Boizel. It's got an... I know! I already defeated one, and I caught one, too. That means it'll try to hit you with moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. I already did that. I already did that. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Oh, 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 so that's what happened earlier when we were swimming and we almost drowned. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. Okay. And speaking of which, your research tasks for Boizel include seeing it use a certain move. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that with some Pokemon. It's like you want to see them use certain moves. But I already caught a Boizel. Get to work on research tasks. You know what? Let's see if there's anything else to do with the boys. Let's see. Can I, uh, let's go down. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's target it. Let's see. Times you've seen it use Aqua Jet. I haven't seen it use Aqua Jet. So you know what? Let's fight it and let's see if we could have it use Aqua Jet on us. Okay, that one's a level two. Boizel is looking around. Let's fight. Let's use a quick attack over here. Oh, and you know what? They're pretty low level. So maybe I should even swap Pokemon. Let's see, should I swap? Wormpole, Wormpole, Rowlet. You know what? Let's get out a Wormpole. No, 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 I wanna, I wanna swap to Wormpole. Let's, uh... Oh, this is how you swap. Do you wanna switch to Wormpole? Yes. Come back, Shinx. Go, Wormpole. Now then, come on, bro, use Aqua Jet on me. He used Quick Attack. Bro, you don't know the move Aqua Jet. Use Aqua Jet on me. Come on, I'm gonna Poison Sting you. Bam. Oh, and it's Poison. It's using Quick Attack. Bro, you gotta stop using quick attack. You gotta stop with that quick attack. Boizel is looking around. I probably gotta swap Pokemon again. Let's swap Pokemon again. Switch to the other Wurmple, because I don't want this Wurmple to die. Well, Pokemon don't die, I guess. I think, actually, I don't know if in this game if they die or if they faint. Normally, Pokemon just faint. Let's see, did Poison defeat it? Ah, oh, it's got like a little bit of HP left, so you know what? I should... Swap one more time. Hopefully it uses Aqua Jet. Maybe it doesn't know Aqua Jet at level two though. Let's see. Let's see. Quick attack. Yeah, it's just using quick attack. Now it's just gonna die of poison. You defeated Boizel. It, I like that it doesn't say the Pokemon fainted. It just says you defeated. Oh, did Shinx learn a new move? I guess Shinx learned a new move. Can we climb up here? Might be cool to climb up here. Oh, yes, we can climb up here. Let's go. But it doesn't really matter that we're up here. Okay, let's see. It looks like our friend is over that way. So maybe we get... Wow, the way that we were moving there was a little weird. I am very curious if there might be some spots that we can, like, go jump around somewhere interesting, get out of bounds, like, without hacking the game. I'm, I'm really curious to see what kind of glitches there might be in this game because the movement is really, really interesting. Okay, let's, uh... Hit that tree first. Get that tree for me. I don't want to fight the worm pole. Though. Forget about the worm pole. All right, Akari, give me some more tips. You're do you're really doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Wait, does this mean I can craft anything anywhere? Is that what that does? A kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. That makes sense. Wait, can I only use this once, or can I use it as many times as I want? And here's a recipe for potions, too. Oh, I probably use those leeks that I've been collecting. So let's see. One orange berry and one medicinal leek. Ah, okay, okay. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make a Pokeball anytime. This is such a fun game. It is so satisfying collecting things from trees and just, like, resources and making your own items that is such a satisfying element to add to pokemon games and this game just looks so good the cover of your pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you've finished and can report oh 
Tasks with unreported data, 24. To next rank, 500. Oh, so I guess it's like, once you complete enough tasks in the Pokedex, then you can go back to town, and you get points, and then you can go up to the next rank, and then you probably have access to new areas. Please report back to Professor Laviton once you've got some research tasks good and done. Okay, wait, is she gone now? Go report your task to Professor Laventon to earn a sufficient number of research points. Okay, okay. So, we can go to Professor Laventon sometime soon. First, let's... Okay, so you want to go that way. But wait, 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 wait. I still want to look around here some more. Because hitting these trees is so satisfying. Bro, 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 hit this tree for me. Hit this tree for me. Come on, bro, hit this tree for me. Let's go, attack the tree. Yes, bro. Now attack this tree for me. Attack this tree right here. Attack it, Shinx. What a good little Shinx we have. Shinx is such a great Pokemon. Oh, I was thinking that that's a Pokemon over there, but that's just a guy over there. It's a guy with one of those hats. Okay, Shinx. Need you to attack this for us. Let's just uh, hit that right there. It's so satisfying being able to aim your Pokeballs and throw them wherever you want. Okay, now let's see. Do we want to battle that guy? Or catch that guy? You know what? Let's just try catching it. Let's do this. Let's stay in the bushes here. Let's go like this. Lock on. And bam! Let me catch it. Oh, I should have been paying attention to how difficult or how easy it is to catch a Pokemon. Yes, we caught it. That is nice. Oh, it says number caught two out of three. So if we catch one more Bidoof, then that probably fills up another research task for us. So let's go catch another Bidoof. If we see another Bidoof, we'll try and catch it. For now, let's just look around for some resources. Or you know what? We could also start making our way back. <gasps> a Ponyta! A Ponyta! Look at it. It is a Ponyta. Oh, man. We're probably going to battle this guy. Let's see. Let's see. Unless we want to capture it. How difficult would it be to capture? Let's see. Let's see. How difficult How difficult are you to capture? Let's see. Oh, wait. Doesn't that mean that it's easy to catch? Because it has the three bars. I think more bars means that it's easier to catch, doesn't it? Let's see. Oh, my goodness. We caught a Ponyta. How cool is that? Okay, and let's catch a Bidoof because we do want to catch some Bidoofs. Can I lock on? Let me lock onto the Bidoof. Let me catch it. Okay, hopefully we catch that Bidoof. I'm gonna jump over it! Oh, cool. And some leaks. Nice! Three out of three Bidoofs caught. And we got some medicinal herbs. Let's, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's switch to this. Let's hit that tree there. I don't want to fight those guys. Don't... Not super worried about those guys. Now then. Some more things to get over here so we can make some more potions. A bunch of Shinxes over there. Shinx kind of sounds like Sphinx, and this guy kind of looks like a Sphinx. It almost looked like I broke that uh, stone there by diving into it, because I dove into it right as my Pokemon attacked it. Oh! Is someone trying to attack me? Why do I have that red sign on me? Why do I have that red sign on me? Is someone after me? Oh, maybe there's some Pokemon that want to attack from above. That would be very scary. Let's see, can I climb up this? I like how in something steep like this, you can climb up. It's just more slow. Can we climb all the way up there? What in the world is this? Ah! We slipped. Let me up. Is this too steep to climb? Tell me it's not too steep to climb. Okay, good, good, good. We made it. Okay. What in the world is this, though? Let's see. Attack it. Iron chunk! That is something new. Okay, we probably can't go up here. This is probably too steep to climb. Yeah, after you climb for a moment, you start falling. Okay. So let's go this way. And get this. Okay, so I wonder... Iron Chunk is probably some material that we use for something. It's so cool how we're getting, like, Stardust and, and all these interesting items. It's like items that you have seen in past Pokemon games. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't make it up there. I'm so close. But uh, I think that's too much. Maybe we can go this way? Let's see. Can I make it up here, please? Let's see. Let's go like this. No, it's too steep. We can't make it up. Okay, so it looks like we actually have to go around this area. Okay. So let's go around then. Because this is too steep to climb otherwise. We were right by where we had to be. Let's see. Anything for our Wurmple to collect here? A Bidoof? Not worried about any more Bidoofs. We've got a lot of Bidoofs already. You know what? No, I was going to say we, we should keep training our Wurmple. But that's okay. I'm fine with how our Wurmple is right now. Let's see. Are these things that we can pick? These flowers over here? We pick these flowers here. You can speak to your Pokemon. We are talking to our Pokemon. We're like, who's a good little Wurmple? All right, let's talk to our professor friend over here. Need to switch your Pokemon or buy items? Come on, buy. Oh, that is cool. Okay, let's talk to this guy, Laventon. 
I've been doing a pretty good job over here and I've come to report it. Whoa! If it isn't a crafting kit! You must have listened attentively to Akari's teaching! Excellent work, dear boy! This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. Wait, why isn't he wearing funny boots? I thought he was part of our group. Oh, you get money! So you get money based on conditions and reports that you fill in. Okay. On that note, let me check the research task you've completed thus far. Wait, do I not get to keep my Pokemon? Ah, oh, that's so cool, we caught a Ponyta! Total Pokemon caught, nine different Pokemon species, six. Pokemon caught first time, six. Pokemon caught using a backstrike. Oh, is that like if you throw a Pokeball at a Pokemon from behind? That's really interesting. I wonder if you have a better shot. Wow! $1,728. Not a lot, but hey, it's something. Ah, oh, I see! Most illuminating! I'll update our Pokedex with this new data! Okay, yeah, so it's basically as you fill up your Pokedex, you get more points. Oh, preferred foods! Oh, so your Pokemon have different preferences for foods? That's kind of funny. Ha! Plus 420 points! Nice! Nice. Okay. Oh, does that mean we level up? Do we finally get a rank now? You've made good progress on these research tasks, the x many. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Yes, we get a star going back to the village. Man, the art style in this game is so cool. I am enjoying this game so much. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to throw a Pokeball. Let's just, let's just calm down. And let's just make our way over to over there. Don't want to be throwing any Pokemon while we are over here. Oh, wait, 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 where's the guy that wanted a Wormpole? Where's the guy that wanted a Wormpole? You aren't the guy that wanted a Wormpole, are you? Kip. Some Pokemon prefer rainy days, you know? Me, I just stay inside and enjoy a nice snap. Where's the guy that wanted a Wormpole? There's a guy that wanted to see a Wormpole. Where is he? Where is the Wormpole man? Oh, oh, I remember who wanted to see the Wormpole. Hold on. The guy out here, you wanted a Wormpole, didn't you? Let me have a chat with you. Hey, have you got a worm pole you can give me? Yeah, sure. Let's see, which one should I give him? This one or this one? Both are about the same. This one has higher attack but lower HP. This one has higher HP but lower attack. I guess I'll give him this one. Here, you can have this one. You can have this worm pole. Are you sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Yes, you could have it. What is the reward for giving? You really brought me one! You must be as good as the rumors say! I'd like to name this Wormpole right away. Now, I've been told a Wormpole will evolve into a Pokemon known as a Beautiful. Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Ah, uh, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beautisha, Beautifred, or Beugene? I like Beautifred. Beugene is pretty great, but I like Beautifred. Yeah, I like Beautifred too. I guess it's decided then. I'll raise Beautifred to be a Splendiferous Beautifly. Wait and see. I wonder if it actually will grow up into a Beautifly one day. Well, oh cool, three Dazzling Honey. I wonder what that's used for. Where, where, where? All right, we're heading into here. That's where we are going. So, let's go check on the captain. Captain! Oh, captain, my captain. That's pretty cool, it's like a first person game right now. Speak to me, captain. Oh wait, do I have to go right up to you or something? Captain! What if I catch... I can't catch the Abra! What if we interact with this Abra? Abra! Ah, I see. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Alright, here's my Pokedex. What do you have to say about this? Huh! You made good progress! It seems you have earned yourself a star! Hooray! With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hooray! First star, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess there are ten stars to collect? You can now use heavy balls! Nice! Nice! Pokemon up to level 20 will obey your orders in battle. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and the rewards for expeditions will be more generous. Nice. Have these as well! They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Okay, what? Now I can make- Yeah, now you obtained a recipe for crafting heavy balls. Nice. Oh! Oh! We can craft revives! One vivid choke and two medicinal leaves. That is so cool. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. 
Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through the ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. I love our shoes. Alright, now what? Do I go to the next area? For today at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. I don't want to eat. I want to go continue catching Pokemon. I don't need to eat. I need Pokemon! That's what I need! Oh, oh, I thought that was the lady sitting watching us eating. So, ZX Money, my boy! I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order! Well done on earning your first star rank! Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on that request from Burekhaz? I, I don't know if I have. The people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the survey corpse gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What's it all about? Ah, uh, about that. I was thinking maybe ZX Many could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah, yes! That request came from my of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correct. Is there a Pearl Clan also? The people of the Diamond Clan lived here in Hesoi since before the Galaxy Team arrived. If we can establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokémon. But we can discuss that tomorrow. For today, let's eat up and get some rest. <laughs> Everyone stares at the professor. The next day... The next day, ah, uh, and that portal's still up there, this space and time portal, the one that I came from, apparently. Listen, uh, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I can use your help with. All right, I'll be happy to help. Thank you, I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you've caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures, the pastures to change up your team. Oh! So it's not like there are Pokemon boxes, you go to the pastures. I wonder where the pastures are. Okay, let's go. A request for my meet Akari in the training grounds. Wait, 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 where's the crafting table at? Where's that crafting table? Oh, I thought I got stuck in there for a second. Wait, is this the crafting table? Craft, yes. Yes, I would like to do some crafting. Okay, let's make some potions. Oh, I can make a lot of Pokeballs, but you know what? I don't want to make too many because... I don't... Maybe I'll need some heavy balls later. A ball that is too heavy to fly high or far, but it's highly effective if you manage to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. That sounds like it could be useful in some situations. There's a little Togepi banner! Look at the little Togepi banner! Okay, what do you have to say, miss? Here at the trading post, you can exchange merit points for items and trade Pokemon with others. Good of you to stop by. What is it you need? Oh, I want to trade Pokemon. Oh, so this is like if you want to trade, uh, in real life Pokemon. I thought it was, uh, maybe with other trainers in the game. But it looks like that's where you could trade. Wait, are you going to want to battle me? Akari, do you want to battle? Is that why you brought me here? Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. I think we're standing the wrong way on this. Listen, I've had an epiphany. Is everything all right? You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. Your partner, question mark? Yes, here's my partner, Pikachu! You have a Pikachu, that's amazing! Pika! When we were attacked by those Shinks, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refuse to listen to anything I tell them. And if I'm being honest, I'm not sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. Pika! But when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need more to do too. So please, have a battle with me! I want to learn how to fight effectively! Effectively? Efficiently? I didn't see what word it was. Alright! I guess I'll take you on, Akari. Let's see. Oh, all she has is a Pikachu. I wonder what level it is. Maybe it doesn't listen to her because its level is too high? I wonder if that's why. What level is it? Let's see. Level 9. Ah. Uh, wait, Thunder Wave! I didn't even have a chance to attack yet. Man, you paralyzed me already? Oh boy, what am I gonna do now? You know what? Let's do a uh, poison sting. Maybe we can poison it. Let's see. Whoa! 
Whoa! Critical hit did a lot of damage and it's poisoned. Okay. My Pokemon luck continues. Okay, it's hurt by poison. So we are, of course, going to swap over here. Let's swap to, uh, Shinx. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, I kind of want to swap to Shinx. But I'm thinking that maybe this will give her flashbacks to back when the Shinx attacked her earlier. But she has to learn to face her fears in a controlled environment. Pikachu's quick attack, nice. Oh, that did a surprising amount of damage. Okay, Pikachu's hurt by poison. We... Oh, quick attack or bite? That is the question. Bite does more. But you know what? I'll do quick attack because it might use quick attack. Our quick attack should finish it off, right? Yes, it does. You defeated Pikachu! Okay, and it returns to the Pokeball. So it looks like we don't kill Pokemon. We just defeat them. Ah, you and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. All right, look at all of those level ups. Oh my goodness, move mastered, move mastered, new move. Whew, thanks for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Yeah, you both know what it's like to get defeated. Ha <laughs> ha, no, I'm just kidding. They'll make a great team. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Pika! I guess I was wrong then, but I'll strive to work as a team with my partner the way you do. Yes, you will, Akari. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles... Yeah, I know Pikachu's an electric type. Come on. This has been around since Gen 1. Oh, this is actually really cool how they've got a type chart over here. Because fairy types are new, so sometimes I actually have to see, like, what's strong against fairy and what fairies are good against. So, you're the one. The new recruit everyone's talking about. <laughs> My name's Zisu, captain of the security corps. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zisu is a master of ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen. If your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the other hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong- Oh, on one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward, it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly after that. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little- Oh, that is so cool. So you can actually use different types of moves. Okay, is this something new? I don't know if this is new to this game or if this has been in past Pokemon games. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Zisu's teachings should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now I suppose it's time I went to meet Mai. Uh, you remember, I mentioned that the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. Uh, I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well once you've readied your Pokemon and team and uh, perhaps have them learn some new moves from Zisu if you'd like. Nah, I'm not gonna learn any moves. I like the moves that we have. Let's go over to Mai. Okay, so we want to head over this way. Let's do some dives so we can go fast. Okay, and once we fully fill up the Pokedex for Starly, there's someone around here who wanted to learn about Starly. I like how everyone's just standing outside their shops. Okay, so we are going this way. Aspiration Hill is that way, right? Hold on, wait. I wonder where the pasture is. Oh, there's a farm over there to the left. That's pretty cool. Okay, Craftsworks, the Wallflower, General Store, Clothier. Hairdresser. Oh, cool. You can change your hair. Pastures! <gasps> Down there. Pastures are right here. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe we can swap our Pokemon. Who do we have with us? Now, you know what? We've got a pretty okay team. But I guess if you want to swap your Pokemon, you can go over there. All right, let's go here. Ah, try to dive past them. Stay safe out there, kid. All right. Let's go to the Field Lions camp. I don't know if I have to go to the Wallflower first or if I can just go straight here. But I have one star now, so maybe I could go access that next area. Wait, I can't tell if it's uh, really early in the morning or if it's getting close to sunset. Boo! Oh, it's Ze uh, Link again. I was going to say Zelda. Did I surprise you? You bet I did. I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. What, it's sneaking up on them? It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. I've... 
done that twice, apparently. I didn't even realize that I did it. If you're part of this survey corpse now, working to create a Pokedex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisoi. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Thank you, Link. Thank you, Link, for having faith in me. Wait, you got a mushroom recipe? Tell me the mushroom recipe. Oh, did I pick the mushroom from- Wait, this guy looks even more like Link than the last guy, Morel. Oh, you're that boy from the Survey Corps who fell out of the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the Mushroom Cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I just know it's a winner. Problem is, folks around here aren't just catching on to my recipe's amazing potential, but you're the talk of the village, and people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. This sounds like a Paper Mario side quest mushroom cakes. Okay, teach me the recipe. Oh wait, 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 wait. He's just giving me the recipe for free? Wait, give Merle the item, springy mushroom. Do I have any of those? Okay, I guess I don't have any springy mushrooms. Let's go find some springy mushrooms then. If I come across any springy mushrooms, I'll try to give it to him. Okay, let's see. So that looks like the next area that we could head to over there. Are these mushrooms? No, nothing over here. Let's see. Oh, what is this? What is this right here? Oh, that's an apricorn. Okay, let's head this way. This is the way that we're going. Let's jump off the cliff. Wow, that's so cool. That's really cool how we can do that. Okay, let's head on this way. Now then, do I want to catch some more of these guys? Oh, they are. Oh, no. No, come back here. Come back. Come back. Okay, let's go like this. Okay, that one's a bit hard to catch. What about that one? I'm in the bushes. You shouldn't be able to see me. No, no, no. I want to aim at that one. Ah, no. That one's difficult to catch right now. Okay, forget it. Forget it. We're just going to run then. We're going to run. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe we can sneak up on this guy over here and catch him from behind. Let's see. You won't notice me if I throw it at you from behind like that. Oh no, that's a Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you always have to battle that Pokemon. Uh-oh, someone's coming to fight me. I've got to run, I've got to run. There's that red eye over there. That means the Pokemon wants to attack me. Okay, let's go here. Now then, you will let me... <gasps> someone's got a Munchlax over there. Oh my goodness, it's like a... Uh... He kind of looks like Ray from the Promised Neverland. There are so many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. Can't let you pass unless you're first. Oh, you're at that rank. You should be fine. Go on then. Don't let your guard down though. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. All right, all right, I will. Thank you for the warning, sir. Who's this? Can I just... Oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no, no, let me out of the water. Oh, the cutscene starts all of a sudden. I'm trying to avoid them. Like, oh, hey, ZX Betty, what are you doing in the water over there? Oh, no, I wasn't trying to avoid you guys. Mine, this is ZX Betty. My, my, ha, pun intended. A new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to help. I will capture your Pokemon. I am one of the Wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not know what a Warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving, so the important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do or not really? Of course I do! We nod? That's good to hear. The security corpse of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. You look like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. And he yawns. Wait, do you want to battle me right now? Oh, it looks like we are having a battle. Okay, go Rylet. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe her Pokemon will actually be kind of strong. Let's see. She's got a level 10. All right, hopefully we can do okay. Leafage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah! It's, it's coming to attack! Use Leafage! I'm scared at how close it's getting. Oh, roll out! No! No, rock! Oh, thank goodness we avoided the attack. I am actually terrified of it using rock, because that's a rock type. I don't know if we are grass flying or what type we are, but if we're grass flying, then I think rock is double super effective on us. Roll out! Woo! Woo! And we've got a swap Pokemon. Okay, sorry, bro. Uh, do I have anything good against rock? I don't really. Uh, Bidoof? Hey, why don't you go out, Bidoof? Let's send out a Bidoof. Come back, Rowlet. This Munchlax is crazy. Using rollouts over here. And rollout gets more powerful every time. You know what? What if we use rollout back on it? Oh, and I can't move during the- Oh, I can move. I will protect my Pokemon! What if I come up to your Pokemon like this? Hey, how about I come here and- 
Agile cell. Oh, that scared me. Hey, I'm gonna come relax with you over here. Hey, I'm gonna... No, I got to attack twice in a row because of agile style. Come back here, Bidoof. Let's see. I'm gonna send out a Wurmple next. Go, Wurmple! I like how the camera zooms over there even though I'm over here. Okay, let's use Poison Sting over here. How you like that Poison Sting, huh? How do you like that? I'm gonna attack again. Bam, I'm gonna keep using Poison Sting on you. Critical hit, are you poisoned also? Uh oh, use Roll Out. Whoa, man! Critical hit, okay. All right, that's not good, that's not good. This is not good. She's looking at me, she's like, why are you standing so close to me? You shouldn't be here. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Shinx. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use... Wait, wait. Strong style or agile style? Let's try using quick attack. Can we use quick attack twice with agile style? Let's see. Use quick attack. Oh, that's enough to finish it off anyways. Okay. Goodbye, Munchlax. Battle decided. How do you like that? Man, a lot of my Pokemon fainted. Mon! You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. She says, you're not one of the usual buffoons while Akari is standing here right beside me. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Oh, you're gonna heal our Pokemon? Thank you, that's actually so nice. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Will she give me the... the black stones that we need to make heavy balls? Let's see. Five vivid jokes. Ah, oh, oh, I can make revives now, I think. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. It is a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you, to Deer Track Heights? We're like, whoa, alpha Pokemon. Hold on, let me check my phone. Your arc phone is beeping. That thing you have, it's showing where you've got to go, isn't it? We show our phone. My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those, is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show us the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there, I know it. Oh, what, you think this is too dangerous? It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps new one. Yeah, we really are. Munchlax looks so sad the whole time. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about the Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? No, we don't. I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow, and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. So is Sinnoh like a deity for them? They worship him? However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Wait, so is there like a legendary Pokemon there or something? Follow me, and you may understand. You may not, but follow me. Okay, let's go follow her. Wait, 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 I see a red eye. Oh, oh, it's because there's a Shinx over there. Okay, let's see. Oh, 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 a Cricket Hot. Okay, let's see, let's do this. Let's see, let's aim at it. Let's see, we've got two, not three. Let's see if we can just catch it like that. That'd be pretty cool. Cricketot is one of the worst Pokemon in the game in terms of stats. Its stats are incredibly low. Okay, let's see. Break that for me, bro. Good job, bro. What's that over there? Something blue is over there. Is that a Pokemon or is that a resource? I can't tell. Oh, another Cricketot's over there. Let's see. Okay, I want you to... Get that for me, bro. Get that for me. Whatever that is. Nice. A bit of a choke. Nice. Now then, can we catch this guy? I'd like to catch this guy. Let's see. Is he unsuspecting? Let's get him from behind. How's that? Bam. Oh, it was really shiny. I think that means that we got it from behind. Man, there's a bunch of these. Okay, and if we catch a third one... Oh, wait, 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 wait. One of my Pokemon, it says, can evolve. For my Wurmple, it says can evolve, so how do I make it evolve? Let's see. 
I'd like my Wurmple to evolve. Will you evolve? Oh, does it have to battle to evolve, maybe? No, it doesn't have to battle to evolve, does it? Let's see, let's throw a... Come on, turn your back at me. Okay, fine. I'll just throw a Pokeball at you. No, my Pokeball missed! So sad. Let's see. Oh, it's running away! It's running up that hill. That's so sad. Okay, well, hopefully we can get... Oh, there's another one. Let's go! Bro, bro, where are you running to? Where are you running to? You need to stop this madness right now. Let me just capture you. I'm wasting so many Pokeballs, but all we have to do is just get a third one. He goes, there we go, there we go. Okay, now we got three out of three. Okay, but our Wurmple still says can evolve. I'm not sure why it says can evolve. Okay, let's see. Get that for me, please, Wurmple. Thank you, Wurmple. What, does my Wurmple have to win a fight to evolve, maybe? Oh! Oh, oh, it's just, uh, just a Starly. You know, fight, fight. Let's see, maybe if we win a fight, then we can evolve? The wild Pokemon are level 10 now! The wild Pokemon are pretty strong. Let's see, it's looking around. I'm kind of scared that it might defeat me. Let's see, I went to a poison sting. Dude, not much. Okay, but it is poison. Let's see, it's keeping its guard up. It ran away! Oh, times you've seen it use poison sting. So if we make our Pokemon use poison sting one more time. Oh, and if you hold ZL, then you could go into first person mode like this. That's pretty cool. Wait, did I already catch three of these? Wait, wait, let's go like this. Let's see, how many did I catch? Oh yeah, I already caught three, so that doesn't matter then. Not worried about that guy. Now then, how do I make this Pokemon evolve? You know what? Let's go battle against this Krikatot then. Because Krikatot should be weak, right? So he should be able to take this guy out. Let's see. Oh, that Krikatot's only a level seven also. Okay, so this should be easy, right? What type is- They ran away! Krikatot! How could you do this, Krikatot? Oh wait, do I speak to my Pokemon to make it evolve? How do I make it evolve? Evolve, bro! Evolve! Evolve! Why are you not evolving? Okay, get that for me, bro. Get whatever's in that tree. Nice, thank you for the cherry berries. Get whatever's in this tree for me, please. Now then, who are you? Whoa! Oh, a Burby came out of the tree! Okay, alright. Okay, what are we gonna do with it? Use Struggle Bug. That did a lot of damage. Uh, you know what? Let's fight it. Let's do a poison sting. How much damage will that do? Not much, but it is poison. It's looking around. Huh, is it easier to capture now? Throw a Pokeball, yes, because it's poison. So let's see if it's uh, easier to capture now that it's poison. Let's see how that works. Let's see. Can we catch it? No, it broke free. I don't want it to run away. Use Struggle Bug. Are we dead now? Yep, Wormpole is defeated. Okay, well, I guess Wormpole's not evolving today. Hurt by poison. Uh, almost... Oh, wait, oh, wait. I thought this Pokemon was almost dead, but that's how much experience it needs to get to the next level. Not how much HP it has. Okay, let's use another Pokeball. Let's go. Please capture it. Please capture it, please capture it. It is poison, so it'll just get damaged again if we don't capture it, as long as it doesn't run away. But we did catch it, very nice. We got a Burmy. All right. So, oh, Spoiled Acorn, that's interesting. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Bro, what do you have? What do you have? Bjorn. Yo, -ho! mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries, you know? The shiny red ones, I do have some. Oh, he doesn't have any Pokemon that can reach. What are you doing out here then? Are you not scared that the Titans will attack you? Okay, I've got some cherry berries for you. How many, how many cherry berries do you want, bro? Could you give me three of those cherry berries? Sure, sure, what do you give me as a reward? What is my reward for three cherry berries? Here's the hand, oh, a tip! You can throw a berry near a wild Pokemon to grab their attention. Oh! Oh, that is a cool idea. That's actually a really cool idea. You can throw berries to, uh, wait, what is there? Oh, it's one of those. A Geodude, I see a Geodude up ahead. Let's try and catch that Geodude. Let's see. Let's see. I'm in the grass, so you can't see me here. Just turn around. Oh, there's a lot of Geodudes up ahead anyways. Whoa, that guy flew away. Geodude, turn around. Turn around, Geodude. Show us your back. Let's see. Oh, Geodude actually looks kind of hard to catch. Will you notice me? Don't notice me. I'm gonna throw this at you from behind, okay? Just gonna go just like that. Bam! Okay, now are we gonna get him? Because that should be from behind. Should have a better chance. Bam! We got a Geodude. Let's go. Level 7 Geodude. 
Okay, one out of one Geodude's caught. I'm not gonna catch any more Geodude's then. Is this something for us? Pep up plant. Oh, is that like PP up? I wonder if that's PP up. Like it restores your PP. Oh, whoa, whoa. Are the Geodudes aggressive? It looks like the Geodudes are aggressive. Let me get this. And then run! I don't wanna get hit by them. I don't wanna black out. Get this for me. Oh no, that's that's not a Pokemon. That said, uh, that was a Pokeball that I threw, an empty Pokeball. Pokemon, get that for me. Okay. Oh, Black Tumblestone. Okay, cool. I can make he uh, heavy balls now. Now then, anyone in here? What's the Pokemon in there? Starlies. You know what? Maybe I should just catch some Starlies. Let's see. Uh, not a super high chance of catching it, so you know what? Maybe if we get it from behind, like this, then maybe we could catch it. It's actually so cool the way you catch Pokemon like this. Okay, that should be another easy one to catch. There you go. Oh, cool! We caught two of them without being spotted, so that was like another mission for us. Okay, let's uh, break that over there. And wait, I swear there is someone to talk to over here. Oh, it's right up there. Okay, let's see. Geodude is aggressive, so we don't want to mess with him. Don't want to mess with the Geodude. What is he gonna do? A rollout attack into us? Don't, 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 Bad Geodude. Stay down, Geodude. Wait, can we attack this or no? I don't think we can attack this. No, that doesn't look like something that we can- Ah, oh, the Geodude's still coming! Geodude, stay back. More healthy, there's a Geodude chasing me! What do you have to say, bye? She nods. Yes, yes, there is a Geodude chasing you. My, help me, there's a Geodude after me. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us? Is the professor behind? Oh, he's running along. Oh, but wait, Geodudes are just chasing us. Whoa, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. Wait, and I just realized that Geodudes were chasing us. They are rock ground types. Why don't I attack them with my grass type Pokemon? I'll be double super effective. Can I go back and face those Geodudes? This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Deedly Whoop! That's not it. Wait, what is that? Wait, is that Deoxys? That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its. Oh, it's not Deoxys. Okay. Is that the evolved form of Cricketot? Deedly Whoop! And that's what you are here for, ZX Many, to drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Wait, are you gonna heal me up? Do I have to battle it? Can I capture it? She nods at me. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land. If they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big though. They're strong and may know moves that other of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this alpha. So go show it that. Beyond any mistaking. Be careful, ZX Many. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this Alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. Wait, but Cricketot's supposed to be super, super weak, so I wonder if this alpha is very strong. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's save. Haha, -ha, we get to save. That is perfect, because I don't want to get knocked out by this guy right now. Wait, can I leave? I want to go face the Geodudes. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Let's face this Geodude right here. Bro, I'm ready. Geodude, fight me, bro. Fight me, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. Let's go. Fight me. Bam. Let's go, here we go, here we go, okay. Maybe we can level up like one more time before we take on this guy. Okay, let's do Leaf Edge. And how powerful is that? Do we take it out in one hit? Oh, we don't take it out in a single hit! He used Ro no! Run Rowland! Oh no, oh no, I think its attack is uh, probably, I don't know if it's super effective on us or double super effective. I don't know if we're flying or grass flying or maybe just grass. Okay, but there we go, there we go. Okay, we did get some level ups there. Oh, and our Cricketot can evolve also. Okay, now, how do you use items? Key items, everyday items. Potion! There we go. Let's heal up our Rowlet over here. It is grass flying, I see. Oh, this is how you evolve Pokemon. You go into your settings here, and then you just go over here, and you have the option evolve. 
Krakatata is ready to evolve, do it now. That is so funny, the way that you evolve your Pokemon. Okay, so let's evolve our Krakatata, because it looks like we're facing uh, off against some kind of evil Krakatata soon, so let's just do this first. Oh, oh, so this is the evolved form, okay. I, for some reason, I don't think that our Krikatoon will be as good as the Alpha Krikatoon. Okay, and let's evolve this guy also. Let's evolve our Wurmple. Pretty cool how you can choose whatever you want to evolve your Pokemon, because normally, after a battle, you have to hit the B button if you don't want your Pokemon to evolve. So that's really cool the way that this works, actually. All right, so our Wurmple hasn't evolved into a Beautifly yet. Oh, and does it only know the move Harden now? Let's see. Oh, oh, Iron Defense. Okay, instead of, uh, instead of Harden, it knows Iron Defense, but it still knows Poison Sting, which is really cool. Okay, let me just see. Any more Geodudes to take out over here? Because I ran away from a few Geodudes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Any Geodudes around? Okay, I think that's a good amount of Geodudes. Let's go take all this Alpha Krikatoon. Because those other guys are waiting up there. What if that Krikatoon actually goes and attacks my friends up there? Wait, wait, but I want that up there. Let me up there. Oh, man, we made it up there. We made it up there. Okay, that was so cool, the way that we made it up there. It's like we did a dive as we were about to start falling. Okay, can you take care of that for us? Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. I hear something. Oh, one of those up there. Okay, do I have anyone nice to use against that? You know what? Let's use our Shinx. I think Shinx would be nice against that. Let's go. Fight my Shinx. Oh, we got Starly unaware. Okay, okay, okay. Does that mean that we get to attack twice, maybe? Let's see, Thundershock, how's that? Okay, took it out in a single hit. That's quite nice. And everyone gets some experience, so that's great. Nobody levels up from that, though, which is sad. That is so sad. Wait, what's that up there? What's that up there? Oh, a Stantler! A Stantler, oh my goodness, a Stantler. Okay, let's see. Let's try and catch it. If we could catch it, that would be amazing. Oh, two Stantlers! Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I guess it's because it's becoming nighttime. Okay, that one noticed me. Don't notice me, senpai. I will go into the tall grass here, so I will not be noticed. Let's see. And bam! How's that? We startled it. Can we catch it now? Please let me catch it, please. Hey, we got a Stantler! Everybody leveled up from that. That was so intense. Okay. Oh, whoops. I accidentally threw a Pokeball. Okay, let's just stand back up here. And then Shinx. Take care of that for me. Maybe uh, doing a bit of training like this before going to that cricket pod is actually a good idea. Okay, can we pick this over here? Okay, nice. We got a pep up plant over here. Should I battle that Stantler or should I sneak up on it and try to catch it? Maybe if I stand here, it won't notice me. Let's see. Yes, don't notice me. You won't notice me over here. No, I'm just standing right here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. Let's just sneak up from behind it. And bam! There we go, how's that? Ha ha! Are you startled, Pokemon? Oh, I think that's a Zubat there off to the left. I think this is the most excited I have ever been to catch a Zubat. The Zubat is a Pokemon you run into a lot in caves. How's that? I missed! Ah, uh, notice me! Uh-oh, you know what? Uh-oh, it wants to attack. You know what? Let's fight then. Let's fight then. I'll fight you, bro. I'll fight you, bro. Ah! Ah, Pokemon, help me! Pokemon, why won't you battle? Ah! Ah! It wants to use, like, Confuse Ray or something on me. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Thundershock. That'll be super effective. How's that? Bam! Take that. All right. Out in a single hit. Shinx is amazing. How good is this Shinx? Okay, let's see. There's, um, torches lit up there. Don't know who lit up those torches. But it's nice that we got some more Pokemon. Let's see. Wait. Wait, what in the world is that? It looks like something out of Super Mario Odyssey. It's like some kind of cap. But what is it? Oh, oh, it's just a black tumblestone. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and I just realized you get 15 experience for your... Well, we got 15 experience for that. I never realized that you got experience for those. Oh, 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 let's fight. Fight me, bro. Fight me, bro. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's see. This time, maybe I'll... Wait, wait, wait. Did I catch the last Zubat or did I just defeat it? I think I just defeated it, actually. So, you know what? Let's do a quick attack. And let's see how that goes. Okay, that's good. Now, let's use a Pokeball. Yes, I would like to use the Pokeball. Hopefully, we can capture it. Let's see. Let's see. Let me capture it. Let me capture it. Because I don't remember if we caught the last Zubat or if we just defeated it. 
Okay, but we do have a Zubat now. Okay. So let's see. Okay, yeah, one out of one. Okay, new Zubat. Okay, so I didn't catch the Zubat earlier. Okay, so that makes sense. Let's see. Oh, some more Stantlers over here. Wait, is that a Vulpix up ahead? I can't tell if that's a Vulpix. It's kind of far away, so I can't really tell. Let's see. Oh, oh no, it's not a Vulpix. It's just one of those things. Okay, let's catch this Stantler right there. Bam. Let's see, is the other one going to run away? Or is it just going to stand there? Okay, three out of three Stantlers caught. Ah, oh, it's running away. It has been startled. Wait, 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 and a bunch of my Pokemon can evolve. Okay, so here's how you evolve. You hit. So here's how you evolve. You hit minus. No, you don't hit minus. You hit up. That's what you do. You hit up. Then you do ZL and ZR until you get to your items. Then you go over to your Pokemon here. Oh, Silcoon can already evolve. Okay, let's evolve Silcoon. Yes. So we're going to have a Beautifly already. This one evolves into Beautifly, not Dust Tox, right? I think that's the way that it works. I think the other guy said that this one evolves into Beautifly. Let's see. Hooray! We got a Beautifly! Didn't Ash have a Beautifly? In, uh, didn't Ash have a Beautifly in the Pokemon anime? I'm not sure. I never watched that far into the anime. Oh, yes, and let's evolve our Starly. You know what? Starly's evolutions are actually really cool. In my recent playthrough of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, I used Starly early on in my team. And even Starly's final evolved form, I kept it when I went to the Elite Four. Pretty good Pokemon, it can know some pretty good moves. It knows like close combat, well, you can teach it close combat, so it's nice they could have a fighting type move also. Okay, let's evolve our Shinx. Shinx is amazing, I'm really loving this Shinx. This Shinx is probably staying on our team the entire time. So it can know electric type moves, and it also knows bike, that's bite, not bike. Bite is a dark type move. Okay, so here we go, what is this one called? Luxio. Okay, and I think Luxray is the third evolved form. Okay, so you know what? We did quite some work here, so let's save. You know what? Let's put a uh, Rowlet over there. Let's uh, let's try and train our Rowlet some more while we can. When we are passing by some stuff, we can get a Rowlet to collect some stuff. Oh, oh, that's just an item to pick up. You don't need your Pokemon to attack that. Let's see. Anyone else interesting around here? This is such a fun game. I am having so much fun with this. I am enjoying this one so much. This might be one of my favorite Pokemon games ever. It is such a fun Pokemon experience. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's sneak up on that guy. Oh, no, I couldn't sneak up on it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't sneak up on it because it's a uh, Zubat. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want this Pokemon to fight it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do I do now? Oh, no. I use Gus. That's super effective. Oh, no. Oh, no. I will use... Oh, this move restores the user's HP. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'll use Gust back on it. How do you like it if we use a Gust on you, huh? How do you like that, bro? How do you like that? Let's use a Gust back on it. How would you like it if we use a Gust on you? On you, Zubat, on you. How do you like that, huh? Take that, Zubat. Oh, double Zubats. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, not gonna use Bidoof. Luxio is who we are going to use here. Wait, can you fight two of them at once? What happens if there are two of them together now? Let's see. Is it going to be a two versus one battle? Oh, it looks like it is a two versus one battle. This might be a bit tough. Oh, we learned Thunder Fang. That's really cool. 95 accuracy, 65% power. Okay, let's do a Thunder Shock though. Wait, is that? Oh, I was, I was thinking, I was wondering if maybe it would only hurt one of them, but, or I was wondering if it would hurt both of them, but it only attacks one of them. Not very effective, ha, ha, ha. Nice try, Zubat. Okay, and let's just get out of here. That's enough. Unless it has an item. Do you have an item, bro? You've got an item for me. Chesto Berry. Very nice. Okay, and now I think we might be in a good state to take on that Cricket guy. But it's probably partially a bug type. So do I have anything good against bug types? Oh, yeah, flying types. Of course. Here we go. Okay, should I try to capture it? I think I should try to capture it. It might be tough, though. We are ready to take on the alpha Pokemon. Can I sneak up on it? I'd love to sneak up on it. There's not really anywhere that we could go and do any sneaking though. Let's see. Some red eyes are quite focused. I wonder if you could see well in the dark. Let's try and sneak around it over here. Just make our way around it, because maybe if we sneak up on it, then maybe we could get like an extra attack or we could deal bonus sneak damage like in Oblivion and Probably in Skyrim. I can't believe that I've still never played Skyrim before. Oblivion was one of my favorite games of all time. Such a good game. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Take that! 
bro, why are you not fighting it? Come on, bro. Okay, let's go, bro. I'm ready to fight you. Why is my Pokemon just coming back? Oh, do I actually have to come up to it? Maybe I actually have to come up to it because it's like a cutscene. Yeah, it looks like you actually have to come up to it. You can't sneak up on it. Dee lee whoop! All right. I guess instead of a gym leader, we face Alpha Pokemon. Um, let's see. Press the Y button during a battle to check the action order of all Pokemon currently battling. This shows order in which Pokemon. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, it is filled with wild might. Whoa! 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 Okay, Gus, Aerial Ace. I am worried that Aerial Ace might kill it. Let's just try a Gust then. Let's try a Gust. Let's see how that does. Super effective. Okay, almost half defeated. Oh, it uses Aerial Ace. I was thinking of using Aerial Ace, then it used Aerial Ace. Okay, gotta send out my next Pokemon. All right, let's send out our Rowlet over here. I'm worried that our Rowlet might faint, but we've gotta try it. Let's use uh, Gust. Please don't defeat it because I want to capture it when its HP is low. Oh yes, 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 yes. Its HP is so low. Oh, it uses super effective attack on us. Okay, time to throw a Pokeball. Let's go. Let's try and capture this Alpha Cricketude. It has like the perfect amount of HP left. It has so little HP. And it broke free even though its HP is so low. That's so sad. I will defend my Pokemon. No, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I'll probably get knocked out if I get attacked by that guy. Okay, let's see. Bidoof can probably survive a few turns, right? Actually, Beautifly might be a good one because it's a bug type. Okay, let's go, let's go. Throw a Pokeball. Come on, come on, come on. Let's catch it. Maybe I should have gotten a Heavy Ball. Maybe I should have gotten some Heavy Balls. That might have been a good choice. Let's see. Nope, it escaped again, even though its HP is so low. And then Aerial Ace. Okay, we're about half defeated. It attacked twice! It attacked twice. Okay, Bidoof. I'm sorry, Bidoof. Sorry to hear that, Bidoof. This guy almost took out my whole team, this evil Cricketune. And man, this is supposed to be like one of the weakest Pokemon in the game. It's funny, like its stats are incredibly low. At least the first evolved form. Its stats are incredibly low. Oh, cool. We finally got it. Okay, so it took a few tries, but we did get it. Hooray! Oh, those guys get some, uh... Experience now too bad our fainted Pokemon didn't get anything. How do I go revive my fainted Pokemon? Do I need revives? Or is there anything like a Pokemon Center? You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone bit seeing someone best in Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old, Link. This is just like Breath of the Wild. We best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of before facing off against such a foot wait, are you gonna heal me up? I hope that means I'm healed up. Yeah! What's that? What in the world? Oh, wait a minute. That looks kind of like a Stantler. Oh my goodness. It's the great Weirdeer. I wonder if that's like a real Pokemon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it going to come and chat to us? I feel like we're in Narnia right now. We're in a fairy tale movie. Is it going to speak to us? Dot, 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 dot. Do you have the new Arceus phone? He looks upon you with kindness, ZX Many. I look back at him, blink. Oh, oh, I see. And then he walks away. I'd say the great Were Deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisoi while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Her face looks like she's going to say, if you know what I mean. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why is just like the ride Pokemon of Alola? Professor Laventon. Oh, Professor Laventon, CX Many. Ah, there you are, my friend. I've missed you so much. Captain Celine sent me. She said that once CX Many carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Ah, about that. I knew this was a joint decision by Adaman and the commander, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisoi region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Wire Deer has taken a liking to ZX Many as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. All right, we helped out May. How beautiful is that?
Okay, bye, May. Bye, May. So let's talk to our friend Akari now. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. I thought they were gonna say, like, maybe we shouldn't capture the Pokemon. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction construction corpse arrives. So what, are we setting up a new base over here? Oh, and maybe then we could, like, fast travel between bases? This is pretty cool. Well, oh, so I guess this is our base. We have a banner and two tents and a crafting table. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. Why don't you call it the Laventon Camp? Name it after yourself. <laughs> Look at his smile. From now on, when you set up from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. That is so nice. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. It will be. It will be, Akari. Nice work today, everyone! What say we all head back to the Wallflower? You want to eat more of those potato things, don't you? Man, look at all these people that we caught over here. Oh, and we got the Alpha Pokemon. Look how cool the Alpha Pokemon is on the bottom right there. Well, I guess it's bottom left. Let's see. Let's see, how did we do? Ten or more Pokemon in one report. Nice, nice. We have... Oh, and one Alpha Pokemon caught. Plus 3,900. Oh, man, that's nice. All right. Oh, I'm not able to reach the next rank yet. I'm pretty close to the next rank, but I haven't quite made it yet. Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, please. And make it for three today as well. It's like, yeah, yeah, I got it. This is what you guys order every day. Eat these potato things for the three of you. What is potato mochi? Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out investigating it this morning. The medical corpse has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Wait, is cleaver a Pokemon? Still, if further investigation is in order, the survey corpse will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure ZX many here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. No, no, you forget the strength of Pokemon are key to the information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. I don't need meals, I don't need food, I just want to go catch Pokemon, that's what I'm gonna do. I just want to go everywhere and catch all the Pokemon. That's what I'm ready to do. Let me catch some Pokemon. The next day... Oh, someone's knocking! Good morning, ZX Many! I was wondering if my friend was going to be here and she's knocking at the door. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Oh, the commander really wants to see me, huh? Wait, why am I not wearing my shoes? Where are my shoes? Oh, maybe you don't wear your shoes while you're home? Oh, I wonder if anything's in here. Oh! You can leave stuff in the item box because your satchel can only carry so many things. Okay, let's leave the Stardust. This is so interesting. Spoiled Apricorn is an item that had its insides eaten and hitting a Pokemon with one may stun a Pokemon. But otherwise, it's uh, not useful for anything. That's kind of funny. All right. How are you doing, Akari? Good morning. Oh, the lady in the background, she's like, huh, maybe I should uh, make them some more clothes. There you are. Let's hurry to headquarters. But I want to go catch more Pokemon. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing, bowing to a sham. Wait, who is this? I don't know who either of these people are. Almost looks like a Kingdom Hearts character. There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. So it's like time versus space. Ha! Huh, you could have... Ha! Huh. You can have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make use of vast Hisui's space? Better than some? It's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me get lost in almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis? You wish. I like the little wormhole in the background, too. I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. 
the rivalry between Diamond and Pearl over here. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who is going on and on about time, Adamant, leads the Diamond Clan. Wait, Adamant, it's like Adamant, like Adamant Orb, the item that you give to Diaga, that's so cool. The Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. Things used to be less peaceful, but the boss, I mean, the commander is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. I'm not ready to report to him. I want to get two stars first. Can I go catch some more Pokemon before I report to them? Actually, let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can catch another Pokemon before we report to them. Well, let's first see what these folks over here want. What do you want, sir? Is there something that I can give you? Do you want anything? Let's see. All right, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an Orenberry, then run while it's distracted. If I just stick to plan, I'll be fine. Oh, hello, survey goes well. I was just heading to the field lines to gather tumble stones, but I haven't got as many orange berries as I'd like. You familiar with orange berries? They restore HP to some Pokemon, some Pokemon. You know, throwing orange berries is a great way to distract Pokemon. Could you gather some orange berries for me? You know what? I will give you some orange berries. I've got a lot. Five of them? I don't know how many I have, but sure, you could have five. Treat everybody like a brother. There you go. I gratefully accept. Gosh, I can't believe you went through all the trouble of finding these just for me. Happy to help. There, ah, oh, you're really nice for someone who just fell out of the sky. That's such a funny life. Let's just tuck these away in my satchel. I won't let your kindness go to waste. Wish me luck with those tumble stones. Oh, so maybe if I talk to this guy in the future. Oh, three revives. That's great. I was thinking that maybe he'll give me tumble stones in the future. But right now, he already gave me some revives right now. Okay, am I allowed to leave or no? I need to stay safe out there. I am allowed to leave. Okay. Let's see. Wait, here's obsidian. Wait, can I go to the other one? Okay, I can choose Fieldlands Camp or Heights Camp. Okay, let's go to Heights Camp then. Need to switch up your Pokemon or buy items? Come on, buy. Wait, wait, wait. I've got 25 Pokeballs, so you know what? Let's craft some stuff. Oh, I can make heavy balls now. Too heavy to fly high or far, but it is highly effective if you manage it. An unsuspecting Pokemon. Does it also work on close Pokemon that aren't unsuspecting or no? Let's see. Let's make a few of those. How many of these can we make? Let's make another 20 of those. Let's make a... Uh, Oh, I can only make two of these. Oh, I guess maybe Vivid Choke is right. Or wait, or do I? Oh, I don't have a lot of medicinal leaks. Okay, how about these? I can't make a lot of these either. No, but we've got a good amount of potions. Now then, let's just go look for some Pokemon then. Because I'd love to get a few more points on our report so that once we go back to camp, then we'll reach level two. Oh, oh, and these are the leaks that we can pick, right? Yes, there we go. We got some medicinal leaks. Any Pokemon around here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do this. This is who we want. Rowlet. Let's send out our Rowlet over here. Let's go, bro. Fight me, bro. Fight me, bro. Let's go. I'll take you on. Let's go. Level 7 Geodude. I can take you out with a Leafage. Hopefully in a single hit. And... Yeah, there we go. Super effective. Let's go. Let's go. Any other Geodudes? Number of Geodudes defeated with Grass-type moves. Two out of two. Very nice. Okay, Rowlet. Take care of that for me. Get those for me. Oh, oh, a bird's over there, huh? I know what to do against a bird. Let's send out one of uh, these right here. Fight it! Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, we got a bird over here. I wonder if there's some kind of a... Uh, I wonder if we have some kind of task for... Defeating Starlies or defeating Starlies with Thundershock or something. Let's see. Number defeated. Two out of two. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Wait, wait. There's a Starly up there, too. Well, and let's stay in the grass over here. And let's see if maybe there's a... Uh... Can I lock onto it, please? Yeah, so let's battle another Starly. I think we might get something nice for defeating this Starly. Oh, I love how my Pokemon's up there. That No, it ran away. That's so sad. It's getting ready to catch it, then it ran away. Okay, let's get our Pokemon to defeat this right here. Take care of that for me, please. Okay, and now... Rowlet. I need you to take on these guys over here. These Geodudes, you can take him on. Oh, he's in the grass over there. He's hiding in there. Let's see. We can take him out with a leafage, though. And can we take out the other one with a leafage, too? Let's pick up these leaks. Let me pick up these leaks. Wait, it's alive. It's alive. Oh, it used Mud Slap. <laughs> Using Mud Slap on a flying Pokemon, you fool. Okay, but now that Geodude has been defeated. Okay, three out of five Geodudes defeated with grass-type moves. So if we could defeat two more Geodudes with grass-type moves, that would be amazing. 
Let's go like that. Ah, oh, it noticed me! I didn't think that that senpai over there would notice me. Okay, it's level 8, so maybe we can take it out with a single leafage. Let's see. Beautiful! Okay, I just want to take out one more Geodude. So let me take out one more Geodude. Any more Geodudes around here? Oh, you pick up that. Nice. Yes! One more Geodude right over there. Okay, now then... Let's just go like that. And did we get it? Unsuspectingly? Okay, level 9. I don't know if we can beat that in a single hit. It would be nice if we could, but I don't know if we can. And... Ah! So close! Okay, it's looking around, so let's just use another leafage here. And it should be taken out. Okay, super effective, very nice. Let's pick this plant over here. Now then, is there a way to fast travel? That is my question. Man, this is just such a fun game. It's so satisfying. You know what? Like, you guys could let me know in a comment if you enjoy playing Animal Crossing. Because I've played some Animal Crossing games before. I haven't played the newest Animal Crossing game yet. But... The, the kind of stuff that I enjoy in Animal Crossing is partially what makes this game so enjoyable. Like in Animal Crossing, it's satisfying to like go and dig up a fossil or go and pick some fruits off of a tree. And it's kind of sad, it's, it's kind of similar in this. It's like you're going around, you're collecting resources. You're like, yes, I am obtaining things. And I never thought that they're, oh wait, 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 wait. I don't think I've caught one of these before, have I? I don't remember if I've caught one of these before. My Pokemon's looking at it like, what? what is that? Okay, let's do a quick attack. Let's see, do we defeat it? Okay, good, we didn't defeat it, so you know what? Struggle bug, how strong is that? Pretty good! That's pretty good. Let's use a Pokeball on it. Because I can't remember if we've caught one of these before. I know that we saw one earlier when we attacked a tree, but I don't remember if we caught it or if it ran away. But let's see, okay, we did catch it. Okay, have we caught one before? Oh, okay, yeah, two out of three caught. Okay, so that's fine. Now then, there's a Pokemon in there. Do I want to defeat that? Nah, that one's all right. Not too worried about that one. Oh, another leak for us over here. But yeah, the one time where in Pokemon games where it has been also satisfying like this to go around and collect resources is, well, I guess berries. Berries are a really big one. I remember collecting a lot of berries and growing a lot of berries and having a big berry farm. Oh, I threw a tree instead of a... Or, or not, I threw a tree. I threw a Pokeball at the tree instead of throwing my Pokemon at the tree. But, uh, yeah, like, collecting collecting berries. I had so many berries and berry farms in Gen 3 in Pokemon Ruby, which is probably my most played Pokemon game. I put a ridiculous amount of hours into that game as a kid. I just always had my Game Boy with me. I was always playing that game. And... And the other thing is, in Pokemon Diamond, I remember you could plant these, uh... I remember you could plant these like gem things underground and then your gems would grow and then you could go and collect your gems. So that was another thing kind of similar to that. Kind of kind of makes me think of like Harvest Moon or like farming games or stuff like that. Or wait, I guess uh, Stardew Valley is probably a more popular one now. I don't know if Stardew Valley still is popular. I heard that updates and mods come out for Stardew Valley from time to time and then people are sometimes interested in that. You know what? Why not take on these guys? Let's take on some of these guys over here. Oh, that other Bidoof ran away. Oh, just a level four. That's uh. Kind of sad. I almost feel bad for doing this, but there might be like a what? How did we do so little damage? How did a level 16 do so little damage? Okay, you know what? Just for that, I'm gonna catch this Bidoof right here. Come here, bro. Bam! It was facing backwards, so I don't know if we get if we don't have a higher catch rate. It ran away. Come here. Come here! Stop it! You know what? I can't let it escape. It escaped! It escaped! Okay, you know what? Forget about that Bidoof. Oh, and I still gotta bring that guy mushrooms. Is this- wait, there's a guy around here that wanted mushrooms. It was this guy, the guy that looks like Link. I don't have any mushrooms for him, unfortunately. Oh. Hey, Professor, what are you doing here? Are you going to just suddenly appear over here when I go over here? I bet you are, aren't you? Okay, so let's go over here. Would you like to go report your survey results to the professor? Yes, but the professor is right behind me. Oh, here he is. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see the report. So I caught one of those. Total Pokemon caught. I get $118. Not a lot of money. Hey, it ain't much, but it's honest work. Seems like he made some new observations. Let's have a look. How many points do I get? 
No, I need 250 more still. Okay, you know what? Let's return to the village then. It's probably worth going back to the village. All right, Jubilee Village. Let's head on over to over here. Let's report to, are we reporting to the captain or who are we reporting to over here? Well, either way, we are going to head this way and we are going to report to whoever we have to report to. Whoa! Whoa, 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 that looked like I dove through the door. Hold on, that was so weird. I don't know if we actually dove through the door or if it was just a weird camera angle and our character disappeared for a second. Okay, where are we going now? We're going over there. Wait, is that a different room? Oh no, it's not a different room, it's this room. Wait a minute, are we checking this blackboard over here? Is that what we have to do? Let's investigate the blackboard. There are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Bothersome Bidoof, Zubat's eyes, never mind. Let's check Bothersome Bidoof. It seems a band of Bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Tsumugi from the security corps and see if you can set things in order. All right, and let's see. Can I check the other one? Can I also do Zubat's eye? Clarissa from the security corps has a request for us. Something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary if you please. Okay. There are no other requests. Okay, that is all. Professor, do you have anything to say? You know, I expected great things of you. Carry on the good fight out there. <laughs> all right, thank you. What are these? Are those orange berries? I wonder if those are orange berries there. Oh, oh, I have to go talk to someone on the top floor over there. Okay, so those over there, those are just side missions. Where we actually have to go is we have to go... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, this is this is the lady from the side quest, I think. Okay, let's see. Have a chat with me. Is this the Larissa lady or is it Clarissa? Oh, Radisha. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Ah, but it'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing. The best thing would be f would be for the stone to lift itself up at- Oh, I've got an idea! There's a Pokemon called Geodude that would be perfect for the job. You know what? I will give you back a Geodude. Let's do it. Wait, wait, wait. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? Because I do have a Geodude. I don't have it with me, but I imagine that I could probably just- Wait, catch a Geodude to give to Radish- Wait, it already says one out of one. Wait, oh, I guess I can't go through these doors. Where is that lady? Can I go through here? I guess I can't go through these doors. Can't find anyone over here, though. Sanqua. Nope. Oh, an Eevee! That is so cool! I would love to catch an Eevee. Okay, but I don't think there's anything here for us. Let's go up one more floor, then. Let's see, is there someone on the top floor that we have to see? Oh! Oh, 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 all these guys are in here! That's right, that's right! This is where we have to go to continue. Oh, I wanted to dive into them. What do you intend to do about that cleaver, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing! We can't sit back and let him rage on! You do get right to the point, gentlemen. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's connected. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do- seems someone's got something to do here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool! Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. Maybe a Pokemon parasite went into his brain and is controlling him. I'd like to know that myself, too. This is a first as far as my clan knows. Ah, oh, I see you've arrived. Oh, do I get to settle this? This is ZX Many, the newest members of the Survey Corps. Oh, I hear from Mai you've earned Wiredeer's favor. Oh yeah, that's right, the Wiredeer. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adamin, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's just a mouthful. Call me Adamin. If you come from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I love space. Did I ever tell you that I love space? I'm from the Pearl Clan. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you have really passed through that rift? Oh man, she's quite suspicious. You know, that's, to be fair, that is something to be suspicious of. I have a proposition. Why not send this kid to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift? This newcomer with no experience, says the leader with almost no experience. Oh, 
Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of space! Well... Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. Oh man, this guy's smart. Adam Man is smart. Oh man, his logic checks out over here. Because the girl's like, hey, this guy's new! And then the guy goes, but wait a minute, you're also new. And the girl goes, but being new doesn't matter! And he goes, exactly, so we should let the new kid go. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are. What, with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you? That whole practice bothers me! Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout! That's so interesting! We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them! Whoa, yeah, you know, this is the first person who's having thoughts like this. Like, let's not put Pokemon in these little balls. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can lift- Is that really why? Is that really why? Is it really not to control them? This is your mission now to see x many. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of this situation. I accept or- Uh, I accept. Of course I accept. Let's go. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. The frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. All right. Well, that's settled. And there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned, is Cleaver a person or a Pokemon? I can't tell. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Hisoi region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clan, understand? Yes. Oh, and here's the captain behind us. Join me downstairs, ZX Mini. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Let's go. Oh, and it doesn't bring me to her immediately. I actually have to walk down the stairs. Wow, I thought, can I jump over this? Oh, I can't jump over that. That's so sad. I was hoping I'd be able to jump over that. Maybe it's because they don't want you to take fall damage in this game, but man, rolling down the stairs like that must be quite dangerous. Oh, Akari, hello, I haven't seen you in so long, Akari. All right, here we are, I'm here, Commander. Is Akari going to come help me? Oh, good, you're here! Professor Leventon, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it, so see us, man. I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's friendly, frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Kiva is a mighty thing, nigh invincible. Okay, so I'm guessing it is a Pokemon. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Kiva when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. Wait, so is it impossible to capture? I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. We are ready to do it. Very well then, let's go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl Clan revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh, in quotes. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these, poke to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble's Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offering they normally leave for this cleaver. Oh what, do they leave them like berries or something as offerings? Man, that person has a lot on their desk. Yes, many. We need to speak with you. Oh, it's my and uh, and this guy. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself rides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is, the one that rules over time. So, if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's power. Think of it. You must have been swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver. Quell his frenzy. You certainly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. We are just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh ho! You must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those Galaxy Team of all people to help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of- Oh, so there's another wild Pokemon. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've got- we've all got to share his soy, And that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope they've got. Yeah, I am the ultimate Pokemon trainer. Okay, we gotta go to Grand Trio Arena in the very heart of Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blunt, you know? Wait, at first I was gonna say, wait, look, there's a bear on her shirt, but it's actually an Ursaring, I think. 
Is Ursaring the evolved form? I can't remember if Ursaring is- Yeah, Teddy Ursa is the first form, and then it's Ursaring, I'm pretty sure. He'll tell you all about his beloved cleaner. Whether you wish him to or not, that's funny. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. All right. Bye, diamond guy. He certainly left quickly once she had finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Yeah, that's what the Diamond Clan is known for. Adamant and my weren't wrong, you know. You study and perhaps even quell Cleaver. You'd best start by visiting his abode. Are you gonna come with me? Our new heights camp would be a great handy place for heading out towards the Grain Tree Arena. You should stop by the pastures too. You'll get to choose the Pokemon you want to bring. You know what? Let's go stop by the pastures because we haven't stopped by the pastures yet. What Pokemon do we have with us? Do we have our Alpha Cricket? Oh, Baggin. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across? Satchel always seeming full? My character looks so shocked, it's like he's caught in the middle of an infomercial. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. I have a brand new satchel to offer you. He just nods. All right, fine, I'll talk to you. All right. You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you'd like to teach me. How do I pack things in? A fee of only 100 pro, of course. Lend me your ear. What, do I have more room in my bag? You've made space to keep one more kind of item. Ah, only one more, that's sad. That's all there is to it. See how much more? What a great deal. Wait, is there more? Teaching fee is 200, wait. How long can we continue this? Okay, we can add one more item to our satchel. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my goodness, I wonder how long we can do this for. Let's see, 300 to store another item in our satchel. I wonder what the limit is. It looks like every time the cost goes up by 100 and then you get one more space for your satchel. So it's pretty cheap at first, but it gets kind of expensive. Okay, so we have five more slots in our bag now. I think that's pretty useful. Okay, I think that's enough, that's enough. That's enough, thank you. There's a time when a single item can mean the difference between life and death. You know, it's like he just wants you to spend all of your money on him. To just keep getting more spots for your satchel. Okay, let's go stop by the nursery. Was it the nursery? The pastures, that's what it's called. So the pastures are going to be down here. Are these the kids who are like, we can't speak to suspicious strangers. Okay, so let's go over here, across this bridge. And over here, can we change our Pokemon? You there, Mary. The pastures house the many Pokemon you catch. Collect them from here and change up your party. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? Yes, I do. You know what? Badoof has almost evolved. I gotta keep these guys with me. Beautifly, I guess, doesn't matter anymore, so let's leave Beautifly. I wonder if Burmy evolves or not. Let's see, you know what? Let's take Ponyta with us so we have a fire type. And you know what? Let's take Boizel with us so we have a water type. Now I think we have a pretty good team. Well, our Boizel is level two. And maybe we could go and evolve our Zubat in the future. We could probably go evolve our Geodude in the future. Maybe we could even go catch another Geodude because we've only got one. I don't know if Burmy evolves. I can't remember if Burmy evolves or not. But we've got a pretty solid looking team over here. If only we could uh, get some better levels. All right, let's head out now. I'm ready to head out. Wait, is someone stopping me before we head out? Is this a cutscene? Let's see, we're walking. How are things, my good friend? Is it the Link guy? Yes, Link. The hero of Hyrule. I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. I am, thank you. Do you have another tip? Wait, super potions? I could have super potions? Oh my goodness, supporting me is an invent- But bro, where are you even? This guy has a shop somewhere, but he just keeps giving me free stuff. I should go buy some stuff from him sometime. You know what? I learned that in a book about persuasion. If you want to persuade someone, do something nice for them or give them something for free and people will feel like they have an obligation to help you. Okay, wait, Fieldlands camp or Heights camp? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Field Lens is this one, huh? You know what? I'll just go see if there's some Pokemon on the way to catch. Wait, what are you? D. Lee Lee, is that how it goes? Wait, what did you want? You wanted a Cricketot, isn't it? Or the evolved form? Let's see, what do you want? Wait, you're from the Survey Corps? I want to learn more about Cricketot, okay? Let's see. If you could get Cricketot's page. Oh, oh, we need to, like, fully fill up everything about the Cricketot. Okay, so it's like you have to, like, Catch 25 of them. Oh my goodness, we are 800 away from where we have to go. That's quite far. But you know what? What we could do as we make our way over there is take on some of these guys. I'm sure we could probably take out this Bidoof pretty easily. It's a level four Bidoof. We can, oh, I was gonna say we could obviously defeat it very easily, but it ran away. Okay, some more Bidoofs over here. You know what? Let's go. Battle them Bidoof. Let's go, or battle the Bidoof, I mean. Oh, level two, okay. We're definitely defeating the level two Bidoof, right? Let's do bite. Not even same type. 
Oh, it's almost defeated. It's keeping its guard up. No! No, I should've used the different attack. That's so sad. Oh, times you've seen bite. One out of one. Okay, so that filled up. Bidoof, come here! Come here, here Bidoof! Come to me, Bidoof! You're not gonna fight me, are you? Fight me, bro. I dare you. Oh, it just disappeared. Let's see, there's a Staravia over there. You know what? Why not fight it? Why not fight it? We should be able to take it out. Fight! Okay, we'll use a Thunder Fang. Maybe there's a Pokedex entry for using the attack Thunder Fang a bunch. So let's do that. Let's see. Let's go use Thunder Fang. No! It avoided the attack. We've got 95% accuracy. Oh, I'm surprised that it's actually fighting back. Okay, let's use a Thunder Fang over here. That'll take it out in one hit, right? Yes, that's what you get, Starly. Okay, wait, and I saw that there were some of these to pick over here, so let's pick those. Oh, there's a Pokemon in there. I don't know what it was. Okay, there are a bunch of Wurmples around. You know what? This will be a great opportunity to use our Ponyta. I don't know if our Ponyta has any Fire-type attacks, though. Let's see what our Ponyta has. I think Ash had a Ponyta in, uh, in the Pokemon anime, if I remember correctly. Well, there was an episode with one. I don't know if Ash owned it or if he just used it in a race. Okay, let's see. Oh, cool. We got a spoiled acorn. Let's take out another one of these. Our Ponyta will be great. It's nice having a Fire-type Pokemon, because I almost always started with Fire-type starters in Pokemon games. Like, I always had Charmander, Cyndaquil, Torchic. Absolutely love those. I even had Chimchar. And at first, when I got Chimchar, I didn't like Chimchar as much, because I thought that Piplup, Piplup and Turtwig are both amazing options. But in hindsight, Chimchar is pretty cool. The evolved form of Chimchar is pretty cool. It can learn some cool moves. So Chimchar is all right after all. Man, how are we still level seven? Let's see, maybe after this fight, or sorry, how are we still level six? Maybe after this fight, we'll finally get to level seven. Let's use an Ember over here, taking out these Wurmples over here. Do we get any uh, Pokedex entries for defeating Wurmples? Oh, four out of six Wurmples defeated. You know what? I think there's another Wurmple nearby. Was there another Wurmple nearby? Oh, right there. There it is. Okay, so now this will be five out of six Wurmples defeated. So if I get one more Wurmple defeated, that'll be another Pokedex entry, and then we'll get some more points, so that'll be nice. Okay, so let's do that. We've got... Wait, do we have one star or do we have two stars? I can't remember if we reached the second star yet. I know that we were close to reaching another star level up, but I can't remember if it's because we almost reached star number... Oh, oh, what's in there? There's something in there. I don't know what it is. Is it a Wurmple? Wait... No, that sound is a Bidoof. That's a Bidoof. Okay. Is Bidoof water? Or is it normal? Okay, it's burned. He used Brawl Up. That's super effective. So that's not good. So you know what? Why not catch the Bidoof? Why not catch another Bidoof? Because there's probably some kind of bonus for catching a bunch of Bidoofs. So let's just try to catch it. It's burned, so maybe we have a higher catch rate over here. So hopefully this is okay. Please don't escape. Good. We caught another Bidoof. Very nice. Yeah, we haven't been using Pokeballs in a while. Oh, four out of six Bidoofs caught. Oh, oh, and one over there. So you know what? Let's catch that guy right over there. And it's turned around. So can we just catch it from full like this? Okay, and Ponyta, you take out this tree for me. Oh, and there's a Bidoof over there in the background. Okay, and we did catch that Bidoof. Oh, another Ponyta over there. Okay, so I kind of want to catch this Bidoof. And maybe if we catch the Ponyta, that might also be cool. Okay, let's see. Can I get it from here? That is the question. Let's see. How good is my aim? Let's try. Oh, it moved. It moved. Where are you going, bro? Oh, 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 I sent out a Ponyta instead of catching a... Let's see. Oh, we only have one bar. Let's see. Nice, we caught... Okay, what about a Ponyta? Can we catch a Ponyta? Let's see. Let's aim onto it. Let's try and get it from behind. Because if you get it from behind, then you have a better shot. Stop turning around to face me! I'm trying to catch you from behind. I'm trying to use the backlash technique. Stop facing me! Stop it! Stop it. Other... Okay, good, good, good. Now, let's see if we can get it. Let's see. Or do we have to battle you? Okay, cool. We cut it. Two out of two Ponytas cut. Okay, so that's another entry in the Pokedex. Number of heavy specimens you caught. Oh, so Ponyta is considered a heavy specimen, I guess. Let's see. What level are my Pokemon? Oh, man. Boizel's level six. Oh, Rapidash. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, is that an Alpha Rapidash? Because it has red eyes. I think that means it's an Alpha Rapidash. Can I just catch it like this? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't face me. Face the other way. Face the other way, bro. Face the other way, bro. Don't face me. Don't face me. Go the other way. I'm going into the grass. Going into the tall grass. There's an item to get here. Let me pick those medicinal leeks. Now, let's see. Oh, man. We found an alpha rabbit ash. Let me get it. Oh, it's like it didn't care. I don't know if it's because it was too far. Ah! Ah, did it notice me? Okay, let's see. Let's see. This is quite scary. 
Let's sneak up on it. Let's sneak up on it. Will this count as going from behind? Oh wait, I, it had a little X on it. Does that mean that it won't fight? It's running away! Don't run away. We must, oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Battle, 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 protect me, Pokemon! <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. The Rabidash is failed with Wild Might. What level is it? Level 40, level 40. I might have my entire team die to this. Oh, Rabidash was damaged by Recoil. Okay, that's actually great. Uh, you know what? Let's send out a Ponyta. Let's see how well this Ponyta can work. And I wonder if I'll have a better shot at catching it if I use Heavy Balls now. Let's see, what attacks do I have? Tackle, Ember? Should I try and damage it? No, you know, I think I should just try and use these balls. Let's see, I'll sneak up on it from behind like this. And let's throw a Heavy Ball at it. Let's see. How does that work? Do I have a better shot at catching it? Let's see. No, it broke free! Oh no, that's so sad. Okay. Agile style, okay. Hypnosis, sure, use hypnosis, that's fine. I'll just keep using these heavy balls and I'll try to catch you. Whoa, oh, and it got to go twice, okay. And it used double edge gate, so it did take out my Ponyta. Let's see. Let's see, Rabidash is hurt by the recoil, so its HP is going a bit lower. Does Bidoof have any water attacks? Does anyone have any water attacks? I don't think I have anyone with any water attacks. Ah, this one has Aqua Jet, but it's fainted. All right, let's see. Let's send up Bidoof over here. Gotta just keep using these Heavy Balls. Hopefully we can capture it. I don't know if Heavy Balls give us a higher capture rate than Pokeballs while we are in a battle, or if it's only while you sneak up on a Pokemon. Now the Pokemon escaped. Okay, use Hypnosis, that's fine. Let me use some more balls. Oh, Fire Blast! And we couldn't dodge it. Okay, of course we're defeated by Fire Blast. Let's use Quick Attack. We'll try and do a bit of damage on it, get its HP a bit lower. Hypnosis. Run, Pokemon, run! Oh, cool, we get to go again. So you know what? I'll use a Heavy Ball right now, then. Let's throw a Heavy Ball from up close. It's just looking at me. It's like, what are you doing? Why are you throwing that Pokeball at me? Let's see. No, I don't know if we'll be able to catch it. Because, man, even the Cricketot was kind of hard to... Oh, it grew enraged. Its attack and defensive stats went up. Okay, I used Fire Blast. I think that means we're dead. Yep. Come back, Staravia. Let's send out a Grass-type Pokemon against an Alpha Rabidash. Should I use a Revive? I don't know if it's even worth using a Revive. Because if I use a Revive, then it's like... It's probably just gonna attack this Pokemon and defeat it this turn. Oh! No, it uses Hypnos. Oh wait, but now it's probably gonna get to attack again. Will it get to attack again? Yeah, its speed is so great that it gets to attack again. Okay, so using a revive is actually kind of pointless. Let's see. Oh, offensive stats were returned to normal. Okay, and defensive stats were returned to normal. That's fine. Okay, I basically have one more shot to keep it, because I don't want all of my Pokemon to faint. Let's try using a normal Pokeball, and let's see if we have a better shot with this. Man, its HP is so high, and it's an Alpha Pokemon, so it's hard to catch. Let's see if we are able to run away from it. Nope, it escaped from the ball. Rabbit has grew enraged. I would like to run. I would like to run, please. I would like to run. Like, look at that little Ponyta facing off against the Rabidash. Go, Luxie. Okay, it's my final Pokemon. Should we run away or should I try to capture it? I think I should try to run. Can we run? Are you sure you want to run away? Yes. You decide to battle some other time. Does that mean it sees me? Ah! Ah! Oh, it's chasing after me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I kind of want to sneak up on it and try to capture it. Ah, oh, man. I wish we could capture it. I wish we could capture it. I don't think that we'd be able to control it because it's too high of a level. Right now, I think we can only control Pokemon like up to level 20 or so. Oh, it's a Drift Blim. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, who would have expected to see one of those? What's that fire up there? I can't tell that. Wait, Drift Blim, where did you go? Why did you run? There you are. Let's catch it. Bam. Can we catch it, please? Please let me catch it. Please. Hooray! We actually got- wait. Is that a Charmander over there? No, that's not a Charmander. It's just some shiny thing. Hey, there's a bunch of Bidoof over here. 
Let's just go and get that Bidoof right there. Okay, that one seems easy to capture, so we're probably getting that one. Oh, whoa, whoa, what about the other one? Ah, oh, the other one's running away. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, almost all my Pokemon are fainted, so I can't even send them out to uh, pack these trees for me. Okay, so let's head this way. Oh, there's a bunch of Drift Limbs! Man, there are just Drift Limbs everywhere! Okay, so let's go like this. How's that one? Not a super high chance of catching it, so let's try to get behind it. And there we go. Hopefully that's good. Now, what is this? Because this is shiny, so I want you to get that for me. Not sure why it's shiny, but I like that it's shiny. Wait, who's looking at me? Who is aggressive? Who is aggressing me right now? I am being aggressed. Oh, don't run, bro. Don't run, bro. Don't run, bro. I'm gonna get you. Why is there that red mark? There's a Pokemon somewhere that wants to attack me. Whoa! There's a Drift Limb right behind me. Whoa! Dodge it! Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Oh, oh, it is, it is upset, so it doesn't want to battle. Ah! It's right behind me, it's right behind me, it's right behind me. Let's see, where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go, bro? Oh my goodness, there are three of them. There are three of them. Let's see. Can I still sneak up on them or no? No, that one doesn't want to fight now. Because it is angry. Okay, I'm going to leave the angry Pokemon alone. There's some Wurmples over there. What is this? I don't know what it is. Oh, it's just a Wurmple. Okay, okay, let's catch the Wurmple. How about the Drift Blend? Can I catch the Drift Blend? I guess these Pokemon are showing up because it's nighttime. That's my guess. Okay, cool. We got three out of three Wurmples. You can probably get some stuff for catching Drift Blims. Okay, so let's sneak up on this Drift Blim over here. And bam, that should work. We got it from behind. Hopefully that works okay. Oh, no, he noticed me. Senpai has noticed me. So I'm gonna run away because he wants to fight now. Let's do that. Swap to this. Oh, that guy also noticed me. That's not good. That's not good. That is not good. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, you know what? We're also running low on Pokeballs, so you know what? I think now might be a good time to basically go back, heal up, and then get set for the next journey when we are ready. Let's see. Climb up here. Thank you, bro. Okay, get this tree for me, bro. Thank you, bro, for getting that tree for me, bro. You're a good bro. Ah, oh, it noticed me. Hoping that it wouldn't notice me. It's got dot, dot, dot. Let's see. Oh, it's teleporting. Where are you teleporting to, bro? Where are you teleporting to, bro? Ah, oh, man. Small chance of catching it. You know what? Gotta get behind it. And bam! There we go. Before it becomes daytime, I'm gonna catch you. Hopefully catch you. Let's see. How about this guy? Bam! Catching that guy too. Yes! Three out of three drift limbs caught. That is nice. Okay, now then, what about this guy? Can we catch this guy too? Let's see. Eight out of 12 Bidoofs caught. So if we get 12 Bidoofs, then that'll be uh, another nice advantage for us. Now let's see, anything to collect up here? Oh no, you can't collect those. I was thinking maybe you could collect those. All right, let's head back, let's head back. Can I like heal all of my Pokemon somewhere? Need to switch up your Pokemon or buy items? Come on, buy. I can craft some stuff. You know what? Let's craft some stuff. We have 10 potions. Don't have a lot of revives. You know what? Let's make some more revives. That's nice. Let's craft some more potions. Let's craft some more of these. Oh, we can make a lot of those now. Let's make, uh, 30 more of those. Let's make, like, six more of those. Okay, so now we've got some more heavy balls, too. Wait, rest. Does this let us heal? Uh, rest. Oh, you can choose to make it, like... Like morning, midday, or night, or whatever, if you want to specifically hunt Pokemon at a, at a certain time. Okay, so my Pokemon are all healed up now, right? Yes, there we go. Okay, can I teleport somewhere else? Can you take me to somewhere else? You've caught 10 Pokemon. Care to report your findings? Sure. Let's see, how's this report? Am I going to reach level 2 now? Let's see. Or am I going to reach the next level? Wow, nice. Plus, one, plus 1,816. Seems you made some new observations. Let's have a look. Most eliminating? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see, how many points do I get? 300! All right, we reached the next level! Splendid first results! I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank! Report back to Captain Silene! Okay, so, you know what? Oh, 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 no, 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 I wanted to teleport out. You know what, let's just go back to the village over here. Huh, should I go to Silene first? Wait, would you like to go to Jubilee Village? Yes. Should I go to Silene first and get my star upgrade? Or should I start heading to that Cleaver Pokemon? Let's go to that. Let's go to Silene first while we are here. Then she'll give us the next star, and then we can start heading to Cleaver because that's the main, that's the main storyline objective that we have right now. Oh wait, 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 wait! There's someone over there. Do I have something to give them, or do they want a task? It's so easy to get distracted in this game. There are so many things to do. Wait, what did you want? I can't remember what you wanted. 
You seem to be someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? What do you need? I'd be very, very grateful if you tried to craft something with using a special recipe I came up with. Okay, what do you want me to craft? So without further ado, here's the recipe! What is the recipe? Pokeshi dolls! Recipe for crafting Pokeshi dolls needs three logs of wood. Is this Minecraft? Oh, oh, he wants me to make him some? Please make me a Pokeshi doll. Okay, he wants me to bring it to him. Do I have any logs? Wait, wait, wait. I have zero wood. Okay, well, I have to go get some wood then. All right, well, first, let's head up here. Oh, there's the guy with his wormpole. He wants to evolve his wormpole. We brought him that wormpole. Silane, I'm ready for my next rank. Hello, Akari. Are you proud of me? I hope you're proud of me. Our investigation for the commander will grind to a halt if you become incapacitated. I should like to avoid that outcome. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If you have progress, yes, yes, yes. I would like to report my progress. I am ready for rank two, star number two, please. Ha! Huh, you've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Hooray! Are you rank star number two? I wonder if we need that to reach Cleaver, or if we don't need that until later. You can now use feather balls. Pokemon up to level 30 will now avoid, uh, avoid. Not, not avoid. Listen to you in battle. Okay. Well, oh, now do we get recipes for feather balls? Interesting. One apricorn and one sky tumble stone. Oh, nice. And we could make, uh, super potions. Okay, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. Thank you. Hi, Akari. I got a mission to do, so I'll see you and Abra later. You're welcome to come along if you'd like. All right, let's get going then. Super excited. Okay, so we don't want to go to... Fieldlands, I think Fieldlands or whatever it was called that brings us to Obsidian Mines. So we probably want to go to- wait. These darn Bidoof! Oh wait, I have to do something with a bunch of Bidoof, don't I? There's a mission with some Bidoof. Heading outside, stay safe out there, kid. I will, I will. Okay, so let's go to Heights Camp, not Fieldlands Camp. So this will bring us much closer to where we have to go, and then we'll go sooner to where we have to go. Okay, so we have to go that way right now. That's where we have to go. Oh, I wonder if in the settings there's a way to turn off these markers where you have to go. Because it is quite convenient knowing where you have to go. But I imagine some people, they might want to play without that. Some people might just want to, like, find out where to go on their own. Let's see, can we get that guy from here? Oh, not a good throw. Uh-oh, is he getting angry? He's probably gonna run away. You coward, Starly! You're a coward! Wait, what is that? Is this a plant to pick? Nice, pep up plant. That's the one that we use in super potions. I kind of want to just dive down this cliff. Bro, are you gonna fight me? Oh, you're just flying away, okay. Do we go down the cliff? Do we jump down the cliff? Or do we take the long way around? Yeah, let's do it. We will jump off the cliff at the highest point. This is very dangerous. Do not try this at home, kids. Whoa! Wait, do we take fall damage? Wait, am I dead? Oh my goodness, you actually take fall damage? Everything went black. Wow. Items you dropped when you faint, you lose items. Oh no. Oh no, that is so sad. It seems you are rescued. Oh, that's so sad. I didn't think that you could take fall damage in this game. Oh man, so you actually want to not jump off the cliff. I would have never thought that fall damage would be a concept in Pokemon games. My goodness. Okay, let's see. Let's try to use our ponytail as much as we can. Oh, nice, 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 nice. You know I want to catch that guy right there. Ah, uh, he noticed me. He noticed me. So let's see. Who do we want to send out against? You know what? Let's send out a Boizel. Let's see. We could probably use Aqua Jet. And using a bunch of Aqua Jets is something that you want to do for uh, filling up the Pokedex entry for this guy. Okay, super effective. That's nice. Using Rollout. Miss, bro. Ha, you missed. Ha, ha. Ha, huh. how do you like that, Geodude, huh? How do you like that? Where are you going, bro? I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at you from right here. Take that. Okay, and hopefully we can catch it, because its HP is pretty low. I think there's maybe someone that wanted a Geodude. I wonder if you have to trade Pokemon to evolve them in this game, like you do in other games. Because normally Geodude doesn't evolve into the evolved form until you trade it. So I wonder if it's the same in, uh... Wonder if it's the same in this game as in other Pokemon games. Okay, let's catch that guy. From behind, hopefully we could get him like that. We snuck up on him. Man, it's kind of hard to sneak up on a Starly. You really have to be crouching for a while. Otherwise, they notice you. They're pretty good at noticing you. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Face backwards. Face backwards, bro. Face backwards, bro. Let me get you from behind. Let's go like that. Nope, my Pokeball missed. Go. Hopefully we get that one. 
All right, I'm just gonna continue. To oh, a parasect! A parasect! That is the evolved form of Paris. Okay, is it Parasite or Parasect? Oh, I kind of want to go down here. Can I go down here without sliding and getting severely hurt? Let's see. Oh, wait, and I gotta crouch. Let me crouch. Uh, notice me! Oh! Oh, 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 it's an Alpha Parasect. It's not just a Parasect, it is an Alpha Parasect. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Whoa! Run, run! Oh, and there's a little one nearby. Okay, 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 let's see. Oh! Oh man, 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 oh man. It might attack from anywhere, you know? Attack this guy right here! Attack him! Attack him! Okay, let's fight this one. Hopefully we can catch this guy. Level 10, and you know, we are level 8. So I'm gonna use Ember. Hopefully we don't defeat it. Let's see. Okay, we defeated it. Wait a minute, maybe that means that we can catch the other one. Oh, and it has some items. Okay, so, let's save. Okay, great time to save right now. Now then, can we sneak up on it? That'd be great if we could sneak up on it. No, you might notice this. Look at its red eyes. It noticed us! Fight! Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go, can we attack first? Can we attack first? Let me attack first, please. Let's get an ember out on it, that would be amazing. Yes! How much damage does that do? Not a lot, and that was a critical hit, my goodness. Well, I guess it's a much higher level than me. Am I paralyzed now? Oh, I'm asleep, uh-oh. Uh, you know what, let's try to wake up. Oh, cool, I woke up some, wait a minute. I'm, as oh, I'm drowsy, it's not that I'm asleep, it's I'm drowsy, okay. What is that, sludge bomb? Well, whatever it was, it was very powerful. Okay, Parasect's HP is kind of low. We might have a shot at catching it. Let's see. It's funny that uh, a lot of the... Wait, wait, wait. Aerial Ace, Air Slash. Let's use Gust. I don't want to be... And let's use Agile Cell. I don't want to be too quick. Or sorry, I don't want to do too much damage. Let's see. Gust does a bit. Can I do one more Gust? It used Rest! Oh, oh, but now... Now, since it's drowsy, maybe that means I'll have a better shot at catching it. And... We could also use some powerful attacks now. Air Slash, how much damage will that do? Whoa, man, that's a lot of damage. Okay, too drowsy to move. Now might be a good time to catch it. Throw a Pokeball, yes. It's level 30 and it's drowsy, so maybe we have a good shot at catching it. Let's see, because Alpha Pokemon are supposed to be tough to catch. Nope, it broke free. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's to be expected. It used Slash. Does that defeat me in a single hit? Yes, it does, because it's level 30 and it's an Alpha Pokemon. Let's send out Bidoof next. Man, I keep getting distracted by Alpha Pokemon. When I see an Alpha Pokemon, I'm like, I have to capture it. Okay, let's see. It's still drowsy right now. So, hopefully we can catch it. Its HP is pretty low. Let's see. Yes! Okay! That's amazing! Oh man, I'm so glad that it used rest. I think that made it much better. I think that gave us a much better shot at capturing it. That's amazing. Okay, Ponyta has fainted. You know what? I'll use a revive right now then. Because I don't want my Ponyta to be fainted. I actually do want to train my Ponyta. So let's see. Do we have potions? Yeah, and let's use a potion too. There we go. That is so cool that we caught that alpha Pokemon. We've got two alpha Pokemon now. Oh, oh, and I'm pretty sure. Wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't get to sneak up on it. Let's see. Where is it now? Does it notice me? I'd love to catch a Paris by just sneaking up on it and throwing a ball at it. Oh, there's one over there. Let's see. Whoa! Oh, that's the Paris that's attacking me. I'm like, what's going on here? Okay, and there's one right beside me, too. Well, maybe there's a Pokedex entry for defeating a bunch of these guys, and it's a good opportunity to use Paris. Or, sorry, it's a good opportunity to use Ponyta, because Ember will defeat these guys easily, because it's super effective on them. So we'll hopefully be able to train our Ponyta pretty well. Okay, let's use another Ember on this guy over here. Level 12 Paris. Bam! You're defeated, right? Bam! Out in a single hit. Okay, now what about that guy over there? Can he notice us? That is the question. Okay, there's one right over there. Let's see, can we notice you? Or can we get to you without you noticing us? That is the question. Let's see. Bam! How's that? Let's see, we got it from behind. I think we're catching it. I think we're catching it. I'm just gonna go for that. Yeah, we got a Paris. Let's go, everybody. We got a Paris. Oh, 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 and two of my Pokemon can evolve. I didn't even notice that these guys can evolve. Okay, let's check on my team. Let's evolve Bidoof first. Bidoof is ready to evolve. And we're gonna get to see what the second form evolution of Rowlet is like, because I've actually never seen that one. I know what this guy evolves into. It evolves into the sitting thing that looks like Barney, except it's a beaver. It's like the beaver version of Barney. I think that's the best way to do it. Man, it looks evil as it's transforming. Oh, for some reason I thought that it'd be sitting. Okay, but it's just like that. And now, let's evolve our Rowlet. Let's see what the evolved form of Rowlet is gonna be like. What an adorable little owl. Let's see what it evolves into. Let's see, does it become something scarier or more deadly? Let's see. 
Will it remind me of Hoot Hoot also? Let's see. Ah! I love his hair! Oh my goodness! Dartex. Is it partially a dark type? It looks so cool. It reminds me of something out of Super Paper Mario. It almost looks like a Super Paper Mario character, which is pretty hilarious. Okay, did that guy notice me? Okay, it didn't notice me. Uh, I don't have a good chance of catching it because it's not facing backwards. It's just face backwards, bro. Just face backwards, bro. Let's go like this. And let me get you from behind like that. Bam! Okay, hopefully we can catch that guy. There's a cricket tot over there. You know what? We want to catch the cricket tot. Oh, nice. Two out of two Paris caught. That's great. What's over there? More Paris. Um. You know what? Let's go for the Paris. Let's go for the Paris. We're going to sneak up on him. Let's go. Come here, Paris, 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 Paris. Come here, Paris. Bam! Got him from behind. Nice try, Paris. But you're obviously getting caught. When you sneak up on a Pokemon from behind, it is amazing. Oh! A Burmy leaped out at me. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we do have a Burmy. We have two of them, actually, I'm pretty sure. So you know what? I'll just try to catch it. Let's just try throwing a Pokeball. Let's see. It's a level 10, though, so we might not be able to catch it. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, of course it escaped. Struggle bug. Oh, 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 I think seeing the move struggle bug like three times or something is actually a Pokedex entry. So seeing this guy use struggle bug a bunch is actually good for us because I think we'll now be three out of three for C struggle bug after this fight. Wow, we didn't get to catch it again. Is it gonna run away? Okay, use a struggle bug again. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? I will just fight then. Let's just do Ember. If we defeat it in one hit, that's fine. Okay, but we didn't. So I'll still try to catch it. I'll just try to catch it with a Pokeball then. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so Pokeballs should be able to catch it now. It's nice having so many Pokeballs. I'm just going around collecting resources, creating my own Pokeballs. Oh, and I've got all this money too. Still escaped? Bro. The, the Alpha Paris. The Alpha Evolved form of Paris was more difficult to catch than this guy. You're a level 10 Burmy, you shouldn't be difficult to catch. Let's go, come on, just let me catch you. Thank you, thank you. We caught the Burmy. Okay, oh, and it leaves behind an item. Okay, number caught, three out of three. Nice, nice, nice. And wait, okay, yeah, oh, seen Struggle Buggy was seven out of 12 times, my goodness. Oh, there's a Paris over there, probably gonna wanna fight. That's okay, we have seen enough Parises. And we have fought enough Parises. You know what? Should we fight one more? You know what? It wants to fight me. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready to fight you then, bro. You want to fight Paris? You want to fight? Let's go. Let's use an Ember on it. And after that, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run away because I know that we are winning the fight with that. Yeah, we defeated Paris. Of course we defeated Paris. So Paris. Okay. Take care of that tree for me, please, Ponyta. Okay. Anyone else interesting around here? Cricketot? Eh, not too worried about the Cricketots. We already have some Cricketots. I wonder if there's any interesting Pokemon around the beach. Okay, there's one of these things that we could use to make healing items. Are those both Starlies? Okay, they're both Starlies. Starlies just run away once you see them. They're very timid. Okay, and we definitely want to get a lot of those. Now then, do we want another Bidoof? We want another Bidoof? Getting some more Bidoofs might be good. Face the other way. Face backwards, bro. Face backwards, bro. Face backwards, bro. Bro, face backwards or I won't catch you. I know you want to be caught. Stop facing me. You know what? I'm gonna go for that guy over there then, that bird. I know that we already have this bird, but we've never caught one. We've only seen them. I mean, uh, we've only evolved a Starly into that, but we've never... Wait. Are you following... Bro, I haven't caught you yet. You know what? I'm gonna catch you then. Bam! How do you like that? Huh? Following me around? I'll catch you then. Okay, let's go like this. And... Can we catch that guy? Let's see, because we snuck up on him from behind. So hopefully we can get him. There we go. Number caught, two out of two. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We get a bonus for that. Now then, this is the evolved form of Bidoof. So you know what? Let's see if we can sneak. Oh, wait. It looks like the evolved form of Bidoof. Just face backwards, bro. Face backwards, bro. Bro, face the other way. Face the other way, bro. See, it's paused. It's like it knows that I'm coming towards it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. It's sitting now. But now we should be able to get it. Any Pokemon in the water? I wonder if we could get like a Magikarp or something. Okay, one of you guys over there. I'm not too worried about that guy. Oh, and my Rowlet learned a new move. You know what? Bam! I'll just catch you. I'll try to catch you at least. If I don't, that's okay. Let's see. Let's go like this. Number cut, six out of six. That's nice. Man, lots of these guys over here. A lot of these guys. Let's see. Let's get close. Nope, they noticed me. The senpais have noticed me. It's a little Badoo family, so I'll try to capture them all. That one looks so much bigger than the other two. 
let's see. This one's sitting down. I just saw its friend get captured. And it's like, oh, I'm just gonna sit here and rest then. Okay, let's capture this one then. And let's also go for that one because it's facing backwards. Let's see. If we could get them all, that'd be great. Okay. 10 out of 12 Bidoofs. Okay, 4 out of 6 Bebarls. Okay, we are just catching Bidoof families. At least the whole family gets to rest together in the pasture now. Don't want to split up the family. Whoa, oh. Wait, is that an Alpha Cricketot? Or Alpha Cricketune? Yeah, it has red eyes. Okay, I've already got an Alpha Cricketune though, so I'm not super worried about that one. Wait, wait, maybe we could get some nice experience for defeating it? I'm not sure if we would. Let's see, maybe we'll, uh... Oh, it noticed me. Let's see. What if I go like this to battle it? Battle it! Let's see! Let's see, we're up against an Alpha Cricketune, level 30. Quite scary. It used Giga Impact! I Oh, thank goodness it missed. Thank goodness it missed. Okay. So let's go like... Ember? Strong mode? Let's see. Hopefully we get to get an attack out. Let's see. Strong style Ember. How much damage does that do? Not much at all, but it was burned. Okay, this fight might be more difficult than I thought. Giga Impact, we're dead, right? Yeah, that looked like quite the dangerous attack. Okay, Ponyta, you did great. Thank you for your help, Ponyta. But I'm gonna have to use someone else now. Oh, Staravia's fainted! Uh-oh, I'm in big trouble then. I thought that Staravia wasn't fainted. Okay, maybe Dart Dartrix? Is that his name? Dartrix. Maybe Dartrix will be able to help a bit now. Let's see. Aerial Ace might be good. 60 power and it's flying, so that should be super effective. Let's see. Whoa! That did much more damage than I thought it would. Dodge it! No! Oh! What? How did we survive that my goodness okay let's use an aerial ace oh but i can't do a quick style because we haven't mastered this move yet but that should defeat it right all right we defeated the alpha cricketune wait what is that item experience candy wait is it because my backpack is full is that why i can't pick it up oh my backpack is full experience candy m when consumed it will grant a single pokemon a moderate amount of experience okay so i guess like experience candy is kind of like a. Uh, Let's give it to this guy. Let's give it to our boyzel. Whoa! Whoa, by moderate, they mean a lot. Okay. Okay, and five small experience candies. Oh, experience candy S. I thought it was experience candy five for some reason. Okay, and who else do we give this to? Let's give it to, uh... Let's give it to Luxio. Luxio's pretty great. Okay, and should I revive my other Pokemon? Or should I not worry about them? Eh, let's not worry about them. They'll be fine. Our Pokemon will be fine. Oh, I thought this was a Pokemon. I thought that was a Drift Limb for a second. Oh, do these guys want to fight or do they run? Oh, they run, of course. Now then, where's the spot that we have to start heading towards again? I lost... Oh, it's that way. It's that way. Okay, 400 away. Let's start heading that way then. Man, there's a big world to explore in this game. It is super cool the way that you get to explore this world and just go looking for all different kinds of Pokemon. Okay, so... Let's start heading towards the Cleavor. Oh, that guy's flying away. You know what? There's a Zubat there. Why not go catch a... Why not go catch a Zubat if we can? Oh, oh. Let's swap to Pokeballs first. And let's see. Because there might be a Pokedex entry for how many Zubats you catch. Okay, stop moving, bro. And there we go. We got him. We're probably catching it. I'm just going to keep running. Because if we don't catch it, that's okay. Oh, and if we could get another Babarel, that would be great. Let's see. Babarel. Babarel. No, I don't want this guy. You know what? Fine. I'll catch you too. We'll catch you too. I will catch the entire family. That's what I'll do. And there we go. Give me that one. And hopefully we catch them both. Okay, Bidoof, 11 out of 12 caught. The Barrel, 5 out of 6 caught. Okay, so I only need one more of each. And speak of the devil. Oh! Oh, it's an alphabet barrel. Uh, you know what? Let's try and sneak up on it with a Pokemon then. Can we sneak up on it with a Pokemon? Like if we unsuspectingly attack it like this, then do we get like a bonus hit on it? Let's see. Let's see this. Wait. I have a shot at catching it like this, but a small shot. Let's see. If we could catch it here, that would be amazing. No, it's running away. That's so sad. Oh, uh, now it noticed me. Oh! Oh! Go, Pokemon! Go, Pokemon! Defend me! Okay, let's see. Let's see. I don't know if we can catch this guy. Oh, it's only level 16. Okay, okay. Icy wind! That's double super effective on me, isn't it? Yeah, that's double super effective on me. Okay, goodbye, Dartrix. Okay, I think Luxio might be a good shot. I'm gonna use Thunderfang. I don't know if we will defeat it or not. Let's see how this does. Let's see. Hey, almost defeats it. His HP is super low, so you know what? 
I'm actually gonna try and catch it now. Because if we could catch this one, it's great, because then we reach the... We reach the next what's the word? Like the next prestige? Ah, it escaped. Then we reach the next prestige for catching the barrels. I think it's like 12 or so. Okay, water pulse, nice. That did a surprising amount of damage. Okay, so let's do this. Use another Pokeball. And it's also great because it's an Alpha Pokemon. I'm guessing we get like more points, more experience for catching an Alpha Pokemon. Nope. Let's see, but Barrel grew enraged. Okay, okay, is it going to attack this turn also? Okay, use the Water Pulse again. Starting to run out of Pokemon. This is not good. This is not good. He's looking at me with those evil eyes. Well, let's send out a Boizel. It's partially a water type, so we'll send out a water type Pokemon. Maybe it won't be that strong. Hey, this guy shouldn't be that hard to catch. It's level 19. Come on, how hard can it be to catch a level 19? Granted that it is an alpha Pokemon, but its HP is pretty low. Oh, man. Oh, you know what I should have used when I snuck up on the Bebarrel? I should have used the Heavy Ball in the previous turn, because if you use a Heavy Ball... Okay, Agile style, nice. If you use a... Wait, how much damage does that tackle do? Oh, man, that's a lot. Will it get to go twice? It gets to go twice! Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Uh, final Pokemon is out now. You know what? I'm still gonna try and catch it. I'm gonna try and catch it. Hopefully we can catch it. Hopefully we're not defeated in a single turn. Just let me catch it. That would be the best case scenario. Just let me catch it. Just don't escape. Just catch it. No! Why are you escaping? Just let me have that Pokemon. Okay, grew in rage. How many times is its attack going to get boosted? Let's see. Use tackle. Am I dead? Oh, that did surprisingly little damage. Okay, so I've got maybe two more tries. Maybe just one, but maybe two more tries. Let's see. Nope, escaped, okay. Okay, this barrel really wants to put on a show over here. Let's see. Oh, it's uh, offense and defense were boosted. Am I dead now? Okay, we're still alive. I'll try a Pokeball one more time. Please just catch it, please just catch it. I want to catch it, go on with my journey. I don't want my entire team to die over here. Okay. Can I use a revive before it starts chasing after me? I really hope I could use a revive. Let's see, I'm gonna hide back here. I'm gonna hide behind this rock here. You strayed too far from the battle! <gasps> That's great! Okay, okay, okay. So I have a chance to use a revive, actually. And I could use some, uh, heals over here. Okay, so let's heal up our Pokemon now that we are back here. And if I can get this guy without him noticing, that would be amazing. No, but he noticed me. This senpai notices me. Man, he's just blasting water at me. I'm hiding behind this rock, but he's going wild with that water. It's like an Oblivion NPC. It tries to follow you around the rock. Oh, it's actually kind of fast. Might be able to get me. Should I ask the other Pokemon for help? Is it gonna roll up? It can't make it over this rock, can it? If I get far away enough from it, will it stop chasing me? Let's see. I can't make it up here, can I? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Don't chase me! With that attack. That water... That water pulse attack is like a homing missile. Whoa! Man, I don't want to die. 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 Okay, did it lose sight of me? Tell me it lost sight of me. I'm not here anymore. Don't worry. I'm not here. There's no need to fight anymore. There's no need to fight. Just carry on with your day. Where are my heavy balls? There are my heavy balls. Just carry on with your day, my friend. No battling will be over here. There won't be any battling at all. This will be fine. Don't worry. I'll just sneak up on you. With some heavy balls over here. Try and get it from behind like that. How's that? Heavy balls should work. Please catch it. Please catch it or I'm running away. Oh no. Oh no. Did it notice me? No, don't worry. I'm not here. I am not here. There's nobody here. Nobody's trying to capture you. Don't worry, my friend. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not here. I'm not here. This person that you hear speaking right now, it is not me. I'm not here. Don't worry. Just go somewhere else. Just go somewhere else. Yeah, just turn your back to me. Turn your back on an opponent. That's one thing that we learned in bumper balloon cars in Mario Party games. So just turn your back on me and just let me capture you like this. I'll just nicely capture you like this. Just rest there. Just rest. Bam! How's that? How do you like that? Now we'll hopefully catch you. Please catch it. Please. No! I wonder if it is possible to catch it. Because it doesn't show up as an X. It just shows up as one bar like that. So I'm assuming that that just means that we have a low chance of catching it. I think it still is possible, it's just that it's a low chance. Okay, run over there, turn your back on me. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Don't turn around! Bro! How could you do this? How could you do this? Why would you do this, bro? 
Let's dive out of the way. Okay, 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 okay. Don't chase me. Don't chase me, bro. Don't chase me, bro. Stop chasing me, bro. Stop chasing me, bro. Dive! Stop chasing me, bro. Stop it, bro. Bro, come on. Like, I'm just trying to catch you. Like, just take it easy. We could be friends, bro. Let's get to- Oh! 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 A startled Comely leaped out at you. Okay, another Pokemon that we can capture. Well... I guess I'll try to capture it. It's a pretty high level, though. Level 15. Oh, uh, never mind. We defeated it because we got a critical hit. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Where did that... Bur 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 oh, he's still here. He's still here. He's still here. Crouch, my friend. Oh, you can't crouch while you're in water, it looks like. Okay. So, heavy balls right over here. Just turn around, bro. Yes. Oh, I think you can start crouching while you're in water. That's weird, because I tried to crouch just a moment ago, but it didn't work. Okay, let me catch it. Let me catch it. Please, just let me catch it. Please. Please, stop moving. Stop moving, please. And now. Oh, heavy ball really can't go far at all. You really have to get really close to this guy. Okay, please, let me catch it. Please. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I just wasted a few of them trying to throw it at, but please, just catch it. Just catch it, bro. Um... Let's see, gotta sneak up on this guy. No, don't run over here, don't run over here. This isn't the place that you wanna look. You don't wanna look here. You wanna turn around and go the other way. No, don't come over here, bro. Why are you coming over here? This is not where you want to go. No, stop coming to me. Stop it. Leave me alone. Stop it. It's like you're constantly coming to me wherever I am. Stop it, stop it. No, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I've gotta get really close to it. Because these heavy balls really don't go far at all. These heavy balls have really earned their name based on how heavy they are. No! No! It noticed me! Okay, you know what? If I go to battle it, will it be back at, uh, will it be back at full health or is its HP still low? Let's see. It's back at full health. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It used tackle. Are we dead? Okay, we are not dead. Let's run. Are you sure you want to run away? Yes, I do. Come here, bro. We'll have to battle some other time. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We are running away. You are not chasing me, bro. Wait, what are those Pokemon over there? Are those Pokemon? Ah, uh, just more of those. It's like this person is angry at all the Bidoofs that we caught. That's why this Pokemon is so upset. They're upset that we caught all of these Bidoofs. They come close. Don't look at me. Don't. Turn your back on me. Don't! No, do not look here. Turn your back on me. Bro! Bro! Don't look at me. Just turn around. Turn around, bro. No, no, don't look here. Don't look here. Just turn around. Turn around. I'm not going to throw... Oh, whoops, I accidentally threw a Pokeball. Just turn around. Turn around, bro. Turn around. Yes. Yes. Now, can we please get it? Please, 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 please. Just let me capture this Pokemon, please. Please, I've tried this so many times. I think we'll have to let that one go. I think we'll have to come for that one another time. Or you know what? I'll try all of my heavy balls on it. Should I maybe save some of my heavy balls for a different Pokemon? No, but this guy's kind of hard to catch. So I'd kind of like to use it on this guy if we have the chance. Let's see. Now, come on, come on, come on. I've only got a few of these left. Come on. Yes! Yes! Yes, we got the Alpha Alpha Memorial! We got it! We got it! And we got it by sneaking up on it. That's so cool that you can catch them that way. Alright! Man, and these graphics remind me so much of the Elder Scrolls series. It's so cool walking around with water like this. Ah, oh, we finally got that bit barrel. Okay, now let's just head this way. Wait. A Psyduck! 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 That's the sound that it makes in the anime. Really cool. Okay, let's see if we can catch it like this. Can I sneak up on it? Okay, got a pretty good chance of catching it here, I think. How's that? Psyduck is a great Pokemon. I like Psyduck more than it's evolved form too. Oh, another Psyduck over there. Should I go catch that one? Yes, I should. Let's go over here. Now let's hide. Now then, where's the Psyduck looking? I can't tell what way it's looking because we're in the grass over here. See, is it facing backwards? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's just get it. Easy catch over here. We've definitely got the Psyduck because Psydu we snuck up on it from behind. Okay, now get that tree for me, please. Let's see. Wait! Wait, wait, did the Psyduck escape? Let's go like that. 
Oh, Nanab Berry. Oh, but we don't have space for this. Okay, let's look at our items then. Oh, we got another one of these experience things. Okay, let's use it on... Who do we want to level up? Let's do it on Staravia, because Staravia is actually uh, really low level right now, and I'd like Staravia to reach its final evolved form, so that might be nice. How is this Psyduck? Oh, it's, it's angry. It's angry. It is angry. I don't want to be attacked by this Psyduck, so I'm going to run away. Okay, there's a Wurmple up there. Get this for me, bro. Get that tree for me, please. Wait, is someone attacking me? I can't tell. Oh, the Psyduck is still attacking me from there. Hey, Wurmple! Come here, Wurmple. If I could catch the Wurmple, that would be nice. Whoa! Whoa, I actually got attacked by the Psyduck. Okay, the Psyduck might actually knock me out. Wait! <gasps> Baneeries! I didn't expect there to be Baneeries. Wow. And they're around the water, too. So let's see. Ah, uh, not a high chance of catching it, I'm afraid. Should I use a Heavy Ball? No, I'll use a normal Pokeball like this. Let's try that. And let's go for this one, too. Let's see. We can catch one, at least one. That would be great. Okay, great! Oh! We got both! Amazing! Oh, wait, wait, maybe we didn't catch both. Okay, because there's that one there. So I don't know if one of them escaped. Now, let's see. Let's head up here. There's another Psyduck over there. Oh, oh, wait, is that the evolved form of Wormpole? Because I don't think I've ever caught a wild version of one of those. I've only evolved my uh, Wormpole into it. Let's see, where's it going? Is it hiding from me? Well, let's go like that. I think that's from behind, so we should have a better shot at catching it. Okay, and we are almost over here. Wait, can we go over this? Wait, whoa, it's almost like there's a little camp down here or something. Okay, can I lock onto that Baneri from here? No, I can't. Okay, and it's running away. Okay, let's dive like this. Ah, uh, the Baneri there. How do we get it? Let's see. Can I get it from here? Oh, no, it turned around. Ah, uh, okay, so we're probably not getting it. Oh, but look, there are just steps that are leading right to your face. This is where we want to go. You know what? I think this is a good time to save. Wait, Springy Mushroom! There was a guy that was asking for this. He was, uh, saying that he could make this into cakes. Wait a minute, and our, uh... Staravia over here is almost defeated, so I'm gonna heal up our Staravia. And you know what? Let's heal up our Boizel a bit. And a lot of our Pokémon are almost dead, so I'm kind of hoping that when we get over here, whoever we meet will heal all of our Pokémon for us. Let's just head over here. Let's see anything interesting over here. Ah, quite suspicious. Oh, can we reach up here or no? Is it too steep? It seems like that's a good strategy. Take one step and then dive. Take one step and then dive. I wonder if you could climb up any slope doing that because it seemed to work pretty well on that slope. Let's see. I like the music from Pokemon Diamond that's playing. Ah, no! I was hoping that you could use that strategy to climb up any slope, but maybe some slopes they like force push you down once you get to a certain point. Oh, that's kind of sad. Okay, let's see. Oh, is this the Warden of Cleavor? Let's go and see who's this kid over here. This kid looks at me quite suspiciously. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warren to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. We're like, okay. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. That's it then, or I'll do anything! Like, come on, come on, let me through. What? Anything? Oh, such earnest desire to meet mighty Cleaver! I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Erida that I'm to let no one near Cleaver. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to battle, withdraw now while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. Is that the Pokemon? You know what? Uh, I kind of wish I could heal up my Pokemon. You know, no, I'll take him on. I'll take him on without healing. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Wow. We haven't had a... Oh! Oh, I know someone who uses that as a profile picture. Oh my goodness, I was always wondering what that was. Okay, what type is Gumi? 
Oh, water's not very effective, so I guess it's a water type. Wait, no, don't come towards me. I'm not ready to battle. Who do I send out then? No, 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 I, I don't want to run. Okay, okay, I wanted to actually go back, not run. Okay, you know what? Should I swift, tackle, aqua jet, water pulse? Oh, water pulse never misses. That's pretty cool. Let's use uh, swift then. I guess it's normally effective. We'll use that. Let's see how that goes. Boys will use swift. Not bad. More than half the pizza. It uses acid spray. Okay, does a bit. Defensive stats were lower. Okay, so Swift should finish it off now, right? Let's see. Let's see. Gumi's actually a pretty cool Pokemon. Okay, we defeated Gumi. Is that his only Pokemon? Battle decided. Okay, that was pretty easy. Let's see, and we got some nice level ups over there. Oh, move mastered. Nice. Move mastered. Move mastered. <laughs> that, he's like, oh man. How can this be? And we've got these funny looking shoes. It's because of our funny looking shoes. I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. Wait, I thought you said I could go if we battle. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. A nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course, is usually enough to please him and soothe him into the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. No, with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok, there's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver, Wiredeer, and their cohort drew on Mighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it's said, it's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in Vest Hisui today. Arita, what are you doing here? Yes, yeah, the girl from the Pearl Clan. Oh, girl from the Pearl. It rhymes, haha. I like how she has, like, a flotation device on one of her ankles. As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength po that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Bows to, not bows to. Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hope we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not to throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. But I want to be the hero. This kid's like, eh. No! You! Stranger! From beyond the sky! Tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? Yeah, I'll capture it. I'll figure something out. I'll capture it. That's what I'll do. The girl blinks. Very well! Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of Vast Hisoi. All right. What do we do then? Oh, oh, I guess we come back later or something? Oh, your arc phone is beating. Ah, of course, of course. Whenever there's a plot hole, my phone is just gonna send me a message and tell me what to do. Let's see. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Finally! Finally! Thank you! Thank you. Press the X button while consulting the map or your art phone to instantly travel. Thank you! Okay, however, be aware this feature might not be usable in some situations. My character smiles. Okay, head to a base camp and report what you've learned to the professor. Okay, let's do that. Let's first see if there's anything nice around here. Let's see. Let's just get up here. Let's see. Oh! A Scyther! A Scyther! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A Scyther. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is unbelievable. Okay, we've got to go get this Scyther. Let's see, let's see, let's see, bro. Come here, bro. I am definitely 100% catching that Scyther, bro. Come here, Scyther. Gonna sneak up on you, bro. Gonna throw this Pokeball at you. Let's go. Oh, and we have a good chance at catching it too, apparently. Because it didn't see us at all. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, we got a Scyther! Let's go! Wood! Where did that wood come from? Okay, oh, I want to pick up the wood. Oh, wait, but I have no room in my bag. Um... Man, we're getting all kinds of... We're getting all kinds of items. Oh, a Firestone! Oh, so we could probably evolve some... Oh, we got honey. You know what? I might just throw away these two items. Because I do want this wood. Having some wood would be nice. We need... Having some wood would be nice. No pun intended. But yeah, but on a more serious note... We do need three wood to create something for a side mission that someone asked us to do. Okay, so there's another Scyther right there. If we could catch another one, that'd be amazing. Let's go. Scyther's a really cool looking Pokemon. I've never really used Scyther in a lot of battles or anything like that. Or used it competitively at all. But, hold on, let's go. Now's a good time. Bam! There we go. It 
Didn't have a very high chance of being caught, though. Let's see. Hey, but we still caught it. Okay, two out of two sight there, Scott. Nice. Wait, wait. Do we get another wood now? Oh, wait! Wait, do you get wood from catching Scyther? Or hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe you send Scyther at trees. That's what can help you get wood. Oh, and there's another Scyther over there. So you know what? Maybe if we get one more Scyther, then we'll have one more wood. And we'll finally have three wood. Wait. Oh, no. That is an Alpha Scyther. It has red eyes. I am not in a state to be ready to take on an Alpha Scyther right now, unfortunately. Wait, how many heavy balls do I have? I've got four heavy balls. You know what? I'll try once. I'll try catching the Heavy Scyther once. And if we can catch it, then that's amazing. If we can't catch it, then just forget about it. Let's see, where is he going? Where is he going? Where is the Alpha Scyther going? Where are you going, bro? Where are you going next, bro? Don't come to me, bro. I feel like I'm playing a horror game right now. Oh, no, don't turn towards me. Let's see, and you want to get really close to it to catch it. Level 42, that's unbelievable. Okay. Let's see. How's that? Oh, that didn't count as a backwards hit because I, I think it turned around, so we're not getting it, right? There's no way. Yeah, there's no way we're getting it now. I'll try one more time because we didn't get a backwards hit. I really want to try getting a backwards hit on it. Let's see. He's looking around. He's looking around. It almost looks like it's di- It almost looks like a dialogue box. Like, you want to go speak to this Scyther. Let's see. Sneak up on it from here. Just don't turn around, Scyther. Don't turn around. Do not turn around, bro. I gotta get close to you so I can throw this ball at you. Don't run away. Don't turn around, bro. Don't turn around. Just stop. Just stop. Just relax, bro. Relax. Just stay calm. Just stay calm, Scyther! Oh, man. It turned around right as we threw it, so I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. No, there's no way we're catching it. No, I'm getting away from that Scyther. That Scyther is too scary to deal with. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But now we can just teleport anywhere, right? Let's see. Let's see. Can I teleport now? Current location. Oh, the Grand Tree Arena. Okay, okay. The Heartwoods. Tidewater Dam. Nature's Pantry. Deer Track. Heights Camp. Oh, oh, so I can just teleport to right over there. Okay, let's teleport to there. Do you want to go to the Field Lands Camp? Yes. Okay, that's great. Now I can just teleport. Ah, uh, being able to fast travel is so nice. And you know what? Let's rest. So we can heal all our Pokemon. Just a little while. So all of our Pokemon should be healed now. Now wait. Oh, oh, oh. And let's make a bunch of, uh... Pokeballs and stuff. Okay, we don't have any Sky Tumble. How about these? Can we make some more Pokeballs? Okay, we can make quite a few. You know what? Let's make like 34 more. How about these? We can make eight. You know what? Let's make eight more. Some more revives might be nice. Okay, we can't make a humongous amount of them. Let's just make five more. That's fine. Now we have a few revives. And wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm one wood short. I thought that we had enough for some reason. Okay, who is in our team now? You know what? I don't want... Bibarel with me anymore. I don't care about Bibarel anymore because it's already evolved. Wait, can I swap Pokemon? I want to see my Pokemon. Okay, there we go. There we go. This is amazing. Wow, there's so many pastures. Look at this. Okay, so Bibarel doesn't matter because he's evolved. So who do we need to evolve next? We have the evolved form of that. We don't have an evolved form of Geodude next. So maybe let's take out a Geodude next and hopefully we can try to evolve this guy. Man, Dartrex is so cool. Look at that. Look at his little hair over there. Oh, nice. And we got item storage here. Okay, okay, okay. So what should we store? You know what? Let's leave another Stardust. Let's see. Wood. We can store our wood. We can store our Firestone because we might need that sometime if we want to evolve a Pokemon. Iron Chunk. I don't know if we use these yet. Let's store that. Grit Dust. You know what? This is something that levels up or makes your Pokemon stronger. So I'll store that. This is something that's used for making Pokemon stronger. So I'll store that. Let's see. And whatever we don't have a lot of, I guess I'll just, uh, I guess I'll just store them. Because maybe it'll be useful. How many item boxes do we have? Let's see. Okay, just six. Wow, so you can't even, uh, store a huge amount of items. Okay, where's that? Oh, oh, I automatically triggered the professor. I think that, is that guy in the background the one that wanted to make mushroom cakes? Good to see you, ZX Money. How's your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect? Well, in fact, not swimming, Professor, because I can't swim. If I go into water, then I black out. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mold this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. No, but I want to go talk to that other guy first. Oh, I wanted to talk to the other guy so he would make the shroom cake. Okay, let's see. We probably get a lot of points, right? Wait, 8,000 reward for this task? That, like, doubles my money. Oh, my goodness. Oh, because we got two alpha Pokemon, so that's a pretty big deal. Okay, how many points do we get? Let's see, we need 1,600. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, we're getting kind of close to the next research rank already. 
Oh man, these loading scenes are so good though. So according to the information, you are able to learn from Arida and Leon of the Pearl Clan. Were this the normal course of events, that frenzied cleaver would have been calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. It's like we're doing a bunch of calculations on the blackboard. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm cleaver, but draw him back from his frenzy? By your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state, so we have to give him some food to calm him down. We have to give him his favorite food. I wonder if he likes his shroom cake, because this other- Okay, there might be something in his research notes that will help him. Let's see, he's just staring at the board. The professor is so funny. I love that he always wears this hat. That's so great. Is that like a pom-pom on top of his head? I wonder if that's like a pom-pom that you see on like those winter hats sometimes. Kind of funny, it almost looks like he's wearing a helmet. Eureka! What did you figure out? Well, simply have to throw the food! Yo, you've got quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, ZX Mini? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Makes sense to me. Yes, it's all coming together. We could use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved food into balls and then throw them to achieve the same coming effect, but from far. A brilliant idea if I do say so for myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, what about tea time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it? I don't think the Pokemon cares what it's called. Why wouldn't you simply call them Laventon Balls, Professor? Well, that's because we already have Laventon Balls, my dear Akari. Oh my, with that name, sounds like my balls are being- I mean, I'm being launched. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Yes. Oh, I like that his shoe has a heel. Why isn't he wearing the same types of shoes as us? Then you should get back to the Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plans, ZX Mini. If you're off to the Grand Tree Arena, best set out from the Heights Camp, eh? Wait, I can't just teleport right to there? Hold on, am I allowed to teleport from here? Can I quick teleport from here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You wish to go to the front gate? Wow, I can just travel to the front gate from here? Hold on, is that right? Let's see. Let's see, I think? That's how it works. Now. Wow, that certainly cuts down our walking time. Oh! Mai is over here. My Mai! Well, I know, your name is Mai. That Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. What else will you give them? Oh yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on though. Let's head to, uh, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? We should have called it the Professor Lavender Camp. That's what we should have called it. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Oh! Oh, it's that deer book. Wait, will it let me ride its back now? Yeah! I spoke to Wide here about what's been going on. I told him, have you been trekking all over the field lands, seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy? All this from someone who's not even part of the clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Wardeer's found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute, like we have. Mind demonstrating for him my- Wait, this is becoming more and more like The Legend of Zelda. This is very important, so listen well. Oh my god, they play that song! Oh my god, that's the song that plays at the beginning of Pokemon Diamond! This song was made like, what, like 10 plus years ago now? Oh my goodness! Probably almost 15 years ago? My goodness! That's a celestial flute that Mai just played. Oh my goodness, wow! Wow, I can't believe that that- This is becoming more and more like The Legend of Zelda, it's unbelievable. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on Wire Deer so you can ride upon him. Yeah, I get to ride Wire Deer. Said that the flutes were given for Almighty Sinnoh itself, so now this one's yours. All right, we get a flute! A flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around this region. It's Timber? Timber or Tombra? I never know how you pronounce that word. It's eerie and mysterious. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. What, do I have to, like, press the buttons at the right time? Like, like in The Legend of Zelda when you're playing Song of Storms? Oh, I am a master flute player. Oh my goodness. And the deer is like, I'm already here. Why are you playing this song? I like that song. Open it. Okay, he likes the sound of me playing. Please, get on my back. I like how you play that song. Wait, do we move more quickly while we are on him? You received the Mind Plate from Wired Ear. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, like Arceus maybe, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of psychic types. Thanks, bro. 
Now use that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great Wire Deer. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at the Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Wire Deer, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. All right. You can now call Wire, wire Deer and gallop across the land. That is so cool. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Avoid falls from high places while you're riding about. Hopefully I don't kill my Pokemon by falling off a cliff or something. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there are two spots to go to. What do you want, sir? Wait, wait. Come take out my adorable balloons with your Pokemon. Is this some kind of a side quest over here? Balloon race? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Nice to meet you, young corpse recruit. I hear you have the rare ability to dash over a hill and veil on the back of a Pokemon, yes? But why not try your hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's really simple. You just burst as many adorable balloons as you can while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. Do I get a prize? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let me burst it. How about a kid? Want to play? I'll give it a try. There are 30 balloons on the course. Let's see how many you can burst in 45 seconds. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Where's my Pokemon at? Do I have to call my Pokemon first? Okay, let's go. Three, two. Do I press a button to jump? Okay, there we go. Let's go. Oh, avoid the Geodude. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting a few here. Let's see. Let's see. We're doing pretty good here. Okay, just avoid the Geodude. Nice. Can I jump? Let me jump! How do I jump? I don't know if I can jump. Okay, let's see. How many do we have so far? How many do we have? Okay, we're doing okay here. 11, 12, 13. Let's see, 14, 15. Oh, no, couldn't get that one. I don't know if there's a jump button. Oh, there's the jump button. Oh, now I see where the jump button is. Okay, there's 17. I did it. I did it. I broke the 17, like you said. I wonder if you get something special for breaking all 30. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wonder if you hold this button down. Oh, if you hold the button down, then you run the whole time. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so I got 23. Do I get a prize for that? Welcome back. You burst 23 balloons. Not bad. Here, I'll offer this as a reward. Two springy mushrooms. Okay. All right, well, we completed his request. That's fine. Oh, wait, did he give us a rare candy? Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Rare candy! It increases the level of a Pokemon by one. Nice. Oh, and he gave us Feather Balls. Ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. Okay, so that could be useful. Okay, let's call our Pokemon now. That's so cool! This is so cool. Bam! Run into the Pokemon. Let's go. Oh, man. This lets you go fast. Okay, let's see. Uh, wait, wait, wait. How do I get off? Do I get off like this? Okay, nice, nice, nice. Now... Let's just break that, get that for me. I need you to get those for me, bro. Okay, now you can travel quickly like this. And then you can just get off, pick these, call your friend again, start running. It's pretty cool. Wait, 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 I don't think I can make that, so I'm gonna have to go around, I guess. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's find an easier spot that we could go to to make it across. And let's have our Pokemon get that for us. Please get that for me. Good job, bro. Now then, I'll pick this up too. That looks like something nice to pick up. This would be an incredibly fun game to do speed runs of. Oh man, I can already. Oh no 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 no! I'm not dealing with you anymore, my friend. My friend, let's run! Let's run! We have got to run. Let's see, what's up there? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's one of these guys. You know, nah, I don't want to catch you. I'm not too worried about you. Let's see. Let's see, what's the way that we are? Oh, 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 I haven't caught one of these before. I do have one, but I haven't caught one yet. See, I haven't caught a wild beautifly yet. Are you going to notice me? You look at me like you're... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's... I'm walking on top of that crystal. I don't want to fight you. I do not wish to fight you. I wish to run. Oh, and there's another beautiful fly up there. Okay. Jump. Cool. Oh, man. I was going to say cool. We jumped across. It's looking at me. It's like, wait a minute. What are you doing? Can I get up here? Let me up here. Let me up here, please. Please let me up the slope. Please let me up the slope. No! I slipped down. Okay, let's see if we can make it like this. Ah, uh, let's see. This slope, this slope might be too steep for us. We can make it up here. 
But can we make it over? That is the question. Let's go! Go! Oh, cool, cool. We did make it across. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Okay, it's starting to rain. I heard. I remember hearing that there's certain Pokemon that like coming out in the rain. But we're gonna head over here. Let's talk to. Uh, let's give this guy our plan. Liam, what kind of food do we need? What do we need, Liam? So you said that you Galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell the flirt, the fury of Lord Cleaver. They're like yes. What? You mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. His face looks like an Animal Crossing character, his eyes specifically. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. What do you have to say, Arita? She's not... Dressed very appropriately for the raid. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them as promised. Gah! That's right, my apologies, Rita. I'd forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. That's an important thing to consider. Oh wait, is she shiny because of the rain? So prove to me that you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've got in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's faith. Will you battle us? Yeah, I will, I will. All right, I'm ready to take on Glaceon, the ice of all form of Eevee. Very cool Pokemon over here. Okay, we're starting off with the Boizel, but you know what? I'd like to switch to Ponyta. What level is our Pokemon? 17. Okay, I think we're in a good state. I'll switch to... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, 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 wait. I want to switch to uh, Ponyta. Yeah, switch to Ponyta. Okay, so she's probably going to get a free shot. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to come and watch the battle from... Uh... I want to come and watch the battle from over here, where you are. Let me watch the battle from your perspective. Wow! Uh, I thought Glaceon was an ice type, so I thought fire would have been stronger. Let's see. Oh, my Ponyta's almost dead. What in the world is going on? Let's use, uh, Strong Ember. Let's see how that goes. Strong style. Well, it is stronger than me, so let's see. Uh, almost defeats Okay, It looks like it's defeating my Ponyta. Ponyta fainted. Come back, Ponyta! I think Luxio might be a good choice, because Luxio's really powerful. We haven't used him in a while. It's almost like I've wanted my other Pokemon to not get too weak. Let's use uh let's use a powerful bite. Let's see how that goes. Strong style bite. Is that enough to finish it off? Is that enough? Let's see. Hooray! We did it! How do you feel? How do you feel? We defeated your Glaceon. What do you think? What do you think? Battle decided. Now we gotta fight. Wow, Geodude made it up to level 11 already. He was level 7 before this fight. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for vote. You certainly had your mind changed quickly. You still understand the Pokemon that you've got and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think, after you defeated my Pokemon. Let me heal your wounds. Well, it's nice that she heals our wounds. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plans. What do you mean to do with these this food? We're going to make the food into balls and throw it. So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash the foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you develop soothing bombs of sorts to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. This is starting to sound like Undertale now. We have to put our souls into the food. Oh, cool. Oh, man, they're in little, they're in little bags like this. There, a veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready, bro. As am I. All right, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. Are you going to summon him, the Lord of the Woods? Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet time of the ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. I wonder if it always rains while you're here. Benevolent Lord, who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, DX Mini. Keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. This is becoming more and more like the Legend of Zelda. Grisha! I guess that's Cleavor. Who is Cleavor? I wonder if this is... I don't know if this Pokemon is going to be new to this game or if it's one that we've seen before. Okay. Oh. Oh. Whoa! It's like a Charizard! Oh my goodness. Whoa! It's like a golden Charizard. Oh, it's kind of like a Scyther! 
I wonder if it's an evolved form of Scyther, because I know that there is Scizor. So I wonder if this is like an evolved form of that. Lord of the Woods, Cleavor. This reminds me so much of Zelda. It is unreal. All right, so let's do this. Battling Pokemon Nobles. To claim victory against a noble Pokemon and claim its friends and quell its frenzy, you'll need to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time during that window. Bombs will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. I wonder if we can catch this guy. I can't save right now also. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm throwing a bomb at you. Ah! Send in a Pokemon to do battle. Wait, send in a Pokemon. Okay, let's uh, send out this guy. Luxio, let's go, let's battle. I'm ready to battle, Luxio. Let's go. Here's your chance. I don't know how confident I am. Stealth Rock. Okay, we are almost half dead. We get to attack. Let's go with a Thunder Fang. Yeah, let's go with the Thunder Fang. Oh, and I get to attack twice, it looks like. Hey, there's a Thunder Fang. Oh, that did quite a bit of HP. And you know what? Since we get to attack again, let's do one more Thunder Fang over here. Okay, it's almost defeated. It's almost defeated. Can I capture it? Hey, you Stealth Rot Luxio. You served us very well. Come back, Luxio. Now then, let's send out Geodude. Because it's using Rock-type moves, so maybe it won't be too strong against Geodude. Who is partially a rock type. Oh, it doesn't look like I can use uh, Pokeballs. It won't let me switch to Pokeballs. What if I use items? Wait, use? There's no choice but to win this battle. Ah, uh, so you're not allowed to use Pokeballs, I guess. Okay, oh, well, that's too bad. I would have switched to a different Pokemon if I knew that we couldn't catch it. How's Mud Slap gonna do? Oh, that defeats it. Let Now's your chance to throw. Oh, so now I want to throw food at it? What? Oh, oh, now I just keep throwing food at it. Okay, okay, I see. Just keep throwing food at it. Now we gotta dodge. Let's go. Oh, and if it hits me, then we have to battle it. I see. Oh, now it does a spin around attack like that. I see. Okay, and we've got an infinite amount of these. Let's see. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going, bro? Come towards me. Okay, I'm gonna move out of the way. Let's go. Throw some of these at it. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, that was scary. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, my screen's going black. Hopefully I don't black out. The corners of my screen are changing colors. Whoa! Dodge! Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, bro. How you like that there? Half defeated. Let's see. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going, bro? Come at me, bro. I'm not scared of you. I am not scared of you. I am scared of you. I'm sorry, I take it back. Dodge, bro! Okay, okay, okay. Man, it's like those rocks, they always follow me when it does that attack. That's quite the scary attack. Okay, but that one is okay. Get ready to dodge. Get ready to dodge, bro. Oh, oh, I can send in a Pokemon to do battle. Oh, it says send in a Pokemon to do battle. Okay, so I guess every time that I get its health down, then I get to, then I get to, you know what? Oh, Stealth Rock, that's not a good move. That wasn't a good move, sending out that guy. Okay. Who might be a good choice? Maybe Boizel will be a good choice? Let's try out Boizel, because if he uses Stealth Rock on my Grass Starter, then uh, it'll be double super effective. Let's see, Aqua Jet? Aqua Jet is super effective! Let's see. If I use this, I get to attack twice, it looks like. So let's do that, let's do Aqua Jet. Okay, and let's do another Aqua Jet. Okay, this is actually going to be much easier than I thought, because with Boizel, we'll be able to do great, I think. Let's just throw a bunch of these at it. Okay, now it gets up. Wait, 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 wait. I'd like to send out a Pokemon to fight. I'd like to fight, bro. Fight me, bro! Wait, oh, I guess only if you get its HP to certain points, and that's when it wants to fight. Like, right now, I think it's not going to want to fight! Oh, man, I got hit. I thought I would dodge that. Let me move! It's almost done. Let's go, come on, come on, come on. Just calm down, calm down, bro. Calm down, bro. Calm down, bro. There's no need to fight now. No need to fight. Come on, come on, come on. I'm like, why can I not move? Why is it stuck? Did you not have enough food? And... There we go. Uh, isn't that food so... It's kind of weird that we are throwing packages of food at a Pokemon. 
I never thought we'd be doing that in a po- Well, I guess in Pokemon Snap, you like, throw apples at a Pokemon. It kind of looks like a Kabutops with a beard. Alright, so we get a bunch of level ups for that. Now what do you have to say? It's like, hey, thanks for calming me down. I wonder if this is some kind of evolved form of Scyther. It looks like an ancient ancestor of Scyther. You received the insect plate from Cleaver. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's like the psychic plate that we got earlier. So this is really making it... Oh, and it runs away. This is really making it seem like we are going to get Arceus sometime. What, what, what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. It was the lightning strike from earlier. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Yes. Maybe, or I don't know. Maybe. We nod. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came out of the space-time rift the other night. Those balls must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. Yeah, I think it was that. The lightning came from the space-time rift? <gasps> but if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then the strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What ZX Many accomplished just now, it needed to be done. Yeah, you're right, Arita. I'm doing good. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them out. Ah, oh, yeah, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. That's such a funny statement. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken earlier to you. For having spoken rudely to you earlier. It is a token of my thanks. What do we get? Three citrus berries. Nah, oh, man, I thought it'd be like a cool, cool item or something. Just citrus berries. Let me care for your Pokemon well. Okay, at least you heal up my Pokemon. That's pretty cool. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Well, I'm glad that you finally believe me. But I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems like we've settled things here. Though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. You're crazy. Oh, oh, and we've seen our Pokemon use Aqua Jet four times, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now what we want to do next is head back to our captain. Let's have a chat with our captain about how we did. So you know what? A fast way that we can get there is just use our phone, press X. Where do you want to go? Fieldlands Camp, Heights Camp. Let's go to Fieldlands Camp, of course. Oh, oh, and we're right over here. Okay, wait, do we have to chat with the professor? No, I don't think we have to chat with the professor. I think we have to go over there. Let's first see if there are any nice Pokemon out in the rain over here, maybe. Let's see, maybe we can catch some nice Pokemon now that it's raining. Let's see, any special Pokemon now that it's raining? What in the world? Oh, just Drift Blims, okay, but that's because it's nighttime. Let's see, maybe some nice Pokemon will be near the water. No, oh, I'm seeing a bunch of Drift Blims. Well, I guess we could try to catch the Drift Blim. Let's see, does that count as backwards? I don't know if that counts as backwards. I don't know if that counts as backwards. Okay, we got that one. And we got the other one, that's fine. Four out of four Drift Blims caught at night, so if we get one more, that would be nice. Oh, oh, and there's one right over there, so you know what? Let's do this. Let's see if we could get it, that'd be great. Come here, bro. And... Oh, hopefully that counts as backwards. Hopefully that counts as a back shot. Nice! Okay, wait, oh, number caught five out of six. You know, I, I want to catch one more still now. Let's see, can we get this one? Let's see. If that counts, that's amazing. Hey, nice, we got six Drift Blams. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's get our Pokemon to get some more of these for a while. Uh, because we haven't got, we haven't gotten any of those in a while. Oh yeah, and when there's nothing around, then we can just go more quickly like this. Let's see, not super worried about any more Drift Limbs now. Let's see, a lot of Drift Limbs around everywhere, because it is nighttime. And you know, do we want to capture any of these? Let's see. Try and catch that one. I don't know how many we have to catch. Let's see. How many Bidoofs have we caught? 12 out of 12? Wait! There isn't a special prize for catching- Oh, 13 out of 25. Okay, so we just reached 
12 out of 12, then 25 is probably the last amount of these that we have to catch. 25 is probably the most of those that we have to catch. Okay, let's go like this. It's so cool how you can just bring that up anywhere. Okay, now this is the guy that wanted to make mushroom cakes, right? Let's see. Springy mushrooms! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, teach the recipe. Yes, teach me the recipe. Did we learn the recipe? And there you have it! The delectable mushroom cake, beloved by Pokemon far and wide. Just throw in at a wild Pokemon, and if it's partial to a nice mushroom snack, you can bet your bottom toad still it'll go after the cake lure. You can use that opening to make your getaway, or of course, try to catch the Pokemon. Here, I'll give you some of my own cake lure bases, so you can get crafting right away. Nice, thank you, thank you. Five balls of- oh! Cake lure base. Wait. Okay! That's pretty cool! That's pretty cool. Okay, so we got another- Oh, and we get a mushroom cake for that. Nice, nice, nice. Now then, let's see. Do we want to craft anything? Oh, so we can craft mushroom cakes. We can make up to five of them. You know what? Let's just make all five right now. Because that way we'll have, uh... We'll have more free spots in our inventory. Oh, you know what? Let's just make some more Pokeballs. Why not make some more? And we have to report back, of course. I wonder if I could ride my Pokemon. Oh, you can't ride your Pokemon over there. Would you like to report your survey results to the professor? Yes, I would. So how's our report going? Okay, we cut a bunch of those, cut a bunch of those. Okay, only $700 this time. But let's see how many points we get. Let's see. Okay, we're 620 points away. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And we have to go to Commander Kamado right now to update them about what happened with the legendary Cleaver battle. Oh, it's Link! Hello again, Link! It is Link the Salesman, aka Volo. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if there's an Elite Four and if this guy ends up being the champion. He's secretly an amazing Pokemon trainer. And what do you have there? Could it be... Are those the two fabled plates of old? Please let me have a look. Oh, yeah, I have the psychic plate and the bug plate. I see. There are some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? Well, someone just gave me the psychic one and the bug one I got for beating the cleaver. And look at the lady in the background. She's just standing there so still upright. She's like, I am not listening in on this conversation. We nod. We're like, yeah, this is where I got them. I see, so you're given the plates when you're impressed Wire Deer and Cleavor? That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. I was almost this excited when I found the Master Sword. You'll find more plates like this scattered across Hyrule. I mean, Hisoi, not Hyrule. I'm not actually Link. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Maybe you'll uncover some secrets, though. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in these times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time, goodbye. We almost caught him. We almost found out that he was actually Link. All right, so let's head over here. And we're going to go enter this building. Right over here. Let me in. Okay, press A to enter. Very nice. Now then, who do we have to report to? We have to report to the person upstairs. Wait, 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 wait. There's someone over here. Oh, it's the board. Okay, maybe I have more tasks to do. There are some requests. Okay, let's see. Playing with Drifloon. Does someone want a Drifloon? Seems several people have spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the village children. Mickey from the security corps can tell you more. Speak with her. Okay. All right. What else? A peculiar ponyta. Yota, a fellow from the village, claims to have seen a rather strange ponyta. You must investigate the matter for good sight. Please tell me that it's not go catch the alpha rabbit ash. Please tell me that's not what they mean. There are no other requests. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You don't have any updates for me? Okay, I'm not worthy of three stars yet. I've still only got two stars. You know what? Do I want my... Do I want my satchel expanded? You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me expand my satchel a bit. Wait, 1500 now? Man, it is getting expensive to boost your satchel. 2000 You know what? Uh, I'll, I'll take one more. I'll take one more spot. Okay, maybe later. Maybe later. Okay, so we boosted our satchel a bit more. Now then, do we have to go up to the guy at the top floor? I guess we have to go to the head honcho up at the top floor over here. The big boss up here. Ah, I wanted to dive into his room. Ha! Well done! 
I have already received reports of your excellence, of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisoyas people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky. I wonder how many times they say that in this game. Yet you have served the Galaxy Team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. But things are not settled yet. I receive word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisoi. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you truly are an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. I don't want to go and join them. I want to go keep catching Pokemon. That's what I want to do. I just want to go and catch all of the Pokemon. That is what I want to do. Oh wait, but Akari is here. Okay, I'll spend some time with Akari. Benny old chump, the usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Uh, I'm just bringing you potato mochi every day. Uh, but by the way, the whole village is gossiping uh, about your young friend here. He's got quite some luck to come back unharmed after facing off against that cleaver over there. I dare say ZX Medi was well prepared. And he was, a, he was a quick study of how Cleaver moved in battle from what I heard. All in all, we're glad he wasn't killed. We can feel safer about our Survey Corps duties now thanks to you, ZX Many. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions Benny gave me. A recipe for smoke bombs? <gasps> Am I a ninja now? Am I a ninja now? Lovely! And now we need not worry about being mauled by Cleaver early. Let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon on the Obsidian Fieldlands. This will be quite exciting. All right, are we walking back home? Wait, who's that looking at me? Is it a kid? Uh, ZX Many. Yes? I've been waiting for you, ZX Many. My name's Vessa. There's something real important I need to tell me. Would you come with me? No. Do I have an option to say no? I do not want to follow you. I'm going to bed right now. It's time for sleep. Why are you bringing me here? Why wouldn't you just talk to me in front of my house? Uh, this is kind of a secret, but... Something terrible has happened! Hisui is in a whole lot of danger! Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sailed away by Zelda! I mean, it's not Ganondorf or anything, but someone was using some strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken! Guys, this is Zelda. We're playing Zelda. We are playing Zelda. Okay, please hear me out, alright? Tell me. I need you to restore the broken seal. Just tell me what to do or I don't believe you! Okay, fine. A kid like this wouldn't lie to me. They're not trying to sabotage me. Okay, tell me that. Tell me what I have to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. The odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Wait a minute. That's so familiar. Is that something that you get in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl also? A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. Wait a minute. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hisoi. A hundred and seven of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. Oh, so I want to go collect wisps from, every from everywhere. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. Wait, where did you get the odd keystone from? Why do you have it? I gotta gather the wisps for you, but where did you get them from? What if you're actually a demon and you're gonna destroy the world if I bring the wisps over to you? Try touching that wisp over there. Okay, okay. Let's go. I'm going to jump a- Wait, wait, wait. I can't jump across the water. Okay. I was hoping that we'd be able to just dive over this, but no, we can't go into that water. It's too dangerous. So we're going to go over like this. Let's go catch that wisp right over there. Can I dive into it? Hey oh, oh, you actually have to press A on it. Okay. There we go. Wow, we just touched it and we collected like that. This kind of reminds me of Poe Souls from uh, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Super fun game. I've never 100% completed that game, but I'd love to. The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do I get a reward right now? Do I get something right now for this one wisp? Let's see, because that's another, that's another task that we are doing there. Another mission, another request. The next day. Do we finally wake up? All right, we wake up and we're ready to get going. Oh wait, do we even have another mission? What's our next mission now? What, is it go find wisps or do we have another task to do? Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. No pun intended. <laughs> get it, cutting the edges of, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this like a, I remember her from Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Oh my goodness, is it, is it Mars? Are you Mars? Mars, Venus? 
She looks like Commander Mars or Commander Venus, one of the evil people from Galaxy Team. Oh hey, you're ZX Winnie, the boy you called Cleaver, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. We nod. Wait a minute, are you evil? Are you actually evil? I knew it! You've got quite the reputation, you know? I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. But not me, because I am evil. Oh, I'm a Rezu. Okay, maybe she's like a past version of Commander Mars or something. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special, my special skill is giving haircuts. Really nice to meet you. That's so funny. Her hair does look pretty good. Quite interesting. Oh, snip! It's so funny that a hairdresser would say, oh, snip, instead of, oh, snap. But I came here to talk to your Mr. Kamado. See you around. Well, I wonder if I have to go up there. Okay, because it says mission, so I think that means that's where I have to go to continue the main story. So I think I should go up to them. Let's see. Gather apparitions. Wait, I wonder if I could only find the apparitions uh, during nighttime, or if I could find them during any time. Okay, what about you? Do you want something? Wouldn't you... Wouldn't you rather I had more wares for you to choose? Not necessarily, or it'd be nice. It'd be nice. Okay, let's see. Someone refuses to give them gifts. Would you persuade them? Hardy grains, two or three. Let's see. Get a hold of new wares. Okay, so that's another side mission. Wait. The dive sounds that you make even sounds like Link from Zelda. When he goes, Hup! like that, it even sounds like Link from The Legend of Zelda. Oh my goodness. Okay, we want to go up to the commander, right? I guess we want to go back up to the third floor. Let's see. What if this person actually is evil? What if they really are Commander Mars? What if they want to assassinate our leader here? Let's jump in. Bam, I dove right into the office while they're chatting. That's very funny. Like, huh? So, it's come to Ursa Luna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not noble can become frenzied. I've received no word from Adamant or Arita. This is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss Arezu. You did well to inform us of Ursaluna's situation. No problem. Adamin's got his hands full of running our clan and all, and Ursaluna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the Galaxy Team are the only ones I could turn to about this. Wow, so more Pokemon are going crazy, I guess. Ursaluna's warden is Mistress Kalaba of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she is the most narrow-minded. <laughs> uh, bound by tradition, I mean. That's so funny. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. Oh, speaking of outsiders meddling in affairs, I have a mission for you, ZX Many. In order to study... I order you to study Ursaluna in the Crimson Mirelands. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. It'll be a great task for you. The person there will love you. They are not at all bound by tradition. It's like, uh, sir, I heard everything you were saying a moment ago. The next area you'll be sent to investigate is the Crimson Mirelands. You'll find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the landscape itself is harsher, with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Mirelands known as the Salation Ruins. Wait, Salation Ruins? Like, Salation Town from Pokemon Brilliant Diamond? That is where you'll find Ursaluna's Warden. Okay, so I guess there isn't even a town there yet, because we're in the past. Alright, let's get out of here then. Oh, wait, 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 but what way do I even go? Alright, let's just head out of this village then. Oh, and Akari's here! Akari, are you going to come with me? Are you going to come with me, Akari? Let's see, I tried to sneak past- Oh, I'm behind her all of a sudden! Oh, hello, Zsmini, how'd you get back there? I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are, it must be a sign! You're right, or I've got a mission. You know what? Let's battle. We haven't had a battle in a while. Did your Pikachu evolve? Let's have a battle so I can go close, so I can grow closer with Pikachu. All right. Oh, she's got two Pokemon now. Let's go, Akari. I'm not gonna take it easy on you. Mime Junior, that's so funny. Its colors are similar to her. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm starting off with the boys over here. I don't know if I want to start off with, with Wow, level 19, that's kind of tough. You know what? Let's see. Let's do quick attack. Strong style. Let's see how that goes. Strong style, quick attack. Let's go. Bam! How much damage does that do? Oh, almost defeats it. Oh, it uses agile style? Hypnosis. Uh-oh, am I asleep or am I just tired? Okay, I'm drowsy. Okay. Oh, I use Zen Headbutt. Whoa! That is powerful. That is powerful. But you know what they say. Fight. Or actually, you know what? I'll send out Ponyta. I was gonna say fight electric with electric because the expressions fight fire with fire. 
but I'm gonna send out. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, agile style. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Sure, we'll use Ember over here, agile style. Let's see. Is that enough to defeat it? Okay, it is. Okay, it was a critical hit though. I don't know if that would have been enough otherwise. Let's go! Bonita, use an Ember over here. Oh, I guess you don't get experience until after the battle. It's enough for defeating each- Oh, you use a Thunderstruck right away. Man, man, she's really growing brave. Wait, I have Flame Wheel now. That's even stronger. Okay, let's use this then. Because it looks like the order's Ponytail Pikachu, Ponytail Pikachu. So let's use one of these. Then maybe I'll use Ember with a uh, strong style if I need to. Oh, no, no, this should be good. Thunderstruck, I'm alive, right? Okay, still alive. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Uh-oh, does that mean that it gets to go first now? Please let me go first. Yay! We still get to go first. Okay, and... We defeat it! Alright! Remember when Akari said that she got hit by a wild Pokemon's Thundershock? Now she's using Thundershock a bunch. Oops! I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way Pokemon use their moves. Alright, got a few level ups over here, quite nice. Oh wait, I wonder if Geodude can evolve now, because it's level 15 or so? I wonder if you need like level 16 or 18 to evolve it. Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. That's so sad! Thank you for battling with me. Here, have this new recipe. Wow, thank you. I will take it. You obtained a recipe for crafting stealth sprays. Does that let me sneak up on Pokemon? Because I would love to go sneak up on some Pokemon. One Hopo Berry and three Bugwort Blooms. Sounds like something out of Harry Potter. So I've been working on studying those strange space-time distortions. Do you know the ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. Are you Albert Einstein? You're a you are researching space-time distortions. Seems like they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon too. If you plan to go into one, be careful about it. Now time to head to the Mirelands camp. Wait, are you coming with me, Akari? Let's go! Wait, wait, wait. Does she heal my Pokemon before we leave? Oh, we can go to the next place. Okay, so here's the first place that we went to, Obsidian Fieldlands. Now we can go to Crimson Mirelands. Oh, and I just realized there's a big mountain across the center here. A big mountain range, just like in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And I guess up to the top, there's probably a snowy area. I wonder if we could ever go to this snowy area. Well, let's go to Crimson Mirelands now. That is where we are going now. Okay. All right, this is an interesting looking area. It's almost like an autumn colored area. Kind of like Autumn Mountain from Paper Mario the Origami King. Here we are, my boy, the Crimson Mirelands, an area teeming with poison-wielding Pokemon and plenty of other besides. I've heard about your mission, CX Many. If you're looking for the Salation Ruins, they're off that way. Show me where. Down that way, huh? Okay, I'm gonna go to Salation Town in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. For now, I'll keep searching for those space-time distortions. There's a little way of knowing when or where might one might appear, but I'll do my best. Sure would be handy if my map could tell me. Whoa! Whoa, so there are big things like that that appear. Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. That is so cool. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best you can. But be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training ground and have Captain Zisu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Okay, that's pretty cool. So then, hold on, are my Pokemon okay? Are any of my Pokemon fainted? No, they all look good, okay. All in the, well, almost all in the 20s. Okay, do we need to, shall we craft something? Oh, we can't craft any more Pokeballs. We've got a few healing items. Oh, actually, not a lot. Hmm. Okay, we've got a few revives. You know, let's make some super potions. Making some super potions now, okay. Let's, oh, what do you want? That graceful Pokemon. Do you have a baby in that basket? What do you have in there? Hey there! You're the go-getter from the Survey Corps! I have a request for you if you've got some time. I'd love to know more about a Pokemon called Rosalia. Has these gorgeous blue and red flowers for hands. Such a graceful Pokemon. I often come to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Rosalia. But just watching them afar isn't enough for me. Do you think you can complete Rosalia's page in that Pokedex of yours and show it to me? I think that I can. That would be quite nice. I would like to do that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I see something up ahead over there. Is that a Badoo? Is that a Badoo? I think there might be a Badoo over there. Okay, Golden Lowlands. Let's sneak up on this guy over here. Let's see. Should be able to catch it. Shouldn't be very tough for the first Pokemon we're catching, right? For the first Pokemon we see in the region. What's that in the water? Oh, it's a Psyduck in the water. Okay, we have had a Psyduck before. Okay, that was a Badoo. I was right about that. And what's that? Is that a... Oh, it's another Badoo. I was wondering if it was a Badoo or a Starly. Okay, let's go over here. Get that for me, bro. You can get that for me. Now then, anyone 
in these fields of wheat over here. Oh, a guy right over there. Let's get him. Snuck up on him. Hopefully we can catch that one without being seen too. That would be nice. Now then, Psyduck's over there. We want another Psyduck. Psyducks can get aggressive if you don't catch them though. Let's see, anyone in this grass or Oh, a Psyduck right over there. Let's see. Let's go down. Psyduck, you won't see me. You won't see me, Psyduck. Turn around. Turn around. You're not seeing anybody here. Turn around. Turn around, bro. Turn around, bro. Wait, if you get closer, does your chance of catching it go up? Why are you staring at me, bro? Bro, I'm not gonna throw this Pokeball at you. You can trust me, bro. I'm not gonna throw this Pokeball at you. Why would I throw a Pokeball at you? Why would I- I'm throwing it at you! <laughs> I'm going to catch you, Psyduck. I am going to catch you. <laughs> I captured you, Psyduck. All right, two out of three, Psyduck Scott. Let's go catch one more. Let's go catch that one over there. That Psyduck will never expect it. Okay, get that tree for me, please. And then we're gonna catch this Psyduck right here. Psyduck, yo, bro, bro, come on. I, I already have two Psyducks. Why would I ever want a third Psyduck? I'm not gonna try to catch a third Psyduck, bro. Just turn the other way. I'm not gonna try and catch you. Don't worry, bro. Just look the other way. Just look the other way. Ha! I'm gonna catch you! I'm gonna catch you, and if I don't, I'm going to run away. Let's see. Yeah! Three out of three Psyducks! Let's go! Okay, let's cross this bridge. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's one of those cactus Pokemon. I think in some of the relatively newer Pokemon, uh, does James have one of those? Because I know he has a victory bell. I remember him having a victory bell in early Pokemon, but I can't remember if later on if he has one of these. Let's see. Tell me this isn't, uh, tell me this isn't an alpha Pokemon. Okay, we got it from behind, so we should have a better chance of catching it, right? Let's see, what is this? Pastor Fern. Okay. Carnivine! It's like carnivore, but it's a plant, so carnivine. And Pokemon have clever names. Wait, that is that a Krikatoon over there? Yeah, it looks like there's a Krikatoon over there. Psyduck right over there. Uh, any other Pokemon here for us? There's a guy up there. Don't see any Pokemon. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go on our friend over here. Oh, some more of these. Uh, oh, they're angry. They're angry because I have they have noticed me. Wait, I see something blue up there. I don't know if that's a Pokemon to catch. I don't think that's a Pokemon to catch. I wonder if we could use a Pokemon to explode or break through this. Bro, you're still following. Bro, give it a rest. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. All right, we are here. Oh, are these the ruins that we're going into? Hold on, let's jump off our friend. You have a chat with me. I am Link and I am going in there. Dodging is everything, everything. When a wild Pokemon lashes out at you with this move, you dodge right out of the way. While you're dodging, their moves will whiz right by and not hit you, unless you're not good at dodging. It is time for Link to enter the next temple. If someone makes a mod that replaces this character with Link, this will look so much like a Zelda game, it's ridiculous. All right, let's head in. Who is that over there? Are th is that a person with a Pokemon? It looks like a person with a Bibaro. Who is it though? What if I capture their Pokemon? <laughs> ah, I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. When I get close enough, a cutscene starts. Wait a minute. The person looks this side, they're, they're like, what are you doing here? I'm Kabala of the Pearl Clan, Warden Calabba to you. It almost looks like that's growing out of her head. Oh, now would you look at that? You have a Celestica flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the space-time rift. That's right. We nod and smile. I see, I see. Look at her Pokemon. I've already heard about you, that you quelled Cleaver in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. Well, what you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission, after all. And you run about catching Pokemon in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. That young lady, Azrezu, who offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan? It just won't do. Be on your way. There's much I must do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. You were just standing here talking to a beaver before I arrived in an empty room. How much do you have to do? Ah, oh yes, it's Link! Link appears in the dungeon that we are at. Link is gonna help us into the dungeon. Of course it's Link. Ah, ZX Mini, how about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Oh, no, 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 I wanted to talk to you. I accidentally picked no. I wanted to chat with them. Oh, okay, good, good, good. We get to have a battle. Okay. All right, time to battle Link. I, I never thought that this day would come. 
Wait a minute, Togepi. Oh yeah, wait, we did battle this guy earlier. Okay, go Luxia, okay. Too bad his Togepi isn't evolved because the evolved form is normal flying, but Togepi is just normal. Ah, uh, you know what? Do I bite? Let's use bite with agile style. Can I attack twice? I'd love to attack twice because we're a pretty fast Pokemon. Not very effective. Wait, is Togepi like a fairy type or something? Draining Kiss. Oh my goodness, that is so strong. It literally half killed me. And all of its HP is back. Ah, that's not good. Oh wait, but I get to attack twice now. So let's use Thunder Fang then. Thunder Fang, how much does that do? Nice. And it's paralyzed. And I get to attack again. So let's use another Thunder Fang. There we go. Now we took it out. Okay, okay, okay. Man, I was getting scared that a Togepi might take me out. Okay, who's next? Gibble. Oh, Gibble, 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 Gibble. Oh no, Bulldoze. Am I dead? I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah, I'm dead because that's super effective. Ah, uh, Gibble's such a great Pokemon. Should I send out Boizel here maybe? Because I don't know if Gibble is Ground Dragon. I think it's Final Form. It, that evolves into Garchomp eventually, right? I think that eventually evolves into Garchomp. Let's use Water Pulse. How strong is that? Let's see. Not bad, not bad. Does a bit more than half damage. It uses Bulldoze. Wait, that slows me down, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, that almost defeated me. Do I still get to go first? Yes! Okay, good, good, good. Okay, and there you go. Gibble's defeated. Man, this guy put up a tough fight. He's got some pretty strong Pokemon. Battle decided! Shakes his head. Oh my, you're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. Yes, it was. Ah, uh, too bad that Luxio didn't survive that battle. Too bad he fainted. I wonder if uh, Geodude can evolve now. Such prodigious strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. That's so great. I love how after a battle the trainers heal you up. That's so great when that happens. Well now, that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Is that how you pronounce that? Wall fragment or wait, stolen? Tell me about the wall fragment. Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillage the Salation ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. I wonder if that'll be like another one of those slates. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? Ah, that's such a funny pun. Wait, are they all females? Because it's like misfortunes. They're a trio of bandits that have even hit us Ginkgo Guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Yeah, if your regulars are thieves, you don't want them. Mistress Calaba is doing everything she can to regain the fragment. But at 99 years old, well, so she's almost 100. It's a bit hard for her to chase leaves all over the place. That's such a memorable number. Like, if she was, like, 87, we'd be like, okay, she's 87. But they're like, she's 99. Everyone's like, wow, she's almost 100. What's going to happen at 100? So what do you say, kind sir? Why not help find the wall fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally, I'd be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters swipe my wares, too. And I'm no ginkgo guild merchant if I take that lying down. And far be it for me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. Okay, so we gotta go stop the Mish Fortunes. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Myerlands Cap. Perhaps worth checking out? Perhaps! Perhaps we should go check it out. Okay, wait, are you coming with me? Are you following me, bro? Track down the Shady Bandits to reclaim, to reclaim the wall fragment they stole. Okay, so we have to prove ourselves to that lady. Oh, and it's raining out here. It's because it's very sad. The wall fragments were stolen. Oh, wall fragments, that reminds me of, uh, jewel fragments. I've been watching a lot of Inuyasha recently, and it's like, Kikyo! Kagome, we need to get the jewel shards! And, uh, so I've been hearing a lot of, uh, talk about fragments and shards recently, so it's kind of funny to be hearing it in this game also. Okay, let's catch one of those. Hopefully we can get that Psyduck. A space-time distortion appears to be forming! Alright, we're gonna go over there. We are going to go over there, even though it is scary. We are going to go there. Bro, don't face this way. Turn around again. Turn around again. Don't look at me. Bro, he noticed me! Senpai noticed me! I'm running! I am running. Uh, can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Please don't drown! Please don't drown! You're so close! No, We couldn't make it! That's so sad. We are literally right beside the shore. Okay, we almost blacked out now. Okay, gotta be careful here. Where is that space-time thing that's for me? Okay, the space-time thing is over there. Okay, let's make our way over there then. Okay, not worried about the Badoo. I want to go to the space-time... To the space-time dimension thing. Wait. Oh, 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 jump! Nice! Now then, where is that? Oh, it's over here. Oh, 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 Okay, let's get that. Oh, nice, nice. 19 wisps remaining in this area. Okay, so it doesn't have to be nighttime when you get them. Let's head in here then. Let's see, what kind of Pokemon is that? Is that a crow gunk? Okay, can I head in? Okay, it noticed me and it's angry. 
Okay, let's see scary stuff over here. Let's battle it. Let's battle it. Battle me, bro. Battle me, bro. What level are you? 21. Okay, pretty strong. That's about the same level as me. Let's do a Thunder Fang here. That should be normally effective. Let's see. Okay, okay, it's in the red. It is in the red. It used Rock Smash. That's a fighting type move. Okay, my defensive stats were lowered. Not good. Now then, let's use a Pokeball. Hopefully we can catch... Oh, no, 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 no. That's the button to use a Pokeball. Let's go. Pokeball! Go, Pokeball! Come on, its HP is low. Let me capture it. It's not like an Alpha Crow Gunk or anything. Let's see. A nice Gen 4 Pokemon. No, it escaped. That's so sad. Mud Bomb, super effective, right? Okay, and we are defeated. That's all right. That's all right. I wonder if this guy knows... Wait, became what? I didn't see what it said. Okay, let's send out Staravia. Hopefully Staravia can do okay. And let me just catch it. Let me just throw a Pokeball. Throw a Pokeball? Yes. I would like to capture it. Let's see. And come on, come on. Yes! Okay, we got a Krogunk. Nice. Okay, I'm guessing the Pokemon in this region might be hard to sneak up on. Okay, we got a level 21 Krogunk. That's actually a pretty good Pokemon. Well, a uh, pretty good level. Times you've seen it use Mud Bomb, one out of one. Is that another Krogunk in there? Can we sneak up on it? I'd love to sneak up on it. I don't know if we can, though. Let's see. Let's see. Come here, bro. Oh, no. Nope. It is aggravated now. Let's run. Let's run. I don't want to fight this guy. Oh, whoa, whoa. I wonder if uh, these are some of the rare items that we've been told about. If we can break those and get some rare items. Let's see. Iron Chunk and Black Tumble Stone. That's pretty cool. Wait, what in the world? Oh, Rosalia. Rosalia. That's the big one that we want to catch. Let's see. Let's see. We've been... We've been told to capture some of Ro Rosalia's. Okay, let's try and capture that guy. And then, oh no, Rosalia noticed me. I, this is the senpai that I do not want to notice me. Whoa, whoa, a Graveler. A startled Graveler leaped out at you. Oh, I guess it leaped out from the, you know what, right? From the rock that we just, from the rock that we just broke. Okay, let's run away with uh, Ponyta. Where did that Rosalia go? I want to sneak up on some Pokemon. I think that would be the best way to do it if we can do it. Let's see, Rosalia's right over there. Let's go. Oh, nope. Ah! I'm hitting the wall! Okay, let's see. Don't face me, don't face me. Don't face- just turn around, turn around. There's nobody back here. Look, there's clearly nobody here. Just face the other way. Yes, there we go. I'm gonna get you now. I'm gonna get you! There we go. Got her from behind. Let's see if we can capture it. Yeah- oh! No, it escaped! And now it's on to me, unless it turns away again. Turn away again, come on, come on. Just turn around, there's nobody here. There's so clearly nobody here. Look, no way is anyone going to try to capture you. There's just no way anyone will try- Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see, can we catch it now? Let's see, please catch it. Twice it escaped! Oh, now it's getting angry. It's getting angry. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where did that Graveler go? I'd like to catch the Graveler. Space-time distortion appeared. Wait, I thought we were in this space. What in the world is this? Blue shard X1 Oh, I guess maybe now all these okay green shard. Where are these shards? A Porygon and a Baneer. Oh my goodness and the evolved form of uh, you know what? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, but wait, but they're all chasing me Okay, so we've got some crazy Pokemon over there But can we catch any of them is the question. Let's see. What is this over here? Is this another rare item? Oh man, the evolved form of Boizel. Oh cool, a nugget. I think you could sell that for quite a bit of money. Is he gonna use a uh, Aqua Jet? Oh, that's probably the swift attack. Let's see, what are these items? Porygon 2! Man, there are so many rare items and uh, rare Pokemon that you can get here. Do I have to battle the Pokemon to capture them though? Can I just capture any of them? Okay, let's battle then. I'll battle you, bro. Let's go. It better not be all those Pokemon attacking me at once. Wait. Do they all want to fight? It looks like they all want to fight. Oh man. Wild Porygon used tri -tack. Okay, I am dead. Okay. I Yeah, I'm fighting four Pokemon at once. I don't want four Pokemon chasing me at once. This is a bit scary. Let's see. Hardy Grains. Man, I just want to sneak up on some Pokemon and catch them. Oh! Don't want to get hit by that. Don't want to get hit by these guys. Don't, 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 what the? Oh! Wait, is that a Drift Blim or the evolved form of Drift Blim? I don't know if Drift Blim has an evolved form because it looked like a big Drift Blim to me. Bros, leave me alone. I'm trying to sneak up on a different Pokemon. I don't want to get caught. Oh! 
Let's see. If only there's a way. Oh! Man. Only there's a way for me to sneak up on those Pokemon. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? What in the world? What in the world? What if I leave? If I leave, am I not allowed to come back? Oh man. Oh man, oh man. I don't want to die. Take the iron chunk. Run! Run! So you can find all kinds of rare Pokemon here, but the question is, can you capture them? Wait, wait, wait. If we step outside, let's see what happens if we step outside. Maybe we step outside, maybe we could reset this in a nice way. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. An Eevee! I need the Eevee. I need the Eevee. I need it. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Don't swift me, Eevee. Don't. Did I black out? Did I black out? I got hit by a few swifts. No! No, that's so sad. Everything went black. Oh, no. And I left behind some items. I lost a rare candy and a nugget. That's so sad. Uh, that is so sad. Seems like you were rescued. So sad. Okay, let's leave some of these items. Blue shard, let's leave that. Okay, at least my Pokemon are all full health. Okay, let's go to where we are supposed to go now. Okay, so maybe slightly later in the game, those space-time rifts would be really useful for us. Because right now... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to fall down there. Can we get up here? Can we get up here? It'd be great if we could uh, maybe get up here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We made it. Okay. Now then, where do we want to go next? Okay, so that's the way that we want to go, actually. Okay, so let's go this way. Just head on up here. Oh, jump. Let's see a few Badoos around here. No, the guy noticed me. I was thinking maybe we could catch some of those if we sneak up on them. But it looks like we've got to run. Let's see, anything nice upcoming? Let's... Get this over here. I wonder when this guy's going to evolve. When is our Boizel going to evolve? Are you ready to evolve? Let's see, where are you? Let me catch that Paris right there. Let's see, do we catch her or does it escape? Nice, we got it. Number cough, four out of four. Okay, so that's nice. That's another bonus. Okay, can Geodude evolve? Oh, and that was a large Paris also. That was cool. I didn't realize it was a large Paris. Okay, that Paris wants to fight. So I'll ignore that Paris. Let's see, and we're getting close to where we have to go over here. Oh, what in the world is that? Wait, wait, wait. Looks like we're being attacked. Now then, what is going on over here? Okay, there's some crystals on the other side of that. You know, let's go here. Let's see, we're at some kind of camp now. And it's raining. There's no fire here. It's like a fireplace, but no fire. So it's like a place. It's a burnt out campfire. Somebody must have been here. But who? It's Arceus! Arceus had a campfire here. Now who might you be? Not some state, not some straight traveler from the look of you. Oh, who are you guys? Oh, are these the misfortunes? There's only one reason people go poking around here in the middle of nowhere. You're after the three of us, aren't you? Are you gonna battle? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly before we show this poor fool how wrong he was to assume he could ever beat us. All right, let's take on the misfortunes. Charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thud! Wait, wait! This looks just like uh, the ice gym leader, Candice, from Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Her hair looks very similar. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you see him double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. You've got no chance in this game of- Wait, her name is Coin. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Wait, are we gonna have a triple battle now? I've heard of double battles. We're the infamous bandit trio, the misfortune sister, and your luck's just run out. All right, let's go. Let me handle this, sisters. I'll only hurt him a little. All right. Oh, maybe I- Come on, Toxic Croak. Let's douse this fool in poison. I wonder if I battle them one at a time. For some reason, I don't think... For some reason, I don't think that these people will heal my teammates after the battle. Oh, it's the evolved form of Krogunk. Wait, what level are they now? I'm a bit scared. Let's see, what level do you have? You have... Oh, a level 23. Okay, so it's not crazy. So let's see. You know what? I'll go with an Aqua Jet. 
Let's start with an Aqua Jet. And I'll go Agile style, so maybe we can get a few attacks out. Let's see, how's that? Not much damage. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I will block my Pokemon's attack. I don't know if that helped. Okay, let's see. I'm almost dead, so you know what? I'll get out a Water Pulse just to deal some damage. Let's try that. I was hoping that maybe I'd be fast enough that I'd be able to attack twice in a row, but it doesn't look like it. Okay. Boizel fainted. That's all right. You served us well, Boizel. Oh, and it's raining, so I wonder if that makes water attacks even stronger now? You know what? We haven't seen... Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have Mud Slap, so you know what? Wait, is Mud Slap 100% accuracy? It is. Okay. But it's only 30% power, but Ground is super effective on Poison, and it's also same type attack bonus. So this is actually going to be like three times as strong as normal. Let's see. Yeah, but it's still super weak. Oh, Geodude became obscured. Okay, so, oh, Rock Smash. Yes, the move missed because of Mud Slap. Okay, that actually worked out nicely. Okay, so now Mud Slap should take it out. There we go. Goodbye, Toxic Rogue. I wonder if Geodude will soon be evolving now into Graveler. Let's see, battle decided. Do I have to battle the other two sisters now? I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the galaxy team. Level up, level up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Too bad Boizel didn't get any experience. Does the next sister want to battle? Huh. The galaxy team continues to spoil things for me even after I've left. Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. Wait, I don't have to battle the other two? Okay, we get the wall fragment. Nice. A fragment that was once part of a stone panel in the Salation Ruins. Yep, that's the panel that we need. The weird writing on it made us think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure, but it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? I wanted to help Calaba, I wanted to help Ursaluna. I wanted to help Ursaluna. They're like, oh, goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another? Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. That's such an interesting perspective, too. And I've got a score to settle with the Galaxy Team, which now includes you. What do you have to say? Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it, in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, Galaxy Fool. Oh, man. Oh, and they've run away. I should chase after them with my Pokemon. I should get on this right now and chase after them and just catch them. I don't think they'd be able to get very far from me. If they're threatening me like this, maybe it'd be good that I chase them down. Okay, I could probably go return this uh, fragment to the ruins now. Let's see. You know what? Maybe I can catch one of these guys, though, because there's a guy over there to catch. Let's see. Can I sneak up on him? He's facing towards me, so maybe I can't. Let's try going into the grass. No, 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 bro! They're so good at noticing me. Okay, let's just go across this way then. We're going across the bridge over here. Being very careful to not fall off the bridge because it's pretty easy to fall off the bridge. Gotta admit, it's pretty easy to fall off the bridge and go into the water. And your character can't swim for very long. This looks like one of those fruits that you collect in The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword to get your, uh, you know what back. To get your... Get your stamina back so that you can keep running. Should I catch another Psyduck? There's a Psyduck right over there. Psyduck, don't worry. I'm not going to catch you. I have so many Psyducks. What could I ever want with another Psyduck? I'm catching you! Ha 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 ha! Psyduck, you fool. You fool, Psyduck. Five out of six caught. I want one more Psyduck. Okay, I'd love to catch one of these. Oh, and that was a heavy Psyduck. That's great. Number of heavy specimens caught. Okay, now let me finally get this guy because these guys are so sneaky. So difficult to catch these guys. Let's see. Stop moving, bro. Okay, now! Okay, got it from behind, so I should have a better shot at catching it. Let's go. No, it escaped, and it's running away. And it noticed me. Okay, I'm running away then. Let's run away! To the temple! Those guys are kind of hard to catch. I'm surprised. I think I caught the first one of those that I ran into. So I was kind of lucky that I did that. Okay, let's head back this way. Let's go, bro. Hello, Link. 
I have returned. Oh, look how I was just diving there when the cutscene started. That's so funny. Good work. Very good indeed, ZX Betty. Thank you, Link. Thank you. I hope you're proud of me. You got the fragment back safe and sound, and all I had to do is defeat someone's... I only had to defeat one of the three sisters. I'm well aware of Kalaba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on. She's right behind you. I hope they also say that she's hard of hearing, otherwise she might hear you. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm Ursaluna's frenzy. Is Ursaluna at all related to that bear Pokemon, the evolved form of Teddy Ursa? A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. All right. Oh, okay, wait, just that Pokemon's fainted. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, we should be okay. Let's have our, you know what? Let's have a Geodude out at the front. Or you know what? Hmm, let's have Ponyta up at the front. All right, what's going on, ma'am? Ma'am, I've returned it. Oh, the, your Pokemon's happy to see me. She's like, no, I don't care. Oh, you've come, oh, you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you like, but it won't change my mind. This wall fragment. What? You wouldn't retrieve the fragment from those bandits? Why well, go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I didn't do it for you, I did it for the Pokemon. I guess you're that eager to call Mosa Luna, huh? That's right. Or if possible, I say that's right. I'll admit, I didn't expect anyone else to truly care for Ursa Luna. Well then, let's see the wall fragment. Here you are, I brought back the final shard of the Sheikon Jewel. And there we go. Good as new. Oh yes, I can read. Wait, all? I'm guessing these are unknowns. All places? All places touch something. It looks like that's what it spells. All places touch... Or wait, no, maybe it's all lives. All lives touch other lives to operate. All lives touch other lives to operate something. All lives touch other lives to operate something. A new and alive. Let me read- Oh, let me read what it says! Oh my goodness! Oh, to create something and you and alive. Okay, okay, okay. Oh man, I spent all that time trying to read it and then she, she just le reads it for you. Oh my goodness. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you helped me retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times. This is the first I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is all Mati Sinnoh's got. It. It's like the line, this too shall pass. What is your name then, boy? Yeah, all this time she never cared for my name. I see. ZX Money, please lend me your strength so that may, we, we may help Ursaluna. Sure that Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he'll return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. What, do I have to throw medicine? I can never engage Pokemon Battle, but that's something I can rely on you to do, right? Yeah. Ursaluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Where is Sludge Mound? Alright, I guess we are heading to Sludge Mound. I guess it's this way. Or wait, 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 or is it, uh, back here, actually? It's not over here, is it? Alright, let's go. Where could Sludge Mound be? Sludge Mound is what way? Okay, Sludge Mound is that way. Maybe we could catch some Pokemon on the way, too. Oh, but some of our Pokemon are still fainted. Ah! Would have loved to try to catch those guys if I could have snuck up on them. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Anything over here? Oh, oh, one of those guys? Wait, are the guys behind me still chasing me, or is it this guy noticed me? Notice me, senpai! Okay, anyone over there to catch? Oh, okay, you can get what's in that tree for me. And I'm gonna go get this guy over here. Oh, oh, that's not even a Pokemon. Wait. Yeah, that's not even a Pokemon. I thought it was a Pokemon for a second. It's just a thing to collect. Caster Fern. Oh? Nope, that's not a Pokemon either. Okay. So, Ponyta, you can get that for me. Whoa! Oh, an Alpha Tangrowth. The evolved form of Tangela, which was... Introduced in, I believe, Gen 4. I think Gen 4 is when we first saw it. Let's see. Do we got some heavy balls? You've got 10 heavy balls. I'd love to be able to catch it with some heavy balls. That would be amazing. Let's see. Come here, bro. Come here, bro. Let me show you how heavy these heavy balls are. Oh, you can't catch it like this. It's unobtainable. Okay, it's level 45. So you know what? That's too strong for me right now. So I'm, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Bro, don't block the path. I would like to run away, please. 
I am terrified of you. Just let me escape. Thank you. Now then. Ah, uh, this guy noticed me. Oh! But there's a Tangela there. Maybe I'll be able to catch the Tangela without me noticing. Because the town, the tan growth. Bro! Get away from me. Ah! Hey, you know what? Leave me no choice. I have to battle you. We must battle. Battle we must. Okay, I'm sorry to do this to you, bro. Sorry to do this to you, bro, but I gotta hit you with a, with a flame wheel right over here. Get him with a flame wheel. Bam. Super effective. Okay, didn't do as much damage as I would have liked, but you know what? I'm gonna use Ember. Okay, it uses Bite. Hurt by the burn. Oh wait, but it's it's raining. I wonder if uh, since it's raining on the field, if that makes fire attacks do less damage. Okay, Ember does finish it off. That's nice. Cause I don't know if there's a Pokemon. I don't know if there's a Pokedex entry for uh, how many times Ember has been used or how many times you've seen the move Ember. Okay, I'd love to catch this Tangela. Let's see. Okay, a bunch of those guys are flying around. Hey, Tangela. We can catch it from behind! Let's go, I hope we catch it. Look at the angry tan growth in the background. Did we get it? All right, we got a Tangela. New Pokemon, that is always exciting when you get a new Pokemon. Okay, get this for me, please. Get that tree for me, bro. You're doing a great job, Ponyta. We're real proud of you. Anything over there? Nothing over there, let's continue on. Let's pick up this plant. Uh, suit foot root. I've had so many rhymes, suit foot root. It is a suit foot root. It is the root of suit foot. Okay, got some of these around, but I think they get angry. Now then. Oh, this is where we ran into the uh, the space-time rift before. Pokemon around here are very dangerous. Oh! Oh, he's trying to hit me with a mud slap from back there. Okay, this guy noticed me too. And all these senpais are noticing me here. I do not wish to be noticed. Oh, 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 iron? Yeah, we got some iron chunks. What about those guys, Geodude? What about this guy? <gasps> Will you notice me? Wait, can we not- Oh, 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 oh! So I'm throwing a Pokeball. I want to catch him, though. Why can we not capture him? Why does it say that we can't capture him? Is he too aggressive to capture? What about you? Can I catch the Geodude? Oh, he turned his back! Perfect! Perfect. He turned his back at the perfect moment. And... We caught him! Let's go! Three out of three Geodudes caught. That is great. Wait, what is that on its back over there? What in the world is that? Oh, 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 that's like the, uh, the first evolved form of Hippodon. Wait. Who's angry? Someone nearby is angry. Let's see, can we get that guy from here? I just need him to- Oh! Oh, and there's a Alpha Hippodon nearby. I hope it doesn't get too angry if I try and steal his children. So I'm gonna try and steal this guy right over here. Let's see. If we could catch it, that would be amazing. Yeah, we got it! Okay, Hippopotamus. It's like Hippopotamus. Alright, that is so cool that we were able to catch that. Oh, and there are a bunch of them over there, too. Number you've caught without being spotted, one out of one. Okay, nice. So let's catch another one, hopefully. Can I get that one? 31 Pokeballs left. Oh, is it coming towards me? It's like, no, you are capturing- You're capturing my children. Okay, two caught so far. Can I get a third one? Oh, that one noticed me! Oh! 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 That's not even the alpha one that attacked me. That's the normal one. Too many Pokemon. Too many Pokemon. We've got a red bro. Let's run, bro. Let's run, bro. We gotta get out of here, bro. We gotta get out of here, bro. Scary stuff over there. Some scary stuff over there. And there's a Graveler going around too. Wait, can I evolve my Geodude yet? My Geodude still doesn't want to evolve. And when will my Ponyta evolve? That is another question. Okay, let's see if we can catch one more of these, because I'd love to have three of these. Let's see. Where are you going, bro? You're not gonna notice me, bro. You're not gonna notice me. Look, I'm in the grass. I'm in grass right now. You're not going to catch me, bro. There's nothing at all to worry about. You're just safe in your natural habitat right now, and then you get caught before you know it. Are you caught? Let's see. Yeah, three out of three caught. Let's go. Okay, so let's break that. Good job, Pony Top, breaking that for me. Now let's run this way. Now then, what's over here? What's over here? We want to go over here? Oh, oh, right, that's right, that's right. There's the other uh, Pokemon that we want to get. Wait, 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 wait. Do I want to get one more of those? What type is that Pokemon? I. It's probably water ground, so you know what? What if we even battle it? Let's battle it. Let's battle. Battle me, bro. Battle me, bro. I'd like to battle you. Let's see. Hippopotas. It's keeping its guard up. Oh, it ran away. Oh, what are you scared? 
You scared because of the Pokemon I have? Well, can we run through here? Oh, nice, we can. You know what? I'm not scared to take on no Graveler. Let's go. Let's go, Graveler. Battle me, Graveler. Bam. You caught Graveler unaware. Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's use a Grass-type move. And that should be double super effective. It's not dead in a single turn. It's unaware and too stunned to move. Okay, that's great. Wait, do I catch it or do I attack it? Oh, man, that's such a tough choice. You know what? You know what? I'm risking my Pokemon fainting, but I'll try catching it. Hopefully we can catch it. Oh, man, oh, man. Because if it uses a Rock-type move, we're probably dead in a single hit. Please just catch it. Please just catch it. No! It escaped from the ball. Oh, no. Oh, no. It used Bulldoze. Wait, that doesn't affect me. Yeah, because I'm a Flying-type. Okay, kind of silly that it used a Ground-type move on a Grass-Flying-type. Because that has no effect, because Ground doesn't affect, affect Flying. Now then. Okay, good. We did catch a Graveler. Okay, I guess now I don't have to worry about training my Geodude anymore. So, yeah, that's nice, because we already have... Well, maybe there's a... Maybe there's a Pokedex entry for evolving a Pokemon into something else. But, hey, at least we've got a Graveler in the Pokedex. So, let's see. Let's do that. Let's see. Let's go this way. And... Oh, oh, oh let's talk to this guy first. Wait, wait, wait. Is, what is that over there? Who are you? Maldon. Hello there, Sonny! So you're the Sir Vakescorp's child who quelled the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help setting up a new base camp? We're making one up- Wait, they're making a base camp here? Yes. Our Odo could show you someone as capable as you! It's a fresh construction corpse unit, still learning the ropes! Okay, what do I need to set up the base camp? Go. Go to help set up the bog-bound camp. I want to set up the camp now. What help do you need to set up the camp? I'd love to be able to teleport here. That would be so cool. Okay, well, let's go over here, I guess. Oh, here's the lady. Here's the lady with her bibarrel. Over here, ZX Money! All right, I'm coming over. I'm coming over. Ursula is enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. I'm 99 years old, after all. Almost 100. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Go ahead and play it. Ah, of course they play that song! Just like at the beginning of uh, Pokemon uh, Diamond and Pearl, and I guess probably also Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Okay, so is the Pokemon going to show up? I wonder if it's also going to be golden like the last Pokemon. Oh, it's an angry bear. Oh. Now show your metal. Wait, show your metal to Ursula? But remember that Ursula is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Okay, okay, well good to know that we can't catch him. All right, what, so do I have to throw berries at it or something? Or wait, or do I just battle it? Do I just battle it? Uh, it's level 26, baby doll eyes. What does that do? Decrease my attack stats? Okay, offensive stats were lowered. That's not good. I don't know if I'm going to die in a single turn. So I'll use Aerial Ace is 60, that one is 40. Oh, this is super effective. Let, let's use Leafage then. Oh, I probably should have used Strong Mode. Let's see, that did so little damage. Am I dead? I'm not dead. Okay, okay. Let's use strong style leafage. I probably should have used that the turn before. Let's do. Let's let's go. Let's do it. Let's do. Okay, leafage. How much damage is that? Not a crazy amount of damage. It's like one third dead. Now, how much of my team is that? It's probably part water type. I'm guessing. Oh, maybe Luxio would be good then. If it's part water type, maybe Electro type moves would be very good on it. Let's see. No effect. Oh, so it's probably part rock type. That's probably what it is. Okay, so you know what? Let's go uh, agile style. Let's get a few bites out on it. Let's see how this can work. Hopefully we don't die in a single turn. Bites normally effective. Does a bit of damage. Oh, nice. And we get to get another attack. Okay, let's do another agile style because we're a pretty fast Pokemon. Luxio's nice and fast. So we can probably get a few hits in on him. Let's see. Bulldoze. Oh, no. Oh, no. That decreases our speed and it's super effective. We're dead. We're dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, but this Pokemon's fainted, so I can't send it out. That's not good. Let's send out Staravia, I guess. It's almost defeated, so we're getting close. Let's see. Yeah, but we're not allowed to use uh, Pokeballs. We can't even switch to Pokeballs. So, let's see. Quick Attack, Aerial Ace. Oh, if it's Quick Attack, then we'll get to get a bunch of attacks out together. Oh, if we use Quick Attack Agile style, then we'll get to attack again right after that. So let's do this. Let's do this. We'll do a Quick Attack right now. Agile style. 
So we get to attack, and we get to attack again. Uh, if we do Agile Cell again, we don't get to attack again. Oh, uh, if we use Strong Aerial Ace, then it gets to attack twice. But if I use Normal Aerial Ace, then I get to attack. Okay, let's do this. Normal Aerial Ace, how much does that do? Not bad. Oh, it's using Agile Cell. Uh-oh, Baby Doll Eyes. Wait, that just decreases my attack, right? Let's see, offensive stats were lowered. Oh, it attacked twice because it used Agile Cell. Okay, we are dead. Uh-oh, this is not good. We're almost out of Pokemon. Very scary times over here. Now, Geodude or Ponyta, who is better? Oh man, 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 oh man. Let's go with Ponyta. Please, Ponyta, don't die immediately. Please don't die, please don't die. Let's see, okay, we should get to attack first, but it is raining, and Bulldoze takes us out in a single hit. Will Flame Wheel be able to defeat it? Please, Flame Wheel. I have faith in you, Ponyta. Please? No! Oh, it's burned, though. It is burned. I wonder if uh, Burn will defeat it. Strong Cell. Yes, we're definitely dead. Bulldoze. We are 100% dead. 100%. Even without Strong Cell, we probably would have been dead. Wait, am I gonna give a bunch of experience to Geodude right now? Oh, wow! It gets defeated with the Burn, so I don't even have to send out Geodude. Okay. How is that? How is that? Ursaluna, my poor darling! You must be exhausted from running around like that! Come, let me make it all better. Are you gonna heal my Pokemon too? I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing Ursula's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxigon! It almost sounds like something that you'd see in an infomercial. Blah! It's very gross tasting, I guess. It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. Yeah, they're not gonna use it on my Pokemon. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. He wasn't glowing? Or he wasn't really- Yeah, why wasn't he glowing? Why wasn't he glowing? What's wrong? Very astute of you, Galaxy Team Recruit- I don't think that's very astute. I think it's kind of clear to notice that he's not glowing. You're exactly right! When you quelled Cleaver's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. And I like that we can still see that storm in the background, the portal over there, is just reminding us that we have to get there sometime. But no such strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this clinging to Ursula's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Arezu. Now why did she of all people find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? What, do we get some powder now? I almost forgot something important. Play your flute. Okay, sure, I'll play the flute. But I warn you, my dear friend's gonna come here. I'm so good at playing that tune, that's so cool. Yes, yes. Now he wants to be my- wait, can I ride on the bear now? Ursaluna opens his heart! And learn well the sound of your plank. Can I ride on the bear now? Oh cool, we got the Earth Plate from Ursaluna. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we're getting all these Arceus tablets. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say he's digging for treasure, even if these treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Bam! Thank you. You can now call Ursaluna to dig for treasure. Ursaluna will rush towards any treasure he senses in front of him. That is so cool. Press Y to dig for treasure. You might find something very nice. Okay, that is pretty cool. Oh, 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 and I can swap between who I want. Okay, let's go, bear friend. Anything to dig it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Is there something to dig for here? Is this like warmer and colder? Treasure here! Where's the treasure? Right there, right there! Oh, we found the treasure! Okay, okay, so you have to look around. And what kind of treasure do we get? Old verse 9! We look like we're just holding an invisible apple. Part of a series of old poems that have been unearthed around the Hisoi region. It appears to have all been written by the same person. Did we get any of the other old verses? I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river. I let my memories flow adrift upon the river. And to the ocean they will flow, perhaps around the world to go. 
How many bones and days now gone have I now set adrift from me? How many bones and days to come will I yet see adrift to see? While every gift from which I part takes a sliver of my heart. Why are we smiling while reading that? That's kind of weird. Okay, so our only surviving Pokemon is a Geodude, so I'm actually a little scared right now. We are not in a very good state right now. So I'd love for there to be a base camp over here, but... I guess maybe later in the game we're gonna make a base camp over here? So for now, let's go back to report to our commander, because that's what we have to do. Wait, no, I don't want to put down a stamp, I want to go to the Myerlands camp. Okay, yes, 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 that is where we want to go. Nice, nice. Wait! Oh, okay, I am here, I am here, okay. Uh, hold on a second, this isn't- Oh, here's the professor! Professor! I have some stuff to do- Or wait, do we leave first, or what do we do? You know what, let's heal up first. Let's rest. How long would you like to rest? Just a little while. Okay, everyone in the party is good. Oh, whoops. Now then, I don't want to craft. Can I swap Pokemon? Can I speak to you to swap Pokemon? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I want to see some of my Pokemon. Okay, let's see. Let's bring some Pokemon. Okay, so Geodude, we don't need because we have the, you know what? We already have a Graveler. I don't know if Dreblim evolves. Zubat definitely does evolve, so I'm taking Zubat. I'm still keeping the rest of my team with me, though. So this is looking pretty good over here, I think. Wait, a Ghastly! A Ghastly, I see a Ghastly! I see a Ghastly over there. Oh, man! Some sneaky poison Pokemon over here. Okay, I'd love to sneak up on it and get it with a Pokeball from behind. Okay, and there's another Ghastly up ahead also. Let's see. Can we get it before it becomes morning? Let's see, because I don't know if they'll run away in the morning. Let's see. Turn around, bro. No, it noticed me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who do I want to send out? You know what? Should I fight it? Okay, let's fight it. Let's fight it. Wait, where are you going, bro? Bro, let's fight it. Bam! I hit it. Okay, time to fight Ghastly. Level 19. Let's hit it with... Aerial Ace or Air Slash? Let's go with... Wait, if I do that, do I go first? No. If I do that, it gets... Er, if I do this, I don't get to attack twice. So let's just hit it with an Air Slash. Hopefully our attack lands. 95% accuracy. Oh, defeated in a single hit. Okay. Well, maybe there's an entry for number of Ghastly's defeated. Yeah, one out of one Ghastly's defeated. That's all right. I'd love to catch a Ghastly, though. Let's see. Come on. Come here, Ghastly, 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 Ghastly. Oh, there's a bunch of Ghastly's around. My goodness. Okay, let's see. Can I get it from here? Can I get it from here? Bro, come on. No! Why? Did you turn around, bro? You shouldn't have turned around. Because now you're going to have to... Pay the consequences of turning around with an Air Slash. Is that defeated in one turn again? Let's see. Air Slash is pretty great. I am loving how powerful our Saravia is. Okay, but now can we please catch a Ghastly? Please. Please, I'd love to sneak up on one of these guys. Now then. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Where are you going? Okay. There we go. Okay, we finally got one. Now will we capture it? Because I think that counts as a back hit. Okay, and we got it. Nice, 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 nice. One ghastly caught. Amazing. Let's see. Anything up ahead? I'm seeing something over there. What is it? Oh, it's just a Paris. Should I catch it? Should I try and catch the Paris? It's not turned around. You know what? Since it's not turned around, I'll fight it. And Saravia should be able to take it out easily because it is... Is it bug or bug grass? But either way, this will be... At least super effective. I don't know if it's super effective or double super effective, but yeah, that should take it out in a single hit, so that's fine. Let's take this. And let's just run back up here then. Now then, let's see. Anything else to do over there? Psyduck? You know what? You know what we should do? We should use uh, this guy a little bit. We haven't used this friend over here. And there might be something that you get for defeating Psyducks, but look at this Psyduck. It's just resting there on its back. I want to battle it though. Did I catch it off guard? I was thinking that maybe it would count caught it off guard. Okay, let's see. Thunder Fang or Thunder Shock? If I do strong style, then it'll get to attack twice in a row, but this should probably defeat it in a single turn. So let's see. I'm hoping it does. Okay, good, good, good. Because it's not a super powerful attack, but it is super effective and it's same type attack bonus. Okay, nice, nice. Oh, number you've defeated with electric moves. That's something that you get for, uh, for Psyducks. Wait, 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 wait. If we could catch another one of these, that would be great. Let's see if we could catch another one of these. 
Let's see. It's probably gonna turn around right as I get to it. But I'd love to catch it. Let's see. Go! Okay, good, good, good. I was worried that it would run away. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was thinking this almost looked like a drift blim over here. Okay, two out of three carnivines caught. Getting one more carnivine would be great. Okay, if we run into another carnivine, then we'll try and capture it. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. One moment, Jack's money! It's the professor. Would you come here, please? Of course. Wait, wait, wait. What if we try and leave? Does he say the same thing again? One moment, Jack's money! Would you come here, please? I am guessing he'll just literally repeat that all day if we just keep going back to him. All right, Professor Laventon. Uh, Jack's money, I think you've got something stuck to you. Wait, what is it? Ah, an unknown! An unknown, a letter A, unknown! Where's it going? I was wondering if it's one of those fuzzy things. Was that a Pokemon? Yes, it was. It's a psychic-type Pokemon. Come to think of it, Volo did mention that there were carvings that resembled writing on the walls of the Salation Ruins. But supposing that the Pokemon we just saw is a species with multiple forms, perhaps the carvings are actually likenesses of this very Pokemon. Yeah, makes sense. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species to your Pokedex DX many. Do we want to catch every letter then? Unknown notes were added to your Pokedex. And unknown is spelled like that because that's how you spell the Pokemon's name, not the actual word unknown. What's this now? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in this section I've just added. And was that your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. Press the Y button while viewing the cover of your Pokedex to jump to the unknown research notes. Okay, so what? Do we want to catch lots of unknowns? The unknown possess a mysterious power that repels Pokeballs containing Pokemon, so you won't be able to battle them. But track them down and catch them all if you can. Oh, that's actually really cool. So we can't battle unknowns? But we can look for them and capture them, possibly. Okay, not seeing any unknowns around here, so let's head back. Let's head back. I'm ready to continue along. Okay, would you like to go report the survey results to the professor? Yes. Let's see if we become a uh, next rank then. I think we might become the next rank. That's a lot of Pokemon caught. And some new Pokemon too. Let's see, 5,992. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Ah, oh, most illuminating. All right, let's see. And how many points do we get? Yes! We are worthy of rank three. Splendiferent! You've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. All right, let's return to the village. All right, so we're going to get the next rank. Rank three. Very nice. Very excited to have rank three. We will be rank 10 in no time. Oh, and Akari, hello! Akari, I'm moving up the ranks. Are you proud of me? There you are. You better hurry to the commander's office. Oh, she looks serious. Is something going on? What's wrong, Akari? Akari, what is wrong? Uh, too bad I can't, uh, ride my legendary deer Pokemon over here in the village. That'd be very funny if you could do that. All right, so let's head into here. Let's see, where are we going? Wait, wait, did they say command? Oh, they said commander, not this lady. Wait, wait, let's talk to this lady first and then we'll get the, we'll get the next rank. Let's first check the blackboard, let's see. There's some requests, let's check. Moral, the mushroom hunter is curious about the mushroom growing on Parasect's back. Please assist him in investigating. Okay, okay, I do have, uh, I do have a Parasect. I think I have a Parasect, I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I have the Alpha Parasect, so I don't know if I want to give that one to him. If you have progress to report, I will judge it, yes. I do have progress. I am ready for star number three. Huh, you made progress. Seems you have earned yourself a star. All right, new rank, star number three. Let's go. Beautiful progress. With this, you have officially attained the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Great Balls. Pokemon up to level 40 will, ab okay, Pokemon above level 40 will obey your orders reliably. All right. Let's see. Oh, and we get another recipe. Okay, nice. We get the recipe for crafting Great Balls. Oh, so that's what we use Iron Chunks for. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex. I will. I will. I am very much enjoying completing the Pokedex. I enjoy being rank three. Wait, how much money do we have? Maybe we want some more spots in our bag. But for now, we're going to go up to the top floor over here. And we're going to get some help from this guy over here. 
Let's see. Oh, we dove right in. Who is this that's having a chat over here? That's the di- Oh, wait, this is the guy that sells us potatoes every day. See, it's many. We have a situation here. You're the potato seller. What are you doing here? Let me explain. Lilligent, our clan's lady of the ridge, is in a frenzy. And a Rezu knowingly kept this from me. Lady of what? A Lilligent? Yes, there are only female Lilligent, which makes this honored one our lady of the ridge. But this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out just what Azeru was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking's simply irresistible after all. If Azeru of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in that situation with the raging Ursaluna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? Are you gonna be on our side? Whose side will you take, Commander? We would be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to, if we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all the work you've put in to get us to treat each other as equals and keep us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. ZX Money, perhaps you have some idea how we might address this situation. I could call Ursaluna or not really. I'll call Ursaluna. I'll do it. I'm the one who will solve all the problems. Ursaluna, so he and Warden Kabbalah found you worthy? That's perfect then. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out Azeru wherever she's gone. If you're strong enough that Ursaluna deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell Lilligant's frenzy as well. All right, let's go calm down Lilligant then. Lilligant is, I guess, the next Pokemon? Listen well, GX Mini. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Hisoi. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. Right, but doesn't Team Galaxy become evil in the future? Right on Ursula and follow the blue signals to sniff out Arezu in the Crimson Mire lands. Let's do that. That is exactly what we want to do. So let's go down here. And let's get out here. So I guess we're gonna go ride on our bear for a bit. Time to go do some bear riding. Okay, and wait, 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 wait. What did these people want? Do I have anything to offer these people? Do these, can I offer these people what they need? Let's see, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, wait, 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 you're the, you're the balloon popping guy. You know what? Uh, no, I don't wanna pop any balloons. Wait. No, I don't wanna pop any balloons. Okay, let's see, what do you have? What do you have? The cleaning never stops around here. Do you want a Pokemon? Oh, you're the boy from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Can I ask you to fetch a plan for me? I need it to make some medicine. Okay, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Search for bitter leaves. Three leaves? I don't know where it grows. Oh, I guess I don't have the plant that you need. Okay. Man, there are a lot of tasks that we can do. But you know what? We can't be distracted by the tasks that we have to do because what we have to do right now is head over here. Sorry, I have to dive by the shops over here. Sorry, ma'am, don't want any more clothes right now. What I've got to do is go over here. Is Akari going to say goodbye to me as we leave? I hope Akari says goodbye to me as we leave. Heading out to the village? Wow, Akari isn't even here to say goodbye. Okay, so we want to go to Azaru's predicament. Let's go over there. Let's travel to the Meyerland camps. That's where we are going. And we are going to ride around on our bear, Ursaluna. It's like Bear Moon. That's what its name sounds like. The girl who set out earlier must have been eating some of Benny's potato mochi. That sounds just like someone I know. I can still smell it on her. That reminds me, I've seen Mistress Calaba riding around on that Ursaluna she serves, digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursaluna uses his sense of smell to suss out where the treasure might, might be. Ursaluna now knows Arezu's scent. Follow the blue signals to find her. Okay, that sounds simple enough. We could use our Pokemon to sniff out where we need to go. Okay, and you know what? Let's have a... Uh... Let's have this guy at the front, Luxio. It'd be nice to use our Luxio. Okay, where's the scent that we have to sniff out? You know what? We can also catch some Pokemon while we are at it. Let's see, where's this guy? Where's this guy? We could catch that Badoo over there. Badoo shouldn't be too difficult to catch, right? Just turn around. Just turn around, Badoo. No, don't face me. Don't face me. You don't want to face me. There's no need to face me. I'm not going to catch you. I'm not trying to catch you. I'm going to catch you. Ha 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 ha. Did we catch that one? We did caught it, okay, and we got three out of three caught. That's pretty cool. Okay, what about you? 
What if I catch you? Oh, we had a super high chance to catch that one. That was great, Jason. That one's probably like a guaranteed catch. Let's get on our bear. Wait, did we not catch that one? Well, that one got away, even though it was uh, green to catch. Where's the scent at? Oh, 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 one of those. It noticed me because I'm on a bear. So you know what? Here's what we've got to do. I'll fight you. Fight me, bro. Okay, I'll use a weak... I'll use a weak flying attack. I'll use Gust. You know what? Uh, even if we do Agile style, we don't get to go twice in a row. I'm kind of hoping this doesn't defeat it so that we can catch it. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Poison Powder. Oh, no. Thank goodness we avoided the attack. I don't know if poison works in other games where it's like if you're poisoned, then even after a battle when you take steps, your Pokemon keep taking damage from poison. So hopefully we capture it. Let's see. Nice. Nice. We caught the Parasect. So then, let's get... Oh, what is this item? Our backpack is full. We can't take the ball of mud. You know what? Maybe we should go back to the base camp then. Because we might be seeing a bunch of useful items while we are on this excursion over here. So while we are here, let's go back. Let's craft some stuff. Let's put some items away. Okay, so what can we craft? Oh, great balls. Provides a higher success rate for catching than a standard Pokeball. I can only make five of them. Oh, because you need iron chunks, I guess. Okay, so we made five great balls. Oh, we don't have a lot of uh, tools. At we don't have a lot of Apricorns at all. We should really get some more sometime. Oh, Stealth Spray. That makes Pokemon less likely to see you. Okay, we can only make two of those, though. What is this? Smoke Bomb. When thrown, these balls produce a cloud of fine powder. Oh, that's another really cool idea also. Huh. You know, I'll just keep the Stealth Spray for now, though. That's fine. Okay, what do we not need? Vivid Choke? Okay, let's put away the orange berries. Let's put away... Let's put away those. Okay, there you go, there you go. Put a bunch of items away. Hopefully we should be okay now. Let's continue on our journey. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I was thinking that maybe that's an item there, but that just looks like a... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's first get this. And I guess these are the... We have to fall... Wait. A startled Geodude leaped out of- Oh my goodness. You know what? Let's run. I don't care about that Geodude. Let's run away. Come back. We're gonna battle another time. Oh! Number you've seen leap out at ore deposits. That's pretty cool. Okay, and I've gotta follow where these blue tracks go. Can we jump? Oh no, but we can search for treasure. And you know what? You do get something nice for defeating Psyducks with electric moves. That's a Pokedex entry. I don't know if we have to do that anymore, but let's do that here. Let's do a Thunder Fang here. Does that defeat it? Very nice. You defeated Psyduck. Wait, where's a bridge? Okay, there's a bridge over there. Number you've defeated with electric type moves. Two out of two. Very nice. Get that for me, please, from over there. Ah, oh, there's another Psyduck over there. Okay, we need one more Carnivine. We do need one more Carnivine, so I am going to try to catch that one because right now we are two out of three for Carnivines caught. So if we could get this one, that would be great. And we are in the bushes, so hopefully it doesn't see me. Is it sleeping? Bro, what are you doing? It's sleeping. Does that mean that we have a better chance at catching it? I hope it does. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Three out of three caught. Okay. And do I want to defeat another one of those? You know what? Let's do it. Let's defeat another Psyduck. I don't know if we can keep going now that we already have two out of two for defeated with electric type moves. I don't know if we have to go any higher. Let's just get a nice quick Thunder Fang over here. 95% accuracy. Thunder Fang is such a nice move. Okay, Psyduck has been defeated. Oh, nice. Medicinal Leaks. Okay, three out of four Psyducks defeated with uh, Electric-type moves. Now then, Bear, where do we have to go, Bear? Okay, so we are going this way. All right, not worried about the Krikatots. We want to go up that way, though. That is the way. Wait, can you climb up this? Oh, so close. Wait, can you, like, jump or something? No, it looks like we're stuck there. I don't think we could get up that way. Okay, how can we make it up there? That is my question. Oh, that stuff is shiny over there. Let's, uh... Take care of this shiny stuff. Do we get anything nice from that shiny stuff over there? Oh, oh, iron chunks and tumblestone. Okay, that's great. Wait, are iron chunks used for great balls? Okay, and here's this guy over here. I'm scared of you, though, so I'm running away. We're not fighting, bro. We're not fighting, bro. Actually, you know what? I was gonna try and use a heavy ball on him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, bro, pick up that for me, and we're gonna run. Okay, nice. Iron chunks and the uh, tumble stones. Okay, got another vivid choke here. I'm not worried about that guy. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, can you go faster? 
I want to go up this wall over here. I don't know if we can climb up here. Can we climb up here or is this too steep? I think that might be too steep for us. Maybe. Can this guy get us up there? Let's see. Almost. Come on. Come on. This looks like the type of Pokemon that should just be able to climb up an almost vertical wall. It should be able to climb up an 89 degree wall. Come on. Come on, you gotta let me get up there. Okay, we're getting attacked by somebody. Okay, so we are running, we are running. We don't want to black out. Come on. Come on, let's get up here. Let's get up here. Okay. Oh, bro. Come on, you gotta be able to make that jump. Whoa! Whoa, 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 someone's using mud slaps on us. It's so weird being attacked by wild Pokemon. Man, when, um... When people in past Pokemon games tell you, hey, don't go into wild grass because Pokemon might attack you, they weren't kidding. That's something that can actually happen, apparently. Let me catch that sleeping Tangela. Easy catch, bro. Easy catch. Okay, that almost looks like lava over there. Let's see. Oh, and two out of two Tangela is caught without being spotted. That's quite nice. Can we catch another one of these? Because these are kind of hard to catch. They notice you pretty easily. So if I could catch one, I'll go for it, I think. Let's see. Where are you at, bro? Where are you at, bro? Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Okay, if we could get it, that'd be nice. If not, no big deal. And Luxio, you can take care of that for me. Nice. Four out of six Carnivines caught. Okay. Wait. Ah! Wait a minute. This Burmy looks different. Why is this Burmy this colored? Normally it's green. That isn't shiny, is it? That isn't what it means, is it? Let's see, what if we do a bite on it? How strong will that be? I'm wondering why it's a different color. It's not shiny, is it? Okay, well, we defeated it. Hopefully it wasn't as shiny. Oh, number defeated, one out of one, nice. Now then, oh, oh, there's a scun tank down there. Is that the way that we want to go though? That is the question. Let's see, and will we take fall damage? That is the other question. Okay, Bear, where are we going? Okay, we want to go up that way. Um, If I can get it from up here, that would be amazing. I don't know if I can reach it from here though. Let's see. If I can get it from here, that would be amazing. Let's see. Ah, it's like I can't throw it far enough. Wait, did it notice me? Let's see. No. Can I battle it from here? Let me battle it from here. Let's go. Battle! No, it's running away! Why are you running away? Bro, come on. Come on, bro. I just want to fight you. Bro, why are you running away for? Come on, just fight. Don't be a coward. Ah, uh, you know what? I guess I've got to go down. I guess I've got to go down. I don't have a choice. You leave me no choice. Wait, what about these? Can I catch these? Who is noticing me? Who is noticing me? Someone nearby noticed me. Oh, it's this guy. Um, up. Oh! Yep, that's attack. That's an attack. Yep, I've got to fight you then. I'm sorry, bro. But I've got to take you out with the flame wheel. Ah, uh, that's the wrong Pokemon. That is the wrong Pokemon. Okay, so grass is not very effective. Let's try using a strong style bite. It's level 24. I'm only level 25, so I'm not much stronger. But how do we do? Okay, that's okay. Uh, actually, that was not good at all. And defensive stats are learned. You know what? I'm sorry. I've got to switch to Ponyta. Switch to Ponyta. Ponyta, we need you. Come on, Ponyta. I wonder if that's lava or just muddy water there. Let's see, Ember. If I do strong style Ember, you know what? I'm going to just use a normal flame wheel then. Can my Ponyta attack me? My Ponyta can attack me if I stand in the way. That's kind of funny. Okay, we defeated Carnivine. Now then. Number defeated. Two out of three. Okay, so I'd, I'd like to defeat another Carnivine. That would be cool. Now then, is the scun tank down there? I don't know if I can make this jump back up here if I come down. Uh, let's let's go down. We've got to go down. Got to go down. Let's see. Bros, how are you noticing me? Okay, I've got to fight you then. I've got to fight you then. Uh, both of you are going to fight me, aren't you? Wait, is that one leaving? Yeah, they're both. They both want to fight. Oh my goodness. Let's see, how effective is Flame Wheel against Stunky? Let's see. 
Okay, almost. Did. Oh, that was a critical hit. That's why I did so well. Okay, Venom Shock. That doesn't kill me, but now this guy probably will. Mud Bomb, I'm dead now, right? Yeah, I'm dead. So let's see, come back, Ponyta. Who do I send out next? Uh, let's send out our bird, and let's try to catch the Stunky. If we could catch the Stunky, that would be great. I don't really care too much about the other guy. So let's try this. Throw a Pokeball, yes. Let me catch it. It's HP is low. Come on. Come on. It seems like capture rates are pretty high in this Pokemon game. I remember in a lot of other Pokemon games, it's like, just going up to a random Pokemon and catching it would be pretty unthinkable. Oh my goodness, it's level 36? How is it such a high level? Hey, what if we fight? Let's see. Uh, oh man. Even if we do Agile style, we won't get to attack twice. Okay, let's try an Aerial Ace. Or, you know what? Look, if I do Aerial Ace, it gets to attack twice in a row. I have 75 power. But this attack has 75 power either way. But you know what? No, no, I've got to run. I've got to run. I've got to run, bro. It is too strong. Let me use an item. I want to use an item. I want to use an item. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was so scared. Okay, there we go. Now I can heal up my Pokemon. Should I revive my Ponyta? Yeah, you know what? I'll revive my Ponyta. Man, you really use a lot of items in this game. Okay, that guy wants to charge at us. Are we dead in here? Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, let me back out, let me back out. Let me back out, let me out. No! No, do we black out now? Do we black out? We're almost blacked out. That guy's so close to us. Oh my goodness. 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 Whoa. Let's get on this guy and let's run. Let's run. Ah, there we go. Now we'll be safe. Okay, we got an iron chunk. Ah! Onyx? Okay. I'd love to catch an Onyx. Now, who's around here? Let's see. What's back there? That's the evolved form of the hippo Pokemon. Or you know what? Who sees me? Who sees me? Who sees me? Does Onyx see me? Onyx sees me. Let's run, let's run, let's run, let's run. Uh, I already caught one of the skunk Pokemon. I'd love to catch an Onyx though. It'd be really cool to catch an Onyx. Okay, so two of these guys are coming for me. Do I have anything good against them? That is the question. And what is that down there? Oh, that looks like it's just a plant. Wait, are they using flamethrower? I didn't even know that they could use flamethrower. Okay, you know who I'll use? Gotta use this guy. Let's see. Go! Can I battle? Did I startle it? Did I catch it off guard or no? Okay, it looks like I didn't catch it off guard. It used bulldoze! How do you get to- Oh, nice. It doesn't affect me. Okay, that's great. Now then, I'd love to catch it, but this move might just defeat it. What level is the Onyx? Oh, it's only level 21. Okay, let's see. Oh, that doesn't defeat it. Okay, rock slide. That's double super effective. I'm probably dead. I'm alive. I'm alive. So... Hopefully, or you know what? Should I use a Great Ball? No, it's HP is low. I'll just use a, I'll just use a Pokeball since it's HP is so low. Hopefully, we can catch it. Let's see. Please catch it. Yeah, we got it. Very nice. That's it. You caught Onyx. Okay, one Onyx caught. Oh, and I should probably uh, heal my Pokemon. That would be a good idea. Let's heal our Dartrex. Now then, if I could sneak up on these guys, that would be nice, but... Man, Pokemon are getting harder and harder to sneak up on, and there isn't a lot of tall grass also. So let's see, if I could get this guy from behind and sneak up on him, but... Nope, never mind. Never mind! Okay, bear friend! Where do we have to go, bear friend? Okay, it's this way. Wow, we're going the right way. Wait a minute, who in the world are you? Are you the person I'm looking for? Okay, it looks like a cutscene is starting. I wonder if this is where we have to go. Is this the person that we have to talk to? Oh! Oh, this lady! Our, our resi okay, so this is who we were looking for. Oh, ZX Mini! How did it all go with Ursaluna? Wait, do we find out that this lady is actually evil after all? I helped him, or I calmed him down? I helped him. Thanks a bunch, fella. But how'd you find me all the way out here? It's because my bear can smell you. Ursaluna found you, or from the potato emoji. That's so funny, okay. Uh, Ursaluna found you. He dragged me all the way here by the scent of those potato mochi I ate? That Ursaluna sure is something. I know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinnoh, but still, wow! Why are you sitting like this? Please stand. My luck's run out, though. As you can most likely tell, I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. Oh, that's why she's like that. Ah, I see. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Wait, are you doing something bad? Oh, 
There! Ah, oh, there you are, Rezu! Right? Eek! She walks over. M Mistress Kabbalah, I, 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 I didn't! I owe you an apology! I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan! I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? B wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that my Ursaluna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. You'd think I'd know better by now. It's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursaluna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. Oh, that explains the strange powder I found on her- Yeah, there's this strange powder. Must have been powder from Lilligan. But what happened to your leg, dear? I've fallen. I was gathering ingredients to make balms, but I, I fell and I sprained my ankle. Wait, are you gonna have to throw those balms at the next legendary Pokemon? See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Ursaluna and also to learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Laventon and he told me about the balms that you use for Cleaver. So I thought that I'd make some for Lilligant too. Yeah, so we used it on the first Pokemon. Now we're gonna use it on the third one. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Wait, how did you get here? Well, then we'd better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Wait, why is that tree shaking? Is there a Pokemon in that tree? Is that why it's shaking? Adamant! What were you thinking doing all this by yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? Though, no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes, and I fail to imagine that Lilligent might have become frenzied too. Listen up, ZX Many. I'll take the bombs that Arezu made and meet you at the Brava Arena. Don't you worry, Arezu. ZX Many will calm Lilligant, and that will be that. Things should get. Things should settle down. Head to Brava Arena, ZX Many. That's where Lilligant's seat lies. Arezu will be taken care of. My dear Bibarel and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Okay, so you've got to go to Brava Arena. Where in the world is Brava Arena? Let's see. Wait, someone's here. Oh my goodness, there's a Skuntank right over there. That was the one that got here before the cutscene. I actually forgot about it. Okay, do we want to... We probably can't catch it. Who should we use to fight it? Let's see. Who will be a good choice? Let's see. Let's go like this. Fight me, bro! Bam! I hit it. Okay, let's see. It's time for a battle. Level 37. You know what? No, 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 no. I want to run. I don't... I don't want to battle. I don't want to battle a level 37. That is too powerful. Uh... I don't have, like, any psychic attacks or anything particularly strong. You know, or should I just take it on for the experience? No, I'm running. I'm running. We are running away. We are going to battle some other time. I'm sorry. I'm not fighting that guy. Sorry, bro. I kind of want to catch it, though. If I could sneak up on it, that would be great. Look at it. It still sees me. Oh! It still sees me. Bro, 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 bro. It can attack from so far. That is terrifying. Okay, do I want to go over here? Is this where Brava Arena is? Wait, do I maybe use the bear to break this? Bear! Attack, please. Wait. Oh no, that's it. No, that doesn't do anything. What if we switch to this guy? Can you jump over this? Uh, almost. Almost. Come on. Yes. Okay, we can make it over. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, cool. And there's uh, one of these over here. Uh, the spirits. What are they called? The Poe Souls? What are they called in this game? I don't remember what they're called. Wisps. That's what they are called. Okay, we got another wisp. Wait, 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 wait. Is something attacking me? Something attacking me? What's in there? Okay, orange berries, citrus berries. Get some experience. Oh, Bravo Arena's that way. Okay, you know what? Why not just go over there then? Let's go that way then. Let's see, maybe we could run into some nice Pokemon on the way. Awesome oh, Carnivines. You know what? You know what? Maybe we should take them out with our Ponyta. We'll both want to fight. Let's see. Can we get just that one first? Let's see. Fight. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, we can fight just one of them. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Level 20, so we should be able to take it out pretty easily. Too bad we can't do the strong version of that yet. Wait. Uh, if we do Agile, we can't attack twice. Okay, let's do Flame Wheel then. And how's that? Ah, oh, just a little tiny bit of HP left. That's so sad. Okay, defensive stats were lowered, but that's okay because we should be able to finish it off now even with an Agile style. Let's go. Ember. Yeah, and that's enough to finish it off. Okay, where's the other guy? Where's the other Carnivine? There's one more around here. Let's see, there's the other one. Let's go. Fight me, bro! Let's go! 
Let's battle. Okay, and I think, uh, Flame Wheel. Wait, can we attack twice with that? No, we can't attack twice with that, so we'll just use Flame Wheel. Last time it had a little bit of HP left when we used Flame Wheel. Oh, nice, but that one we actually defeated with Flame Wheel. That's perfect. Okay, so we want to go that way. There's an- Oh, four out of six Carnivines defeated? You know what? Wait, 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 wait. What is that over there? Oh, it's just a Psyduck. Okay. Let's defeat this guy then. Let's see. Can we get him from here? Will he want to fight? Ah, not close enough. How about now? Ah, you don't want to fight? How about now? Now you want to fight, don't you? Oh, you still don't want to fight? What, you'd rather attack me? Okay, there we go. Now we're finally fighting. That's weird. It looked like the Pokeball was coming back to me. Okay, so let's attack. We'll do... Oh, and it's only a level 17, so we should be able to defeat it with that. Let's see. Let's see, is it defeated? Beautiful, beautiful. That's what we like to see. You defeated Carnivide. Now then, do we go up here? Where's that arena? Oh, the arena's down that way. Um... Oh, some Ghastly's over there. No, but we already have Ghastly, so I'm not super worried about that. Let's get on here. Do we go through here? Wait, wait, wait. Let's check the map. Brava Arena. I can't just teleport there, can I? Yeah, because I haven't been there yet. I might actually have to go around. I think we might actually have to go around to be able to make it to where we want to go. I don't think we can go this way. I think we'll have to go around the other way. Okay, so let's see. Um, this guy? We were able to jump up nice and high over here. Wait, it looks like... Is that a rainbow? Come on, let me up, bro. Let me up, bro. Just jump, bro. Jump, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And there we go. Is that a... It almost looks like a rainbow, but I think it's one of those space-time rifts. I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. So let's head this way. Let's go buy some of these scun tanks over here. Now then, the scun tanks are probably all going to want to fight. We can probably get that with our Ponyta. Now then, the scun tanks are- Whoa! Oh, a startled Geodude! Okay, I'm like, what is attacking us? What is attacking us? Let's see, do we want to fight the Geodude? Nah, let's run, let's run. It's not worth it. Not worth our time. If I had the Grass-type Pokemon out, then I would take it on. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we do? What do we do? You want to fight, bro? You wanna fight me, bro? What if I sneak up on it and attack it like that? Whoop! Okay, that attack still got me. I thought that maybe we'd be able to get away from it. Bro, move, Ghastly! Ghastly, no. Bad Ghastly. Wait, am I poisoned? It's not just that my Pokemon is poisoned, but I am poisoned. Okay, let's battle then, let's battle then. Maybe this will be able to help. Let's see, Ghastly there. I want my Ponyta to- Whoa! It used Hex! That did a crazy amount of damage. I didn't think it would do that much damage. Okay, we might be dying here. Oh wait, but if we use Ember, we can attack twice in a row. Okay, so let's do that. Agile style Ember over here. Should do a bit of damage. Okay, nice. And now, what if I use a strong style Ember? Okay, then we'll get to attack. Okay, strong style 50 power. This one's 60 power though, so I'll use this. This one's stronger. That should defeat it, I hope. Very nice. Okay, hopefully our character isn't poisoned. Let's see, are we poisoned? Oh nice, and three out of three Ghastly's defeated, so that's good. Okay, now let's see, let's use some healing items. Man, I'm running out of, uh, healing items. Let's see, I'll use a super potion here. There we go, that'll be nice. And I'm not gonna, you know what, I will heal, heal Dart Tricks. I was thinking I'm not gonna heal Dart Tricks until later, because maybe we'll get a free heal soon, but I will do that. If we could get a sneak attack on this Skun Tank, that would be perfect. Otherwise, I don't think we'd be able to take it on. Let's see. I don't want a double battle. I don't want the Ghastly and the Skun Tank to face me. What if we do that? Okay, nice, nice. We caught it unaware. Okay. Oh, this one's only level 23. Okay. So wait, if we go like this, it doesn't even let us attack twice. That's so sad. We caught it unaware. I thought that maybe we'd be able to attack twice since we caught it unaware. But I don't think we will. Let's see. Oh, okay. It was caught unaware. Okay, and it was too stunned. Okay, so how about now? Nope, we still can't go twice. Okay, so I'll use another Flame Wheel over here. That should finish it off. Okay. So another Stunky has been defeated. Man, that was so weird how that one Stunky that we ran into was like level 36 or something. That was a high level Stunky we caught. Now then, I kind of want to go around this way. Okay, we can walk here, which is okay. Kind of close to the edge, but we don't want to go into that water. It might be dangerous for us. Got a medicinal leak. There's a nice rainbow in the sky over there, but we're not going to be heading that way. Wait, who is this over here? What are you doing here, bro? Hello, sir. Who are you? And what are you doing here? I could have sworn one of the Pokemon in that mass outbreak was a different color from the others. Oh what, did you see a shiny Pokemon or something? Can you break that for me, bro? Good job, Ponyta. It's so satisfying having the Pokemon break those crystals for you. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, a Golbat. 
Now then. Can we catch it? Without it noticing us? That would be great. Let's see. You're pretty far away, but... Okay, I hit it. Can we catch it, though? That is the question. Let's see. No, it broke free! Now it's probably gonna be angry. Uh-oh. So... Who do I use to fight you? Let's see. Where's my... Oh, my electric type Pokemon is dead. That is not good. Uh, do I have any good choices for fighting it? Let's see. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's run away. Let's... Ugh, run away! Get on the... Get on the horse. Not the horse, but you know the what. Okay, and there's a... Thing to collect right over here. Wait, wait. Can we reach up there or do we need our friend? <laughs> I fell in the water! I fell in the water! I fell in the water! I was so close to it! Oh! We didn't black out! Thank goodness, okay. Alright, we got one more shot at this. Okay! Thank goodness! Oh, man! Okay. Alright, 17 wisps remaining in the area. That's great. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, maybe we can catch this gold bat now. Oh, and there's another gold bat up there, so you know what? Let's just carefully try to catch these gold bats over here. There's some shiny stuff over there. Ooh, shiny. The space-time distortion appeared. Yeah, but I'm probably not in a good state to go there yet. I'm probably not good enough to go there yet. Or you know what? Or should I try? Maybe I could catch something nice there. But you know what? It's like when all the Pokemon team up on you. It's scary when that happens. Okay, someone noticed me. So I'm hoping I can catch this guy before... Whatever notice me starts attacking me. Oh! No! No, it turned around. Oh, that's Graveler doing rock throws on me. Oh man, I would have loved to get that gold back. Hey, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's go to this space-time distortion, even though we are almost dead right now. Let's go. We're gonna do it. We are going to do it. We're gonna run by that ghastly over there. We're going to this space-time distortion. We're gonna see if there are any nice rare Pokemon for us to catch over there. Oh, who are you? Oof, what a stench. Wait, are these your Pokemon, or are these just wild? Oh, I guess these are your Pokemon. Hello there. Whoa there! I'd keep your distance if I were you. Just look at those bothers. They're taking up the spot where I was gonna set up a base camp. One stunky would be a headache, but this little group is a full-blown migraine. Maybe I can get someone else from a team to handle this. Someone good at battling. I'm not bad, or I'll drive them off. Are you sure you're up to this, though? They stink something fierce. Leave it to me. I'll take care of it. Well, if you insist. But you've got to beat three of them, so be ready to run and stay downwind. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, let's see. Can I capture any of them? Am I fighting all three at once? Let's see. And I already have one fainted Pokemon, so that's not great. Okay, let's go, Ponyta. Wait. Oh man, this is not good. Okay, let's see, let's see. If I go like this, does the order change? Eh, not really. Okay, so let's use a... Let's use a flame wheel. How does that do? Oh, there are three of them. I saw only two of them at first, but I was, a. Uh, let's see. One. Okay, my defensive stats were lowered, so now it'll be even stronger. Venom shock, am I dead now? Okay, okay. Poison gas. Wait, does that just poison you or does it? Okay, please don't get hurt by poison right away. Okay, it's hurt by its burn. Nice, nice, nice. Now then, do I heal? Uh, I don't think healing would be worth I think I have to go for the KO over here. Gotta go for the KO over there, so one is defeated. Because if I just kept healing, then they just keep attacking me. Okay, now at least there are only two that are fighting, so that's good. But wait, now when I send out my next Pokemon, will they start attacking now? That is the question. Let's send out... You know what? Let's send out a Zubat just to weaken them a bit. Because Zubat, I don't care too much if this Zubat faints. And then we can switch to one of the better Pokemon later. Tackle, nice. Half dead from Tackle. Poison Gas. Has no effect on Zuet. Okay, amazing, because we're a poison type, so that doesn't affect us. Okay, Gus, Hypnosis, Bite is not very effective. Air Cutter. I guess Air Cutter is probably my best move. Yeah, we're going to have to go with an Air Cutter over here. Let's see, how much damage will that do? A surprising amount of damage. Okay, we're probably dead, though, right? Oh, we're not dead. Okay, but this attack has got to kill us. Okay, unless it used, like, Poison Gas again. Okay. Now, then, will my next Pokemon be able to finish them off? This is going to be tough. Let's see. Let's send out Weasel or Saravia. This is a tough choice. Probably not Dartrix because it's partially a grass type and I'm pretty sure poison's super effective on grass. So let's go for a fight. Oh, and I can actually capture them. That's interesting. Let's see. Do I go for an Aqua Jet? If I go for an Aqua Jet, you know what? Or wait, how powerful is Water Pulse? Water Pulse is even more powerful than a strong move Aqua Jet. So I'll just go like this. That's fine. 
Now then, what have you got? You've got a poison gas over here. But I think we should be able to take this guy on with a couple water pulses, with two or so water pulses. Oh, maybe if I did a quick attack fast style, then that would have been good. Okay, we're hurt by the poison. What do you use? Just a tackle. That's fine. That might be... Oh, I thought we'd be hurt by poison again. Okay, well, let's use... Water pulse should finish it off now then. Let's go, bro. There you go. We defeated the Stunkies. Okay, so do we have a new base camp over here now? Hopefully that means that we have a new base camp over here. Okay, we got some experience. Oh, new move. Wait, 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 wait. Does that mean that I have to forget a move? You weren't kidding. You've got talent and your Pokemon were so brave too. I can't believe you handled three Stunky all by yourself without getting smelly. Thanks to you, we can get the base camp set up now. Hold on a minute. Oh wait, is it set up right away? Oh wait, I forgot that I was, uh, I was doing a mission that I got distracted by the space-time rift that I got distracted by this side quest over here. Okay, so at least we can rest over here and fully heal our Pokemon and we could also create some more stuff. Wait, Professor, how did you get here suddenly? This makes a second base cap for us to use in the Crimson Mire Land. Perhaps some Stunky will pop by for fun and games sometime, eh? Wouldn't that be a treat? No, it would not be a treat. Okay, let's craft something. Let's make... Okay, let's make a super potion. Let's make... Some of those potions, and let's make some great balls. Uh, only five. Oh, because I don't have a lot of, uh, apricorns. I need some more apricorns. Where do you get the apricorns from? I, I don't got a lot of them. And you know what? Wait, are all my Pokemon basically dead? Let's see, where are my Pokemon? Yeah, all my Pokemon are basically dead, so let's rest. Just a little while. Hopefully we still have time to make it to the space-time rift. Let's see. Okay, party is all happy and healthy again. That's nice. And hold on, should I leave some items? Let's, uh... Let's leave some of these items over here. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so the space-time portal's up there. And it's nice that we have another uh, teleport spot. Wait, ah, uh, whenever I see one of those, I think that it's a Vulpix. I'm like, oh my God, it's a Vulpix. Let's catch the Vulpix. But it is not a Vulpix. Okay, now then, how do we go down there? We can't just jump down here because then you die from fall damage. I know that much now. Wait a minute. There's like no way down there from here. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, I don't know if we can reach that. Okay, yeah, because it looks like we have to go around another mountain to get to that. Let's see. Let's take a look at the map then. Let's see where we should go. Where are we? Okay, we are over here, right? Yeah, bog bound camp. And where we want to go. Oh, yeah, we want to go up to Brava Arena. Oh, man, I forgot about that. It's like you're distracted by your distractions. Then you have more distractions. Okay, so let's go this way. This is the right way that we're going, right? Let's see. Yeah, we want to head up this way. Okay, so we want to go around Scarlet Bog, up around this way. Then we could probably go across this way. I'm guessing we can go across that way. So let's go across like this. Head on up here. And we can probably make it up to that waterfall over there. Oh! No, get me out of the water. Get me out of the water. Get me out of the water. Oh my goodness. Water is such a hazard in this game. Okay, but at least if you fall into water like that, you don't die immediately. You're just almost dead. And then if you rest for a while, then you're still okay, which is good. I like that they're now Gravelers instead of Geodudes. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're heading this way. There's actually quite a few Gravelers over here. Wait, 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 wait. If there are so many Gravelers, you know what we should do? This is what we should do. Go over here like this. Fight me, bro. You want to fight me, bro? Let's fight. I'll fight you, bro. Don't be attacking me. Don't be attacking me. Because if it attacks me with the rock move, we're probably dead. So let's do this. Wait. Okay, Agile style doesn't let us go fast, so let's do Strong style. How powerful is this? Please be good enough. Please, it's double super effective, please. And rock slide, that probably kills us, doesn't it? Yep. Oh man, man, that's kind of tough. Well, I guess we could use Boizel now. All right, let's use a water pulse over here. Oh, that's so sad that we couldn't defeat it with a grass type move. I was thinking that maybe there'd be a bonus for defeating it with a grass type move. But let's see, number defeated, plus one. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Now then, wait, are we going the right way? Yeah, that's the way that we want to go. We want to go over there. Anything over- wait, is this another camp over here? What in the world? Who are you people? Who are you? Unusual to see a visitor here at, us, at our settlement. Yeah. Who are you people? What should we play today? Who are you people? What are you doing here? Here to see Adamin? You've got all kinds of kit with you, huh? W welcome? Yes. Wait, oh, I guess- oh, Marsha. She has got some Psyducks over here and she looks very worried. Let's see if we can help her out. You're from the Galaxy team, aren't you? 
Do you know of a medicine that can hear headaches? I need it for my Psyduck. I love it. This is like a reference to Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Oh my goodness, because there are Psyducks with a headache that you have to give them some medicine. I live together with these little ones, and I can tell they've been suffering terribly. I wish I could do something to help, but none of the medicines I've tried have worked at all. There are so many people in the Galaxy team. Surely you must have some sort of healer. Please, could you ask them for some medicine? Do I have any medicine for them? Oh, I have to actually go to, to Jubilee Village and ask for some help. Wait, 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 wait. Are we going the right way? Okay, we want to go that way. Okay, okay, that's the way that we're going. Okay. Maybe one day I'll come back to your village. Let's see, can I climb up here? Please. Please let me up here. Please. Yes. <gasps> Rhyhorns! Rhyhorns, my goodness. Let's see. Can I sneak up on a Rhyhorn? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not facing that. It's facing the opposite way of what I thought it would be facing. Okay, so you know what? Get him with uh, Boizel. Bam! Fight me, bro. Let's see. Is it going to attack first? It's level 24. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. What do we do? Okay, we've got to go for a Water Pulse then. Because Aqua Jet Agile style doesn't let us attack twice in a row. And that's good enough to take it out. All right. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so we've defeated one Rhyhorn so far. Very nice. Oh! Oh, there's an Alpha Rhyhorn over there. Oh, man. This is scary. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can sneak up on it with some, uh, heavy balls. Wouldn't that be nice if we could do that? Don't notice me. Don't notice me. I'm just, uh, oh, the distortion faded. Oh, I guess the, uh, the rift is gone. Let's see. Let's see, now's the perfect chance. No, 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 no. Oh, why are you looking back at me, bro? Why are you looking back at me, bro? Don't charge at me, don't charge at me, bro. Don't, 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 don't. I'm running away. I'm running away, I'm running away, I'm running away. You are not catching me. I am just running away. I am just a simple traveler. I am not here to capture Pokemon. No, 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 no. I'm not here to capture Pokemon. That's not what I'm here to do. Hey, look, a Paris. We could catch that Paris. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go into this grass over here. You know what? Let's go catch that Paris. Maybe there's something that you get for catching Paris. Ah, it turned around. I almost got its back. Do we get it? Okay, nice. Number caught, 5 out of 10. Oh man, you want to get quite a few of these. Okay, let's see. Do we get this one? Because there's another one right over here. Let's see if that'll work. Oh, I don't know if that counts as a backwards shot. Nice, it did count. Okay, 6 out of 10. Very nice. Now then, if only... We could sneak up on this guy. I'd love to sneak up on him. Oh, wait, I think he already noticed me. Did he? Or is that someone else? Oh, is a Paris right over here. Okay, you know what? I can take on this Paris. We can do this. Let's go. Saravia will take you out with an aerial ace. I think that'll be fine. That'll be, what, super effective or double super effective? Okay, this never misses, so I'll just use that. And that should be enough, right? Yeah, that is enough. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Well, Paris has been defeated. Now then, where's this guy? Oh, he's looking that way. He's hiding behind this rock. Hiding behind the rock like a coward. What a coward. Come out and fight me. Come out and- Oh! Oh, never mind. Never mind, I take it back. Okay, just keep facing that way. What if we get him like- Ah! What if we can just get him just like that? If this works, I, I would be so amazed. Let's see. Yeah, there's no way that's working. Oh, he's running now. No, maybe I should, uh... Maybe I should try and sneak up on him with an attack. Okay, Rhyhorn over here. Does this Rhyhorn want to fight? Rhyhorn's become ag aggressive quickly! They quickly become aggressive. Fight me, bro! Fight me, bro! Fight me, bro! I'll fight you. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, I'm standing right in front of it. Okay, let's see. Will Aqua Jet defeat it or no? If it has just a bit of HP, maybe I can try and catch it. Oh, it has more HP than I thought it would. Rock Smash? Okay, that's stronger than I thought it would be. Let's, uh, Pokeball, Great Ball. Oh, no, 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 no. Meant to use a Pokeball. Throw the Pokeball. Let's go. It's got quite a bit of HP, and it's level, what, 26, 27? So let's see. Oh, nice, and we got it. Okay. It almost seems like the first time that you're catching a Pokemon, you have a better chance at catching it. Oh, oh, and it's starting to rain now. I wonder if that will make, uh... Wait, is someone coming at me? It sounds like someone's running at me. But I can't see anyone. Because we've got this red eye. Does that mean someone's chasing us? Oh, well. Where did that uh, Alpha Rhyhorn go? 
Uh, I guess Alpha Rhyhorn's not here. Okay. Well, we will continue up then. Oh, there's a Rhyhorn right over there. Okay. Let's... Let's go. Let's battle. Let's battle. With a... Can we beat it with a Water Pulse? What level is it? 25. You know what? I'll use a Water Pulse. If we don't defeat it, I'll try and catch it. Because there's probably a... Oh, never mind. We defeated it. That's fine. Okay, now who is seeing me? It looks like there's someone who's seeing me. Oh! Oh, Boizel can evolve now! Okay. So let's go over here. And evolve because it can't- Wait, it can't evolve right now! Thought it could evolve. How about now? Maybe it's because there's some Pokemon that can see us? I guess that's probably why. Now then, should I use Ponyta over here? Let's use Pony. Oh wait, no, but it's raining. I shouldn't use Ponyta. Because now fire attacks are probably going to be weaker. That's not a good idea. Oh, well, I'll try Flame Wheel either way. Let's see. And almost defeat- You know what? I should probably catch it. Let's just catch it. And I'm running out of Pokeballs. I need to get some more of those Apricots. Wait, no. They're not Apricots, are they? Apricorns. That's what they're called. I think they're called Apricorns. Bro! Stop it. Stop it. You're not allowed to escape from your Pokeball. I was gonna say my Pokeball. Okay. Slash was a critical hit. Hopefully we can catch it now. Let me just catch it. Because I don't want to have to use a revive. Let me just catch it. Come on. Yes! Okay, good, good, good. Okay, you caught Parasect. Very nice. Now, the number caught three out of four. We need one more of those. And let's see. Can I evolve you now? Boizel is ready to evolve. Okay, nice. We can evolve Boizel now. Let's see. And I think it's called Floatzel. It's evolved form. It's pretty cool how when a Pokemon evolves, what the animation looks like in this game. Man, I remember, like, back in Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, when evolutions looked like they've uh, come quite a way. The way that uh, evolutions look. It's come quite a way. And let's start heading to that stadium. But first... We should be able to catch this Paris over here. I think there's one more Paris that we need to get 6 out of 6. So let's see, can we get him? How's that? No! My Pokeball missed! That's so sad! That is so sad. Okay, I guess I'll fight you then. I guess I'll fight you. I'm probably defeating you, unfortunately. Level 20. I'll use my weakest... Oh, I should have also used Agile Style. Yeah, even my weakest attack defeated you. That's so sad. That's so sad. Okay, anything nice in that tree? Apricorns! Yes! Five Apricorns! Thank you! I need those Apricorns. That's what I need. Okay, what way are we going? Okay, this is the way that we are going. We're going up here. Can I jump up here? Let me climb! I would like to climb! Please! Please let me climb! Okay, I think that might be too steep to climb. Unless... Come on. What's that Pokemon down there? What are these? Uh, just Cricketoons. Cricketots. Let's see. Another Parasect, huh? We kind of want to catch some Parasects. I think we need to catch one more. So let's go like this. Why not go like this? Let's see. And if we don't... If we do defeat this one, then we can just, uh, fight the next one. Okay, can we go fast? How about this? No. That's so sad. It won't let us go twice. Okay, let's use an Aerial Ace here. Okay, Aerial Ace does defeat it. Let's see if Gust also defeats it. Where's the next one at? There's the next one. Let's see, will Gust defeat it in a single hit? Oh, and there's a Carnivine up ahead too. Okay, this one's level 28, so it's a higher level also. And I'll even use Agile Style. So let's see if this will be weak enough to not defeat it. And it's one level higher than me. Okay, nice, it survives. I probably didn't even have to use Agile Style. Okay, that's pretty powerful. And you know what? Ah, uh, I was gonna say, let's use a Great Ball. No, but I'll just use a- I'll just use a regular Pokeball. Let's see how that works. Maybe my Staravia will faint. Hopefully it doesn't. Let's see. And... Yes! Okay! Okay, that's perfect. Because I wanted that one. Now, how many is that? Four out of four caught. Okay, so that's what we wanted. Now then, can we catch this guy? These guys are so good at detecting you. So, I'd be kind of surprised if he doesn't catch us. Let's see. We're in the bushes. You can't see us in the bushes, bro. Come on. Just turn around. Let me get a bit closer. Turn around, bro. Turn around. Yes. And now, if we could catch it, that's amazing. I think that was a hit from behind. Let's see. Yes! Okay. Oh, five out of six cuts. So we need one more of those. Okay, this is shiny, so maybe that's giving us a hint that there's something good in there. Let's see. What do we get from there? Oh, is that a Rosalia over there? Yes, it is. Okay, if only there's some... Tall grass to hide in, that would be nice. Let's see, let's try and get it from behind. I think that should count. 
Wait, did we hit a tree or something? Ah, it noticed us. Okay, let's fight it then. Guess we gotta fight you, we have no choice. Wait, no, attack, attack Rosalia, not the tree. Bro, bro, bro. I wanted you to attack Rosalia, not the tree. Now then. Let's just do an aerial ace. It should be able to survive that. We're about the same level. Oh, never mind. It doesn't. We are too strong. Okay, well, at least we got one Rosalia defeated. What about you? You run away, don't you? I wonder if we get anything for defeating these guys, because we're pretty powerful now, so maybe we could- Oh, it's a level six. Great. Yeah, we can see just how weak these guys are. Okay, let's use an aerial ace. That'll definitely take it out. And then after that, we can hit this tree, and maybe there'll be something nice in this tree. It's too bad that you can't, uh... It's too bad that you can't dive into trees yourself and get whatever item is on the tree that way. Okay, let's go like this. And get whatever is there. Now then, is this the way that we're going? Are we going to the stadium this way? Oh no, we're going the other way. Okay, so we want to go to the left. Maybe this will let us go around. Maybe we'll be able to go to the left after. Let's see. Oh, yes, yes, yes! What in the world? Is that the... Oh my goodness, it's the alpha evolved form of Lickitung. That guy looks crazy. I don't think we'll be able to catch it. We don't have a lot of Pokeballs left. Maybe I can give it a berry to distract it. Oh boy, if we could catch it with a heavy- Oh, I don't- Oh, I do have heavy balls. If we could just catch it with a heavy ball, that would be amazing. We're seeing some pretty funny alpha Pokemon. Like this guy over here, this is quite the funny looking guy. Oh man, but we've got to get up real close to him if we want to hit him with a heavy ball. Let's see, don't turn around, bro. Don't turn around. Oh, we don't- we can't even catch it! We can't even catch it, even like this. Let's see. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I've got to run. Should I try and get a sneak attack on it? Maybe I should just try and defeat it instead of catching it. Because other- other Pokemon that I've seen like this... It's like, after you catch them, they still do appear again. So let's see if we could, uh, sneak up on this guy. Level 52. I don't know if it's worth taking him on. Let's try it. Let's see. We caught it unaware. So let's see if that means that we could... Wait. It's filled with might. What is this? Filled with determination? Oh, air slash. Yes, we can do this more powerful now. Okay, okay. Let's do the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. If we go like this, then we switch turns every time. But if I do this, then... It gets to attack twice in a row, which is scary. You know what? I'll try just to see how much damage we can possibly do with strong stuff. Maybe it's caught aware, so caught unaware, so it'll miss a turn. That still did barely anything. Caught unaware and too stunned to move. And it gets to attack. Okay, we are out of here. We're out of here. Giga Impact. Sorry, bro. I am so sorry to use you like that, Staravia, but we've got to run. I am so sorry, Staravia. Times you've seen it use Giga Impact, one out of one, nice. Wait, wait, is there a nearby Lickitung that we could catch though? Yes, there is. Okay, so if we could catch this Lickitung, that would be great. Let's see. Let's see, let's catch it. Where are you? Can I step down here without taking damage? Okay, good. Oh, don't notice me. Oh, I accidentally threw a Pokeball. Turn around. Turn around. Yes. Now then, just turn around. Turn around for me, please. Turn around. Yes. And... Let's go. Come on, please catch it. Please catch it. Please, I have so few Pokeballs left. Yes! We got a Lickitung! Let's go! We caught the child of that angry thing up there. Oh, and there's another Lickitung over there. No, let's see. Wait, didn't Jesse have a Lickitung in the Pokemon in the Pokemon anime? I've only got two Pokeballs left. You know what? Maybe I should save them for a Pokemon that I haven't seen. A Ralts! A Ralts! A Ralts! A Ralts! A Ralts! Everybody, it is a Ralts! There's a Ralts! Wait, who's chasing me? Is it the Ghastly? Whoa! Oh, it's this Ghastly, I guess. Okay, fight me, Ghastly. Fight me. I don't care. I'll take you on, Ghastly. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, I could even use Bite on you. Bite, that'll be super effective. Let me use Strong Style Bite. Hopefully, we can take it out in a single move. Let's see. How's that? Let's see. Bam! Take that, Ghastly. All right. I want to catch this Ralts, though. I want this Ralts so badly. Ralts is such an amazing Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon in the game, especially its final evolved form, Gardevoir. It is amazing. Okay, let's see. Let's see. How are we going to do this? Turn around, please, Ralts. Please just face the other way. It's kind of hard to see what way it's facing. Okay, I think its front is on the right. Oh, cool. And there's a Hunter over there, too. Let's see. If that catches the Ralts, I'll be so happy. Let's see, how's that? Yeah, we got a Ralts, yeah, baby, let's go. Oh, and there's another Ralts over there. Oh man, I wish I had more Pokeballs. 
Kind of wish I had more Pokeballs. Okay, and you know what? We could probably get something for defeating a Ralts, so let's try and defeat a Ralts. Let's see, you caught Ralts unaware. Oh, and you know what? And Bite will be super effective on it, so let's just defeat it with a Bite. That'll be good. Take that Bite. Very nice. This is such a cool area. Oh my goodness, I am loving this game so much. It is so cool to be exploring the world like this. Okay, this tree is shaking. Does that mean a Pokemon's gonna come out of it? Is that what that means? Yeah, one of those comes out of it. A Burmy leaped out at you. And it's one of these colors Burmy is, again. So I guess that doesn't mean that it's a rare Pokemon. Let's just do a strong style electric type move. It'll be normally effective, it looks like. I don't know if it's strong enough to get it in one hit. Okay, it is, good. Now then, I kind of want to catch that Haunter. What in the world is this? Investigate, let's see. There is some kind of strange aura leaking out from the cracks. Are they really just cracks? I don't know what else it could be. Wait, should I attack it? Should I get my Pokemon to attack this? What are you doing standing up there? What are you doing standing up there? You shouldn't, you shouldn't be inside that. My Pokemon is stuck. My Pokemon's feet are stuck in this thing. I have to pull it out. Come out, Luxio. We will save you. Okay, let's go over there. Can I pick those flowers? Sword cap. Okay, okay, that's something that could like make your Pokemon stronger. I think that's what it's for. Let's see, do we get anything nice there? Stardust, Iron Chunk, Sky Tumblestone. Quite a few things from that. Okay, let's see if we could catch the Haunter. That'd be cool if we could catch the Haunter. I've only got one normal Pokeball left. Wait, did the Haunter notice me already? Because it teleported. Okay, looks like it didn't notice me. Now then. Just gotta stay behind it. Just gotta stay behind it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Don't teleport, bro. Don't tell. Bro, you noticed me. You noticed me. Why would you notice me, senpai? Okay, let's fight. Bite will be super effective. I'll use a strong bite. I'll try and... If bite... Oh, 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 hex. That's extremely powerful. How is your attack so strong, bro? Okay, let's see. Oh, if I just do a normal bite, I get to attack twice. So you know what? Let's just do this, because we'll get to attack twice. One bite might finish it off. Yeah, even one bite finishes off. I didn't even have to use strong style. That's kind of funny. Oh, my Zubat is ready to evolve now, right? Let's see. Yes, Zubat can evolve now. So let's evolve our Zubat now. I don't think that we... Did we catch a Zubat earlier? I'm not sure if we caught a Zubat earlier. But there's probably a Pokedex entry for, like, catching a Golbat and evolving a Zubat into a Golbat. I'm guessing there is. Man, the Golbat looks so evil when you evolve it like that. It's so cool. Oh, I guess we haven't caught a Golbat before. Oh wait, we're going that way. Wow, so these random ruins that we ended up at, it's like, we don't even have to be here. Okay, let's see, where's that guy? Let's fight him. Let's see, can I sneak up on him like this? Yes, did I catch him by surprise? Hopefully that means I caught him by surprise. Let's see, let's fight. You strayed too far from the battle. Oh, I'm too far to battle. Oh no. Oh no, it's funny that the fight actually started. Let's see. No, and it gets to attack, bro. Bro, okay, at least we're not dead. Bite? Okay, we get to attack twice, so that's nice. There we go. And our type is not ice. Okay, let's heal up then. Potion, or... I guess I'll use a super potion. I should use a super potion here. I've got quite a few orange berries. I can't remember if you use... Wait, whoa, that was weird. It got really foggy there. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's a carnivine, right? Okay, let's see. I've got only one Pokeball, so it's probably not worth fighting them. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We want to go over there. Oh, don't want to fall off here. And there's a Wisp over there. So you know what? I would like to go get that Wisp over there. Let me up here. Let me up here. There we go. And should be able to capture this Wisp right here. There we go. 16 Wisps remaining in the area. We've gotten a few. Let's go down here. What is this? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's just a Parasect. Okay. Let's see. Zubat. Golbat. Some stuff to collect over there. A Rosalia, a Rosalia. We need the Rosalia. Okay, so let me get this Wisp. 15 Wisps left in the area. And I'd like to take on the Rosalia. Okay, you know what? You're gonna have to take on my Luxio, Golbat. Sorry, bro, but you're gonna have to do it. You're going to be defeated with a single Thunder Fang, most likely. Oh! Why does everyone get to attack me first? I guess it's because I'm not sneaking up on them. Let's see if I go like this. Okay, if I do two Thunder Fangs, then I can attack twice with Agile style. Let's see if that's strong enough, though. Is that strong enough? Oh, it isn't strong enough. You know what? I'll do a... I'll do a strong style Thunder Shock. That should finish it off. Because that has 100% accuracy. And my other attack 
Thunderfang, it only has 95% accuracy, so this way we know that we can defeat the Golbat. All right, only one Pokeball left. You know what? I should fight it, though. I'll fight it with Ponyta. I think that's a good idea. Because right now it's raining, so my fire attacks should be weaker, I hope. And I'll even use just an Ember. Should I use Agile Style or Normal? You know what? It's a pretty high level. You know what? I'll even use, uh... No, not Strong Style. I'll just use Normal. Let's see. How good is Ember? Okay, a bit more than Half Dead, and it's burned. Okay, it uses Stun Spore, so we're paralyzed. Wait! Does status effects last after battle? I'm not sure if they do. Okay, so let's see. We've got one Pokeball. We have some Great Balls. I'd rather not use my Great Balls right now if we don't have to. I'd rather use the Great Balls for better Pokemon if we could. So let's see. And very nice. We caught a Rosalia. Okay, was there someone that just wanted to see a Rosalia? Or did they want literally all of the Pokedex information about her? Where you have to, like, catch 50 of them. Okay, now where... Are we going? Oh, number caught in daylight hours. Plus one. Nice. Okay, wait. Another one of these. Do I want to catch another one? Ah, oh, notice me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, you know what? Let's get out. Oh, no. My bird has fainted. You know what? I'll take you on with a uh, Golbat then. Let's see how that works. Do you attack my Golbat? Or can my Golbat attack you? Okay, it's keeping its guard up. Oh, ran away. Yeah, Rosalia sometimes gets scared. How about this one? Okay, you noticed me. Whoa! Whoa, 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 Alpha Roserade! And you know what? Roserade is actually a pretty powerful Pokemon. Uh, I think they might have noticed me. I think they might have noticed me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I put marks on my map? I think I might be able to put mark marks on my map. Like, I can zoom in here, and I can put a mark, and I can say, hey, there is a Pokemon here. And then I can remove this stamp. Okay. So let's see, where's the direction that we are? Oh, oh, we're going that way. Okay, let's see, we want to go that way, we want to go that way. I'd actually kind of love to go back to a base so that we could get some, uh, get some more Pokeballs. Wait, I don't know if we're gonna have to capture a Pokemon here. So, you've come. I take it that means you're ready? Of course, or hold on a bit. Of course! Of course I'm ready. I don't have several fainted Pokemon with me. Lady Lilligan's a sight to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her, and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Oh, and all these folks are coming too. Everyone's coming along. The whole crew's here. All it took was one of my poultices to get Arazu's leg all patched up. Calaba, ma'am, I'm deeply sorry we had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. As Arezu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she can chew and cause some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Uh, her heart was in the right place, but she reminds me of that evil commander from Team Galaxy in Pokemon Diamond. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant, is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right. If you try to keep dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. All right, all right, let's do it. Let's do it, bro. Let's head on up there. That's where we are going to go. Oh, that's so cool how we walk up the steps. Okay. Oh, it is a foggy showdown over here. Very exciting times. This reminds me so much of a new Pokemon Snap, actually. I should make some videos about that sometime. I was thinking of hacking that game and, like, making mods for it sometime. But, oh, oh, another Golden Boat. Wait a minute. This kind of looks like an evolved form of, a uh, Roserade. Oh, look at the dance. And listen to the music that's playing. That's so funny. It's like a waltz that's playing. Can we get some, uh, Tchaikovsky playing here, please? Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant. Whenever I see that, it reminds me of uh, Legend of Zelda boss fight, this style here. Let's see. Okay. When you press the when you press the Y button to dodge, you'll become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through incoming attacks without taking any damage. Oh! I didn't know that that happens. Oh, and I have to throw food at it. Let's see. Where are the attacks coming? See, you're gonna attack me, aren't you? Oh, man! That's a crazy attack! I didn't realize that she'd be going again. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Take that. Take that. Oh! And another one. Okay! Nice! Let's see. Come on! Let's go! When are you jumping? Now! And... Now! Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Lots of them are coming out. What's, what's up next? What does that mean? Let's see. 
Another one. Okay. Another one. Okay, she's doing quite a few of those. Oh, oh, I didn't realize that there'd be a big one like that. Uh-oh. Send in a Pokemon and do battle. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sending in a Pokemon. Let's battle. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you not want to battle? Oh, I guess you can only battle when she's, uh, in a certain state. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, I see what that is. Okay, okay, okay. If you have an attack like that, then you gotta jump like that. Okay, I see. Can I send out a Pokemon yet? I wish to battle. Let's see. Let's see. And let's jump over. Nice. Whoa! I didn't... I wasn't expecting another one of those attacks. Okay, okay, okay. My HP's running a bit low. Let's see. Are those hitting? Or is that too far? That might be too far. Okay, let's see. Oh! Oh, no. It's one of those. Jump that way. Nice. Then go that way. Nice. Now, what? Any more attacks? Or do I just keep hitting you with these now? Okay, let's go. And I think those music notes give a hint at what attack is coming next. Oh! Okay, then one of those. Another one of those or what? Okay, let's go. Now what? Are you going to keep attacking? Are we going to get through this whole fight without using any Pokemon? Okay, what's coming up next? Man, I don't like this stuff around my screen. I'm worried that we might be in trouble. Okay. Another... Oh, man, that was close. Okay, that was close. Oh! Oh, man, I couldn't make it away from that one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's next? Oh, send in a Pokemon for help. Yes! Yes, let me battle now. Okay, 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 okay. We maybe could have made it through the fight without, uh, without using po Oh, energy ball. Is that killing me? Oh, that did much less than I thought. And it was also a critical hit. Okay, how good are we? Fight? Not very effective. Oh, I wonder what type this is. Oh, but Air Cutter is super effective. Okay, let's use Air Cutter then. Let's see, since that's super effective. Whoa! Whoa, that was good. Okay, an energy ball isn't going to do much, right? Yeah, not very effective. Okay, so we can just do a... Let's just do a strong style gust over here. That'll hopefully finish it off. Because you can't capture these Pokemon as far as I'm aware. Yeah, there we go. Okay, little again. Okay, now's your chance to throw bombs. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Getting in lots of these while we can. When are you jumping? Okay. Ready for one of those? Another one of those or what? Nah, you're, you're, oh man! You're finished, you're finished, you're finished. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. You can keep on spinning, but you're finished. All right. Now then. This is very interesting for, uh, for a Pokemon game. The way that you have these boss fights like this. Super, super interesting. All right. Oh, and look who it becomes. It actually looks so much like the evolved form of Rosalade. Like, first there's... What is it? No, not Rosalina. Rosalia, that's what it's called. Oh, my Luxio can evolve now. Very exciting times. All right, what do you have to say? Do you have anything to say? Are you going to give me one of those slates again? Oh, nice. A meadow plate. Nice, nice, nice. So I guess that's like, okay, the grass one. Okay, so we got another plate. We got quite a few plates. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant, you saved Arezu as well. I appreciate it. First Ursaluna and now Lilligant? You're amazing, you know that? Being all frenzied didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. And, sh and so is she. Lil. Arezu, you still owe someone an apology, huh? Wait, who? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Yes, forgiveness is good. Remember what's written in the Salation Ruins? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. Man, remember how long it took me to read that when I was trying to figure out what the unknowns meant? There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. That certain somebody being ZX Many. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arezu. That's what ZX Many does. ZX Many is here to solve all problems by himself. Our job is to protect Pokemon. I know, I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Kalaba wrapped that all up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arezu. I know you are trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe put in some training. If anything else happens to Lilligant, I need you to be ready to protect her, like the warden you are. I understand. 
Let's work together from now on to keep the Marlin safe, Arezu. I'll be sure to inform Arita that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save Ursa Luna. You did well, zx Many. All our groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it, it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I be on my way. Listen, you know me, I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, zx Many. I think I'll stay and talk to Liligan for a while. That's fine. Yeah, but we can't capture those Pokemon. What happened, Liligan? How did kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though, it's not like I'm perfect. I hit things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Lady, Lady. What a nice Pokemon. It's very human-like in terms of its features. Okay, time to go back to Commander Kamado. Oh, cool. In times we've seen Golbat use that attack. Now then, let's see. Oh, oh, can we just teleport? We can just teleport straight back to Jubilee Village. Wait, can we? Oh, no, I guess we can't. We could probably only teleport somewhere here. Okay, let's see. Is this the exit? Myerland's camp? Yes. Go to the Myerland's camp. Okay, so we do actually have to go like this before we head back, I think. Let's see. There's the professor. Look at him just looking at me out of the corner of his eyes. And Volo, that means that's Link. I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? Yes, we have. We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon, but you! You go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like you. Let's stay in touch, friend. That is a great attitude to have. All right, so let's heal up over here. Let's just rest just a little while. And then... Your party? Okay, we're all rested and happy again. Very nice. Now we can start to head out of here, and as we start to leave, it'll ask, do you want to report your results to the professor? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Do we have enough points? That is quite a few Pokemon. Do we have enough points for the next star? Let's see. $6,000. Not bad. We're up to 26000 now. Let's see. Let's see. How much? How many points do we get? How many points do we get? Oh, not a lot. Oh, actually, uh... Very few points. Okay, so we're still like a bit over a thousand away from the next level. So that's still quite a while to go. Maybe I should come back and try to catch some of the alpha Pokemon sometime. They're probably worth quite a few points. All right, here we are back in the... I was going to say city, but it's village. Back in the village again. Here's this guy. Hey, I make, uh, I make, I make potatoes. Uh, you found the girl by the cinnamite potatoes, right? When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember, or several miles away in this case. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful moki when you come for dinner later today. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. <laughs> All right, let's go report to Commander Kamado. All right, let's head inside. Okay, and we want to go all the way. Oh, wait, 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 who are you? Where are you? Hello? W w where could she be? Z. There you are! You're the one, right? The one they've all been talking about? The Survey Corps kids that's been exploring the Crimson Mirelands? My younger sister Wanda is in the Security Corps too. You see, she went to the Mirelands too. Oh! Wait, wait, no, no, this isn't the girl that I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the girl who needs to help Psyducks. You managed to track down the Arezu woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you find my sister? What she smell like? W what? <laughs> He's so shocked. Oh, you mean you can search by her scent? Well, maybe the kerchief she usually carries may be of some use. That's so funny. I'm counting on you. Please find Wanda wherever in the Mireland she's ended up. That's so funny. All right. Let's head up here then. Let's head up here then. It is time to go up. Man, I hope we can get some more stars soon. Wait, do we have to go down? Hold on, it looks like we have to go down. I wonder if we have to go report to that person down there. Or if that's someone else. Okay, well, let's go over here first. Hello, Captain, I'm here. Commander. Commander, not Captain. You successfully calmed Lilligant. Excellent. There may be times when the Galaxy Team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from the very same rift. 
but you have no connection to the lightning. Isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. Oh, impugning. Impugning. Dispute the truth, validity, or honesty of a statement or motive. Call into question. Alright, mission complete. Arez is pretty good. Wait, what is my next task then? Will you give me a task right away? Oh, there's probably going to be a cutscene now. Oh, here we are. Oh, we're all eating the potato. There you go, piping hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. I like how the professor's just sitting there smiling. Now this is a life, eh? Enjoy a tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. I don't need sleep. Surely, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree. Yep, I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, or with carving an out a new life here? Ah, well, here's a flashy new recipe to try ZX Mini. It's for an item that should help scatter these gloomy thoughts. You obtained a recipe, scatter. Man, I keep getting recipes for all these new items. Come now, don't worry yourself, so my girl. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find the way. And if we search for this exact quote on Google, there are three search results. And the wise man who once said this is Desmond Kennett on Quora four years ago. I really hope Pokemon is giving this person some royalties for this statement here. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. Yeah, you're right, Professor. Everything will be all right. The next day. All right, here I am. I'm ready to set out. Wait, where am I supposed to go? I didn't get another mission yet. What's my next mission? Morning, sleepyhead. Oh, oh, wrong person. Oh, I thought it was uh, Akari. You'll never guess what! I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser's shop! Oh, well that's great. I thought you were a hairdresser. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh! Oh, she's still gonna be Lilidin's warden. She's gonna be burning candles at both. Okay, okay, okay. That's nice. Ah. Uh, I was thinking that this is the old lady from our earlier collaba. Anyway, come on over to the hairdresser's when you can. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am a bit scared of her. I'm pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Wait, is Edith retiring? M Mr. Kamado, sir, uh, about the whole Ursaluna situation. If you are to work here at Jubilee Village, you have family to us, no matter who you are or where you are from. Welcome, Arezu. Thank you, sir. As for you, ZX Many, you will come with me. Why didn't you tell me early? To Prelude Beach! Oh, we're finally going back to Prelude Beach! That's where I came from originally. Well, that's where I was first found. That's why I was first found when I fell out of the sky. What are all these people doing here? Okay, Link is over here in his green outfit, his traditional green outfit that we always see him in. These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. Wait, did they also fall from the sky or are they from somewhere else? Let's have a chat with them. They weren't wearing weird clothes like I was. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. I love how they call it Prelude Beach. We've heard that the Hisoi region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. Hi, I'm Link. I'm Link. Yes, I'm from the Legend of Zelda games. Indeed, indeed. You are from the Legend of Zelda games, Link. And that is the reason that such tales have reached your ears is largely due to ZX Many here, one of the Survey Corps recruits. Through all of our combined efforts, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisoi region. Yes, yes, we will even bring Link to join us. Well, that's so cool. I wonder if Link will join our party. Wait, they're all gone! Was this all an illusion? All the people were fake? Oh, man, the advancement of our understanding of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corps has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. This is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. But they must be eliminated. ZX Mini, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? Don't you? Show me how much you love Pokemon. I do or not really? I do. I do. Of course I do. Huh. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose it is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. At first when I started this game I wasn't sure why everyone was afraid of Pokemon but now I understand. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. Do you mean we're going to execute the Pokemon? 
And I don't mean execute, like the egg-type Pokemon. And be warned! As the leader of the Galaxy Team, I'm prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. That's what a manager's gotta do. Commander! Uh, Arita from the Pearls Clan has arrived! Good, good. I believe I know what she's here about. What is she here about? As for you, ZX Many, you should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then, you'll come to my office. So the village is changing because of the Survey Corps? I'm part of the Survey Corps. New mission. Go a new mission. Go to the commander's office. Wait. Who's this? Wait, I see a wisp! Wait. Yes, I did see a wisp. Okay, good, good, good. Hey, okay, preload beach. We got a wisp. You know what? You know what would be absolutely mind-blowing? This would be absolutely mind-blowing. Here's something that would be absolutely mind-blowing. Okay, can I get up there first? First of all. Without getting into the water. Oh, oh. It looks like you actually can't go that way. You can't even go into the water here. Well, you can go into the water here, but it looks like we can't get that way. I've got a... I've got to position hack this game and see what happens if we could get up there. Maybe that would be like a huge speedrunning skip. That'd be pretty cool. Can we use the boat? Hey, we can't use the boat. You know what? What I was going to say, though, is I wonder, I really wonder if, you know how we have like the, the deer Pokemon that we could ride on its back and we've got the bear Pokemon that can sniff out stuff? I wonder if we could get a water Pokemon that will let us ride on the water. That would be pretty cool if we could get another Pokemon like that, and then we could also call it with the flute. But you know what? I had a thought. I had a thought. This is what I'm thinking. I wonder. This would be crazy. I don't think this is true, but this is just a crazy theory I have. Maybe. What if... What? Oh, cool. Practice field. What if that space-time rift in the sky, what if when we go into there, we could, like, teleport to the future? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I thought it said Target, but his name is Tagart. That's kind of funny. Yeah, so what if this space-time rift... I don't think that this... Okay, you know what? Let's just teleport to where we have... Oh, there's a path over there. Oh, I'm like, how do we get there? How do we get there? I would like to return to the village. There is no way back to the village. But yeah, my thought... I don't think that this is going to be true, but this would be a crazy thought. If they made it so that... When you go into the space-time rift in the sky there, if you could go into the future and there are like gym leaders and stuff And you can bring your Pokemon with you. That'd be crazy. A big boizel? What? You want a big boizel? Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? Apparently so. Let's see. If there's a boizel bigger than mine, I don't know if I have a big boizel. Have I caught a big boizel before? Let's see. Wait, does he want it, or does he just want to see it? Would you let me have it? Ah, uh, so if I catch a big boy, so then he wants to have it. All right, so let's head back in here. Let's go see the commander over here. It probably would have been faster to just teleport over, but I wanted to share my thoughts on that crazy theory that I have. Okay, so let's go back upstairs. And there's someone over there. Hold on. Oh, oh, that's just the blackboard. Okay, I'm not super worried about the blackboard. Those tasks will, I'm guessing those tasks will always be there. So let's just make our way up here, and let's go dive into this guy's office, into the commander's office. Let's get ready, and dive into his office! Ha ha! Surprise, it is I! Oh, wait a minute, I didn't see you here. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Thank you. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I like that alliteration. I will let you know in advance, there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Wow, none? Ah. Allow me to explain. Okay, please explain. We did have a lord of the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Wait, will he come back from the dead? Maybe it'll be a zombie Pokemon? Now, we've had reports of people seeing strange, shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. We've also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our late lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. What's wrong with her? I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Let's go. The Lordless Island. So is there going to be a secret Pokemon Lord? I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful island. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, ZX Manny. Think nothing of it. ZX Manny will forgive you. Won't you, ZX Manny? You're gonna sort things out. I know, I know. You took care of the woodland lords. I've seen your strength and your kindness firsthand. All right. Oh, oh, it's you. Hello. Oh. Yes, yes. 
The next area for you to investigate is the Cobalt Coastlands. I'm afraid it is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands. Much farther. And the path is long and tiring or trying? I think it said trying. With your current rank, you should be capable. Okay, nice, nice, nice. You know your mission. Investigate Fire Spit Island. Let's go. Time to go. It's pretty cool. You can hit CL to make the camera face wherever you're going. Oh, man. I wonder what this game would be like if you're trying to play it blindfolded. Like, do the Pokemon just appear in random spots or how does it work? Okay, you know what? I'd like to buy some supplies. Do you? Yes, I would like to buy something. Oh, you can just buy Pokeballs and potions? I thought that we'd have to buy the ingredients themselves, but man, if we could just buy Pokeballs, that's amazing. Let's get like 80 Pokeballs. 81. And let's get a few potions. Some potions would be nice. How many of these do we have? Not a lot. You know what? Let's get like that many. Okay, we've still got a good amount of money. Okay. Now then, let's get going then. Oh, hey. My hairstyles are bold and stylish. You know, let's see. Maybe hairstyling 500. Let's see. Let's see. Do I have to pay even if I don't get my hair changed? Let's see what the different haircuts are like. Can I get longer hair? Grab yourself a seat. Okay, I will. Oh, I took my hat off. Of course, you take your hat off. Let's see. Whoa! I can have a ponytail like that? Short hair? I look like an anime character. Middle part. Side part. Curled. Braids. Oh, and I can choose what color my hair is. Oh, you can choose the color of your eyebrows. I can have almost invisible eyebrows if I want. And we can have all kinds of hairstyles. These are some very interesting hairstyles that you can have. I wonder if they let boys and girls both have the same types of hairstyles. Okay, I'm not gonna change my hair. I don't wanna change my hair, let me out! No, I can't, I can't. Wait, 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 wait. This is pretty similar to your old style. Are you sure about that? Well, I'd like to escape without paying because I don't wanna change my hair, actually. You know what? I kind of do like how the ponytail looks. I think it looks nice with the hair coming down on the sides there. But my character looks too much like Akari if I do this. So you know what? I think- oh, I don't like this. No, I'm gonna keep the hair that I have. I'm fine with the hair that I have. This looks pretty, pretty similar to your old style. Yes. Do I pay you $500 for this? Alright, fella, you got it. Here goes nothing. You're not even gonna cut my hair. I'm gonna look exactly the same. I look exactly the same. I didn't change. And we're done! Not a bad look, what did you see? You didn't cut my hair! Last thing, hat or no hat? Oh, oh, I could choose to wear my hat or not. I'll wear my hat. Because it's a bad haircut, so I'll wear my hat. Thanks for coming out, do I actually pay you $500 for that? Drop by anytime, you hear? I'll keep polishing my skills. Well, you've done pretty well so far. I don't know if we actually paid $500 for that or not. We're at $8,400. I'll have to check if we actually have more or less before. Oh, is Akari going to stop me? Or is it going to be Link? Ah, if it isn't ZX Many. Ah, oh, Leon, the warden from before. The kid cowboy. Though I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in this village here. Where are you going to start a Pokemon next? Wait, I'm going to Fire Split Island. Oh, Fire Split Island! Perhaps you'll run into Polina. She's in a bit of a situation there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. What kind of warden is that? People speak ill of her, though not to her face. Wait a minute, that's what I just did. Ah, forgive me, I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. Piece of advice then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold- what? Like thunderstones? Yeah, you can evolve Pokemon with stones. You need to look- Oh! Cleaver! Did Cleaver evolve from a stone? If you and the Survey Corp- If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is about Pokemon of this region, then the stones- Yeah, 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 they're like thunderstones and stuff. Oh, there's a stone that has the power of creation. Okay. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not enter it and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you, here- Oh, you're giving me stones! Two- Wait. Great pebbles. Oh, it could raise, uh, it could raise the effort level for a Pokemon's stats. Okay, okay. Wait, Grit Gravel. It can raise the effort level for one of a Pokemon's stats. It can only be used if the effort level is at least three and no greater than level five. Cool! Okay, yeah, and there are also stones that let Pokemon evolve. Okay, they're sent to my storage. Oh, 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 yeah, my... Okay, it's nice that they're sent to my storage and not just thrown away. Okay, let's go by! Heading out of the village. Stay safe out there, kid. Yeah, let's go to... Cobalt Coastline. So we've been to these four areas so far. 
I wonder if there's gonna be an area in the bottom left. Oh wait, but that lake is part of that. I wonder if some of these clouds will move away. We haven't been up there right above this, and we haven't been up there in the mountains, and we haven't been to the snow area. I'm wondering if there's a snow area. Wait, beachside camp? I'm guessing this is the one that we have to go to. Oh, and it looks like there's a volcano up there too. That'll be cool. All right, here we are with the professor. I love how the professor smiles. It's so great. Oh, my person looks so shook. Wow, this is a beautiful looking area. Is that the sun or the moon? I can't tell. Well, it's kind of bright outside, but you know what? Sometimes you do see the moon out during the day, so I really don't know. Is that a Paris down there? What is that down there? All right, Cobalt Coastlands. I'm still in shock. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands is simply a lovely corner of his soy. Seen sky as far as I can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Or flying tanks, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Pulls out his camera. Yeah, that is quite the nice landscape to photograph. Now, I'm sure you're just excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? No, I don't have any questions. Okay, about Fire Split Island. Where's Fire Split Island? Tell me. Ah, indeed, Fire Split Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross this sea to reach it. Do I get a Pokemon that lets me go on water? I'd advise you to speak to a fellow called Iskin. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Maybe I'll make a boat then. Let's see. Okay, so there's a camp here. So let's craft some stuff. Pokeballs. You know what? Or Great Balls. Let's make some Great Balls. Okay, there we go. Great Balls have been made. Smoke Bombs. Should I make Smoke Bombs? You know what? Maybe I should use some of these. They might be useful for, uh... They might be useful for sneaking up on a Pokemon. Okay, and let's put some stuff away. Okay, let's put those away because I don't care about Heavy Balls right now. I've got a lot of Chesto Berries. Okay, those let's put away. Oh, we can probably make some Mushroom Cakes later on. Spoiled Apricorns. I'm just not using those. You know what? Let's see if we could use this grit dust, because I'm getting all this dust. Wait! Is my Luxio ready to evolve? Oh my goodness. Let's evolve it! Oh, I forgot earlier that my Luxio could evolve. Okay, let's evolve my Luxio then. Alright, final form. Luxray is the final form, right? It's Shinx, Luxio, and then Luxray. Such a great guy to have on our team over here. Alright, look how evil he looks like that. And then he evolves. What an amazing guy over here. Let's go, Luxray. Great electric type to have on our team over here. Okay, Grit Dust. Let's use this. You know what? Let's make our Luxray stronger. What would you like to improve? Ah, oh, you know what? I kind of want to improve Special Attack because that would make our attacks like Thunderbolt and, and Lightning Fang and stuff like that stronger. So let's increase those. Let's increase those. Let's keep putting up special attack. Special attack gained an effort level. Oh, I can't use it on that anymore. Okay. Should I keep using it on this guy or should I use it on someone else? You know, let's use it on Dartix. Ah, oh, man, you know, my defense is so low for this Pokemon. You know, should I just train my Staravia instead? Because I think I, I don't know if I'll be keeping my Staravia. Because having a flying Pokemon would be nice. Float Soul's pretty good, but I don't know if I'd want like a water ground type or a mixed water type. You know what? Maybe I'll just keep using it on uh, Luxray, because Luxray's pretty great. Let's use it on his uh, attack. Let's get up his attack. Okay, there, and we used up all those. That's good. Okay, so let's put away... Let's put away a Lumberry. Okay, don't care too much about Feather Balls. Let's put away one of those. Let's put away one of those. Put away those. Okay, and that's good. We have quite a bit of space now. Okay, so I think now is a good time to get going. Wait. Oh, I'm like, what kind of Pokemon is that? But that's the lady that we're supposed to meet. Let's go up to her. Oh, and I, I came off of my, uh, you know what, my wire deer. Hello there, Arida. Oh! A new song! Is Link going to unlock a new song? What ability do we have? Does this one let us go back in time? Very nice song she's playing, and I like her shoes. Why does she have a thing that's like a tail, though? Oh, ZX Money, I knew you'd be here. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Wait, but why? Okay, sure, whatever, I'll battle it. Very good. You have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift. All right. Time to battle Arita. Whoa! Oh yeah, that's right, she has a Glaceon. I have battled her before. Okay, but Ice is double super effective on me, so I'm probably going to die. Wait! Are you sending out two Pokemon at once? I didn't even get to do anything and it uses Ice Beam! 
I didn't even get to do anything! How come you get to send out two Pokemon at once? That's not fair! Wait, does Ponyta need a Firestone to evolve, or does it evolve at a certain level, or when it has enough, uh, when it likes you enough? Alright, let's fight. Let's see. Uh, Flame Wheel, will that be good enough? You know what? I'll use Flame Wheel. Just normal Flame Wheel, not strong stuff. Whoa, she's level 30! Okay. Okay, it is burned. Now Eevee attacks me. Or wait, is that a wild Eevee? I don't know if that's a wild Eevee or if that is her Eevee. It'd be pretty cool if I could just catch that Eevee right now. I'd love to catch the Eevee. Is that her Eevee? It's a level 15 Eevee. Agile style. It used quick attack. Please let me catch this Eevee. Can I catch this Eevee? Oh, it used quick attack twice. Oh, because it has agile style. I'm guessing that this is her Eevee. Okay, I can't attack twice in a row with that, so you know what I'll just do? Strong style? Yeah, I'll just use strong style. It's weird that this Eevee's level 15, though. Such a low level compared to the other one. Okay, Eevee is defeated. Is that her Eevee? She didn't call it back to the Pokeball, so maybe that was a wild Eevee? Did we just defeat a wild Eevee? Did a wild Eevee just attack us while we had a Pokemon uh, trainer battle? Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast, and I am small within it. That's a great line. That's so true. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you. Please heal my Pokemon. I love the healing sound. All right, with you, I think with you I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I am weak. Sometimes I wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will raise a successor to fill the late lord's- And she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Paulina, that's what we call her, Lena, she's one of our pals there. She's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass- Oh, so there's some rivalry here. But she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir of- Into a true heir to his father, the late lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late lord's heir will grow to be a worthy successful- A successor. And if she succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. I love how everyone's trusting me now. We are building up their trust by showing our competence. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down on this hill, then turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Okay, good instructions. Let's head that way then, and let's see what Pokemon we'll run into. Maybe will we find an Eevee? Any Pokemon around? Wait a minute, what are those? They almost look- Oh! Oh, it's those little cat guys! Glammeows, that's what they're called. Let's see, will they notice me? Oh! Turn around! Turn around, yes. Let's see. Bam! How's that? Let's see. And in case we don't catch it, I'm just gonna hit this tree over here and maybe get some- Nice! We got one Glammeow! Oh, and a Burmy leaped out at me! We are seeing so many of these Burmies. Okay, you know what? Let's do... Wait, is Aerial Ace stronger? Yeah, Aerial Ace is strong. Let's do strong style Aerial Ace. Can that take it out in one hit? Please do. Please do. Let's see. Hooray! We did it. We defeated Burmy. Alright. Oh, number you defeated with flying type moves. One out of one. Nice. Okay, wait a minute. Is that someone up there? Okay, let's go into this tall grass over here. Then we can get ready to catch a Glammeo. Glammeo, don't worry. I'm not gonna try to catch you. I won't. Ha! I tricked you. You fool. I will now capture you. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. Alright. Two out of three caught. Let's get one more over here. And then we'll have three out of- th Wait a minute! That is a spiel! I need this spiel! I need this spiel! I love spiel so much! Spiel is such an amazing Pokemon, and its evolved form is pretty great. That's probably going to be replacing our float, so we need to catch this spiel. We absolutely need this spiel. I want it. Please turn around, Sveal, please. Uh-oh, whoops, that was an accident. I accidentally let go too early. Okay, let's go, let's go, Sveal. Come here, bro. Let's go. Please catch it. Please catch it. It's not a super high chance, but let's see. Yes! 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 We got a Sveal. We got a Sveal. And you know what? Let's catch some more Sveals over here, because I see a few Sveals over here. 
Because there might be a bonus for like how many spheels you catch. Sphiel is most likely going to be replacing our Float Soul. Because Float Soul is a water type. And I would like to evolve this Sphiel. Let's see. Oh, oh, I don't want to battle. I almost battled it by accident. Okay, let's do this. And how's that? B bro, you dodged my Pokeball? How dare you? Wait, what's that over there? What is this right here? Is this an item? Pop Pod. I don't know what that is, okay, but at least we got another Sphiel. Now then, should I go catch another Sphiel? These Sphiels are absolutely adorable. Look at how round they are. They are so nice and round. Wait, what's that up there? Is that one of those scorpion Pokemon? I can't tell what it is. Next, three out of three Sphiels caught, so I have some variety. I think that's that scorpion Pokemon from Gen 4. Oh wait, is that the Alpha Scorpion over there? The Evolved form? I wonder if it's just the Evolved form or if it's an Alpha version. Let's see, let me just get into some tall grass here. Let's see, a bunch of these little scorpions here. How's that? Let's see, bam! And, you know what? It is an alpha. You know what, okay, Skorupi. You know what? Those are actually incredibly useful. So you know what? I would like to take it on. It can know some nice moves and it might be nice to have a poison type with this because poison's uh, pretty effective on quite a few things. Let's see, can we catch it unaware? Nice, we caught it unaware. Okay, 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 good, good, good. Level 45, it's pretty strong. Okay, let's see, Floatzel, this might be your last battle, so I hope you can do okay. Let's do a, let's do a strong style water pulse. Hopefully it's caught unaware, so I'll get to attack twice. That would be nice. Let's see. How much damage does that do? Not much. Okay, it's unaware and too stunned to move. No, and then it attacks. Uh oh. Okay, we're dead in a single hit. That's pretty good. Pretty strong Pokemon over here. Okay, let's send out Luxray over here. We're a pretty fast Pokemon, so let's see. If we do, oh, if we do Thunderfang, we can attack twice in a row. That's nice. So let's do this then. Let's see if we can get two Thunderfangs up. Maybe we have a better chance at paralyzing it if we do it twice. Let's see. Does a bit of damage. And should I do, oh, if I do Strong Cell, it attacks twice in a row. Yeah, you know, let's do a normal Thunderfang. Hopefully it doesn't defeat us in a single turn. Paralyze it, maybe? Not paralyze. Swords dance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This attack sharply rose. Well, that's what it normally does. Oh! And it gets to attack twice. Uh-oh. Yeah, so we're dead. We're definitely dead. Okay, come back, Luxray. Maybe Ponyta will be good at weakening it. Oh, man, but even if I weaken it, it's like, how many Pokeballs will I get to use? Let's use an Agile-style Flame Wheel. Let's see. Probably won't do much damage, but we'll get it down to pretty low HP. How's that? Ah, uh, not in- the Okay, good, it is burned, it is burned. I was gonna say not in the red yet. Shadow Ball, whoa! That's quite the interesting move. Alright, come back, Ponyta. Okay, it's hurt by its burn. Now then, I'm gonna send out Golbat, because hopefully if it uses a Poison-type move, then hopefully we can survive it. But, it's time for us to start using Great Balls. Yes, I would like to throw a Great Ball. Please catch it. If we catch it right now, that would be amazing. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, man! With the first Great Ball, we got it. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can you guys believe it? Oh, my goodness. That luck. Wait, is that a Tangela up there? I can't tell if that's a Tangela up there. Ah, this guy noticed me. You know what? I don't really want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Let's see, because I think that my, uh, my you-know-what is dead. Okay, let's see. That's not a hit from the back, but if we catch him, that's still pretty good. Let's see, did we catch him? No, we didn't. They both escaped. Okay. So let's head back to the base, and let's swap out our Pokemon now. Because we've got some pretty darn good Pokemon ready to join us right now. Let's see. Okay, so we're, we'll probably switch out Golbat. Ah, oh, but Golbat can evolve into Crobat. Wait, wait, are you the guy that lets me swap Pokemon? If Troy at the general store could just get some different goods in stock, I'd have more to sell. Okay, let's do... Oh, wait, what items do you sell? Oh, he just sells all these items. Okay, okay, that's nice to know. I have so many boxes full of Pokemon. Oh, and I actually... I can't believe that I forgot about my Ralts from earlier. Let's take our Ralts. Ah, Ponyta is so nice, though. You know what? Let's do this. Let's leave our Floatzel because he doesn't matter too much anymore. Ralts is only level 18. 
Uh, I still want to keep evolving my Ponyta. Luxray is great. Golbat, we're definitely getting rid of. Um, I do want Sfeel so that we have a water type. Now then, I'm kind of tempted to replace Staravia with this Drapion over here. Let's see, what knows that what moves does he know? He knows Shadow Ball Crunch, X Scissor, and Swords Dance. If he could learn Sludge Bomb, that would be amazing. I would love that. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that Skarupi was Poison Bug, and this one is Poison Dark. Okay, so right now I think this Pokemon is too high of a level for it to obey our orders, because right now only up to level 40 will obey us. So I'm actually going to keep Staravia, and maybe if Staravia evolves, then we'll replace it. Or you know what? Maybe even if Dartrix evolves, we'll replace it. Yeah, because we have two flying types, and Dartrix isn't proving to be super strong right now. Dartrix is actually uh, kind of weak, and a lot of things are super effective against us. Alright, so let's continue our Pokemon expedition then. Let's see, maybe we could catch another Glamia. Oh, might notice us. No, you're not gonna notice me. Oh, nope, you're not, you're not. Are you? Are you? Let's see, because there might be something nice for catching a bunch of these. The way, I have said this before, but I gotta say this again. The way that this game incentivizes catching multiple Pokemon is so rewarding, and it's actually so much fun too. Okay, four out of five caught without being spotted. So let's see. I wonder if that one will count as being caught without being spotted. Let's see. Nice! Five out of six caught, and I think it'll be... Is it five out of five? Yes, five out of five caught without being spotted. That's great. How about another Glamio? Let's see, because now it'll be six out of six caught. And you know what? I'd kind of like to catch that bird over there, even though we've already got one of these. Maybe there'll be something nice for catching these. Let's see. Oh, you're kind of far away, bro. Oh. Just turn around. Turn around. No, no, don't come towards me. No. Nope. Just turn around and stay there. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, hopefully we can catch that guy. Oh, we've got to go all the way over there. Gink, go landing. Wait a minute, didn't people in the Diamond Clan... Oh, oh, we didn't catch that guy. I guess he got away. Hey, Sfeel, you're not going to get angry at me, are you? You're an adorable little Sfeel. You're just a cute little Sfeel. Now, what in the world are these? I'm seeing these along the beach. Pop Pod. You know what? If we already have some, we might as well, uh, might as well collect them because we already have them in our stack. Let's just see. Whoa! Oh, it's an Alpha Machoke! It is an Alpha Machoke! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I can't believe it. Let's see. I guess we've probably got to fight it then. Let's see. Oh man! That is such a cool Pokemon to see an Alpha of. Imagine seeing one of these in your gym. Let's see. If we could catch it unaware, that would be amazing. Turn around, bro. Turn around, bro. I've got something for you. I've got something for you if you turn around. Let's see. We can catch it unaware. That would be great. Wait, it says unobtainable. Is it unobtainable because we can't catch it at all or because we haven't battled it yet? Oh, it's only level 40. Okay. Let's see. Did he use bulk up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Offensive stats were raised and defensive stats were raised. That is scary. Wait. Oh, if we use this, then we get to go twice. Even if we don't use agile style. But you know what? He might use agile style. So I'll do this just to be safe. Avoided the attack! And it gets to attack us! Okay, this isn't going as planned. This is not going as planned. Okay, at least it was damaged by the recoil. That's nice. Okay, let's send out a Ralts over here. Go Ralts. Let's see. Can we get a confusion out on it? It'd be nice if we could get out of confusion. How strong will confusion be? Super effective, but it does so little damage. Double edge, okay. At least it'll get hurt with recoil. Come back, Ralts. I wonder if the Great Ball will be so great that we'll be able to weaken this guy some more again. Let's see. Dartrix, now is your time to shine. Because you know Aerial Ace. Agile style or normal or strong? Ah, let's go with the normal one. Let's see. Aerial Ace, how much damage will that do? Oh, nice! Got his HP pretty low. We're dead, though, aren't we? From the double edge. Yeah, double- Oh, wait, 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 wait! Is he dead from the double edge? That is the question. He defeated himself with the double edge. Great. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Oh, at least we get, uh, some experience candy. Who should I use this on? You know what? Ralts is a pretty low level. Should I- Let's revive Ralts. 
So we'll do this to revive Ralts. And then, experience candy medium. Or should I use it on a higher level? Like Staravia. You know what, maybe I should use it on a stronger Pokemon. Like, I'm gonna use the experience candy on Staravia, not on Ralts, even though Ralts is a lower level. Because the lower levels, they'll catch up more quickly. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I wonder if Ralts could take on any of the Machops. Okay, so there are a bunch of Machops around here. Let's see if we can catch one. They probably get aggressive if they notice you. Let's see. How will this be? How's that? Oh, you turned around, bro. Why would you turn around? It's trying to catch you. Okay, nice. We caught a Machop. Very nice, very nice. One Machop caught. Level 24. I remember Machop being a pretty good choice in Pokemon Stadium 2. In the, there's something called the Little Cup, where you could only use level 5 Pokemon. And Machop has some pretty good moves. Wait, is that one sleeping? Is that a sleeping Machop? Okay, it looks like you have a better shot at catching it because it's asleep. Someone noticed me. But I'm going to try and catch that. Who noticed me? Oh, oh, it's one of those guys. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here then. Oh, okay. And we did catch that one, so that's good. Now then, a bunch of Skorupis around. Oh, and that was a heavy specimen. Wait, I wonder if you know that a Pokemon is a heavy specimen because it's sleeping. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And there's an actual Machoke over here. Wait, wait, wait. Who wants to fight? Who wants to fight these guys? Wait, they're... Are they bug poison? I think they're bug poison. Oh, wait, no, but Psychic... Wait, Psychic would be good against me then. And poison! Uh, and... I mean, a bug and poison would both be good against me. Okay, so that was actually a very bad choice. Okay, let's send out Ponyta. Okay, we are up against two Skorupis. Let's see... What if we do a fast flame wheel? No, I'll just do a normal flame wheel then. Probably not enough to defeat it in one turn. Hopefully in two. Oh, nice! Defeated it in one. That's great, even though we are one level lower. Okay, this is a pretty high level one. So I'm gonna go for a strong style. Or do I go for fast style? You yeah, know, I'll go for strong. Hopefully we can defeat it in one hit. Let's see. Brings the power up to 75 from 60. Is it enough? Yes, it is enough. Okay, that's great that we defeated those. Okay. Number you've defeated with fire type moves, two out of two. That's amazing. Okay. So let's see if we can catch this Machoke. It's not an alpha Machoke, it's just a normal Machoke. So weird seeing a guy like this running around. Oh yes, it's sleeping. That's perfect. Okay, it got tired, fell asleep, and that was the perfect opportunity to catch it. Wow, what luck catching the Machoke there. Okay, do we want to catch another Machoke? I like how the Pokemon that we're coming across, they're starting to look stronger. Okay, let's uh, get that guy. If we can get him, that's great. If not, that's okay. We'll have a... Uh, who do we send out against him? I guess Staravia. Oh, it ran away. But it didn't notice me. It didn't come for me after that. That's kind of weird. And you know what? I kind of want to battle one. Let's battle one. Let's catch this one unaware. We could probably defeat it. Yeah, we caught it unaware. So let's see. How will Air Slash do? It doesn't let me go twice. You know what? I'll go for a strong style aerial ace, and I'm hoping that'll be strong enough to defeat it in one hit. Please be strong enough. Please. Let's see. No! No! Oh, it's caught unaware and it's too stunned, but wait. Oh, and I guess he used Mock Punch. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know what? Let's use a... Let's use a quick attack to finish it off. Okay. At least it didn't defeat us. That's nice. Let's see. Does that defeat it? Yes. Machoke is defeated. That's nice. GG, Machoke. Okay, and let's revive our Ralts. I'm probably not going to use it in battles. Let's revive... And you know what? Let's revive this guy, too. Just so they all keep getting experience. Bug worked. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We had to use that for crafting something. I don't remember what it... Murkrows! Murkrows are there. Let's go catch some Murkrows. Let's see. Let's see. Murkrow is a really cool Pokemon. I don't know if I'd use it in a battle. Who noticed me? Oh, there's a Murkrow right over here. Oh! Man. Okay, who should I use against it? Oh, you know who would be perfect? This guy right over here. Because we have Electric-type moves. Let's see, does it get to attack first? Oh, Night Slap. Oh, man, that's powerful. That's powerful. That is making me reconsider not using this guy. Okay, if we go like this, we get to attack twice in a row, probably. Okay, it dodged the first attack. Good job. Okay, it used Roost. Oh, that just boosts its HP. So you know what? I'm gonna go for a strong style Thunderfang. Hopefully we can defeat it. Man, it's unfortunate when a 95% accuracy move misses, but it's not 100% accuracy, so it does happen from time to time. It's like a 1 in 20 chance of happening. Who else noticed me? That guy over there? Better not be that guy. 
Okay, let me just let me just get some Murkrows, okay? Just wanna just wanna catch some Murkrows, okay? Just let me just sneak up on it. Wait, should I use the feather ball on them since they're flying? Should I just use a Pokeball? Okay, just turn your back on me. Turn your back on me. Turn your back on an opponent! Okay, good. Now do we catch it? Please catch it. Yes! One Murkrow has been caught. A level 33 Murkrow. Now how about this one? Man! The wild Pokemon- Oh man! Alpha Octillery! Alpha Octillery! Okay, let's head up here. Lux, right, do this for me, please. Oh my goodness, I remember the final gym leader in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. His Octillery is quite difficult to deal with in some specific challenges. Let's use another potion. Okay, so let's see. Do I wanna... Do I wanna catch it? I don't... I'm guessing that we probably can't catch it by just coming up to it like this. It is probably uncatchable at first. Let's see. Yeah, unobtainable. Unless we probably attack it first. So let's do that. And let's see. Do we want to catch the Octillery? Because wait, is Octillery an evolved form? Hydro Pump! I thought we caught you unaware! Ah. You know what? Maybe we'll battle some other time. Thanks, Octillery, but we can battle another time. Don't you Hydro Pump me, bro. Don't you, don't you dare try to Hydro Pump me. There shall be no Hydro Pumping today. There shall be no pumping of Hydro. The pumping of Hydro shall stop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's send out a... Oh, I could have done that with Ralts. Wait, do you drown in this water? You do. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, I don't want to fight you, bro. I don't want to fight you either. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We want to go along... Wait, do we want to go along this way? Okay, there's something here. So Ralts, you can get this for me. We want to go up that way. And it looks like there's... Oh, we probably want to go around this mountain range, don't we? Okay, let's head back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And Ralts can evolve. So let's evolve our Ralts. Because Gardevoir is pretty fantastic. Oh, it also does depend on what moves Gardevoir can learn. Because I really like my Gardevoir that had the moves Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Calm Mind, and Thunderbolt. Sometimes I gave it Ice Beam instead of Thunderbolt. Like, I would just use TMs to switch. I'm guessing that there are probably no TMs in this game. Okay, I'm not gonna use a revive on our, you know what, on our Luxray. Wait a minute! This guy's still attacking me. Okay, let's run away, let's run away, let's run away. We are running away. Okay. Curly up, please! Take care of that tree for me. Okay, Curly up. Next, we got some more a Apricorns. That means we should be able to make some more Pokeballs later on. Okay, let's go this way. Hey, Curly, I don't know if you are... Oh, 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 There are some wisps right over there. Can we get up there? How do we get up there? That is the question. And... Come on. Come on. Is this like in a... Is this like in Super Mario Odyssey where it's like you have to jump off to get an extra boost? It's like you jump off Yoshi to get the extra boost? To get the extra height boost? Wait, wait, wait. Can we actually not climb up here? Wait, can our bear climb better? Can our- is our bear better at climbing? Okay, it doesn't look like our bear is better at climbing. Oh yeah, I forgot that our bear has treasure, actually. Our bear can go hunting for treasure. Oh nice, and you can just transform like that, that's pretty cool. Okay, Drift Blim there. We already have one of those, Tangela. Not super worried about that one. What in the world? I don't know if I know this Pokemon. This must be from something past Gen 4? It's not a- this isn't a Gen 4 Pokemon, is it? What is this? I don't recognize this. Mothim! I guess this is a new Pokemon. Okay, so this one will probably just defeat this one. And then I'll try to catch the next one. Let's just do a strong style flame wheel. That should take it out, right? Okay, nice. That one's defeated. Now let's try and get the next one. It's like a moth type Pokemon. Okay, so let's see. Regular Pokemon- sh regular Pokeball should do the trick. Oh, but it noticed me. Okay, it's got pretty good eyes. Okay, so let's do this then. Okay, okay. I'll use a weak ember, so hopefully we don't defeat it. Let's see. I'll use ember. I'll use agile style, so it's weaker than normal. Do we defeat it or no? Let's see. Great, 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 great. Okay, it's not burned though. Okay, silver wind, not very effective. That's great. Oh, offensive stats were raised and defensive stats were raised. Okay, so that's something. 
So let's just use a normal Pokeball. Hopefully we can catch it, because this is our first time uh, seeing one of- Well, our first time trying to catch one of these. Well, our first time throwing a Pokeball at one of these, to be more specific. Okay, there we go. Okay, we caught Mothem. Mothem rhymes with Gotham, which is, what, a city in Batman? In the Batman universe? I think that's how it works. I don't know. I never saw any Batman movies. I was never really super into superhero movies. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, do we want to make it up there now? Let's see. Jump! Yes, my friend, jump! Very good. Now then, wait. Is this where we came from? Okay, this is where we came from. So you know what? Let's rest our Pokemon while we are here. Okay, and we can craft some stuff. You know what? Let's craft some more Great Balls, because I would like some more Great Balls. Scatterbang. Oh, that's interesting. You can scare off weak Pokemon in the area. Okay, and let's rest. Just so all of our Pokemon are healed while we are here, we might as well rest. All right, let's head out. Let's start heading towards where we have to go. So we have to go over there. But how are we supposed to go over there? I think the lady said to like go straight and then turn left. Oh, that reminds me of this one joke about uh about NASCAR. There's this one comedian who he's saying like, in NASCAR what you do is you go straight and then you turn left. Then you go straight and you turn left. It's like there's obviously a lot more to it, but like an oversimplification like that is pretty funny. Okay, let's see. Oh, this guy still wants to fight, huh? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll take you on then. We'll take you on. Not a problem. I don't mind getting a bit of extra experience. Don't mind getting some extra experience. Let's just do a strong style flame wheel over here. That's- wait. Tell me- Okay, good, good, good. I was worried that the tree would block the attack. Because they tell me that the tree won't block it. Now then, Tangela. Oh, is it angry? Oh, I think it noticed us. Oh, because it has that little X there. I thought that it was looking the other way, but then it looked like somebody noticed me. Okay, so let's go like this. Uh, will Flame Wheel finish it off? Hopefully Flame Wheel can finish it off. I'd like to pick these leaks that are right here. I can't pick them during the battle, unfortunately. It would be- oh, it got burned, but it's not defeated. Let's see. Energy Ball. Okay, not very effect- that did a lot of damage for something that's not very effective. Okay, but the burn defeated it. It would be so funny if you could pick an item on the field while you are- Oh, and we probably have to go up this way. While you are having- the way that that bird is flapping is so weird. That does not look right. It's like since it's far away, it is moving at the wrong frame rate. I did not expect to see something like that in this game. That is probably the buggiest slash most low quality thing I've seen in this game so far. The way that it's flapping its wings like that, that's so weird. Yeah, but once you get closer, yeah, you can see that now it's moving its wings normally. That's so weird. I didn't- that's the first thing- I didn't think that I'd see something like that in this game. That's the first thing in this game that I saw like that. Oh nice, a Geodude popped out at us from a rock. Well, we'll just run away, that's fine. You know what this reminds me of? Sometimes when you use, uh, the Geodude, it looked like it was kind of shy and it just ran away. But, uh, you know what that reminds you of? When you use Rock Smash, wait, is that a Beautifly? Yeah, that's a Beautifly up there, okay. It reminds you of when you use Rock Smash in the older Pokemon games. Sometimes a... Oh, you noticed me already? Senpai! Why did you notice me? I did not want you to notice me. It reminds you of in the older Pokemon games, sometimes when you use Rock Smash, sometimes a Geodude can pop out. So it reminds me a lot of that. Okay, let's see. Can, uh, Strong Flame Wheel finish it off? Let's see. Oh, it's level 30, so it might not. Let's see. No, you won't have- yeah, you won't have super high special defense, so we are good. Okay, let's go, let's go. Number defeated. One out of one. Oh, only one of those defeated so far. Maybe we should defeat some more then. Okay, Ponyta, you can do this. Okay, now we're going the right way, so what we want to do is we want to head up this mountain. I went down there. I Wait a minute! That must be the final evolved form of, uh... Of Staravia? Is Staravia the final evolved form? Let's see if I can hit it from here. Okay, it's so far away that it's, uh... Weird like that, but man, if we could actually hit it, I'll use the Feather Ball. I don't know if we'll be able to hit it, but let's try. Oh, that's actually pretty cool, the way that you aim like that. Okay, let's see. Where is it going? No, there's no way we could get it. Even though it's flying like that. Let's see. Fly towards me. You know what? We might be able to get it. If you could, like, anticipate where it's gonna go. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. That would be really cool if we could catch that, but you'd need pretty good aim to be able to do that. Oh, and you know what? Why not just defeat another one of these? Let's go. Fight me, bro! Fight me, bro. I'm ready. Did we catch it unaware? No, we didn't catch it Oh, no, it's raining. It's raining. That is not good. Okay, let's just do a normal flame wheel. Is this rain? It makes us weaker, right? Ah, uh, not as much... Not as weak as I thought it would be. Oh, Iron Defense. I know that move from Brilliant Diamond. Venom Shock. 
Why did you get to attack twice? Why are you attacking twice? Excuse me. Why is my HP so low, huh? Why is my HP so low, huh? Why? Why is my HP so low? Why is my HP so low, huh, Beautifly? Huh? Okay, well, at least lots of my Pokemon are leveling up. Got to use a Super Potion over here. Man, I'd love to get some more ingredients so that we can make some more Super Potions. That would be cool. I wonder if we're going to run into any more Pokemon here, because we ran into a lot of Pokemon down there. So I wonder if there are going to be any new Pokemon here. Okay, it's raining, so I kind of don't want to use that guy. You know what? Why not use our Staravia over here? Maybe we could startle this guy. Let's see. Did we catch it unaware? Didn't look like it was aware. Wow! Still saw us, though. You know, let's do a powerful aerial ace here. Hopefully that can finish it off. Let's see, because we are probably getting close to level 36. We're, what, level 33 right now? Okay, I'd like to get whatever's on this tree also. Get this, please. Oh, cool, we got Dazzling Honey. Now then, okay. Oh, oh, level 34! We can evolve already! Okay, nice! Nice! I thought it was at level 36 that you evolved, maybe, but it looks like it's level 34. Okay, let's revolve into... Oh, Staraptor is the final form, I think. Yeah, and that one that we saw flying around a moment ago, I'm pretty sure that was also Staraptor, because I think it had a little bit of red. Alright, look at that! There we go! We've got the little red hair over here. Oh, and Staraptor got an idea for a new move. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you go to change moves! And that's how you learn different moves! Oh, oh. Wait, and can you switch moves whenever you want? Hold on a second. Let's get rid of Gust and learn close combat. Wait, and then I can just switch back whenever I want? This is amazing. This is amazing. My goodness, this is absolutely amazing. That is so cool. Do you want to quit changing your Pokemon's moves? No, I'd like to con- Oh, 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 you hit X to confirm. Okay. Are you happy with this new move set? Change Gus for close combat. Yes. This is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. Can I change back? Let's see. And I can change back. That is absolutely... I actually can't believe that you can do that. I actually can't believe that you can do that. This is amazing. Okay. Oh, and now I can... Let's see. Magical Leaf. 60 power. Never misses. That is definitely better than Leafage, so let's do that. And you know what? Let's get Air Slash instead of Gust over here. Because we have Aerial Ace, that never misses, this never misses, this heals us. So that's pretty good! I am happy with that. My goodness, I can't believe it took me this far into the game to learn that we can do that. Wait, Liquidation, what is this? Wow! 80 power, 100% accuracy, okay, so it's... Kind of like a weaker version of Surf. We have Rest. I don't really care too much for Rest. Rollout is 90 accuracy. I would love for it to be 100 accuracy, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Water Pulse is all right. Powder Snow is kind of weak. So let's do that. Luxray. Luxray, do you have any nice moves? Thunder Wave. Huh. Yo, wait. Does Bite have a... Does Bite have a chance at making the opponent flinch still? It doesn't say that in the description, so you know what? Let's just use Crunch instead of that, because Crunch is more powerful, so let's do that, which is very nice. And Luxray is already pretty powerful as it is. Okay, now let's see Ponyta. Ponyta, what moves will we learn? Oh, Fire Blast, 85% accuracy. That's pretty high, but I really like the 100% accuracy moves. So you know what? I'm going to stay with Flame Wheel. And what about Curlia? What moves can you learn, Curlia? Oh, you can only know these moves. Okay, we don't have any other moves. Okay. Oh, wait, Draining Kiss? Wait, the user attacks with an energy draining kiss? Wow, so that actually restores HP. That's pretty cool. Okay, so Curlia is basically like a weaker version of Gardevoir. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you know what? Fight me, bro! Let's fight, bro! I'm ready to go! I'm ready to go, bro! Let's see, I'm just taking on all the Pokemon that I'm running into now because I'm like... Hey, let's just do some battles. Let's get some experience. This is an all right way to go. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we win, right? Yeah, we defeated that guy. Okay, so get this for me, please. I wonder if you could tell what the material is based on the color. Okay, Tumblestone. I wonder if it's always like that or not. Let's see. Let's go. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. Does that mean you're going to attack me first? Tell me you're not attacking me first. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's get a strong aerial ace here. That should finish you off. Strong style. 
Too bad you can't dive while you're in a battle like this, okay? I'd like to pick up this. Oh, this reminds me of a place that I've been to in real life. Oh my goodness, this looks really cool. Okay, currently I leveled up. Man, that's so cool. That's so cool how you don't have to skip through a bunch of dialogue boxes to, uh... After a fight when your Pokemon get experience. Man, I remember in the original Pokemon game, if you had experience all with you, it would be so annoying because... The reason that it would be so annoying... Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Who should I use here? I wish it wasn't raining. You know what? Maybe if it's raining, maybe that means water attacks will be stronger. Let's see. Let's try out our spiel. Let's see how good our spiel can be. Let's see. Glad me I was keeping his... Oh! It ran away. Okay, well, good job, spiel. You did great. We are all very proud of you. Let's go like this. Let's see. Did I scare it? Glad me out. Let's see. He's keeping his guard up. It's keeping, it's keeping its guard up, it ran away! Why, Glabio? Why do you do this, Glabio? Alright, this is alright, though. Oh, sorry, what I was saying, though, was, uh, I remember in the original Pokemon game, when you had this item called Experience All, which makes all of your Pokemon get experience after a battle, it would be so annoying, because you would have to click through the- Oh, we've got an Alpha Prugly. Yeah, but you'd have to click through the dialogue box for every single Pokemon getting experience. So every battle, whether it's a wild battle, or every individual Pokemon of a trainer, it would take forever to go through that dialogue box. You know what? This guy kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong right here. The way that it looks, it kind of looks like Donkey Kong. Can I maybe... I have a chance at catching it like this, but I don't think we will. Let's see. Hit it from behind. Let's see. Nope, it escaped. It escaped. So you know what? Let's... Oh, whoops. Wrong one, wrong one. I don't want to fight this one. I wanted to fight the other one. Is the Prugly joining us in this fight or no? Okay, the Prugly's way over there, so it's not joining us in this fight. So you know what? Let's do this. Let's do a... Uh, let's do an Agile Aerial Ace. Hopefully that'll let us finish it up. Let's see if that's strong enough. Please be strong enough. Please be, please. Yes! Okay, good, 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 good. I don't know if it's super important that we use Agile the turn before. But, let's see. Oh, no, you know, I'm not even gonna go for a heavy ball. I'm just gonna try to catch it off guard. Okay, we weren't able to catch it off guard. Let's see. Please don't attack first. It's filled with wild might. No! Staraptor! No, Staraptor! Staraptor, no! I wanted you to use close combat. Okay, at least it gets hit with a lot of recoil. Alright, so I guess that means we're sending out Ponyta over here. Oh, I don't remember if I said this. I was thinking this, but I don't remember if I said this. I wanted to say that the Perugly, the way that it's standing, the way that it's composed... It kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong from Donkey Kong 64. Like, it just looks big and bulky like that. Okay, Flame Wheel probably won't do a lot of damage. Yeah, it doesn't even get it into the yellow. Is it at least burned? It's not burned, but we got a double edge on us. So, it gets hit with recall. Oh, its HP is getting quite low. Hmm... Who do I send out next? You know, let's send out Curlia. Let's send out Curlia because I don't want the recoil damage to defeat it. So let's use a- whoops. Let's use a Great Ball over here. I'll use a Great Ball. I don't think that we'll catch it because it still has quite a bit of HP and it has no status effect, but we can try. Yeah, it escaped. It escaped. That's alright. He's gonna use Double Edge again. Okay, uses another double edge, another Pokemon faints. That means that his HP gets a bit lower. Okay, probably... It'll probably defeat itself after this one. So, let's see. Hopefully we can catch it with the Great Ball. Something that I've been wondering is... I wonder if there are Master Balls in this game. And I wonder if you can craft Master Balls. If you can craft them, it's probably some extremely rare material that you have to find. Ah, oh, that's too bad that we couldn't catch the Perugly. Okay, so we're probably uh, dead, right? Or... Oh, we survived, but it's dead. Okay, okay. Yeah, I wanted to say that it's probably dead. Okay, at least we get some experience for that. Times you've seen it use double edge. Four out of eight. Nice. Okay, and we get a few level ups for that. Should I use my revives? Oh, man, it's so sad when you use up all that. So sad when you use up all of your... Po oh, wait. It won't have any effect. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's use it on this guy. And let's heal up this guy. And let's heal our Staraptor. And you know what? I'll give a... Uh, I'll give two potions to Luxray also. Okay, here we go. Now then, what way were we going? Are we going this way or the other way? Are we going towards the mountain? I don't remember if we're going towards the mountain or if we're went... Oh, this is the way that we're going. Okay, let's go over here then. Let's see, another Beautifly. Do we want to defeat more Beautiflies? 
Because we've already done quite a bit. Okay, there's something shiny there, so maybe I'll want to go there. Okay, let's fight. Let's see a beautifly over here. Oh, I'm glad that that Glamio in the background isn't joining. Okay, let's do a strong style over here. That should defeat it. Pretty nice that our Pokemon are getting pretty strong. There were some points. Okay, good, it is defeated, nice. There were some points of the game where we were quite under-leveled, or at least relatively under-leveled. Okay, let's go like this. And this is where we have to go. We made it to, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a, it kind of looks like a Growlithe, but it doesn't, it looks different. It looks like it has a beard or something. What's up with this? Growa! Wait, is that Nurse Joy? Hush now, settle down. Oh, it's not Nurse Joy. I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan. And who might you be? These are like some weird looking Growliths. Ah, oh, so you're that child from the Galaxy Team. I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligant when, other, when none other could quell their frenzy. Yeah, I did that. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So, what brings you to the Cobalt Crosslines? I'm here to help you, Nurse Joy. I know that your name is Paulina, but I'm calling you Nurse Joy because you look like Nurse Joy. We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Wait, oh yeah, that's right. They might be a ghost. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. They are still alive. They're 100% alive. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. He's alive. He's alive. I'm calling it right now, everybody. He's alive. If you were to guess, which of these Growlithe would you say is the previous lord's child? Oh, the big one or the small one? Uh, this... I want to say the small one because the small one is adorable, but this probably happened a while ago, so I'm going to say the big one because the big one probably would have grown up by now. Let's see. The big one. That's what everyone says at first, but no. Wow! The quiet, skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous lord. Wow, okay, so that's actually the opposite of what I expected. Bow! I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready. But I could never bring myself to do that. So we need this Pokemon to become the next lord. No matter what the Pearl Clan says, my mind is made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask why you came here? I'm here to help the heir. I make for Fire Spit Island. Don't I want to do both of these? Well, let's do this. I'm here to help the heir. Ah, did Arita ask you to intervene? I appreciate the kind gesture, but I'm afraid the matter simply doesn't concern you. So now that you know the situation, might I ask your purpose coming here? Oh, so now I can say I'm here for the spit lands. Spit land. A survey of fire spit... Fire. Why did I call it spit lands? It's like earlier we had like cobalt lands, something lands. Now I called it spit lands. Fire spit island. I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. Yes, the shadow of the Lord Pokemon. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as... Bascolijon, if you wish to cross the sea. I knew it! I knew that we would be getting a Pokemon that lets us swim. Wait, can we go underwater? You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. Okay, let's go talk to Iskan. There is definitely something strange happening out on Firespit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course. But then there's also the odd lightning that came from that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. But I digress. I do apologize. Kind of surprised to see stuff like this in, uh, in a Pokemon game. Iskin lives on Apom Hill. I wonder if there are Apoms there. Just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Okay, so we could probably fast travel there. Let's see. 686 away. Can I catch your Pokemon? I would love to catch your Pokemon, that'd be so funny. There should be a mod that makes it so that you could uh, catch other trainers' Pokemon. See, I am kind of scared to fall off. If we go here, it's probably pretty easy to fall off. There's an island over there. wonder if we could reach that. We could probably go to that once we get the Pokemon that lets us uh, swim on the water. There's a, there's an unknown there! There's an unknown right there, I see it, I see it, I see it. We can't throw. We can't battle them, but we can apparently throw Pokeballs at them. There's an unknown. Let's see. Unknown? What letter is that? Is that one an R? All right, we got our first unknown. That's pretty cool. Good thing that I explored there. Okay, so let's see. Can we travel to here? No, that's new request. Can we travel to there? Oh, we could probably only fast travel to this stuff. Take rest or do some crafting. Okay, so we're going to travel to... Whoops. We're going to travel to here, and then we're going to go down to Apalm Hill. 
Wait a minute, weren't we at Apom Hill? Were there any Apoms at Apom Hill? Why is it named Apom Hill if there are no Apoms? Let's make some more of these. More revives, let's get some more revives. Huh, you know what? I do have another experience candy. You know what? Let's use that on Sveal, because if Sveal evolves into Walrein, then that'll be pretty good. And we'd also like Sveal to get- Oh! Oh, there we go! Speaking of being able to evolve, let's evolve our Sveal now. Sveal is ready to evolve. Let's do it. Oh! I think that was the first time that I ever noticed the evolution music that plays when you first start evolving. Alright. Oh! Oh, that's right! Walrein is the third evolved form, not the second one. Okay, so now we have Celio. This one is probably actually my least favorite of the three, because the first one is adorable, and the final one is super cool. This one is like a an awkward in-between phase. Okay, let's rest just a little while. And our Ponyta should be able to evolve into a Rabidash soon. You know what might be a good idea? Maybe going back to the first region and trying to catch that Alpha Rabidash. That might actually be a good idea for us. Okay, so let's head this way. We want to head over to that guy over there. Let's see anything interesting there. What is that? Uh, probably just some beans or something. Let's see, Tangela's over here. Don't need no Tangela's. More Tangela's. More Glam Meows. Wait a minute. What in the world is that? Was that a Glam Meow? Oh, it's just a Glam Meow. It just looked weird because it was in the grass. Okay. Make it through these. And hey, Bob! Apalms are real! Wait, how did you not notice me, bro? Oh, I guess Apalms, like, aren't aggressive or something. So even though it noticed me, it didn't try running away. Hey, nice, we caught an Apalm. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I guess we are now officially on Apalm Hill, where there are Apalms to be caught. Man, this reminds me of Pokemon Stadium 2 minigames. There's one minigame with an Apalm and Eevees, and it is such a fun one. Okay, I don't know if that counts as backwards, because it turned around. Let's see. Nice! Okay, two out of three Apalms caught. Let me get one more Apom. Okay, there's a person that we have to talk to up there. But let's first catch this Apom if we can. If we can catch one more Apom, that'd be great. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. If we can hit it from the back, then we should be good, right? Let's see. And let's go. How's that? How's that? How's that? Let me catch it. Let me catch it. I don't want to have to fight you, bro. Good! Three out of three Apoms gone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you doing over here, Link? Why, hello there, ZX Mini! Fancy, fancy running into you here! Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates! How's your plate hunting going, my friend? Lifting plenty of plates! You should see what my bench press is, bro! No need to be humble! I see you've already got your hands on four plates! Yeah, four plate bench press! Let's go! You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles, and when a great Pokémon recognizes you as worthy of bearing, isn't that right? Yeah, a lot of people give me plates. The way you've been collecting plates, it reminds you of an ancient hero. Goes by the name of Arnold. He battled against Almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering. The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero. Their powers are supposed to have come from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Okay, so there are ten legendary Pokemon, I guess. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero, then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates? Yes. We'll both do our best to find more. But please, don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. Yeah. You're a loyal customer! Okay, so let's head up here. That isn't a Pokemon, is it? No, that's just a campfire. Oh, there's an Apom over there. Okay, but we have enough Apoms. Okay, let's go over here. Is this the person that we need? The home of Iskan. Do, do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. Is this Iskan? Let's see. Ah, oh, it's Iskan. I'm, I think it's Iskan. I don't know. So, uh... He looks kind of nervous. I'm Iskan of the Diamond Clad. Uh, a Galaxy Team member with a Celestica Flute? Oh, you must be ZX Mini, right? Uh, have I done something to warrant your visit? No. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say yes. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. I could relate with that. So why are you here? To visit Firespit Island? I need best Cool Gion's aid. Oh, so you want to go to Firepit Island? Well, if you insist, you probably need best Cool Gion's favorite snack. That should help warm him up to you. But preparing his favorite, oh, it's uh, more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle, or really just impossible if I'm being honest. How so? Why is his favorite snack impossible? I'll tell you if you have the right materials, but... But, well, you see, the next part is something I can never manage. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Go on. What, a Murkrow, maybe? You really want to know? You don't value your own life, do you? It's du du dust Dusclops! Oh, even saying his name fills me with dread. Okay. 
So the materials for food have to be imbued with the flavor by Dusclops' dark pulse. That's the only way you can make Basculgion's favorite food, you see. Got it? I'll do it. Let's see. Whoa, whoa! Is everyone in the galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel. They're titanium. Pokemon titanium. Oh man, you're so right. Dust, dust. Oh, I can't even say it. It's like Voldemort. Well, the, the Pokemon I need only has one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Where is that? Is that that way? Uh, Deadwood Haunt is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You'll know when you're there when you find the wrecked boats. Okay, that sounds kind of scary. I, I try very hard to avoid. I try very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon. So uh, now I know a lot about them. You see. W would you like to wait here until night when that Pokemon appears? Yes, I'll wait. And do we also get to heal? I don't know if we even need to heal. Well then, come on in. Nice music playing. All right, obtain a Dusclops. Oh, not just find a Dusclops, but obtain a Dusclops. Okay, so it's, is it up ahead this way? Let's see. Yeah, Deadwood Haunt is up ahead forward. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I saw something up there. Oh, it's an angry, angry Apon! Let me run, let me run, bro, because I'm almost dead anyways. Don't fight me, don't fight me, bro. I just want to go find some Dusclopses. Where are the Dusclopses at? Are we going the right way? Hideaway Bay. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Murkrows. Don't need Murkrows. Don't need Celios. Oh, no. Tell me. Tell me I could get back up, please, after I fell down here. This might be... Oh! Oh, no! I thought that was a Dusclops, because it's the same color as a Dusclops. It's just a Graveler, though. Level 41. That's a pretty high-level Graveler. Kind of surprised that we'd see such a high-level Graveler here. this for me please let's see are these all too steep to climb up let's see oh oh yes we made it up we made it up okay thank goodness now then a dust tox is down there an alpha gold duck is there there's a wisp over there but we can't lose focus what we need what we need hold on let's not die as we walk down here Okay, good. Good. Step one, not dying, has been achieved. All right, dust stocks. If only... Okay, I was trying to switch. My controls were a bit messed up. Okay, if only it was catch a dust stocks, not a... Wait, they said dust clops, not dust stocks, right? What if we do uh, an agile style aerial ace? Will that defeat it? Maybe we can catch this guy. Because I would like to catch it. Let's see. But, oh, awesome, we actually didn't defeat it, that's great. Okay, and it used an iron defense, so you know what? Let's just catch this guy, then we'll probably be able to catch it. So let's go like this, throw a Pokeball. But we need a Dust Clops, because I'm pretty sure they were talking about a... Or was it actually Dust Clops? I'm pretty sure he said Dust Clops, like the Gen 3 Ghost Pokemon. Let's see, number caught, one out of one. Yeah, obtain a Dust Clops. Okay, so not dust talks, but dust clops. We gotta go find a spot with some wrecked ships. And then maybe we'll be able to find some. Okay, Drift Blim. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's right there. Can I just catch it like this? Oh, no, you can't. Doesn't want to be caught. Is it gonna run? Are you gonna run, bro? Wait, is the other guy going to fight me too? The Drift Blim? Oh, no, the Drift Blim's also in the fight. That's not good. Or the Drift Loon, sorry. Wait, this is Dust Skull. Wait, Dust Clops is the evolved form, I guess, then. Uh, you know what? Let's use an Air Slash. Let's see if that defeats it. Okay, that does... Oh, we got a critical hit. Okay, I think that move might have a high chance of getting critical hits. What is this move here? Oh, use the Astonish. That has no effect on me. You know what? Let's use a strong Aerial Ace then. And that should defeat this guy. Then we need to find the Dust Clops. Ah! How are you still alive, bro? How are you still alive? Bro, how are you still alive? How are you still alive, bro? How are you still alive, bro? Ah, it's using Hex. Run out of the way. Oh, that also has no effect on me. Okay, well, it's nice that basically all of its moves have no effect on me. Okay, let's just do this. Just a regular aerial ace should finish it off now. What is this item here? That is the question. We got a Reaper Cloth. Oh! Oh, there it is. Wait, wait, wait. And is that an Alpha Drift Blim? It looks like it has big red eyes. It looks much bigger than normal. I'm not sure if that's an Alpha there. Let's see. Is it? 
I can't tell if it's an alpha. You know what? Let's switch to heavy balls. Where are you teleporting to? Over there. Let's see. Can I reach it from here? Oh, man. I'm so nervous. So nervous. We've got to get close. Okay. It's going to teleport, right? Okay. Teleport. Where are you going? Please keep facing the same way. Okay. Let's go. No! It noticed me! That's so sad. Okay, and that other guy noticed me too. Okay, wait, where are you going? Oh, they're running towards me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's run away for a second. And then hopefully they won't notice me when I come back. This is the plan. Get this for me, bro. And okay, we'll go over here. And the Graveler leaped out at the Ah, oh, Graveler. Why are you doing this, Graveler? Running away from the Graveler. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, the Dust Clubs is right over there. Wait, 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 wait. Who's seeing me? Oh, this guy's seeing me. You know what? I guess we gotta battle you then. Okay, we'll battle you. Wait, do we already have one of these? I think we caught the first one, right? Did we catch the first one? I can't remember if we caught it or not. Let's try an Agile style, though. Let's see if that defeats it. Let's see. And that. Okay, it doesn't defeat it. Okay, so we're catching this one. Dark Pulse. Okay, that's pretty strong. Let's use... A Pokeball then, and hopefully we can catch it. Let's see, its HP is kind of low, so maybe we have a good chance. Hey, we got it! Okay. Caught Dust Skull. Oh, we haven't caught a Dust Skull yet. Okay, so I guess that's our first one. Alright. Now then, these guys have pretty good eyes. So let's see, I kind of want this guy to come over here. Come closer. Are you gonna come closer? Let's see. Because I'm scared of that Dust Clops noticing us. You know what? I'll just try and throw a regular Pokeball at it from here. Let's see, how's that? Because it's from behind, so maybe we can catch it. If we can't, then I guess we can just fight it. But... Okay, awesome, awesome. Oh, Drift Blim! That's the evolved form! Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, number caught at night. One out of one. Nice. Okay, now then, let me go into the grass here. I don't want to get caught by that guy. Where is he? Okay, there he is. There he is. He's in the grass right there. I'm gonna try using a Great Ball on him. Let's see. Did you notice me already? Bro, just turn around. Turn around, bro. I'm not here. Ah! I am here! I tricked you! Ha ha ha! You fool! You fool! And... Ah! Oh, it escaped still! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Even though I attacked him from behind with a Great Ball. Still managed to escape. Okay, let's use a... Uh... Strong Aerial Ace or normal? Let's use a Strong Aerial Ace because it's level 38. So I don't expect that we'll defeat it. Hopefully not. Let's see. Okay, nice, nice, nice. A bit more than... Uh... Oh, nice. Hex has no effect on me. That's actually perfect. Okay, do I have any super weak attacks? Let's do an Agile style now. That shouldn't finish him off because Strong Style did like a bit more than half. So Aerial Ace should do less than half. Okay, good. He's in the red. This is perfect. He uses Dark Pulse. That's scary. Okay, but we are not dead yet. Now then, Great Ball or normal Pokeball? Let's use a, let's use a Great Ball. Time to throw a Great Ball. Hopefully we can get him. I'm worried that the sun is coming up, that it's going to be daytime. Let's see. Get him, please. Yeah, we got him. Let's go. Caught Dusclops. Okay, Dusclops has been caught. Does that mean that we succeeded in our mission over here? Number caught at night, plus one. Turn around, bro. Let's go. If we could get that with just a Pokeball, that would be great. This tree stump kind of looks like we could attack. Okay, two out of two Drift Blims caught. That is great. Now then. Okay, lots of these balloon guys around here. Something shiny over there. Very shiny. Let's go to the shiny thing. What is this shiny thing here? It's a wooden crate. What is this? Do I get my Pokemon to attack it? Yes, I get my Pokemon to attack it. What could be inside this? Ultra Ball, Smoke Bomb, Sticky Glob. Okay, so we finally got an Ultra Ball. So I guess I'll save that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that another treasure for us over there? There are just plenty of treasures over here to be collected. But wait, this one isn't shiny. It's just a normal box. Can we still break it? Okay. Three Pokeballs, one Great Ball, one Mushroom Cake. Okay, there's some great stuff around here. You can find some great stuff on the shores over here. Oh, and I get what they mean by the island that looks like a hand, because you can see all the fingers over here. Okay, we probably want to go back now. Wait, 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 w
Oh my goodness, and it's the evolved form also. Okay, but I probably can't reach them from here, right? Probably can't go into that water. Is that water too deep? Uh... I'd love to be able to get them, but they're probably too far. Yeah, my Pokeball can't get near them. Maybe if they come closer, I can get them. Or, once we get a Pokemon that lets us surf on the water, then we'll be able to go there. Okay, so let's travel back to Beachside Camp. Because I think this will be the fastest way to make it back safely, and let's see. Okay, so let's heal up while we are here. And hold on, do we want to switch anyone in our party, or are we happy with our party? Maybe... Ah, oh, you know, I'm thinking that maybe we could replace our Staraptor with someone for a bit, but our Staraptor is a great person to have on our team. Same with our Luxray. I think Dartrix might be replaced sometime in the near future. Maybe Curlia and Ponyta, depending on how good they are. But man, we've got a pretty solid team. Our team's all right. We don't have like a super powerful team, but we've got a pretty cool looking team. And we've got some pretty nice Pokemon. Okay, so let's just make our way over to this guy. And I don't think there are any Pokemon here that are particularly interesting because we already have quite a few Pokemon here. So we can just quickly make our way over like this, heading through these trees. Okay, and we want to get past that guy. What is that down there? What are those? What are those? Looks like a bomb. Bro, I'll just catch you then if you want to run up to me. Oh, it's those honeycomb Pokemon. Wait, do I have one of those already? I don't know if I have one of these already. Oh, nice. Four out of six a bombs caught. And let's catch that one too, hopefully. Okay, that's new Combi. Okay, so I haven't caught Combi yet. Oh, and Combi evolves into Vespiquen. So let's just make our way up here then. Oh, 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 you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to get another one of these. Hopefully we could get it. I love how the area is called Apom Hill. Okay, five out of six caught. Let's just catch this one right over here. And if we get that one, then that's perfect. If not, then that's too bad. Nice, okay. So Apoms, they seem kind of similar to Bidoof's in that you could catch them pretty easily. All right, let's have a chat with this guy. D did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon that its name sounds like it rhymes with Dust Bobs? Yes. We do have one right over here. Here it is. We caught it with a great ball. Oh, and Dusclops evolves into a Dusk Noir. You really brought it? No, no, don't bring it out. Don't bring it out. Right. I guess I've got to do my part, seeing how determined you are to go see that island with Baskulgion. Uh, usually I ask Polina if the Growlet she takes care of could help me with this bit. But this time, you need to help. Since, well, well, since we're making this snack so that you'll be accepted by Baskulgion. Once I give this signal, you have to have that dust bobs of yours use its dark pulse. Okay. Oh man, is he not scared to see this Pokemon out here? Three, two. Whoa, no, it's too frightening. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Come on, try again. The other option is, could you get a grip? Right, right, so counting down just makes the anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. And go! Okay, let's go. Dark Pulse. Bam! We use Dark Pulse on the food over there. Man, this guy... A delicious aroma wafts through the air. Bascul... Bascul Legion's favorite snack is now ready. You obtained a ball of Bascul Legion food. A favorite food of Bascul Legion, a Pokemon that will bear you on its back. Not bear, as in the other bear that you have. Food is made in an unusual way. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basque Legion food. And let's make for Gink Go Landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where is that? Where is that? Oh, it's that way. Okay, I would have thought that it'd be uh, the opposite way, actually. Okay, so let's go down here, then. And you go here. This reminds me so much of when you ride the horse in Zelda games. Man, Majora's Mask is such a great Zelda game. It has to be one of my favorite Zelda games of all time. Oh, 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 do you all see what that is there? Do you all see what that is there? You all see what this is here, don't you? I need it. I need it. I love Walreen. Walreen, Walreen. And. Ah, oh, it says unobtainable right now. What if we swap to a different Pokeball? Is it still unobtainable? Yeah, it still looks to be unobtainable. Okay, it noticed me. Let's see, we've got a battle it, we've got a battle it. Who do I send out first? Ah, oh, I want to send out a Pokemon, I want to send out a Pokemon. I didn't mean to dive, okay. Let's see. 
It's filled with wild might. It's level 50, so it won't listen. Blizzard! We are 100% dead. Same type attack bonus, plus like 120 power, plus super effective, equals goodbye Staraptor. Okay, so I just tried taking this guy on, and he defeated my entire team and I couldn't capture him. So let's see if maybe we have a better shot now. Okay, he starts off with an Ice Beam. Great start. That's one hit KOing this Pokemon, of course. So come back, Dartex. And Luxray has got to be our best shot over here. So I think last time I used a uh, Agile Thunderfang and a normal Thunderfang, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Agile Thunderfang does a bit of damage. Paralyzed! Yes! Yes! That should mean that we have a better chance at catching. Okay. Should I go up? Wait, strong style makes it go up to 100% accuracy? That's amazing. Okay, and it goes up to 80 power from 65 power. So you know what? Wait, how much is this one? This is 50. This one is 80. So it's not twice as strong. So I don't think that that'll defeat it. So you know what? I'll do this. I'll do this. This should be good because it'll be paralyzed. Hopefully that means that we have a better shot at catching it. Let's see. His HP is kind of low. Paralyzed. It may be unable to move. Ah, it uses Blizzard. Okay, we're dead, right? Let's see. Okay, but we still do have a few Pokemon, so that means that we still do have a few attempts. Now then, I think Ponyta's Ember won't finish it up. I think even if we use Flame Wheel, we won't finish it off. So you know what? Uh, 60 versus 40. You know what? Let's do a... You know, let's just do a flame wheel. Let's do it. Oh, I should have done an agile flame wheel, maybe. Well, let's see. Okay, no, it's HP is in the red. That's perfect. Okay, so now Ponyta is dead. But it is in the red and it is paralyzed. So we have a good shot at catching this guy. Okay, but we don't have very many Pokeballs. Should I try using the Ultra Ball? Maybe I'll save the Ultra Ball for last. So, oh no, not a Pokeball. I'll try it because I only have one Ultra Ball. I found that one Ultra Ball. So let's try using like two Great Balls or maybe three Great Balls if we can. And then we'll save the Ultra Ball for a very final resort. Let's see. Okay, it escaped from the Great Ball. That's all right. It's enraged. Offensive stats were raised. Defensive stats were raised. What are you going to... Oh, wait. Why didn't it attack? That's so weird. That's so weird that it didn't attack. Okay, let's throw a Great Ball again. If we can catch it, that would be amazing. I'd love to have this guy on my team. Let's see. Ah, man. I was hoping that we'd catch it there. Okay, it used Blizzard. Okay, so after it's obviously done because it's super effective, plus same type attack bonus, plus 120 power. Okay, Celio might be able to survive for a little while. But let's, you know what? I'll just use my Ultra Ball now because I don't want him to like start attacking us multiple times or something. So I'll just use the Ultra Ball. Hopefully we can catch him. Come on. Yes! 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 Oh man, Alpha Walrein has been caught. All right, how great is that? Okay, let's go back to the base camp. The base camp is like right up here. I think, you know what? Let's just uh, teleport back. It's right over there. Oh man, it is so nice to have that guy. You know, I do want to switch up my team. Let's go. Let's go. Let me switch up my team. Uh, I wanted to see my Pokemon. This guy, I am taking with me. Even though he might not reliably listen to all of my moves, he is nice and powerful. He's gonna keep getting experience. Wait, 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 who else were we thinking of having join us? We had another alpha Pokemon. This guy here, I kind of want to replace Dartrix with this guy. But you know what? No, I've got to keep my team with me for now. Gonna move this guy over here at the end of Pasture 6. Okay, now something that I'm curious of, because I don't think that I've done this before. What if I use my... What if I use my Alpha Pokemon to, like, attack a tree for me? What if I do something like this? What will it look like? Will it listen to me? Let's see. Man, look how great that is! Oh, his eyes aren't red anymore! He doesn't have red eyes anymore. He looks much less evil now. Let's see. We still need this guy to level up. This guy's about to level up. Curlia still didn't level up. Ponyta evolves at level 40, I'm pretty sure. All uh, right. Uh, how fantastic is this? Wait, 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 wait. You know what? Should I catch another Sphiel or should I defeat a Sphiel? Where's our electric guy? Let's use our electric guy to defeat a Sphiel. All right. I feel like this is one of the first times in the game where I don't feel like we are 
under leveled. I feel like we're actually pretty over leveled right now. We're pretty strong. Like, look at that. These wild Pokemon are level 20 something. Man, having the alpha Pokemon is great. The thing with the alpha Pokemon though is, look at this. Right now it says Pokemon level 40 and below will obey you. So pretty soon my Pokemon are going to be so strong that they won't obey me anymore. All right, let's... Let's get started. Are we gonna have a boss fight now? I'm wondering if this will now be a boss fight. Let's see. Oh, hello, ZX Manny. Uh, I was just waiting for you. What do you have to say? He looks so friendly. So friendly. Hello, Iskan. Ah! He got caught. I wasn't going to do anything with him, I swear. Oh, bully, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure ZX Manny can keep a secret. Besides, both I and the Growlithe pups were both eager to meet with the great Basca Legion again. So I guess they are Growliths. What funny looking Growliths they are. Why do they have, like, Santa Claus beards and hair? I see, well, uh, in that case, let me summon Basca Legion. I wonder if Basca Legion is a real Pokemon, like, or a Pokemon before this game. He plays the flute. How many of these guys have flutes? Let's see, is he going to come now that the flute is played? We're looking, we're like, where is he? Whoa! Okay, okay, let's see it, let's see it. Our character looks pretty shocked. Let's see, is he gonna be angry or can we just hop on his back and go? Whoa! Whoa, no wonder my character looks so shocked. Sha! Go on, ZX Mini. You can give the food to Basque Legion now. I wonder if it's just gonna be as simple as giving him the food now, because he went through all the effort of catching of catching a you know what? He threw the ball of Basca Legion food. Ooh! Tra! The great Basca Legion! Oh, thank goodness! I was worried about whether Basca Legion would accept this flavor. So uh you should let Basca Legion hear you're playing. Alright, time to play my flute. Let's go. Hopefully I am also accepted by this Pokemon. Let's go. I wonder if when they originally created Pokemon Diamond, if they originally thought that this song would be used for something like this. Basca Legion opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. This looks like something out of Wind Waker again. I wanted to say that the whole- wait, is this our phone or- Oh! Oh, we got the splash plate! Nice, we got another plate! Okay! We are getting the plates, more plates, more plates! I think that's five plates now? No, you can ride Basca Legion across- Tranquility Co. and head to Fire Spit Island. Wow! My congratulations to you, ZX Mini. Wow! Paul, Paulina, uh, do you want to tell him? Yes, we are married. I mentioned to you before how the previous Lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, Iskan and Basque Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iskan here. I truly adore him, and I owe him my life. But I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back, so I try to meet with Iskan in private, where there are no prying eyes, to preserve his reputation. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. <laughs> Perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day, I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is, and not force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskan. Growlithe are like, what? Ah, perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, you know? <laughs> wow, it's interesting how there are so many bad. Oh, charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four leaf clover? Well, soon I'll have you seeing double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can pick. Wait, we've heard these lines exactly before. Yeah, the same line from Coin. Am I facing them now, or are they just practicing? Now get ready to hand over the ground. Oh, oh, they appeared out of nowhere. You want to take my partner? If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. Ah, uh, sick burn. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. Oh, you've got a Gengar. Whoa! How did you get behind us? Oh, man. Wow! Wait, did it actually take the Pokemon? No, you stole the Growlithe! It's like Officer Jenny when she has her Growlithe taken. Wow! Thanks for the Growlithe, fools! We three can't live the kind lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond and Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the great land of Hisui, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. 
don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for you. Let's take the mutt to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Alright, so I guess we gotta go save this Growlithe now. Or wait, or do we battle them? I just wanna battle them now. Wait, does the Oh, and the Gengar makes them disappear! They've got such an evil Gengar! Man, everyone's so disappointed. What? No, Growlithe! No, not my Growlithe! What is that thing that she has in front of her? What should we do, ZX Manor? This is an emergency, right? Uh, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, ZX Manny, I beg of you, help us. That Growlithe is very, very dear to me. Please save him. Said they're going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around the Cobalt coastlines that seems suitable is Fire Pit Island. Oh, now that you have Basque Legion to help you cross the water, you can reach the island too. The girl's like, uh, yeah, obviously. Like, yeah, that's like the whole point. Of course I'll help. Oh, thank you, thank you. You are so kind. We will make our way to Fire Spit Island as well. Wait, you guys are coming too? No, Paulina, we're not going to no island. I know where we should go instead. Right now, we're going somewhere else. But I don't know if I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits. No, come on, come on. No, we should go. We should go after all. You should You should also know the best collegian can jump from the water surface. Then jump one. Wait, you can throw items. Okay, okay, okay. So it makes sense. We can throw Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. I'll admit I'm a little scared. Do you think you can head over first? Yeah, I'll go. Of course I'll go. Don't worry. Send over a 15-year-old kid. To take care of all your problems. Oh my goodness, wait. Do I have a steering wheel when I'm on this guy? It looks like I actually have a steering wheel on him. This is so weird. Okay, let's get on him. Let's get on him. Where is he? So let me... Wait, do I just go into the water? How does it work? Let me call him. Where is he? Where is he? How do I ride him? Oh! Oh, we are on him! All I have to do is just ride someone and then right away you're on him. Okay, let's go. And wait, we can jump with this button, I guess, right? Whoa! Look at this jump. Okay, hold on. There's some Pokemon here, right? Let's, uh... Throw some Pokeballs here. Bam! Throw a Pokeball at that guy. How about you too? Come on! Stop moving, bro! Stop moving, bro! Stop moving, you coward! Bam! Now I'm gonna get ya. Let's see. Okay, good. We finally caught one. Okay, number caught. One out of one. Let's go. Give me that one! Give me that one too! Oh no, I couldn't get it. Let's see. Two out of two caught. Give me another one! I like how you walk right up to them. Number of times you caught without being spotted, one out of one. I have no idea how we went by without being caught. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Full speed ahead! And I guess now we can go to the other islands. I wonder if this Pokemon automatically shows up whenever I go into any water now. That'd be pretty cool. Wait, what are these? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you want to fight, huh? Huh? You want to fight? Okay, fine. I'll fight you with my grass-type Pokemon. Oh, wait, but that's water poison, isn't it? So this might not be a good idea. Well, at least we could float here. Poison jab, that's super effective. We are dead. Okay, so it looks like it wasn't a good choice after all. All right, come back, dear tricks. Dark tricks, not dear tricks. Hey, you know what? Why not send out a Luxray over here? Oh, a little platform appears for him to stand on. I was kind of wondering what would happen. Okay, let's see this one. Let's do a uh, Agile style. Hopefully we don't defeat it and then we can catch it. But if we defeat it, that's okay too. Wow, and the platform even moves over there. Oh, that did less damage than I thought it would. So you know what? Let's do another Agile style and then we should be able to catch it because its HP will be low. Let's see. Give me a Thunder Fang. Man, I started with the Grass type Pokemon, but so many things are super effective against me. Like, so many, so many things are super effective against me. A lot of things are super effective against me. Very many things are super effective against me. It's like flying and grass. That's a lot of weaknesses. You've got bug is super effective, poison super effective, ice is double super effective. A lot of things are strong against you. Let's see. I'm not going to worry about those guys. Let's head up here. Do I want to go onto this island? No, there's just like... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought that was a Pokemon. Wait, what is this? Is that a... Is that possibly an alpha Pokemon? Where are you going? Where are you going? That manatee over there. There it is. There it is. Let's go. Wait. Oh, I guess it might be an alpha because it can't be caught right now. So you know what? Let's send out a Pokemon to fight it. Where'd you go, bro? Wait, what in the world? <gasps> yes, a Remoraid. A Remoraid. Uh, oh no, it wants to fight now too. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. Okay, let's fight. Let's fight. I'm ready to fight, bro. Oh, it's only level 22. So even if we do Agile style, we might still defeat it, which would be sad. That would be so sad. I wonder if you can catch any tentacles. I remember there being a lot of tentacles in the water in some earlier Pokemon games. Tentacles are like the Zubats of the sea. 
Oh, oh, there's another Remoraid. I didn't realize there's another one right there. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is it partially a Psychic type? I don't think it's partially a Psychic type, is it? Let's just use Crunch then. Let's see. Ah, uh, but it's such a low level that we still defeat it. That's so sad. So sad. Okay, now where's this guy at? Okay, I want to face this guy here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it is an Alpha. It is an Alpha. Alpha Manatee. Wait, 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 wait. But it's Water Flying. Ah, oh, no. Hydro Pump gets me. I would have loved to use an Electric type move on it because we probably would have gotten a one-hit KO. So you know what? Let's do this. Let's swap. Oh, I kind of. I probably shouldn't have swapped a Curly up. I probably should have swapped to someone who needed more experience. Okay, let's do this. Let's use a revive on Luxray. And let's do this. Now it's gonna... Oh, I'm surprised that it used Roost. Okay. Well then, you know what? Why not get another heal in then? I don't think that we'll need it, but let's... Well, maybe we won't need it. Let's get in another heal over here. Luxray had its HP restored. Why do you keep using Roost? Why are you using Roost over here? You're not a Roost... Oh, there. Now it used Hydro Pump. And the attack missed! Bro, how are you so bad? I'm actually surprised. Uh, should I run away? Or should I let this Pokemon faint so I get a free switch? Um, I'll use Hypnosis. Let's see if we can use it. Let's see. Can we get it to sleep? Okay, it is drowsy. It's drowsy. That's good. Okay, stop using Roost, bro. Your HP is already full. Okay, so it's drowsy, so it does have a status effect. Now, do I want to swap? That is the question. You know what? Uh, I kind of want to switch to Wall Rain. You know, let's switch to Wall Rain because I don't know what it's like when you have out an Alpha Pokemon that's too high of a level that won't listen to you. So let's see. It might not listen to me all the time. Okay, it's too drowsy to move. What moves do we have? Should we use Blizzard, Ice Beam? I think, yeah, this ends up being normally effective if we use an Ice type move. So let's try that. Let's try that. Hopefully it listens. Okay, yeah, use the Ice Beam. Strong style, normally effective, same type attack bonus, okay. It used rest. It's HP restored. Man, this guy has a lot of moves. Wait, oh, and it got to attack twice. Okay, 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 okay. So when you're, it's pretty cool how if you're sleepy in this game, it's not like you can't attack while you're asleep. There's only a chance of you not attacking. Okay, let's just use normal ice beams then. Wall rain won't obey. Okay, so I guess that's what happens if Pokemon's too high of a level for a bit. Man, the battle of the two alpha Pokemon. Just like, we're using Ice Beam, and that one keeps healing itself. This is probably the funniest. Like, the most uh, non-threatening alpha battle that we've had so far. Walrein pretended to not notice when I told it to use Ice Beam. Okay, that guy uses Double Edge. That does quite a bit of damage. It gets some HP hit back in recoil. Let's use an Ice Beam here. Pretended not to notice, nice. Are you gonna use another Double Edge? Okay, his HP goes down a bit. Now then, do I heal? That is the question. You know what? Oh, okay. I guess I don't get a chance to heal. Okay, but it is sleepy, so that is okay. So let's see. I think... Let's send out a Ponyta next, because then it'll probably try to use a Water-type move, and that'll defeat us in one turn. So I'm hoping that it won't be tempted to use, like, Rest or something. Let's just try to catch it now. Let's use a few Great Balls over here. Great Ball, can we catch it? With a Great Ball? Can we catch the Alpha Manatee? No way, right? Nah! It's no good. The Pokemon escaped. What do you do now? Nah! Why are you using Rest, bro? Why are you using Rest, bro? Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. You know, I guess I'll just let it defeat my Ponyta. I'll just throw some balls at it while it's at full HP. I probably got, like, no chance at catching it while it's at full HP like this. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, just defeat my Pokemon, please. Agile style. Hydro Pump. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for defeating that one. I'm actually glad that you defeated that one. And it's a critical hit. Nice. Now then, if I send out my Luxray, can I please get out and attack on you? I don't know if Thunderfang would be a one-hit KO with strong style. You know what? I'll try Agile style. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Let's see. How powerful is that? Because it's... Okay, good, good, good. Pretty good amount of damage. Okay, and Hydro Pump probably kills me, right? Let's see. Yeah, it kills me. Okay, but that's pretty good. Because it's same type attack bonus plus double super effective. Okay, we are almost all defeated, though. We're almost out of Pokemon. So, let's use a Great Ball over here. Its HP is kind of low, not super low. 
But let's see. Any luck? Any luck? Oh, man! We got it! We got it! All right! Oh, that is so great. Oh, man. Okay. An alpha Pokemon was captured. Now then, anything up on this island? Almost all my Pokemon are dead. You know what? Let's get a Pokemon. Who do we have? Wait, what in the world? Oh my goodness, you are a Pokemon. I was wondering what in the world that was. I'm like, what kind of plant is this? Okay, and we can probably uh, break this. That's a Pokemon from Gen 4. Okay, and it's running away now. Okay, but we're... Th can we get it from behind? No, it's running away. Okay, there, we got it from behind, so we have a better shot at catching it. Now then, this is iron, right? Yeah, an iron chunk. Okay. Now then, since almost all of our Pokemon are dead, maybe we actually want to return. Maybe we want to return to the island. Ah, oh, but there's another one of these. I'm kind of tempted to catch these guys. Okay, don't look at me, bro. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm not going to try and catch you. Don't run away. Ha! I am catching you. Ha ha ha. You fool. I have captured you, right? Yes, two out of three caught. Okay, so I want one more, then we'll return to base, okay? Don't look at... I'm not going to throw this at you. I'm just holding this for fun. I'm just holding this for fun. I'm not going to throw... Don't look at me. I'm not going to throw it at you, bro. Why would I throw a Pokeball at you? I already have two of you. I already have two of those Pokemon. There's no need for me to throw a third one. Wow, look at the moon there. Crescent moon. Hi, I'm catching you, you fool! Ah, I told you to look at the moon and you turned around. It was a distraction. Ha <laughs> you fell for it. Okay, three out of three caught. All right, now then, there's those guys over there, those balloon Pokemon. Okay, so let's go back to over here first and heal up, and then we can continue on. I'm not taking Mantine with me, but I will keep Walreen with me. Okay, let's get some more of these. Nice. Okay, and you know what? We have a bunch of uh, experience candy. We have experience candy medium and large. So you know what? Why not use one on Ponyta so that we can get it to level up a, a bit more? Okay, level 36 already, so it's getting close to leveling up. And you know what? Let's use one on our Curlia, because Curlia is a bit low right now. So let's see. Oh man, that was like, how many? Three levels? Was that two or three? Well, it, it was almost one more level also, so that's pretty cool. All right, and maybe we would be able to get our next star already. Oh, cool. Look at all the Murkrows here. Guess because it's nighttime. What is that? Okay, just a glam meow. Anything over there? I thought I saw something there. Okay, just the uh, drift, drift balloons. These guys are like, what are you doing? Why are you getting distracted by the alpha Pokemon? I know, guys. I know, guys. Don't worry. Okay, got a balloon guy just floating there. Oh, yeah, and we don't have a Remoraid yet. Okay, who's here? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, okay, just one of those. Where are the Remoraids at? I need a Remoraid. Is there a Remoraid there? Oh, it wants to fight, bro. You want to fight? Okay, fine. You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's fight then. Let's fight then. I'll fight you. Am I fighting both of you at once? Am I fighting both of you at once? Am I fighting just one? Oh, it looks like we're fighting just one. Okay. Let's use Quick Attack and a weak form of Quick Attack because we are quite a few levels higher. Or 15 levels higher. Okay, an Agile style Quick Attack actually almost defeated it. So, you know what? Let's just use a normal Pokeball. Normal Pokeball should be okay. I don't want to catch a lot of Remoraids because these seem like they'd be difficult to sneak up on. It's probably hard to sneak up on a Pokemon that is in the water. Okay, but we did catch the Remoraid, so that is nice. All right, one Remoraid caught. Oh, oh, speaking of someone being ready to evolve, there we go. Curly has ready to evolve. We are now going to have a Gardevoir who is an amazing Pokemon. Gardevoir is absolutely fantastic. Hopefully we could learn Calm Mind, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and then like Thunderbolt or Ice Beam would be pretty cool. Cause then we have all special attacks. Okay, and got the idea for new moves. Okay, so you know what? Let's see, what kind of moves do you want to know? Calm Mind, okay. Calm Mind and Dazzling Gleam. Nice case, I'm getting rid of Teleport. I don't care about Teleport. And Dazzling Gleam. You know what? I might actually keep Hypnosis because it's kind of useful to put a Pokemon to sleep if you want to capture it. Ah, uh, but Draining Kiss is cool because it heals it heals you a bit. But Dazzling Gleam is 75 power, so that is one and a half times as strong. So I'm gonna go with this for now. I'm gonna go with this move set. This should be a pretty good move set for now. Okay, so let's see. Where are we heading to next? Or where are we heading to now? Where is it? Oh, we have to go around like this. Okay, okay. I see, I see. So let's go around this way. Just face forward over here. And let's see. Are there any nice Pokemon to catch in the water? Maybe if there's a Tentacool or something. I wonder if there's going to be an Alpha Tentacool. 
I wouldn't be surprised if there's an alpha tentacruel somewhere. And now we could probably go explore some other islands too. This probably makes it easier to travel from place to place. Oh, oh, I wonder if, uh, remember how at the beginning of the game, we were on that shore over there. It was like the shore of a beach. I wonder if maybe we can go in the water over there. I wonder if there'd be something useful in the water over there. Okay, that looks like a chunk of iron, a tree. Don't really care for that. Now, wait, this is where we're going, right? We're going to the volcano? Yeah, we're going to this volcano island over here. Let's just head... Oh, oh, speaking of these guys, there's a tentacruel. There's a tentacruel. You know what? Let's take it on with one of these. Let's go. Because if we use our electric type Pokemon, we might just defeat it. Oh, it's actually uh, a higher level than I thought it would be. Let's see. Uh, I'll do an aerial ace. I don't want it to attack twice in a row. Okay, almost have to... Hex? Yes, it doesn't affect me. That's amazing. Thank goodness. Okay, and you know what? I'll also use a weak quick attack to do just a little bit of damage. I don't want to defeat it, though. Let's see. Please be alive. Good, good, good. Okay, I probably could have even done a normal quick attack, not even a weak quick attack. And now... Can we capture... It's funny that this is a Tentacruel, but we haven't caught the first evolution form of it. Tentacruel is the second of all form. Tentacool is the first one. I wonder if in any of the newer Pokemon games if there's a... If there's another evolved form to Tentacruel. Okay, wait, there's another Tentacruel. Tentacruel. Is there a Tentacool anywhere? Oh, there's one. Let's go like this. Fight me, bro. Let's go. I'm gonna capture you. I already captured the second evolved form, so maybe I can capture you too. Let's do a... Uh, uh, just a normal aerial ace then. Will we defeat it? Let's see. Okay, we defeated it. Okay, so I've got to be careful. So I should probably use Agile Aerial Ace against those. Let's see, let's see. Where's another one? Nope, that's Cruel. Is this one cool? There's a Cruel. I need a Cool, not a Cruel. What's over there? There's one. Perfect. Maybe we could even sneak up on it. No, we can't sneak up on it. There's no way we could sneak up on it. How do you sneak up on a water Pokemon? I wonder if there's a Pokedex entry for sneaking up. Okay, and this one is two levels higher than before. So, we probably won't defeat it. I wonder if we even could have used the regular one instead of Agile. Whoa! Okay, so it's actually very good that we used Agile. Okay, Poison Jab. Oh, that did more damage than I thought it would. And we are Poison. So, if we could catch it right now, that would be amazing. And if we catch it, then we also find out if Poison lasts after a battle or if Poison goes away. Let's see. Just catch it. Good! Good, 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 good. We caught Tentacle. Very nice. And, let's see. And it looks like we're not poisoned anymore. Cool, so I guess that's the way that it works. So let's heal up over here. Heal up with a... Uh, yeah, two should be enough. That should be good. Okay, let's get going. Let's get going. Not worried about this guy. Not worried about this guy. This reminds me so much of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. This is just reminding me more and more of Wind Waker. Look at this. Look at this. Does this not look like a Legend of Zelda Wind Waker mod right now? Oh my goodness. It's like that's Dragon Roost Island right there. Okay, now how do we get in here? That is the question. Oh, we have to actually go around this right now. Okay, this is something called Lunky's Lair or something like that. I wonder if we could actually go inside there. Maybe there's an entrance over there. Maybe there's somewhere over there that we could go inside. Okay, but for now we'll continue. Man, every time I see that right there, this red thing here, I'm like, it is a Vulpix! It is a Vulpix! That is the color of Vulpix. We need to catch the Vulpix. But it's not a Vulpix. Seagrass Haven. Let's see, it's nighttime. What's that up there? Oh, it's just those little guys. Okay. We've already got quite a few of these guys, but you know what? These guys don't really fight back, and they don't really care if we catch them, so you know what? I'll just go like that. Damn, don't know if that counts from the side. I'm not gonna catch you guys. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna try to... I'm not gonna try to catch you guys. Don't worry! Bro! Just turn around. Turn around, bro. What about you? Stop running! Stop running! Stop running! Okay, how about that one? Okay, now how about this one? Let's see, did that other one get away? It got away! Okay, let's see, how about you? Okay, that one's caught. And that one's caught. Okay, good, good, good. Oh! Move mastered. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go here. Now then, where are we going? This is the way! This is the way! And there's a boat over here. I wonder if this is the boat of those scissors. Okay, I'm guessing this is like Minecraft. In that you do not want to go into the lava. And going into the lava is probably a bad idea. Okay, so, let's see. Oh, I guess we're starting a cutscene now that we are over here. Oh, where did you come from? Whoa, Firespeed Island. Certainly hot enough to feel like a sweat bath, isn't it? 
Now we've got a ghost and bandits to deal with on top of the heat. I'm very sorry, but do you think you could lead the way ZX Man? Of course, that's what I've been doing the whole game. That poor Growlithe, I don't dare imagine what those bandits are doing to him now. They're probably training him. They said they want to make him into a, into a legend. Okay, I don't want to go. I'm so tempted to go into the lava. I've got to do this. I got to see what happens. I got to see. I got to see. We got to do it for science. Wait, wait. First. First. Let's send out a grass type Pokemon to go into the lava. What happens? Go. Why don't you go into the lava, bro? Oh, it won't. E the game won't even let you go into the lava. Let's see. No, we can't go into the lava. We're trying to dive into the lava. This game is smart. It doesn't let you go into the lava. I wonder if there's maybe a speedrun skip if you go up that way. But we'll take this way. Wait a minute. What in the world is that? Looks like a Pokemon. Okay, it's sleeping. Let's see. What is this? What is it? I can't tell what it is. Is it like the baby Magmar? There's a Magmar in the distance. Oh, it is. It is. It's a Magby. We caught a baby Magby. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, and there might be some nice resources here. I guess we'll find out what this is. Okay, there's a Magmar up ahead. This reminds me of the volcano level in Pokemon Snap. The original Pokemon Snap. I played that so much as a kid. I remember uh, my mom watching me play that a lot when I was a kid. And we'd come up with like... We'd take turns like trying to get good pictures of Pokemon. Really fun game. Okay, let's try and get it with a uh, Great Ball. Maybe we don't have to do that. But we do have quite a few Great Balls. So why not try it? Let's see. Ah, oh, it's still escaped. Oh, and there's quite a few Magmars, though. You know what? Ah, uh, should I use this guy to fight it? You know, I'll fight you with Walrein. Even though Walrein might not listen to me, I'll still try it. Let's see. Let's see. If we can do Liquidation's 80, this one's 60. Let's do this one. Ah, uh, if we do Agile, we don't get to attack twice. But you know what? We're so much higher that I'll try it. Let's see. Please listen. Please listen. Okay, it does the move. And it defeats it. Okay, so one Magmar is defeated. That's nice. Walrein is great. Ah, uh, Walrein is such a great Pokemon. I remember using Walrein a bit in Gen 3. And Gen 3 is like my most played Pokemon game. I played that game so much. Okay, let's try and get this Magmar over here. I'd love to get a Magmar. Let's see. Are you going to turn around, bro? Are you going to turn around, bro? Let's go. Let's see. Please catch it. Please catch it. Now that we have uh, Magmars over here, that's making me think of Electabuzz. Because uh, Electabuzz in the Pokemon anime. I learned this from Chi from Charlie, from Moist Critical. He had a video where he mentioned this. Where every Pokemon in the Pokemon anime, it basically says its own name. But Electabuzz in the anime, it goes like... Blah, 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 blah. Like it just makes it sound like that. I swear it makes it sound like that. It is so funny. Oh, oh, are these guys angry that the... Oh, I think these guys are angry that their uh, baby's coming over here. Okay, well, I'm gonna run past you guys then. I'm not going to fight you guys. Don't worry. I come in peace. Well, actually, I'm uh, capturing you guys and uh, stealing your children. So maybe I can't say I come in peace. Okay, let's see. Wait, is this a base camp or something? What in the world is this? What in the world? Oh, oh, this is probably where uh, someone makes an offering to a legendary Pokemon. Oh, there they are. There they are. There's the Gengar and the Growlithe. That's where we've got to go. Okay, can we go into the lava here? Please tell me we can't. Okay, good. You can't. You can't. Would have been funny if you can't go into the other lava, but you can go into this lava. Okay, is this safe? Is it safe to go here? Like, look, that lava's flowing down from here. Is the lava not going to come up above here? Uh-oh. Looks like they must have overheard me. Or oh, are they making a battle against the Gengar? Come on! Evolve already! We've done our homework! Any Pokemon gutsy enough to come to this lava trap is supposed to evolve, so get on with it! Oh, you will become stronger, like it or not! Since we're at a lava place, it would be fitting for a Ponyta to evolve here. Pretty sure Ponyta evolves at level 40, so we're getting close. Wow! Oh, and here we come to the rescue! Oh, look! The pest again! Stand back, sisters! I'll take care of him! Go, Obama Snow! Smash this fool to pieces! Remember what I said about her being a reference to Candace, the gym leader? Wait, and I think that other lady with the blue hair, she kind of reminds me of, uh... She kind of reminds me of someone from Team Galaxy in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Wait, 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 do I have a Fire-type Pokemon? Okay, why am I sending out Walrein first? Okay, let me send out, uh... Let me go send out a Fire-type Pokemon. Let's see, let's swap to... Ponyta? No, 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 no. I want to swap to Ponyta. Don't one-hit KO Ponyta. Do not one-hit KO Ponyta as I switch or I will be so upset. I'll be so upset if you one-hit KO Ponyta right now. Okay, and we get to attack. Uh, let's do Flame Wheel. 
Flame Wheel. Strong style. We are two levels higher. It's double super effective. We've got to be able to do this. We've got to be able to take it out in one hit. Do it, please. Please do it. There we go. There we go. All right. Grass Ice is such an unfortunate type when you're up against fire. Oh, man. I don't get it. How'd I lose? Because fire is double super effective against you. And I get same type bonus. So I'm doing three times the normal damage. And I used strong moves. That's how. You know Obama Snow can't fight at full power and crazy heat like this? Yes! Obviously! And I'm using a fire type. We're basically going easy on you. You basically were. You basically gave me a free win. You're the one who sent out Obama Snow, sister. Wait, I'm saying Obama Snow instead of Obama Snow. Whoops. Go on then, Toxicro. Pour out some poison for our unwelcome guests. Oh, I've got another battle. Okay. I wonder if we'll battle all three of them or only two of them. Because last time we only battled one. This, it'd be funny if this time you battle two and then next time you battle all three if we meet them again. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So we've got our Ponyta out. Let's see how well our Ponyta can do over here. What level is it? It's level 34. You know what? I might still do this. Okay, I'll just attack with a normal flame wheel then over here. Let's see. How's that? Not bad. Half defeated and burn. It used Mud Bomb. Oh, that means... Yes! It missed. Okay, okay. That means that it's good for us. Because now... Let's just use a normal flame wheel and that'll finish it off. Very nice! Goodbye, Toxicroak. Another nice and easy fight. Not as easy as the previous fight. Wasn't a one-hit KO. He's like, yeah, what a blithering moon calf I am. How could I let myself lose? All right, got some more level ups over here. Quite nice. Man, and some of my Pokemon are almost level 40. That means that they might not listen to me soon unless I get more stars soon. Guess I lose the coin toss sometimes. Wait, oh, I did warn you, didn't I? That I had a score to settle with the Galaxy team. All the pain and suffering I experienced after coming here from the Kanto region to work. Oh, wait a minute, Kanto region. Wait, is she also from the space-time rift? Or is the Kanto region actually somewhere in this game? Because I know Kanto region is from Gen 1. Okay, so it looks like we're battling all three of them. Ride on! Okay, so we don't want to use our fire type here. We could use a water type or a grass type. But if we use our grass Pokemon, then we're probably getting one hit KO'd. So you know what? I think, I think I'm going to have to send out Wall Rain, even though Wall Rain might not listen to me. It will be very good. And what's her final? I wonder if her second Pokemon's Gengar. Her second Pokemon is probably Gengar. Okay, let's use. Let's see if I use that. Can I go any faster? No, I'll just use uh, Liquidation or Ice Beam. Let's see, both are super effective. And Agile Style. I'll just use Agile Style, even though it's weaker. Let's see, maybe it'll end up being better for when we face the next Pokemon. Oh, that actually didn't defeat it. So I should have just used the normal attack. Hey, it uses Bulldoze. Is that super effective because we're part Ice type? Oh, no, I guess it's normally effective. Okay, now let's just use an Agile style. It doesn't matter too much. Oh, Wild well, Raid is loafing around. Loafing around like a piece of bread. Okay, and it uses Agile style. Bulldoze again. Wait, does that decrease our speed? Let's see. Its defensive stats were returned to normal. Oh, it gets to go again. Bro. Bro, what is this? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, sure, level 50 is powerful, but sometimes it might not listen to you. Because we don't have enough stars. Oh, if we get one more star, then probably up to level 50 will obey us. Okay, now here comes the Gengar. I actually don't know if we'll be able to defeat the Gengar. Oh, he used Dark Pulse. Okay, we're still alive. So you know what? Should I go for Blizzard? Oh, but I can't use Powerful Blizzard. Oh, if I use Strong Style for Ice Beam, its power goes up to 100, then it's just as strong as Blizzard normally is. So you know what? Let's try I don't know if it'll be able to defeat it. Ah, oh, it's loafing around. Okay, so we are defeated. We didn't get to see how strong Ice Beam could be. That's so sad. Okay, and it uses Agile Style. Hex, yeah, Wall Ring's definitely gone, right? Oh, and I forgot that I can move around during the battle. Why don't I come over here? Why don't I come closer to your Pokemon? And you know what? Oh! You know, this could be a good opportunity. Oh, wait, but Gardevoir, uh, it only knows Confusion, not Psychic. And Poison will be super effective against me because I'm a fairy. But you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. We'll see how we can do. Gardevoir, our first time using Gardevoir in battle. Don't disappoint us. Let's see. I'll just use a uh, normal Confusion. Ah, uh, but if it has a strong Poison type move, we might be dead in a single hit. Let's see. Oh! Oh, Gardevoir! Nice confusion with a critical hit there. Oh my goodness. Taking out that Gengar in a single hit. She shakes her head. What a disgrace. All right, man, that was pretty sweet. Can't evolve! Can't evolve! 
Our grass type guy can't evolve. How could all of us have been? Hey, Charm, I healed up a Baba Snow and Coin's Toxic Rope good as new. We can keep battling until we've run out of potions. That's hilarious. Do you guys want to keep battling? I'd be happy to battle you guys again. Ow! What? Hey, no one invited you, Tiny. You're really going to insist on getting in the way, you little runt? Is this guy going to evolve into the legendary Pokemon now? Let's see if it does. Wow! It's like an anime. It's like he wants to protect their little sibling. Take him out, Toxicroak. I know it's super hot, but hang in there, Obama Snow. Smash that run. Obama Snow. I keep saying Obama Snow. Growlithe, please stop. You cannot beat such foes. P Paulina, what are you doing here? I thought you were waiting with little Growlithe. I was, but then he jumped into the ocean without warning and swam all the way here. Into the ocean? But he was terrified of the ocean after it swallowed up the former lord, his own father. I saw a movie like this. I don't want to say what the movie is because, uh... I don't want any spoilers, but I watched a movie like this recently. The movie is from 1998. Yeah. yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew it. The legendary father, he's gonna be here. All right, all right. Did I call it earlier on? The legendary father is going to come. The legendary father Pokemon. Or is this guy evolving into it? Oh, that was my second guess. This is my most recent guess, but it was my second guess. Let's see, what does he evolve into? Oh my goodness, he has a giant ball of light. Wow! That actually looks so cool. And you know what? Arcanine is actually a very powerful Pokemon in Gen 1. It's a great Pokemon in Gen 1. The Lake Lord's- his bravery lay not in crossing the sea, but in finding the true strength to find the hardship head on. You gotta be joking me! Why'd the puny one evolve? Uh, sisters, something's not right. What is not right? Oh! Oh! Wait a minute, is that normally over here? The space-time rift? What's going on? Oh, lightning strikes the lava. What happens if lightning strikes lava in Minecraft? Can that happen? Uh-oh! Uh-oh, does this mean I'm going to have to face off against it? Because now it's got that yellow energy. Uh-oh. Does this mean I have a boss fight against it? Let's see, maybe Arceus is doing this to test me. Let's see, what's going to happen? What? Pol Polina, s stay back! Arroo! I think we might have to face this guy now. What happened to him? That strange lightning hit him. He's become frenzied just like the other nobles. Oh, this is exactly why I didn't want to come to this island. He knew. He knew. All right, so here's our next noble. I knew we'd have a noble battle. Ah, everything was going just as we'd wanted before that offling mutt ruined everything. Is this a reference to Scooby-Doo? It's like, and we would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for that offling mutt and those meddling kids. Enough of this, sisters. We leave this place. We won't be making any living without our lives. That's so funny. They all not. Does Gengar teleport them? Oh, they just run. We don't stop them. Hey, wait! This is all your fault! We should get out of here too, Polina. Otherwise, we're fair game for Arcanine. Come on, ZX Benny, we should hurry. No, I'm taking it on. I'm ready to battle it. Wait, why did we run? I thought that we had to uh, save it. Lena! Oh, here's this girl. Oh yeah, I thought this girl was supposed to help me. What's going on? What are you gonna do about Growl- I mean, Arcanine! That dear little Pokemon is my responsibility. As his warden, it is my duty to protect him with everything I have. So ZX Mini, will you save it for me, please? ZX Mini, will you? ZX Mini, what must we do to qual- See, what did I do? Please tell us what we need, guys. Guys, guys, guys. It's my duty to do it. But what can you do to help, please? We'll need to make some bombs. Bombs? What are you talking about? I'm the leader of our clan. Is it so surprising that I know a little more of these things than you do? I held my tongue the first time, but now I must insist. Stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware you're our leader. How could I forget that you are the chosen- Wow, so all this time she's letting her call her the wrong name. And this girl on the right looks so angry. You can use your celestial flute to summon Pokemon and have them carry you to even the farthest reaches of vast Hisoi. I've learned a little bit about these frenzies as well. There is a special method for dealing with them. We make these pouches, making their food, their favorite food, and we throw it at them from a safe... I wouldn't call it a safe distance. You guys all stand from a safe distance. I have to go right up to them and throw the food at them. Uh, well, in that case, I do always carry some of Growlithe's favorite food with me so I can thank him for when he uses his flames to help prepare Basculagon's favorite meme. 
Basque legions. Why, Iskin, once again your thoughtfulness saves the day. Now we can make those bombs right away. I love the rhyme. Yes, let's get to work. All right, I guess I'm the one who has to go throw the things at the growl lift, right? Well, I guess the Arcanine. They're ready! Here are the bombs we need. Please let me know when you feel prepared to try to quell the frenzy. Okay, I'm ready. Wait, do you heal my Pokemon up or are my Pokemon, like, partially dead? Oh! Walrein is dead. Everyone else is okay, though. Oh, 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 and that's right! Dartrix is ready to evolve, so let's evolve Dartrix. Let's see what the final form of this guy looks like. Rowlet is what we started with. Now let's see what it evolves into. And guys, doesn't this look like a Super Paper Mario character? It looks like a Super Paper Mario character right now. Let's see what it evolves into. Let's see. Whoa! Uh, it looks like Zardy's Maze right now. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Uh, Decidui! I got the idea for a new move. Is it still a grass flying or is it a different type? Let's see. Grass fighting! Whoa! That is an interesting twist. That is really quite the interesting twist. Okay, let's see what new moves it might want to learn. Gust, Leafage, Rock Smash. Eh, pretty weak move. Triple Arrows. The user delivers an axe kick, then fires three arrows. This raises the chance of future attacks landing critical hits and lowers the target's defensive stats. That sounds kind of good, but wait, fires three arrows. Does that mean that we attack three times or do we just attack once? <gasps> Leaf Blade! Leaf Blade. Or a sphere never misses. Oh my goodness. Guys, we have so many useful moves now. Okay, let's get rid of Roost. Let's learn Leaf Blade. And you know, now the question is triple arrow. Or Aura Sphere. I don't know if Triple Arrow attacks three times or just once. If it is three hits, no, there's no way it's three hits of 50. That would be like 150 power. So I think I'll go with Aura Sphere. Let's get rid of... Oh, but Air Slash. I have Aerial Ace, which never misses. And Air Slash is a bit stronger than that. So should I have two moves that never miss? Because Aura Sphere never misses also. You know, let's go with it, because we can always change our moves later on if we want to. It's a pretty good move set. I'm a bit scared to be facing off against a fire-type Pokemon right now. Uh, so you know what? We probably should use a revive right now. Uh, I kind of wish that we had a water-type Pokemon that would listen to us, because right now, Walrein is too high of a level for it to listen to us. It might sometimes not listen to us, in fact. All right, I'm ready to get started, everybody. Let's go. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. I am ready. Let's go. I healed up my Pokemon. I'm ready to take on the Arcanine. Please do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He may finally become a lord, but it is clear this frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Be on your guard. The late Lord Arcanine would launch devastating attacks even after standing still and gathering light around himself. Remember that while you are dodging, moves will slip right by you. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, so we have to be careful with the dodges. All right, let's see. Will we use our Pokemon in this boss fight? Oh, man. It's actually so cool that in the boss... Oh! Oh, he walks on the lava. That's quite frightening. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. Here we go. And I've got to be careful to not go into the lava. I wonder how the lava's going to play into this boss fight here. Okay, now let's see. Do we want to just dodge attacks or do we want to actually send out Pokemon? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. When Arcanine starts to build up energy, that means he's preparing to unleash a devastating pillar of flame that's impossible to evade. Hit him with as many bombs as you can. Oh! Oh, you can try to stop him during that phase. Will you attempt this battle again? Yes. Okay, so that actually makes this fight a lot easier now that I know that you can do that. Okay, so let's do this. Let's see. Well, I could have probably gotten one more hit on him before dodging. Let's jump out of the way. Okay, we're going to try and do this fight without using any Pokemon. I think it should be possible to do this fight without using any Pokemon. I don't think it should be too bad. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Is he gonna start charging up now? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, so during this phase, you want to hit him with as many of these as you can? Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. So that's what you do. That's how you get rid of that. Oh, and now's the chance that you can send in a Pokemon. Oh, I didn't... I wasn't able to dodge that. Okay, okay, okay. But still, he's half defeated. Half defeated. That's all right. Now, then, where are you gonna start charging up again? Nope, not charging up. Just this. Okay, just barely avoided that. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so over there, there's a dangerous spot over there. Ah! So scary, so scary, so scary. Okay, he's running that way. Wait, wait, I can't go through the fire here. Are you gonna charge up? Don't- Oh, man! 
Okay, almost defeated. Three quarters of the HP is gone. Oh man, oh man, it's like he pushed me into the fire here. Get out of the fire here. And where is he going next? Go that way, nice. Now then, where are you going next? Oh boy, tell me I'm safe here. Please tell me I'm safe here. Okay, good, I'm safe here. Now then, there is that. I can't reach him from here. That attack is impossible to avoid. I can't go through the fire. I'm on the wrong side of the fire. I'm gonna die, I think. Cause I don't think I could get him from here. Oh, now I can start throwing at him, great. But he's way too far. Okay, I'm still alive, though. I'm still alive, though. Luckily, that didn't defeat me. Oh! Let's see, let's see. Let's go! Now then, let's defeat him, let's defeat him, let's defeat him. He's almost gone, he's almost gone, he's almost gone. Let's see. Just a few more hits. Don't do your invincible attack again. Don't, bro, don't, bro. Let's see, come here. Let's jump out of the way. And is he defeated? Is he defeated? Is he defeated? I think that's it. Yeah, we got him, we got him. Let's go without using any Pokemon. That's how you do it. All right. That's a super cool boss fight. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, it's turning back to normal. Goodbye, yellow light. That is a really cool looking Arcanine. Wow, we got a lot of experience. Our Pokemon get all of these level ups, even though they weren't even in the battle. Man, we're all so shocked. Oh, look! The strange light has left Arcanine and is vanishing into the space-time rift! Yeah, Nurse Joy and our friend here. Do I get a fire plate from you? We probably get the fire plate. Let's see. Hello, friend. I saved you. Yeah, the flame plate. Okay, that's what it's called. Yes, yes, we got another plate as expected. What plates have we not gotten yet? We didn't get the ice plate. I wonder if maybe we'll go up into the into the snow area to get an ice plate. Grr. We also didn't get a dark plate. Uh, a ghost plate. Oh wait, is this the father? Wait, was that two different Arcanine cries just now? Yeah. Oh, there's the Arcanine up there. Is that the father that everyone thought died? I knew he'd still be alive. Oh, but he's gone now. I swear he was up there. She's so surprised. Oh, now I understand. My little Growlithe. Ah, no, I spoke. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. You and I must now live apart so that we may attend to our separate duties. Row. Row, row, row your boat. Now, now, all will be well. You're strong. Far stronger than me, in fact. Roar. From now on, let us each strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. Yeah, she's gonna look after this Pokemon. Now go, Lord Arcanine! Your realm away! Grr! What a lovely boss fight. This might have been one of my favorite boss fights so far. That's really cool. Man, but it's tough to dodge that attack that is impossible to dodge. But, uh, yeah, sometimes when you end up on the wrong side of the fire, that's very unfortunate. Uh, was I the only one who felt like, uh, they heard the cry of the previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd. I certainly didn't. I knew it. I knew it. P please I do hope you're joking. Oh, please, I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as it is. What am I gonna do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? No need to worry, Iskin. I only kid. I also heard the voice calling out to us. Seems... Yeah, what a great joke to pull out of. This guy thinks he's crazy hearing ghosts, and you're just like, No, I, what? I didn't hear nothing. ZX Benny, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one. The new Lord... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Weren't you supposed to... Weren't you supposed to look after Raider as well? Okay, I'll look after it. Weren't you the one who just said that you're responsible for restoring Arcanine back to normal? Yeah, you guys better be off now. He's like, yep, looks like we saved the day again. It's like, bros, I wasn't much use just watching from the side, was I? Hey, weren't you the one that, no, you didn't even bring over Gra Yeah, I guess you didn't do anything, really. You know, when Lena wouldn't raise Growlithe to be the new lord and people in our clan were doubting her fitness as a warden, I urged her to put Growlithe through the proper training, but she snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. Is it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through that training? Those words left me with much to consider. This is a very empathetic person over here. And even when Arcanine became lord of the isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. Yeah, everyone just sit back and watch. Yeah, what about the bombs? I guess you did help. Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bombs. Something you could have done without me. That is true, just leave everything to me. Do I deserve to be recognized for such a slight contribution? Not really, so don't try and take any of the credit. 
I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young, with no grand vision for what it should be. Well, that's the problem. If you want to become a leader, you need a vision. You gotta have a you gotta have a goal that you're working towards. You need clear values. What do you want to do? What do you want to do with the Pearl Clan over here, huh? Huh, Rita? We'll help you out. We'll help you out. Let's get some motivational videos on YouTube. Some motivational speakers. Some self-help gurus. Let's get you some advice, Rita. Let's see if you're gonna know what to do now. Grant me another battle someday. What? You wanna lose again? You wanna lose again? We're like, alright, fine. We'll battle you. We'll humor you. Looks like I've got Lena- Wait, weren't you told to not call her Lena anymore? And hear more about her relationships with Warden Iskin while I'm at it. Here's where we part for now. I need to get off this oven of an island. Yeah, it is pretty warm here. Alright, now it is time to go back to Commander Kamado. Tell him that we finished the mission. Wait, is there anything nice around here? It doesn't look like there's anything nice around here, so you know what? Let's travel back to... Wait, can we just travel back all the way like this? Can we just go like this? Can we just travel straight to here? Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, I don't think it'll let us just travel straight like that. Look at us just crouching beside the volcano here. Okay, so let's travel back to beachside camp, and then we'll try to leave, and then we'll probably get some more points. Okay, let's heal up our Pokemon. Okay, so what Pokemon do we have with us? Uh, we've got some pretty cool Pokemon over here. Wait, wait, did Gard- Oh! Oh, Ponyta is about to evolve. It needs one more level to evolve, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Gardevoir, what kind of moves do you have? Let's check your moves. Ooh, you want to learn Psychic now? Thank you, okay, let's get rid of Confusion and learn Psychic. There we go. That's a pretty good move set over here. And you know what? I think I'll actually let it know Hypnosis for now. Because it's not like we are battling a bunch of trainers and our moves are super important. Uh, hypnosis will be good for us because it's like sometimes putting a Pokemon to sleep, especially an alpha Pokemon, can really help a lot. Okay, so let's report back to the professor. How do we do? Oh my goodness, we caught like several pages of Pokemon over here since our last visit. Okay, we're a third star member right now. Twenty-six, six hundred and eight dollars. Twenty-six thousand six hundred and eight dollars. That is a lot. Looks like the potato mochi is on us tonight. Let's see, let's see. How many points do we get for this? Okay, 1,700 points for that, 200 for that, 1,900. Wait, only 1,900 points for all of that? I'm surprised that we didn't get more than that. Okay. Well, I guess we're ready for rank number four now. We quelled Lord Arcanine. Yeah, let's go back to uh, Jubilite Village now. I thought that maybe we would get, like, two star rank ups from that because we did a lot over there. We caught so many Pokemon. But man, oh my goodness, these graphics look absolutely unreal. It is unbelievable. Every time I come back to this village, I'm like, wow. Look how good this place looks. Okay, so let's head in here, and let's head up to the commander. You did well on your mission in the Cobalt Crosslands. Your efforts there aided not only the Galaxy Team, but the Pearl Clan as well. Maybe you should do something for the Diamond Clan now. Maybe you'll impact the space-time rift somehow. If we were able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. Wait, so I guess I can't remember where I came from. Though how we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. We're like, yeah, okay, we're a little nervous. Remain true to the mission. What's the mission? Capture all Pokemon? Okay, so the mission is complete. What's our next mission? Oh, do we go uh, eat potato mochi now with our friends? Is it mochi or moki? I don't even know what that is. Here we are. Here's our potato making friend. We've got room for one more. I wonder if anyone's ever going to come join us. If you notice that today's potato mochi tastes a bit different, well, that's because I used a Pokemon's flames to roast them. Bon appetit! Thank you. Let's see. The birth of a new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. Only I had journey to Fire Spit Island to witness the event myself. I have a hard time imagining you making that trip on Basque Legion's back, Professor. Come now, you know my coordination is so poor, I couldn't even hit my own foot with the Pokeball. And believe me, I've tried. Ha ha ha. Of course, I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basque Legion. That being said, let's eat these potatoes. Oh well, uh, we'd all do well to remember these wise words. The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end. And strive I shall! For the sake of my research, I will surely ride on a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. I wonder if we actually will see him. Just you watch! I wonder if he actually will do that. That'd be pretty cool to see the professor riding on a- riding on a Pokemon in the water. The next day. It's now morning. The space-time rift is still up there. And where are we going to go now? Do we go to the commander? Oh! Oh, who is this? Who's this? There's always some new person at- wait a minute. You look like a police officer. Good morning! 
Good morning, good sir. Who came from the sky, sir? Commander Commander told you to let me know he awaits your arrival in his office, sir. All right, let's go to the office. Here we all are, hooray! And the diamond guy is here. Yeah, it's time to help the diamond guy. We just helped the pearl lady, now it's time to help the diamond guy. GX Money, I have your next orders. You must go to Coronet Highlands to quell another frenzied noble, Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. Okay. Electrode has a propensity to store up electricity in its body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became- wait, Electrode? Like Voltorb Electrode? Those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. Huh, we'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing your safe passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word to Arida asking- no, no, you don't have permission to go up the- Wait, who is this? Oh, save it! As if I'll be stumped by the likes of you! Now out of my way! Who is it? Is it the guy from earlier? Oh, I don't know who this is. Who is this? Someone with some long hair over here? Yo, bros, what's up? Yo, boss man, Kamado! Thought it might have slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I took the liberty of, like, stopping by anyway, man. Melly, where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, like, there's your issue, man. Like, how do you want to discuss Electrode without me? Like, the Mighty Warden, like, I'm here to give advice. There's no more to discuss. We already asked ZX Many to quell the Lord. We got it settled, man. Ah, oh, come on, man. Is it me you're trying to humiliate or like the entire clan, man? Besides, you really think this little noodle can quell Electrode? He looks so disgusted at me. Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this interruption here. Pay it no mind. It seems even Security Corps personnel I train myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden Melly. Oh, this is the Warden for Electrode, I guess. That being said, yeah? It is clear that the Security Corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. Hear that, Melly? The Security Corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight, thanks to you. The Commander's sumo moves can send even Boulders flying. Huh. Well, well, that's enough now. See, x you have your orders. Go take care of that electrode. Warden Melly, of course, we'd appreciate your help if there's anything you can assist with. All right, let's go talk to the commander downstairs. Now go! Okay, is it commander or captain downstairs? Let's go talk to the lady downstairs. The lady that she looks like she'd be a bird-type gym leader. Listen, Melly, the galaxy team, well, at least ZX Many, is amazing and will prove it. Follow me outside. Where are you gonna battle? Are you gonna- are you guys gonna want to battle now? Let's- Whoa, yeah, it says battle Amit Adamin to demonstrate what you're capable of. Okay, at least all my Pokemon are good. You know what, should I start off with, uh, my grass-type Pokemon here? I don't know if that's what I should start off with, but first, let's speak to this lady. And let's see, I think I'm ready to get my star rank number four, please. Please give me star rank number four. New rank? Star rank number four! Let's go! Okay, how is that? How is that? With this, you have officially attained the rank of 4th star. Thank you, thank you. You can now use Latin Balls. Pokemon up to level 50 will now obey you in battles. Okay, that is amazing. Okay, and more- Oh, and right, now- now- Oh, right, now I can make Latin Balls. One Apricorn, one Black Tumblestone, one Iron Chunk. Oh, and we can make Hyper Potions. Awesome. Oh, I like that, uh, you make Hyper Potions using Super Potions. Like, Super Potions are one of the ingredients for a Hyper Potion. That is, uh, quite interesting the way that that works out. Okay, you know what? Let's have this guy at our front, Decidueye. It's like deciduous, but also I. Oh, oh wait, he it looks like he's starting off with the grass guy, so you know what? Let's start off with a Ponyta over here. Let's go, bro. You wanna fight, bro? You wanna fight, bro? Alright, ZX Many, go around with me. Let's go, I'm ready. I'll take you on. <laughs> Melly, make sure you watch closely now, alright? He's like... Bro, like, I'll, like, watch your Pokemon battle, bro. You've got, like, grass types. Like, you've got, like, a grass Eevee. It's, like, totally gnarly, man. Okay, we're sending out a Ponyta. Our po Wait! Why is there also an Eevee? Oh, and you can press ZL to choose which Pokemon you target. I never knew that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see. It's level 36. I'm level 39. I'll just use a flame wheel then, just a normal flame wheel, not an agile flame wheel, how's that? Okay, don't defeat it in a single turn. Wait, can I send out another Pokemon, because he has two Pokemon out? Eevee is looking around. Leafeon used Calm Mind. Okay, so it's special defense, and special attack goes up. Well, that's what Calm Mind normally does. I don't know if, if in this, if, uh, if it boosts attack and special attack. I wonder if that's the way that it works. Okay, let's see. If I go to send out a Pokemon like this... You want to switch? No, I don't want to switch. Okay, so I guess for some reason we can only have out one Pokemon at a time. 
Okay, I'll just use a normal flame wheel, not an agile one. Let's do that. And that should defeat his Leafeon, I hope. Yeah, Leafeon is defeated. Goodbye, Leafeon. Now, what's Eevee gonna do? Quick attack. Yeah, nice quick attack, but not very strong. Baby doll eyes. Why do you get to Oh, I used quick attacks, so I guess. Offensive stats were lowered. That's not good. Now then... Should I just go for a... You know, I'll go for a strong style flame wheel. It's only level 18. Maybe we could take it out like this. Let's see. How powerful will that be? Is that good enough? No! How are you still alive? Bro. Bro, how are you doing this? How is your Eevee attacking me so many times in a row? What's going on here, man? Okay, let's use an agile style flame wheel. And we'll be able to take it out now. That's definitely finishing it off. It's got only a little sliver of HP. There. Did you lose the match on purpose to convince your friend that we are strong? Why wouldn't I battle your friend instead of you? Like, you could just throw the match on purpose. You see how good he is now? I definitely didn't lose the match on purpose, man. Huh. Yeah, like, that's like, fine, man. Now, I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was gonna meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Later, ZX Many. Glad to have your help as always. Uh, Melly, shift yourself. Unless you want to get even more of an earful than you already do for. Ah, oh, come on. Cut me some, like, slack here, man. ZX Many, wait, Silene. Oh, it's you. Hello. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. But I was just with you. Why wouldn't you tell me? Why did I have to go in battle first? You could have just told me. Your survey work will take you to the Coronet Highlands next. You'll be on you'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands. That's fine. But you'll need help from a particular person to survey. Okay, so we've got to take care of the electrode. Okay, and go to the training grounds and we'll find the person there. Okay, so we are getting to the point where we're kind of getting into the rhythm of the game. We could kind of expect... Kind of. Maybe there are still going to be some big surprises. We don't know what's going to happen with that big rift in the sky. Wait a minute. Do they have a Magikarp up there? There's a Magikarp up there. A green Magikarp statue up there. Alright, so... Wait, where are we going now? I guess we... Wait, 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 wait. Wait! They said go to the training grounds. Oh! Okay, so I guess we have to go over there. That's what they mean by the training grounds. I thought that they meant we have to go to the Coronet Highlands already. But we're going over here first, actually. All right, let's make our way over here then. Oh, oh, and there's the diamond lady. Oh, and there's the police officer from earlier that snuck up on me. Hello, guys. Let's chat. Hello, ZX Many. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Sneasler. He will guide you to her domain. He looks like he's seen some scary stuff. He reminds me a bit of L from Death Note. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for abrupt how do you do before. I am Warden Ingo. I understand you need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electro Sir. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Cornet. All aboard. Ingo's a bit like you, you know. I don't think he's like me. How so? <laughs> he appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. <gasps> oh my goodness, maybe traveling will you will help fill in some of the gaps of his memory. That is so cool. Oh, this guy's like me. In any case, I'm glad to have your help to count on you once again. Good luck in the Highlands. That is quite the curveball that was thrown to us over here. That's something that we definitely didn't know about. Okay, can I travel to the gate now? Want to go to the front gate? Yes. Bring me to the front gate. Okay, and that is faster than just uh, walking there. Okay. Oh, whoa. Wait, are those the Highlands? Wait, Cobalt Crossroads? No, 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 we're going up here in the mountains. Okay, Coronet Highlands. Okay, so I wonder if there's also going to be an area over here. There's probably going to be a snow area. I wonder if there's a snow area in an area here. Probably, uh, probably some stuff down here, too. I wonder how many areas are there going to be? All right, here we go. Here's the next area. We've got some ruins over here. Oh my goodness, this is giving me flashbacks to RuneScape, the game of my childhood. I remember there were some ruins like that in one part with Dark Wizards, and it's so easy to die there. Oh my goodness. That is the game that I probably spent the most hours of my life on. I've spent, an I've spent an incredibly ridiculous amount of hours on that game. Not only hours, but like literal days and months and probably even years into that game. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Coordinate Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock type and ground type Pokemon wandering about these craggy, boulder strewn heights. So maybe now our grass Pokemon will actually be good. And our Whalereen will also be good, but our Whalereen is, uh... Man, he's gonna become too strong soon. Like, we can control up to level 50, and our Whalereen is level 50. And up there, right beneath the Great Rift in space-time, is the peak of Mount Cornet itself! The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. 
Fascinating stuff. All right. Make your way up the mountain with Ingo. Okay, so you've got to head over there. What kind of Pokemon are we going to run into? That's interesting. And our Ponyta is probably about to evolve, too. Our Ponyta is one level away from evolving. Oh, cool. We've got some of these guys. So you know what? Let's see if we can catch one of these, maybe. Because we do have these, like, in our Pokedex. But we haven't caught a wild one before. Let's see. Oh, don't catch me. Turn around. It looks like it has a goatee. Let's see. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop it. Stop it, bro. Just want to catch you. How's that? Let's see. If we can catch it, that's great. If not, no big deal. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. Oh, we have caught one of those before. Okay, so now we get a two out of two caught message for it. That's nice. All right. Let's see. A parasect. That's not too important. Oh, nice. A bridge down there. Wait, 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 wait. A Yanma. I remember being a kid and being in a Toys R Us. And there's a Nintendo 64 on display, like right past the checkouts my parents were paying for something and oh hold on hold on let's do these battles you know what let's do it with uh let's do it with our ponyta why not and and right past the cashiers there's a nintendo 64 on display that like people could play like while your parents were at the cash register or whatever oh they're level 38 and pokemon stadium 2 was in there and it was so cool i remember there was a battle like with yanma and I'm like, I've never seen this Pokemon before because I didn't know, like, any Gen 2 Pokemon. Oh, great. And my Walrein is already level, uh... My Walrein is already level 51, so I already can't control. Okay, let's just battle this guy over here. We can take him out with an easy Flamethrower. Or not Flamethrower. Maybe we actually can learn Flamethrower now. Let's just learn Flame Wheel over here, though. That should be quite easy. Let's see. Maybe we can get something nice from this tree, too. We get something nice from this tree. And let's crouch down. Where are my Pokeballs at? Okay, I'm ready to catch one of these guys over here. Hopefully they're not super attentive. Let's see, where are you going? Where are you going? What are you, shadow boxing something? Come on, why can't I aim at it? There we go. Okay, turn your back on me. Turn your back on an opponent. That is step one of catching a Pokemon. Turn your back on an opponent. And do we catch it? Yeah, we got a Yanma. All right. Wait, what in the world is that? Is that like the alpha form of evolved Yanma? I've never seen anything in my life like that. What in the world is this? Looks like an evil Yanma. Is it an Alpha Yanma? Yan Mega. I can't tell if it's an Alpha Pokemon or not. You know what? Let's try a... Let's try a Flame Wheel on it. Let's see if we defeat it or not. Oh wait, and we're level 40, so we can probably uh, evolve now. Uh-oh, it's burned, so it might get defeated. It used Air Slash. It missed. Okay. Burn, please don't defeat it. Nice. Burn doesn't defeat it. Let's throw a Pokeball. Its HP is low and it has a status effect. So we probably have a good chat. We probably have a good shot. I was going to say chance and shot. I said chat. No, it escaped. Okay, I hope the fire doesn't defeat it. Silver Wind. Okay, that's weak. Please don't get defeated by your burn. Please don't. Okay, still alive. Its HP is low though. I don't want it to get defeated by the burn. I want to catch it. Come on, come on. This is our second attempt with the Pokeball. Please catch it. Please catch it, please. Come on, your HP is so low. Bro, your HP is so low! Your HP is so low! Why are you using Ancient... Okay, great. Ancient Power defeated me. Now it's going to faint from the burn, right? Right, yeah, we defeated Yan Mega. Wow, I'm so glad that we defeated it. Great. Well, I guess there there is also a Pokedex entry for defeating Yan Megas. Okay, so let's use our... Oh, and I could probably go buy a bunch of revives too, because we've got all this money now, so that might actually be useful. So let's do this. Let's first heal up our Ponyta, and now we can just... Oh, and I can just go over here to evolve our Ponyta. We finally have a Rapidash. This is fantastic. And I should probably put some other Pokemon in my team, like if there's a Pokemon that we need to evolve or something like that. But we've got a pretty solid team. I'm pretty happy with our team over here. Honestly, Gardevoir is a fantastic Pokemon, but... I don't know if I'd keep my Gardevoir. Gardevoir does have pretty great stats, though, when it gets better. Oh, man. this It's so tough to come up with a, with a great Pokemon team. Oh, Double Edge. You know what? I'll get rid of... I'll get rid of Double Hit. Let's get rid of Double Hit and learn Double Edge. I don't want to learn Fire Blast, because I don't like the 85% accuracy. Hypnosis might actually be useful for if we want to do... If we want to do... You know what? If we want to... Catch wild Pokemon, we can use hypnosis on them, and that might be helpful. Okay, so we want to go there, but how do we get down there without falling off this cliff? Can I jump into there? Can I jump into this water? Will my Pokemon... Will my Pokemon 
come to the rescue if we go down here, please? Yes! Okay! Okay, we are safe. That's so nice. We can just drop down here. Oh, 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 oh. Here's one of these. Here's one of these. One of these. Don't notice me. Look away. Look away. Come on, I already battled one of- Bro! Okay. I'm gonna take you on with my rabbit ash now. Let's go. Let's- Whoa! Rabbit ash looks so majestic. Okay, so flame wheel or rapid flame wheel? Let's just do a normal flame wheel. This one's level 35. What level was the other one? Okay, this one's also burned. Hopefully, we can finally catch this one. Oh, if I knew hypnosis, then I- Oh wait, but it's already burned, so that doesn't matter too much. Okay, so, will I finally be able to catch you? Can I finally capture you? Yan Mega, can I finally get a Yan Mega? Pokeball number three. This is the second Yan Mega that we're trying to catch. Nope, still escaping. Man, I'm surprised at how difficult this one is to catch. Maybe I should start using some Great Balls? How many Great Balls do I have? Kinda wanna save Great Balls for like very difficult Pokemon, but you know what? I'll try this one more time. Let's go, cause it's probably gonna die after the burn after this turn. So let's see if we can get it with a Pokeball. So HP is in the red. It's burned. Can we catch it? No, we still can't catch it. That's very surprising. Okay, does it still survive? Or is it dead? Let's see. Please survive. Please survive. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, it's burn was healed. Great, great. Oh, man. You know what? Let's swap to Gardevoir. Oh, wait. Please don't use a bug type move on me because bug is super effective against me, I'm pretty sure. Bug is super effective on psychic. I don't know how bug works against, uh, wait, how powerful is that? Pretty powerful. Can I get a hypnosis in? Please land. Strong style, accuracy goes up to 90 if we do that. So let's do that, 90% accuracy. Please land. Okay, good. So it is a, it's not a sleep. I was gonna say a sleep. It is drowsy. We use air slash, do we survive or no? Okay, we survive. Ah, it gets to attack twice because we use strong style. So never mind, we don't survive. Okay, 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 okay. Who do we send out next? Let's send Rabidash back out. And... Can we please capture it? Please, come on, it's drowsy, it's HP is so low. We haven't caught it so many times. Imagine if there was an alpha Yan Mega. That must be so difficult to catch. Okay, yeah, like, this Pokemon was more difficult to catch than some, uh... Than some of the, you know what, that we caught. Than some of the alpha Pokemon that we caught. Let's see, can we catch this guy? Turn around. Turn around right now. Ah, I'm not fighting you, bro, I'm not fighting you, bro. I'm not fighting you, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's that over there? Another one? Ah, no, I'm not gonna catch it. That's fine. This is all right. Okay, break that blue thing for me. Oh, and here's this guy. Whoa, look at how this guy looks. It's like a scarecrow chicken. This game looks amazing. How great does this look? Man, this is pretty fantastic. All right, sir, let's go. I'm ready, sir. The electrode known as Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall, but its electrical discharges, at least, are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're gonna face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. I do have a Graveler in the bank. Must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode, then becoming frenzied to boot. So true! It's a tough old life for Pokemon- Wait, who is this? Oh, it's this guy! Well, like, Warden Ingo of the Pro Clan, like, what are you- Oh, and like, the Galaxy guy? Yo, you guys are like, punching well above your weight to like, look for the Great Electro, the Lord of the Hollow. Like, what are you doing? Like, you know, I'll grant you guys a trial to see if you're worthy. You know what? Uh, if you battle me, then, uh, alright, I'll let you go. Okay, let's battle. Oh no, I accidentally picked absolutely not! I wanted to battle then. Oh no. Oh no, 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 I wanted to say battle, I wanted- I wanted to say battle. Please, I wanted to battle you. I wanted to battle you. No, let me battle. Let me- Bro, I wanted to battle you. Why is the default option to say no? Bro, I wanted to battle you. No! Do I get to battle him? I want to battle him. Press on. Let's go. I wanted to battle him. Okay, so we- Wait, Wayward Cave? Is that what they said? Here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and such. Okay. Wait, do you need a Golbat to watch your step because it's dark? What in the world? You know what? Let's buy some stuff too. We should buy some stuff. We need some more Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Is this a shiny Quillfish? Quillfish isn't normally this color, is it? Did I catch a shiny Quillfish without knowing it? No. Wait a minute. Why does Quillfish look like this? That's so weird. I don't know why. Wait a minute. And it's dark poison instead of poison water. What in the world? Never seen a quillfish like this before, that's so weird. You know what, maybe I'll take this guy with me because he is an alpha Pokemon. 
Uh, do I leave Rabidash? Who do I leave? Who do I leave? Let's leave Walrein. You know, I could leave behind a Gardevoir right now, and we can train our Rhyhorn. I think that's another idea, because we are going to have to face off against some, um, what are they called? Electric types, probably? So Rhyhorn might be good, because he is a, you know what, he is a... Wait, what's that down there? Oh, it's just one of those. Okay, because he is a grass... He is a... Or not grass, he is a ground rock type, is what I meant to say. So let's see, let's just... Jump into the water! Oh man, we made it into the water. I was worried that we would land on, uh, I was worried that we would land on the, you know what, I was worried that we would land on the land and then take some fall damage. Wait, can we jump out of here like this? Wow, that's so weird how you transform back and forth between the Pokemon when it's like you can barely, uh, <laughs> when you can't make it over the edge like that. Alright, let's head in here. Will we finally get to battle that guy? What's going on? Who is this? This isn't me, is it? No, I don't look like that. Oh, it's this guy. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route, and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. Yeah, there's not going to be any foul weather, because we're in a cave. Take care to not come uncoupled from me. Wait a minute. I can't walk very fast, and I can't use my uh, items. If I recall... If I recall faintly that I had a partner once, a precious one. Okay, so this guy's gonna tell us about his past now. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. Did he maybe have a Charmander? If only it would- if only it were here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Now what way do we go? Left or right, do you remember? Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an Alpha Crobat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track challenge in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Take care to not come uncoupled from me. I want to take it on. Can I battle it? Please don't fall behind. We must hurry. We mustn't separate. Ah, oh, so I actually can't go take it on. I actually have to follow this guy. Wait, I wonder if you could break rocks like that using Rock Smash. Okay, so this guy has his memories coming back. The words, I like winning more than anything else, flash through my mind right now. Was he friends with Ash Ketchum? We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Wayward Cave! Uh, well, even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in the heart. Wayward Cave, I think that's a place from, uh, Diamond and Pearl also, from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. This is fine progress! We're nearly home free! Wait! Could those be? There are all the torches! Why are they all put down here? Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. Yeah, they might accidentally run into a crowbat. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. He sounds like a train conductor. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We want to make it through here. Okay, so there's gold bats and stuff here. What's this? Iron? Do we drown in this water? Oh, we can just walk in it. Oh, you press A to just summon Basque Legion. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's see, can we make it up there? Oh no, we've probably gotta go this way. This looks like something that you do in a in a Zelda game. It's like if you if you make your way up there, then let's see, can we? Let's see. Oh, you can make it up there! Okay, that's pretty cool. Now uh, what's here? Oh, that's where the crowbat is, okay. Do I wanna take on the crowbat? Hmm. Maybe we could go for the Crobat another time. Crobat is pretty cool because it is a very fast Pokemon. So it's good in that way. And it could also learn some pretty good moves. But a Poison Flying type. I don't know if we really need a Poison Flying type on our team right now. Alright, so we made it out of the cave. It's a beautiful looking area over here. Oh, and we're getting close to this space-time rift. He has white eyes. Professor Laventon told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part... I simply found myself here one day in Hisoi, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But still, I wonder what my true purpose is here. Many people are wondering that too, you're not alone in that. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Okay, let's see. Scaling perilous heights, make your way up the mountain with Ingo. Where is he? Wait, what is that? Is that a gold duck? That looks like a. Yeah, it looks like there are some gold ducks over here. Let's go catch some gold ducks, maybe. Let's see, we've got some gold ducks over here. Gold duck! No, uh, it, it works more for Psyduck. Psyduck is like, Psyduck! Psyduck! Gold duck is like an angry version of gold duck. Oh, there's a log right there, too. 
Okay, let's see. Can we catch this guy? Kind of want to use heavy balls, too. Let's see. If we could get close enough. Let's see. Maybe now we can hit it. Oh, man. We just reached. Okay. Hopefully, we can catch it. Because heavy ball should have a pretty good chance of catching an unsuspecting Pokemon. Yeah, we got it. Nice. We got the gold duck. Now then, where to next? There's a gold duck over there. Should we defeat a gold duck? Yeah, because we might get something for defeating a gold duck. So you know what? Let's take on the gold duck. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fight. Let's see how good my grass type Pokemon is against this gold duck. Let's see. It used Aqua Tail. Bro, I'm part water type. That still did a lot of damage though. Okay, let's see. 60 accuracy, 85. Okay, 60 power or 85 power? You know, it's level 36. I'm level 38. Oh, but I can't use Strong for this. If I use Magical Leaf like this, I can attack twice in a row. So I'll do that. Okay, let's do Agile style. Magical Leaf. And how's that? Not bad. Now, let me just do one more Magical Leaf. Let me do a Strong style Magical Leaf now. That'll definitely finish it off. The face that this guy makes is pretty funny. Those are some pretty nice wings. Almost looks like it could belong in a Zelda game too. Let's see, medic, medicinal leak. That's what we got. Psyduck. Let's fight Psyduck. Ah, Psyduck looks so angry. I don't know if I've defeated many Psyducks. I know I've caught a few, but I don't know if I've defeated any. Okay, let's try a strong style magical leap. Let's see how strong that can be. Let's see, the attack never misses. And nice, takes out the Psyduck. Goodbye, Psyduck. Number defeated, four out of six. Okay. So, let's see, where are we heading? Oh, we are going backwards right now, actually. Okay, so we want to be heading this way. Uh, Parasect, do I have my fire guy with me? I do have my fire guy with me, so you know what? Let's take on a Parasect. Because we could just defeat it with a simple fire move. Just a simple fire move should be able to pretty easily take it out. Oh, oh, and there are two of them, so you know what? Ah, uh, they'd still both attack, even if I do. Even if I do Agile style. So, yeah, let's just do a flame wheel. Flame wheel should finish it off. Kind of sad that both of them came over here, so we have to fight both of them at once. Sometimes that can happen. It's like when two Pokemon are too close. When two Pokemon are too close, and it's like when you get into a battle, then it's like both of them at once want to battle. Okay, let's start heading this way. Let's see where we're we going. Okay, our Rhydon is already level 27. That's not bad. And what about this guy? We haven't used our Luxray in a while. Why don't we defeat this guy with our Luxray over here? That might be nice. Angry Golduck. And you know what? Let's use a Strong Thunder Fang. Strong Thunder Fang might be okay, because if you use Strong Thunder Fang, then accuracy goes up to 100%, and it's also a bit stronger. Yeah, strong enough to take him out, so that's good. Let's get that. Let's pick up this. You know what? You can get that for me while we are here. And I'm seeing a Paris up ahead. You know what? Why not take out that Paris on our way? Not catching a lot of Pokemon, but defeating more Pokemon this time. That's what we're doing over here. And you know what? Why not do Strong Style? I don't think we need Strong Style. So let's just do that. You know what? Let's get someone to get this tree for us. Defeated Parasect. That's good. Now get this tree for me, please. Thank you, bro. Let's get going. Let's see. Oh, you can't use uh, Pokeballs while you are riding this guy. That's kind of sad. A Heracross. Whoa, we haven't seen a Heracross before. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can catch it. I think it sees me. I think that's why it's chasing me. Let's see if we can reset. Like, oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I almost jumped off of a cliff. That is terrifying. Where do I even go from here? What in the world is that? Okay, let's see. Can I make that jump across that way? Oh no. Where do I even go from here? Where do I even go from here? Oh no. Are we dead? We're almost dead. Oh, that is so sad. That's so sad. Oh, man. Do I have to go through the cave again? I think I have to go through the cave again. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I was just making my way through this cave. Just making my way through this cave and look at who we run into over here. Look at who we run into over there. Oh my goodness, we need to capture that guy. Hold on. Okay, I think he lost sight of us. Yeah, he lost sight of us. If we could capture that guy, that would be amazing. That guy evolves into a Garchomp. That would be amazing. I would love to catch this guy so much. Where is he? Let's go like this. Let's see. Sneak up on him. Let's get him with the heavy bolts. That'd be amazing. 
Let's see. If we could catch him just like this, that would be amazing. I would love to have this guy with me. He evolves into our Garchomp, a Gibble. That is amazing. Oh my goodness, that is such luck. So glad that we, uh... I'm actually kind of glad that I made that mistake and I had to run through this cave again. Okay, let me go around the torches, bro. Because now, oh man, now we have a Gibble. That is amazing. You know what? I should probably replace... Oh, is it snowing here? Looks like it's snowing here now. Okay, so let's head that way now. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Let's go up this way now. Wow, there are quite a few Golbats over there. Okay, so let's just make our way this way. I like how you just switch between Pokemon as you go between different terrains. That's pretty cool. Okay, what is that? Okay, that's just that. There was a Heracross around here earlier. Let's see if we could find it again. Oh, is an Alpha one of those? Oh, the Heracross was just behind us here. I'm not seeing the Heracross this time, though. Okay, so if we need a Heracross, we can come back here sometime. Uh, I kind of wish I could switch my Pokemon right now. I'd love to get the you know what with us. Okay, let's go. Is this guy gonna wanna? Is this guy gonna wanna battle now? Please offer to battle. What's the big idea? Putting all the torches. I spent ages hiding those torches, man. Do you get like some kind of amusement, like stomping and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. You've got a good point. I want to battle you now. Please let me battle. Please let me battle. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in the cave who prefer the dark. Bro, battle me. I want to battle me. Please. I mean, please battle me. Please battle me. Battle me, bro. The only way you're getting past me if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed? I'll beat him. Okay, finally. Finally, we can battle. Okay, good, good, good. I did want to battle these guys. Go, Skuntank. Okay, so you know what? Having a ground Pokemon now would be a good idea because that's... Is it poison or poison dark? But either way, ground would be good against it. Let's see. What level is it? 40. Okay, pretty high level. So you know what? Uh... Strong style or normal? Let's just go for a normal attack. Let's see how that goes. Flame wheel. I wonder if I can teach it flame... Oh, that does very little damage. Let me come over here. Let me see it from your perspective. Oh, that's a pretty strong... And I'm poisoned. Okay, so do we die from poison now? We surprisingly don't die from poison. So you know what? Let's use flame wheel right now. A strong flame wheel. Wait, that won't defeat it, will it? There's no way that'll defeat it, right? Let's see. Ah, so close. Oh, but it is burned. Okay. Okay, and then we are hurt by poison. Okay, now when we send out our next Pokemon, it probably gets a free shot on us. So let's see, it's probably gonna use a poison move, so you know, why not send out our poison Pokemon? So that if it uses a poison move, it'll do very little damage. Let's see. Fight. Oh, and I get to go first. Okay, so it's probably done. Shadow Ball is not very effective. Crunch is not very effective. Oh, X Scissor is normally effective. So let's do this with uh, Agile style. And that should be all right. Let's go. Man, this Scorpion Pokemon is very, very powerful. I remember having some trouble facing off against it in some Pokemon Brilliant Diamond challenges that I was doing when the first person in the Elite Four has one of those. Listen here, man. Like, neither I nor Skuntank, we, like, won't admit defeat yet, okay? However, I withdraw to afford Skuntank time to recover. That's why I'm doing this. I see that wisp in the background there. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance, like, if you think about it. Keep your guard up. That's what Sun Tse said in The Art of War. Great book, by the way. You should read it. Now, what a lively character. <laughs> yeah, we nod. Indeed. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intention, but for now, let us press on. Let's go. Oh, and someone's, uh, someone wants to go for us over here. You know what? Oh, but I do have a lot of revives, so that's actually pretty nice that we've got all these revives over here. So let's go like this. And you know what? Let's also see if we can teach any new moves to Rabidash. Did Rabidash learn any new moves? Oh, no, it's just Fire Blast. Okay, so we can't learn, uh, can't learn Flamethrower yet. I wonder if we'll ever be able to learn Flamethrower. Being able to learn Flamethrower would be nice. Wait, uh, is that a Shuppet we see in the background? I think we saw a Shuppet. That is a Gen 3 Ghost-type Pokemon. This is the Ancient Quarry. This looks... Straight out of a Zelda game! It looks like a Zelda game! We are playing Pokemon Legends of Zelda, not Legends Arceus. Pokemon Legend of Zelda, that's what we are playing. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. So it's like the pyramids, we don't know where they came from. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. Ah, and of course, Link is coming here, guys. Link is coming here because this is a Legend of Zelda temple. Volo, was it? What's the matter, sir? 
Ah, I just, uh, you know, this place uh, reminds me of the Legend of the Zelda Temple, and I'm Link, so, you know, uh, hey, how about that space-time rift? Ah, pretty funny how I came into a different game. Should be in the Legend of Zelda, but... Yeah, uh, how are your memories, by the way? I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So, you... So you might do better to pose your question to ZX Many, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. Wait, it's funny that he's a merchant. It'd be funny if he's like, Hey, by the way, if you want your memories, I'll sell them back to you. Okay, how about you then, ZX Many? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of the rift? Was there anything inside? I remember there was an Arceus, and he gave me a cell phone. Maybe something. Yeah, maybe something, or I saw nothing. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever on the other side of that rift is causing this strange lightning that plagues us. Are these rifts kind of like black holes in space? That makes sense. Maybe Arceus- uh, Guys, maybe Arceus is actually frenzied right now, and the final Pokemon that we have to calm down is Arceus. That is my prediction. Write it down right now, that is my prediction. Let's see if that prediction is correct. I've been right about a few things in this game so far, so that would be an interesting one if the final boss is actually Arceus and you have to calm it down, and then if you could catch it, that would be cool. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this same space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Oh, that's funny. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? Probably it's a Zelda game on the other side of the rift. My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why has this space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would ZX Many have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. Yeah, there are a lot of questions here. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I'm a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to ZX Many. In fact, I would entrust all tasks to ZX Many. Until next time. Yes, just leave everything to me, everybody. This guy reminds you of this one character from Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. Once we're through here, it will be just a little farther. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Let's go. Okay, where are those Pokemon? Did that guy notice me? Oh, 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 it's not a Shuppet. It's one of those. Uh, Bronzor. It is a Bronzor. Let's see. Let's see, are you looking at me? Oh, I accidentally threw a Pokeball. Good thing it didn't notice the sound. Go! Oh, I can't throw that far. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's like we're playing a stealth game. That's what it feels like. Okay, let's sneak up on that guy. It is a psychic steel type, so fire would actually be pretty effective on it. No, it noticed me, okay. Yeah, let's send out our Rabidash and fight it. Are we fighting both or just one? Okay, good, we're fighting just one. Okay, level 32 Bronzer. Let's fight it then. Uh, you know what? Let's do a normal flame wheel and let's see if that defeats it or not. Let's see. So we know how hard we have to try. Okay, that does defeat it. So let's see. Where's the next one at? I wonder if we're going to run into an Alpha Bronze Zong. Oh, I probably could have caught that one. Let's see. Do I caught it? Do I catch it off guard? Oh, it's not even caught off guard. Okay, and this one's only level 30. Let's do an Agile Ember. So this is a pretty weak fire attack and we're making it even weaker. Okay, it survives, but it's burned, so I'll probably be able to catch Okay, It uses confusion. How much damage is that? Not bad. Almost took away half of the health that we had. We had 80 health. It took us down to 44. So let's just use a normal Pokeball to catch it. Hopefully that'll work. It shouldn't be a super tough Pokemon, right? It's the first evolution form, as far as I'm aware. As a status effect, its HP is pretty low, so we catch it. Good, good, good. That's very nice. Okay, let's heal up our Rabidash also. We can use a nice potion over here, and you know what? Let's use another potion while we are at it. And you know what? While we're healing, let's also- While we are healing, let's also heal up that guy. Now the, oh! What did I say about an Alpha Bronzog? How did I know, everybody? Let's see. Oh wait, that's a chunk of iron. Let's take that. Because I think we need that for the next type of Pokeballs that we can make. Wait, does it have red eyes because it's, uh... Not like Red Eyes Black Dragon. Does it have Red Eyes because it's an alpha? It's like a robot vacuum. It just bumps into a wall like that. Wait, no, but it looks like we can actually catch it like this. So you know what? Let's try with a heavy ball. Let's try and get close. And hopefully that's close enough. Ah, but that's not from behind, so we might not be able to catch it. Let's see. Let's see. No, it escaped. Wait, wait. Is it chasing us or no? Okay, it looks like it lost us. Let's see. It's on the guard, though. It's on, it's on its guard. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's sneak up on it again.
Maybe if I could get it with a heavy ball from behind. Because last time it just turned around, so we weren't able to get it like that. If we can get it like this, though, that would be great. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, bro. Let's get it from behind. Like this. Bam! Okay, now we probably have a good shot at catching it. If we catch it, that's amazing. If not... Okay, good, good! Bronzong was caught. That's amazing. Super happy that we caught that guy. Okay, lots of iron chunks over here. Man, you can just find iron chunks all over the floor here. Okay, so let's make our way up here. I love that you could use these guys, like, basically anywhere. Wait a minute. I remember seeing a wisp in there. Yeah, did I not get that wisp? That's... Wait a minute! Wait a minute. How in the world are we supposed to get that wisp over there? How in the world are we supposed to get that wisp over there? Do we have to do, like, some platforming over here? I wonder if you have to have, like, very accurate jumps with this guy. And you have to jump across these blocks to get it, like this. Oh, I'm surprised that that didn't make it up. I wonder if that's what we have to do. Or if we will get a new legendary Pokemon that will let us ride on it. And it can climb up these blocks, perhaps. So I don't think the bear is going to help us. You know, I'm really not using the bear much in this game at all. Okay, so let's uh, get whatever's in that tree. Hopefully it's not a Pokemon that attacks us. And we want to get up there. So let's go like this. Teddy Ursa! Teddy Ursa! Teddy Ursa! Teddy Ursa! Teddy Ursa! And an Ursa ring up ahead! Let's see. Teddy Ursa, just turn around. I'm not gonna catch you. You're such an adorable little Pokemon. I'm not gonna try and catch you and put you in a Pokeball. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? That would be such a mean thing to do. No way am I gonna catch you. Just turn around. It's okay. Why are you coming closer to me? Oh, maybe this is a Pokemon that's, like, curious about you? Oh, uh, Curiosity killed the cat! Ha 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 ha! I'm gonna catch you. Yeah, we got it! Ursa- or uh, Teddy Ursa was caught. Okay, and there's an Ursa Ring over there. And we also have the legendary bear Pokemon. Wait, wait, wait. Do the Wisps disappear now that it's morning? Because I thought that there was one up there. Well, you know what? Let's- Go into this grass over here. And hopefully that guy doesn't notice us. I'd like to catch an Earth Ring. That is terrifying. Oh my goodness. Imagine seeing one of these in real life. I would be so scared about this. Like hiding in the bushes over here trying to not be seen by it. Trying to throw a ball at it to catch it. Let's use a Great Ball. Let's see. Maybe a Heavy Ball would have been better. Let's see if a Great Ball is good enough. Please catch it. Yeah! We got it from behind. Level 39 Earth Ring. That is pretty OP. If I do say so myself. Now then. Oh, oh, this one looks like it's going to sleep. If it's sleeping, does that mean that it's a heavy one? I don't know if that means that it's a heavy one. Let's see. Okay, you've got a better chance of catching it while it's asleep. And we are getting this one from behind. So can we get it? Yeah, we got another one. Let's go. Can we also get this guy? This little guy? Let's get another little one. Let's see. Ah, uh, I don't think that was from behind. So I don't know if that'll work. Let's see. Do we get it? Yeah! Oh, man! We are on a Pokemon catching streak over here. Oh, but there's a Luxray. We have a Luxray on our team, but we haven't uh, caught a Luxray yet. Like, we haven't caught a wild one. If we could catch one, that'd be pretty cool. I'm terrified of this thing chasing after me, though. Let's see. Oh, it's like a whole family. It's like all three of them. Okay, let's try this. Maybe I should use a heavy ball. Oh, no. Oh, no. It turned to me. It turned to me. We caught it still. Guys, we are incredible. We can catch anything. My goodness. I feel like I could just walk up to Pokemon and throw Pokeballs at them and catch them now. Oh, oh, this is something to break. I'm like, why am I not collecting this item? It's because we have to hit it. Let's see. You know what? Maybe actually using our Rhyhorn against these guys in a battle might be a good idea. Let's do this. Rhyhorn, battle this one. Is that a Shinx or a Luxio? Okay, it's a Luxio. I think there are two Luxios nearby. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it's level 28. Yeah, Thunderfang. Great job using Thunderfang on me, you fool. Oh, and we get to attack twice now. So let's see how strong Bulldoze will do. 60 power. We're about the same level. Same type attack bonus. Plus super effective. Okay, that means defeated in a single turn. Very nice. And where's that other one? Let's go like this. I'm ready to battle that one. Wait, is there another Lux? Oh, that's a Luxio. Okay. Saying that maybe it's a Luxray too. Okay. He uses Thundershock. There's no effect. Okay, so Bulldoze should be able to take these guys out pretty easily. Man, I kind of want to go and take my uh, Giblet that I caught. I'd love to train my Giblet a bit. Let's see. Oh, oh, it actually is a Luxray. It is a Luxray, right? Yeah, it's a Luxray. Okay, what level is it? 39. Okay, it uses Thunderfang. Brilliant start so far. It has no effect on me. 
How well can we do against it, though? Oh, if we use Bulldoze, we can go twice in a row. Let's see how strong Bulldoze will be. It's nine levels higher than me, but this is super effective and same type attack bonus. Only 45 power, though. Let's see. Well, a bit less than half. Now then, if I do strong style, I might get to go first. If I do, it's a guaranteed knockout. Well, almost guaranteed knockout. Yeah, this should defeat it. So that'll hopefully give us quite a bit of experience. Let's see. I wonder if we will evolve soon. Let's see. Oh, uh, almost, we almost leveled up. Okay, let's, uh, let's get going then. Oh, and right over there is where we have to go. Okay. So we are making some progress. Oh, I've got to do something to get this camp set up. Wait, is this our Link friend or is this someone else? It's, wait. Is it Link or one of Link's friends? Oh, it's one of Link's friends. Eshim. Okay, set up a camp. All right, Eshim. So people have names that I've never heard before. I don't know if this is a real name, but it seems not much progress has been made since that... Ah, uh, there's a Bronzer getting in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so we can't just ignore it either. I think I know what it wants. You know what it wants? I know exactly what it wants. I know exactly what that Bronzer there wants. I know what it wants. What it wants is a battle. And it wants to battle with my Rabidash over here. That's what it wants. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's go, bro. Ready to battle, bro? Ready to battle, bro? Wait, can I not battle it? Do I have to, like, walk up to it and trigger an event? Oh, my Rabidash doesn't care! Wait, what in the world? Wait, you actually- do I, I- do I actually speak to it? Zor! Oh, I thought that I'd just have to defeat it. What, you wanna get across the river? Is there something over that way? Bro, what do you- what do you want, bro? Why can't I just battle you? I want to camp here. I really want there to be a camp here. What, you want something from over there? What, do you want me to hit that tree or something? Okay, I'll go hit that tree for you, I guess. Let's see, let's get out here. Now let me up here. Now what, I'll hit this tree for you, okay? What's in the tree? Chesto berry. Will it want chesto berries, maybe? What could that bronzer want? There's a piece of iron here. Maybe it wants some iron. Let's see, let's try going back. Let's see, what do you want? Are you happy now? Zor. No, it just, it just keeps saying that maybe there's something over that way. What could it be? Could it maybe want us to defeat these Golducks? Did these Golducks overtake its territory? And maybe we want to defeat these Golducks? Man, level 40, that's pretty, uh, pretty strong. Let's see. Oh, even normal Thunderfang lets us go twice now, so let's do that. There's one. Almost defeated, and let's just do a quick Thundershock, because I don't want to use up all my Thunder Fangs, so an Agile-style Thundershock should finish it off. Goodbye, Golduck. How do you like that, Golduck, huh? Huh? How do you like that? Give me those leaks. Let's go. Oh! Oh, I think that might actually be what we have to do. Yeah, there's a second Bronzer right over there. Okay, so we probably do have to defeat these Golducks. These Golducks, it's like they took their friend captive. Okay, let's do a strong-style Thunder Fang, and hopefully that can finish it off, because last time... A normal Thunderfang almost finished it off. So strong style Thunderfang can finish it off. Very nice. All right, now will this Bronzor come with us? Zor, Zor. This is actually a really cool side mission. Zor, 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 Zor. Wait a minute. I saw Bronzor go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. How did you make it across the river? What in the, that Bronzor, it's wounded. This is not good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. Are you gonna use a potion on it or what? There, that should do better. Bronzer should be as fit as a fiddle now. Zor, Zor. It'd be funny if now the Bronzers attack us. That'd be absolutely hilarious. Seems the Bronzer at the new campsite was looking for its friend the whole time. Glad you looked into it. Otherwise, we may have been too late to treat this Bronzer. This land is dangerous, even for the Pokemon that call it their home. May be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fine lineup of war stock of wares stocked for you. So please buy anything that you need. Perfect. It seems the base camp has been all set up while we were talking. In which case, yeah, I should get settled in as well. So long. Yes. Okay, so we can go. And... Hold on, where is the base camp? That way. Okay, perfect. So we can go. And... Oh, we, oh cool. We actually jumped across. Yes, I would like to... Would like to... Uh, wait, no, not buy items. I want to switch Pokemon. That's what I want. I want my little Giblet. I want my little Giblet. I want to see my Pokemon. Where's my little giblet? There's my giblet! 
This is the one that I need. Let's take him. Okay, who should I leave behind? That is the question. Should I leave behind Drapion? Because Drapion's pretty powerful and pretty good in a lot of situations. You know, I am going to keep Rhyhorn with me temporarily. We probably are going to replace Rhyhorn soon. Probably with uh, Drapion. But I'm going to keep Gibble with us for now. He knows Bulldoze, which is pretty good. And Dragon Claw, nice. Oh, Leaden Bolt, an improvement on the original Heavy Ball design. A ball that is too heavy to fly high or far, but is highly effective. Wait, so is this like a better version of Heavy Ball? Oh, we can make quite a few of them. You know what? Let's do that then. Kind of risky making them all into Leaden Balls if I don't even know if they're good right now yet. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's, let's rest just a bit to be fully healed up. And then we can be on our way. Oh, man, this is so exciting. I cannot express enough how much I'm enjoying this game. This is like the perfect way to make a modern Pokemon game. Just, oh man, everything about it is so good. There are so many great quality of life upgrades. Like, man, if you, uh, oh, I was trying to use my Pokemon on that, but it's just an item that you pick up. Okay, more of these guys. You know what? I'll fight you then. I'll fight you then. No problem. I'll fight you, bro. How strong are you? I wonder if this is the evolved form or if it evolves. Let's do, you know what, I'll do a strong flame wheel. Hopefully that can defeat it. But man, there's just so many amazing quality of life updates in this. It's like, wait, oh, 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 an alpha car divide. Okay, do I want to catch it? Do I care enough to catch it? Let's see, iron bark tongue, that's interesting. Okay, you know what, I'll make a mark on my map that over here, that there's an alpha Pokemon, so I'll put one of those over here. We can come back to it sometime. Right now, I don't want to... Oh, I thought that was a Growlithe. I thought that was a Growlithe. It's just a... Just a Psyduck, though. Okay, our Pokemon are pretty strong right now, so I don't really have to worry much about training my Pokemon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But, uh, yeah, every battle that we do, our Giblet gets some experience, too. And, wait, wait. If this is bouncing up and down, does that mean that there's a you-know-what inside? Does that mean that there's, like, a Geodude or a Graveler in here? Let's see. Oh, a Bronzong! Oh, I'm surprised that a startled Bronzong can leap out at you. It's level 32. I'm level 23. You know what? I might actually just swap for this fight. I'll swap. Let's switch to Rabidash. I could also just run away from it, but you know what? We do want our we do want our little Gibble to get some experience. Our little Gibble. If our Gibble had food, it would be called Gibble Kibble. I wonder if that's partially where it gets its name from. Okay, and there are these iron chunks. Oh, number you've defeated with fire type moves. Two out of two. Nice. Okay, and our satchel is basically full of items. And what way do we want to go now? Oh, wait, can we go up here? We want to go that way, but can we make it up here? Let's see. These wall... Wait a minute. What in the world is that? Uh, we want to go up here somehow. Let's see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, I think this might still be too steep for us. Yeah, that might be too steep for us. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, and then we could probably climb up this way. Wait, can we climb up this way? There's a gold duck there. I don't want to drop down all the way there. So close, yes! Okay, okay, okay. So that's how we want to make it up here. Okay, so let's go this way. And we're not worried about that because that's just, uh, that marker is near where the carnivine is. Okay, and we are going this way. What are these piles of things over here? This right here. Can you attack those or something? You can attack those, and you get items. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, okay. Well, we've got a lot of... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Uh... Oh, I have to get down there. Okay, you know what? Bro, I'll take you on then. I'll take you on then. Just to get you out of the way so I can find what a safe way to get down is. Because we do want to get down there. So we'll find a safe way to get down there. Uh, how are you still alive? Oh, it's level 37. It's a pretty high level. Use crunch. That's not good. Did some damage off me, but now it's burned. Should defeat it. Goodbye, Carnivine. How do you like that, Carnivine, huh? How do you like that? Good fight, Carnivite. Carnivite. Carnivine, I mean. Wait, is that the person that we want to go to to continue the quest? Yes, I think it is. Right there, right? Yeah, Scaling Perilous Heights. How do I safely get down here? Will you help me go down safely? Okay. Yeah, sure. That was relatively safe. All right. Here's our friend over here. Hello, friend. I made it to you in a bit of an unconventional way. Why are we so surprised? What's up there? You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? Oh, we are probably getting a Pokemon that lets us scale walls, like rock climb or something? 
But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. Oh! She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret. Some hidden move, no pun intended, ha, hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such things in Hisui. Surely, he's getting memories of his past, uh, of his past plane that he was on. Yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Yeah, there are hidden moves. Hidden moves. HMs. HMs, they've been in like every single Pokemon game ever. Just who was I before I came to Hisui? If you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Yeah, we probably came from the same world. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog this memory loose. Okay, sure, I'll have a Pokemon battle. Would you honor me with the battles, the X-Many? All right. And the Sneasler guy that he's telling me to go capture, it's probably like... Uh, it's probably like a... An All aboard then! Machoke, prepare for departure! Okay, and this Sneasler guy that he's talking about is probably like... An evolved form of like Sneasel slash Weevil. Is that the other one? Okay, Machoke, nice. I wonder if he has three Machokes. That would be pretty funny. Okay, I don't want to start off with the Rabidash. We're up against Machokes. And it's also raining. Okay, level 41. He's pretty powerful, I guess. Staraptor? Yeah, I guess Staraptor is probably our best choice. But you know what? I. I'll keep this Pokemon out. Uh, I'll, I'll just keep this Pokemon out and I'll see how we can do it because I'd rather have a faint so that we can have a free switch to Staraptor. Let's see, that doesn't do much damage. It uses Double Edge. Okay, we are almost defeated. Now then, I will use a Strong Style Flame Wheel and that might finish it off. Or it might just barely survive. Let's see. How's that? Okay, nice. It's defeated. Machoke is defeated. What's your next Pokemon? Also a Machoke or what? Glissor! Oh! That is an interesting looking guy. Okay, strong style. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Quick attack. Are we dead? Killed by a strong style quick attack. Nice try, Rabidash. Now, I actually don't know what type that is, so I'll send out this guy. I'll send out Staraptor. And we'll probably just use a... Uh... Wait. Okay, that's not very effective, so it's probably part poison type. And Aerial Ace and this one, they are both normally effective. So let's just use an Aerial Ace here. Probably won't do a humongous amount of damage, but let's just get a feel for what this battle is going to be like. Okay, like maybe one third of its HP. Oh, Poison Jab. Uh-oh, that's pretty strong. And we are poisoned. That's not great. That's not great. Uh... Okay, if we use Quick Attack, we'll be able to attack twice. So let's do this. Let's do a Quick Attack. Agile style Quick Attack. So we get an attack like that. That doesn't even get it down to half. We're hurt by Poison. Wait, are we hurt by poison after every attack? You know what? I'll do a strong style aerial ace right now. Or should I do a strong style close combat? I'll do a strong style uh, air slash. I think that'll be our best choice. I don't know if we'll defeat it. I'm guessing it'll survive, but maybe. Let's see. How's that? Oh, nice! We actually defeated it. That's pretty good. Okay, but are we hurt by poison? Yeah, we're hurt by poison. That's not good. Our HP is getting pretty low. Tangela! Oh, man. Ah, uh, it's too bad that I used, uh, you know what, in the previous move. It's too bad that I used Strong Style. If we didn't use Strong Style, maybe we would have been able to defeat it. Now, let's see. Who do I... Who do I even use against that? I don't have anything particularly good. My Fire Pokemon is out, and my Flying Pokemon is out. Oh! Oh! This guy has Flying moves, though, so we might be good. Tangela might know some Bug moves. I don't know if Bug is normally effective on fighting or super effective, but let's see if we do this... Ah, uh, let's just go normal. Normal aerial ace here. Let's see how that'll be. This guy kind of reminds me of, like, a grass-type Blaziken, because Blaziken is firefighting. And this guy kind of reminds me of, like, a grass-type Blaziken. And Blaziken was really, really cool. Blaziken was one of my favorite, uh, starters. Well, Blaziken's, like, the third form of- Oh, no, we didn't defeat it. Yeah, Blaziken is one of my- oh, oh, no, not very effective. Okay, 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 okay. Does it attack again? Does it attack again? Okay, it doesn't attack again. Okay. Let's just do a normal Aerial Ace, and that should finish it off now. And hopefully this guy uh, heals our Pokemon after this battle. Let's see. Are you going to heal my Pokemon now? Battle decided. That is nice. Uh, it's like he was dabbing the whole time. Bravo! Excellent! Let's see. Do your memories come back to you now, bro? Okay, we get a few level ups there. It's nice that Gibble got a lot of love. Gibble can evolve! Yes! Yes! Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory! That is such a great line. I love this. There are so many good lines in this game. What do you have to say next? 
I like the snow here. Now, allow me to call Sneezler. Am I gonna have to battle Sneezler? No, it's probably just gonna come like this. Okay, wait, is Sneezler going to give me a plate right away? Is Sneezler gonna give me a plate? Do we just have to play the flute and then it'll give us a plate? Hopefully that's how it works. What, are we gonna have like six plates now? Okay, we don't look as surprised as usual. We usually look more surprised. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. I expected it to look bigger for some reason. Snarr! Pretty cool Pokemon, though. Oh, man, look at it. Allow me to introduce you, CX Many. This clean clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Yes, let's play our flute. I'm ready. Let's go. Press C up, C down, C left, C right. We're playing the Ocarina of Time right now. Our clothes look a little dirty. Is that supposed to be snow on it? Uh, ah, nice song, nice song. Sneezler opened her heart and learned well the sound of your playing. I guess this means- Oh! You got the toxic plate from Sneezler. That's pretty cool. Okay, what? Poison type? I'm surprised that Sneezler gave us the poison plate. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneezler's aid and quell the lord up in the mountains. Very nice. I will return to Jubilife Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard! You can now call Sneezler to scale and descend sheer cliffs and rock faces. That is so- Wait, am I carried in its backpack? Do, does it have a backpack that I am carried in? Press the A button when you're near a climbable surface or use the plus button in any other location. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, first, let's evolve our dear Gibble over here. Time to evolve our Gibble. It's gonna be the second evolve form now. The third evolve form is amazing. Oh my goodness. Garchomp is absolutely amazing. Gibble's pretty adorable. Let's see what the second evolve form looks like. Oh, this guy, this guy. This is like a, this is like a little punk Gibble. Your Gibble evolved into Gabite. All right, let's see, can we climb up now? Oh man, oh man, it's like we become a little Sneasel like this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 and I guess this is how you grab these things. Wait, double bonnets. Oh, oh, we have no room in our bag for that. Okay, that's fine. Wait, is there anything that I can throw away maybe? Anything that I don't care about? You know what, let's throw away these grains. What are these for? You know what, let's uh, discard those grains. Who cares about those grains? We'll take these instead because these might be good for something. This is actually so cool. It's like we are moving around and we are a Pokemon. Finally, these slopes are no longer an obstacle for us. This is amazing. Wait, wait, wait. What happens if we run into a Pokemon while we're in this state? It's a Gligar. It's a Gligar. It's a Gligar. No, it sees me. Why do you see me? Why do you see me? Why don't we just fight? Why wouldn't you just let me capture you, Gligar? Okay. Oh, it's a uh, pretty high level. It's almost the same level as me. You know what? Let's do a uh, flame wheel then. Let's see how much damage that'll do. Not much. Oh, but it is burned, so that is good. Okay, slash. How much is that? Oh, and it was a critical hit. Okay, hurt by the burn. Let's see. Let's do a uh, uh, agile style. Doesn't really give us any more attacks. I guess that's a pretty fast Pokemon. I'll just use an Ember here. Don't want to do too much damage because it is burned. We don't want to defeat it. We would like to capture it. Was that a critical hit? How did that do so much damage when that wasn't a critical hit? My goodness. And it's hurt by the burn. So, Pokeball or Great Ball? That is the question. Pokeball, because its HP is so low. And is burned, so it has a status effect. It was looking to the side. It's like, are you going to capture me? Are you really going to throw a Pokeball at me? And we did get it. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So, we caught the Gligar. That's quite nice. Now then, do we want to climb up there? Maybe we can make it to the rift now. We can finally make it to the rift. I'm really curious about how many regions there are in this game. Whoa! Whoa, 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 we're actually getting so close. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm playing Minecraft with all these mountains and everything here. Wait, when I hold B, we don't run. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Any Pokemon around here? Where are those? Those aren't Pokemon, are they? There's some water here. Anyone in the water here? Any Pokemon in the water? Why is there just water here but no Pokemon? Where are all the Pokemon at? Yo. Oh, there's Geodude there. Eh, who cares about Geodude? Let's go. Let's go. Let's do some climbing. And let's collect these things as we climb. I don't know how important they are, but we can take them. Oh, a little Giblet. Okay, but we already have a Giblet and the Evolved form, so that's not too important. Okay, let's start going like this so we can go fast now. Another Giblet. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa,
Whoa, bro, 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 bro. Hold on. Let me go over here for a moment. Just so that guy stops chasing me. If there is one alpha Pokemon in the game that I want, that might be one of my first choices. Because you know who that guy evolves into? You know who that guy evolves into? That guy evolves into Garchomp. That's who that guy right there evolves into. My goodness, just face the other way so I can safely make it into this grass and I can sneak up on you and catch you. I don't know if we can catch him with, uh, by sneaking up on him, but that would be quite nice if we could. It'll probably say uncatchable. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, uncatchable right now. Man, level 56. That's crazy. Okay, let's swap. Who do we use even? Who would be good against him? Don't really have anyone particularly strong against him. Like... This might be our best shot. Let's see. Let's just try and startle him. Did we startle him? Do we get a free shot? All right, so I just battled this guy and he took on my entire team. He took out my entire team. Let's see if we can have any luck over here. Let's see. It's filled with wild might. No, don't use outrage. Don't defeat me in a- We avoided the attack? You can do that? I didn't know that outrage could be avoided. Okay, let's use strong style aura sphere because this deals surprisingly more damage than I thought it would. I didn't think this would deal a lot of damage, but look at that, let's see. Yeah, look at how much damage that deals. That deals more damage than I thought that it would. Okay, and we're not defeated still, so you know- Oh wait, but it gets to attack twice, of course. Ah, uh, it's so sad. So sad. Okay, come back now. All right, let's see if a weak quick attack can weaken him down a bit. I don't know if this will work. Oh, if we use quick attack, we can go twice. Even if we don't use Agile Style, but you know what? I will use Agile Style just so we see how much damage it does. Let's see, how much damage does that do? That deals very little damage. Okay, and you know what? I might... Should I use a normal Quick Attack or a Strong Style Quick Attack? Let's use a Strong Style Quick Attack. Hopefully that doesn't defeat him. Let's see. Let's see, how's that? Please survive. Whoa! Look at that little sliver of HP. My goodness, that is so little HP. Okay, okay, hopefully that means we have a good shot at catching him. Now then, is he going to get to attack right when I send out my Rapidash? Because my Rapidash has Hypnosis. So you know what, I'm going to send out my Rhyhorn first just to be safe. Because I don't want him to take out my Pokemon right as I send it out. That would be quite sad. Okay, but oh, but now it looks like he gets to attack twice in a row. So you know what, maybe I don't want to send out Rapidash next actually. Let's just use a Great Ball now. Because I would love for my Rapidash to put this guy to sleep so that we could capture him. Because you have a better shot... If this game is like other Pokemon games, then you have a better shot at catching a Pokemon when they have a status effect active. So let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Rhyhorn, come back. Now then, please tell me. Please, please tell me that you're not going to attack my Rapidash right as it comes out. Please let me use Hypnosis first. Please. Please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know what? If I do strong, then I have a higher accuracy. My accuracy goes up to 90 instead of 70, so I'm gonna do that. Please land the hit. Please. Please. Okay, good, 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 good. It is drowsy. That is good. Oh! Oh, and it's too drowsy to move. Okay, so... Oh, no, but then it uses an agile cell earth powers. That's that's probably still strong enough to beat me, right? Super effective plus same type attack bonus plus it's 13 levels higher equals goodbye Rapidash. Oh, and I've only got two surviving Pokemon left. So I've got one, maybe two shots at uh, using a Great Ball on him. He is drowsy and his HP is super low, so maybe we could possibly catch him. If we catch him now, that's amazing. It should be... Well, I, I don't want to say it should be pretty good. Yes! 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 Okay, that was probably the best shot that we'd have at catching him with his HP being that low. Oh my goodness, what do we get here? Experience candy? Okay, Pokemon level 50 and below will obey us right now. And that Pokemon that we just caught is level 56, if I remember correctly. 56 or 53? I think it was 56. Because our Rapidash was level 43. And I think I said that it was 13 levels higher. Sudowoodo. Sudowoodo is such a cool Pokemon. And its name is so funny. Sudowoodo literally means like fake wood and it's a rock type pokemon that looks like a tree so it looks like it's wood so it's like pseudo wudo like pseudo science pseudo wudo pseudo wood fake wood it's actually something that's so funny wait is that a statue of dialga right there it looks like there's a statue of dialga okay and there's some kind of ghost pokemon over here i see a wisp in the background also oh miss drevis okay 
Maybe we could go get that mysterious guy. I don't care about this Graveler, but it's rolling around back and forth, so I kind of don't want it to interfere. So let's see if we could just catch it. Okay, doesn't want to be caught, so you know what? If you don't want to be caught, I'll just have to fight you then, my friend. This is what I'll have to do. I'm sorry to do this to you, my friend, but I'm going to have to use... Oh, I can't use Powerful Leaf Blade. So let's just use a Leaf Blade over here. Let's see how powerful that is. Let's see. Strong enough to take it out in a single hit. That's very nice. Very nice. Black Augurite. Okay, I'm not taking that. I don't know if we need that. But let's try and uh, sneak up on this Misdreavus. Oh, and there's a Nose Pass in the background too. Okay, Misdreavus, where are you going, Misdreavus? Right over there. Let's go. Come on. Just turn around. Don't face me. Don't face me. Face the other way. Misdreavus, where are you, Misdreavus? Misdreavus. Misdreavus. Wait, what is that over there? Oh, that's a Gligar over there. Gligar or Glider? I can't remember what it's called. Okay, this Misdreavus is gone. Where'd the Misdreavus go? Okay. Misdreavus is Gen 2, I'm pretty sure, right? Nose Pass is Gen 3, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's a Dialga statue here. There's probably a Palkia statue on the other side. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Uh, you're moving around like crazy. Where did you teleport to? Where did you teleport to? Where did you go? Where in the world did that Misdreavus go? I thought I was going to get to catch it. Alright, I guess I'll sneak up on this Nose Pass over here then. And you know what? I don't want to fight it, so let's just try catching it with a Great Ball. Hopefully that works. Or you know what? I've, I've got three Heavy Balls, so why don't I just use them up? And then I can use my Leaden Balls later for like... Pokemon that are more difficult to capture. There's something up there too. Oh, I think that's a Gligar up there. Okay, we caught one Nose Pass, which is nice. Now, where in the world is that Misdreavus? Oh, and that was also a heavy specimen. That's pretty cool. Number you've caught without being spotted. One out of one. Okay, there's the Misdreavus. Let's see. If I could get close to it and catch it with the heavy ball, that would be great. Just turn around, please. Yes! Okay, so we're probably catching it. I don't think it's getting away from that, right? Let's see. Yeah, the odds are too much in our favor. That's pretty good. Oh, and what item is this? Bugwort. Okay, I don't care about that. At least not right now. Let's see. Let's head this way. Gligar. We've got a few of those already, so I'm not super worried about that. Wait, let me... Oh, 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 oh. one of these treasure chests over here. Let's break that, bro. What do we get? Stealth spray. Oh, that could be useful. Maybe if we want to sneak up on somebody. Okay, let's get another one of these wisps. How many wisps are in this area? Probably quite a few. It's a big area, right? Let's see. 19 wisps remain in this area. Yeah, a lot of wisps over here. Yeah, you can break that for me, my friend. Now, oh, oh, and that's right. And when we reach cliffs like this, this doesn't mean that it's a dead end. It just means that we have to start climbing. That's all that means for us. So, you know what? Let's see. What's over there? Oh, Haunter's over there. Okay, we've already got a Haunter, I'm pretty sure. So, we'll just climb up this way. Oh, oh, you know what? Since there's one right over there. Ah, uh -huh, I was going to say, let's just catch it. Oh, no. Sneeze out. Help me. Okay, let's go. Now then. Oh, it's like, I notice you. I notice you. Ah, it came up close. Okay, do I want to fight it? Do I want Nah, I'll leave it be. I'll leave it be. It's not too important that we fight it right now. Same with this guy. Oh, we could fight him with one of our ground-type Pokemon. Like our... What is his name? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Over here. We could probably take it out in a single hit. How strong is it? Let's see. Luxio, level 29. Yeah, using Thunder Fang. Great idea, using Thunder Fang on me. We'll just use a Bulldoze over here. And a single Bulldoze should take it out. I don't think we even need two. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so... Let's see... We don't want Bear. We want this guy. Let's go! Oh, I wonder if maybe there'll be a Palkia statue around here? Because that's so weird. We saw a Dialga statue earlier, but we haven't seen a Palkia statue yet. Oh, I wonder if we could go up into the snow there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's just a snow tree. There's a single tree there. Let's go to that tree. There's a guy over there. You know what, bro? You know what, bro? My Rhyhorn isn't scared of fighting you, bro! Let's go. Where are you going to use Thunder Fang on me or something? It better not know Ice Fang. Thunder Wave! Ha ha ha! Nice try. Man, it's kind of funny how, uh, whenever we run into Luxio and Lux Luxray- Man, it's level 53! Yeah, we only half defeated it. Wild Charge. It has no effect. This is a great place to train your ground-type Pokemon, man. 
We can take out a level 53 without taking any damage. That's pretty great. Well, hold on. We haven't taken it out yet. But now we have. All right. That's pretty great. Oh, man. And all of my Pokemon get pretty good experience from that. <gasps> There's an Electabuzz up ahead. I wonder if we have to go down there and talk to that guy first. You know what? Let's just go and take on this Electabuzz in the distance first. Let's do the Electabuzz. <gasps> it's sleeping. It's sleeping. This is a great opportunity to sneak up on it and catch it. Let's see, I don't want to wake it, I don't want to wake it. Let's use a Great Ball also. Let's see, it's sleeping! And, do we catch it? Let's see, let's see. Yeah, we got an Electabuzz! Level 54! Man, these Pokemon are higher levels than I can control right now, which is pretty crazy. All right, so we probably have to go down here. I'm so tempted to go up there because that seems like such good experience for our Pokemon. Right, who's this with the skun tank? Oh, it's you again! I forgot about you actually. It's been a while since I've seen you. Welcome to Moon Welcome to like Moonview Arena. It's like the seat of Lord Electrode. Okay. I know I'm like not I know I've like not been supportive of you reaching here, but a part of me did hope that you'd like make it. So call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, but like that's like life, embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. That's a great line. I'm starting to like this guy more and more. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you wish to defeat me and gain entry, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's take out his Scud Tank. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Do I have my uh, Rhyhorn at the front? I hope that I do. Let's see. Please tell me I'm starting with Rhyhorn. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Let's go. Oh, wait, why does he also have a gold bat? Okay, Skun Tank's level- Wait! Strong style, what are you using? Night Slash, I might be dead. No, Reinhardt fainted, that's so sad. That is so sad. Okay, now do I have anything good against this Skun Tank? You know what, I could- Wait, 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 wait. I guess I could send out Gabite. I don't know how good it'll be since I'm such a low level. It's 15 levels higher than me. Let's see. I could go first. Let's see. If I go like that, we don't get to attack twice. If I go like that, then I'm basically defeated, but at least I get to do a bunch of damage. Like this, will they defeat me in a single turn? That is the question. Wait, he has three Pokemon out at once? Bro, what is this? What is this, bro? How do you get to have three Pokemon out at once? Okay, Bulldoze, how much damage does that do? Super effective plus same type attack bonus. That takes away like half of his HP, a bit more than half. Okay, Zubat is using Agile style hypnosis. Okay, so I'm drowsy. So if I do get to attack again, I might not get to attack. Or if it is my turn to attack, I might not get to attack again. Zubat used Gust. Okay, that did a bit of damage. Let's use a Bulldoze or what? Let's use a Bulldoze then. Let's see. Too drowsy to move! No! That's so sad. Night Slash, are we dead? Yeah, we're dead. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Okay, and it's raining. Does that mean that my fire type attacks are going to be weaker? Let's try it anyways. Let's see how it goes. You know, I wonder if there's a way to send out multiple Pokemon. Can I send out multiple Pokemon? Uh, normal? Or agile? That is the question. Wait, what level is this Skaroopy? Skaroopy's only level 22, so you know what? I'll use agile. I'm going to use Agile over here. Because that way we get attacked by Zubat and Skaroopy. But Skuntank doesn't get to attack us. Okay, so we should be able to finish off this Skuntank. Venoshock, how much damage is that? Not much, okay. We do survive. Zubat, what do you do? Oh, Zubat does nothing to us. Okay, so now we should be able to finish off this guy, right? Let's see. Yeah, I think this is, uh... Should I go... I'm gonna go strong, I'm gonna go strong, just to make sure that we are getting rid of this Skun Tank, because I don't want that Skun Tank being a problem. That's his strongest Pokemon by far, so I just want to make sure that that guy gets eliminated. I want that guy out of the way. Who's next? Agile style from you, what are you using? Venoshock, okay, that'll do some damage. Yeah, not bad amount of damage. What about Zubat, what are you using? Gust, that'll do some damage. Now what, are you gonna attack me again? Oh my goodness, guys! How many times are you gonna get to attack me? Oh my goodness! Two attacks? from each of them on me. I think that's maybe a little bit unfair. I don't know about you guys. That seems a little bit unfair to me. Okay, so we'll be able to take out the Zubat no problem with uh, Thunderfang over here. Yeah, we'll be able to take out the Zubat with a Thunderfang no problem over here. And the Skaroopy, is it part ground type? I'm not sure if it's part ground type or not. Let's see, it's using Agile style. Venoshock, 
Gonna do some damage, yeah. An okay amount of damage. Gets to attack twice, man. That's a fast guy over there. Let's see, let's just use two Thunder Fangs on it. We'll do Agile style. Hopefully we'll be able to get out too. Do we need both? Let's see. No, that's enough, okay. So this guy did defeat a few of our Pokemon. I wonder if he's gonna heal up our team, because often when we have a trainer battle, the person ends up healing our team. And that's always nice when that happens. He's so angry. Let's make one thing like clear, man. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. What is the difference? I just uh, didn't have the time. Yeah, there, there just wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Ah, could this be why Adamant's always talking about why time's like such a precious thing? Man, the Diamond Clan and Sinnoh, they're just like always giving me wisdom, man. Yeah, like I know what comes next. Like you want to go see Lord Electro so you can like make some balms for it. But I won't be able to help you because I've completely forgotten what Electrode likes. That's so funny. We're like, come on, man. You're supposed to be the warden. What's the matter? Upset? Too bad anger doesn't make balms. What if that actually is? Melly's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, ZX Many? Ah, there we go. Here's the leader of the Diamond Clan. I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... He's like, Adam, man. Come on, man. Don't like telling men. What now? I could hear you just now, you know? Are you really gonna tell this little noodle what he needs just like that? Let's not forget, you're the leader of the clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy people? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? It's like, yeah, I guess you're right. I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among almighty Sinnoh's chosen. Okay, maybe he's not understanding what's going on. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. That is a good point. I don't know enough about this situation to judge it, I guess. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out ZX Many. This is bigger than what our team or clan is doing. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just gonna tell him that he needs crunchy salt. I was gonna go right ahead and give it to him. All right, buddy. Now it's time to make some balms. So lend a hand, both of you. Let's go. Wait, is he gonna heal up my team? Ah, oh, fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Melly shirked his duties as warden. I'll help you, like, make your balms and stuff. All right, bro. Thank you, bro. Does this mean that I'm gonna have a boss fight right now? There! I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electrode. Wait, I wonder if it's, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is infinite. It's funny that they say, like, virtually infinite. But don't underestimate like, my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Where, where do we have the boss fight? Is the boss fight gonna be right now, or what? At Moonview Arena. Maybe that's actually right behind us over here. Are you not gonna heal up my team? Come on, my team's almost all fainted. What are you gonna do, bro? Are you gonna heal up my team? Heal up my team, please. So, even though you know that you're, like, doomed to fail, you still wanna face off against Electrode? I'm ready to battle. Let's go. Ha! You have a great deal more pluck than you have sense. I'll give you that. A word of advice. Don't, like, stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. Okay, so you wanna be constantly moving. All right, so I guess we have the fight right now. I'm kinda surprised that it's already now. I guess this... This area was a little long. I think this is like area number five in the game or so. Let's see. There's a giant tree. Okay, that is not the Pokemon that we're facing. Is the Pokemon in the tree? Oh, a bunch of Vault Orbs are coming out of the tree. Those are not Pokeballs. Those are not Pokeballs. Don't be fooled. They are, elect they are Vault Orbs. Oh. But wait, it's upside down. Electrode's supposed to be white on the top. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm like, what's going on? Lord of the Hollow, Electrode. Okay, time for another very exciting boss fight. This also reminds me of the Super Mario Odyssey boss fight in some ways. Okay, this one is surprisingly tough. Like, surprisingly, surprisingly tough. This one is by far the hardest boss fight that we have had so far. I've lost to this one twice so far. The first time I had no idea what I was doing. The second time I came pretty close to beating him and then he started using an attack that I don't know if there's a good way to dodge it. So let's see, so here's what we want to do. What you want to do is you want to be on the lookout for these uh, yellow balls that follow you the entire time. You want to avoid those. And there are also going to be Voltorbs randomly dropping down that have a little circle appear around them to show where they're going to be exploding. So you want to avoid both those and the Voltorbs that are falling down. And after a little while, He's gonna get ready to do an explosion attack. So let's see, let's see. 
Let's see. Right now, we're doing fine at avoiding everything. We're actually doing great. So let's see. Okay, he's going to shoot out one more. Now he's probably going to get ready to jump down. Yeah. So now when he goes like this, he has this circle appear around him. And when he has this circle appear around him, you want to just keep staying away from him. He's getting ready to do his attack soon. Okay, so we're outside of the circle, so we're safe. Now we're going to switch to Pokemon. Switch to Pokemon, not to Bombs. And over here, you want to throw a Pokemon at him. Because using Pokemon in a battle here will make things... Quite a bit easier. Okay, is he gonna defeat us right a bit? Thunder Wave! I'm surprised that he used Thunder Wave and not Thunder. Okay, so we're paralyzed. We may be unable to move. So you know what? Should I use Close Combat? Should I use a uh, Quick Attack? If I use Agile Cell, Quick Attack, we might be able to attack twice. So let's see. Let's watch his HP. It won't do much damage, but let's see. A not bad amount of damage. And you know what? Close Combat is 100. But if we do a strong Aerial Ace, that's 75. Plus, same type attack bonus. You know what? You know what? But I'll do a I'll do a strong air slash. Let's see. Let's see if that can finish him off. If it doesn't, he'll probably defeat us. Let's see how that... Wait, is that not very effective? I didn't see what type he was. Ah, uh, it almost defeated him. Thunder? It missed! Wait, does he get to attack again? Ah, uh, that's so sad. He got to attack twice because we used a strong style. Okay, so who can we use to finish him off? You know who would be good to finish him off? Luxray would be good to finish him off. Because Crunch is pretty good on him, and Luxray is a nice and fast Pokemon, so let's do this. I could even probably do an Agile style. I'm going to risk it. This is pretty risky, but I'll try using an Agile style Crunch over here. Let's see, how's that? Okay, good. We finished him off. Very nice. Okay, oh, and I forgot. I almost forgot. Yeah, so once you're, after you take out his HP, you want to get up to him and start throwing lots of bombs at him like that. And then just get ready to start running again, because now... You're gonna have all these balls falling down again. You're gonna have the Volt Arms coming down again. And you also have to avoid the yellow homing balls that are coming towards you. You have to avoid both of those. So let's see, let's see. Are we safe here? Oh man, sometimes it's kind of hard to see around the explosions. Like there's an explosion and it obscures your view for a bit. So you can't see exactly what is clear in front of you. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. He's almost one quarter defeated, so that's pretty good, I think. Oh, let's just get out of there. Can I get a bomb on him? I probably could have gotten a bomb on him there. That would have been so nice. You know what? It's, it's, sometimes it looks like there's an opportunity to get them with a bomb. But if you get close, then they might just shoot out one of those homing yellow balls at you, and then they just get you right away. Okay, now who do I send out? Let's start with sending out Gabite now. Let's send out a Gabite to fight. Because, let's see, is he going to go first? Let's see if he goes first. He might just use Energy Ball and defeat me. Yeah, he uses Energy Ball. Are we defeated? Yeah, we are just defeated right away. Okay, so that's fine. So, all right, let's just swap to Lux right now. And we'll use a Crunch on him. I don't know if I'll use a Normal or an Agile or a Strong Crunch. Let's see. Okay, Agile doesn't let me attack twice, so I'll just use a Normal Crunch over here. Let's see how much damage that does. Okay, a bit less than half. Oh, and his defensive stats were lowered. So you know what? Okay, Energy Ball doesn't defeat me, but it takes away more than half of my health. Okay, so a uh, Strong Style Crunch should finish him off. Let's see. I don't know if I even need a Strong Style Crunch. Okay, now let's get ready to throw bombs at him. Yeah, because he's defeated now. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, it, by default, I think it went back to bombs. Let's go. Let's go over here. Okay, now let's just back off. Okay, get away from that one. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, he's almost half defeated. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, just avoiding those Voltorbs. Don't want to run into those. And remember, that yellow one is just chasing you the whole time. And if things are a bit difficult, you can dive through them. Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say you could dive through them. Because you are invincible for a moment while you are diving. But depending on where you dive to something or someone might hit you right when you get up so you want to be careful of that okay let's see do i have an opportunity to get him i don't know if that got him okay let's see yeah he's sending out another one it's about time for him to send out another one okay now he's gonna start doing this jumping attack again okay so let's start to get ready who are we gonna send out next oh uh aura sphere from decidueye is pretty powerful but you know let's send out rhyhorn i think he defeats rhyhorn in a single hit with energy ball let's just get close now send out a rhyhorn and let's see. Okay, and I swapped back to uh, Bombs before uh, before the battle started. So I won't have to change after the battle. Okay, so Rhyhorn fainted, taken out in a single hit with Energy Ball. 
Now then, Decidueye or Luxray? That is the question. I think I'll send out Decidueye. I'll use an Aura Sphere. Because Aura Sphere, I think the last time that I used this, I think it was more powerful than I thought it would be. Let's see. Okay, Agile Style won't be great because we can't attack twice. So I'll just use it just normally like this. Let's see how much damage that'll do. Let's see. Oh, man. Okay, but that was a critical hit. Thunder. Thunder missed. Thunder missed. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. Let's use an Agile Style Aura Sphere. Agile style, style or Normal? I think Agile will finish him off. Let's see. Let's see. That was some crazy luck over there. Let's see. Does that finish him off? Nice. Nice, nice. Another critical hit. My goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Throw a bunch of bombs at him now. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, where are you? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That blue wave is terrifying. Because I think it might be faster than you are. I don't know if you can get away from this one. It is terrifying. Look how fast it is. Whoa. Wait, I think you can get away from it. It's just that it's a bit faster than the yellow one. You've got to be careful. And depending on where the Volt Orbs land, they can get you pretty easily. Oh, man. 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 Dive. Nice. Okay. I don't know if diving is faster than normal movement. Okay, who am I sending out next? Let's send out a uh, Rabidash. Okay. Okay, now we're back to this phase. Okay. This is the farthest that I've been in the boss fight yet. Man, is his uh, explosion radius getting bigger? I think his explosion radius might actually be getting bigger. Yeah, we can barely make it out that time. Okay, but now we can get back in. Let's send out a Pokemon. And there we go. Okay, we've got our bombs ready for after this fight. Okay, does he get to attack first? Thunder, please miss. How are all of his thunder attacks missing? This is unreal. Okay, now then, flame wheel or what? Oh, with flame wheel, agile, we can attack twice. So we've got to do that. Let's do this. Let's do agile style here. How much damage will that do? Let's see. Was that a critical hit? That wasn't even a critical hit? How are we so good? How are we so good? That's actually unbelievable. I, I actually can't believe that that does that much damage. Is Rapidash just that powerful? It's not super effective, is it? Man, some of my Pokemon are stronger than I thought. Oh, and I almost forgot that we have to start throwing bombs at this guy. Okay, he's less. He's at less than a quarter health. Whoop! There it comes, there it comes, there it comes! Bro, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so we did get a few hits here. Okay, let's see. I maybe can go and throw a few bombs at him. Maybe I can just throw a few bombs at him before he does his big explosion attack. But I'm going to try going like this instead. Let's see. 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 No, I'm just going to avoid it. I'm just going to avoid it. Okay. I, I'm so tempted to just go up to him and just throw these bombs at him. Because I don't know if we need just one more hit or a few more hits to beat him. But let's see. Okay, let's really try to get to the edge over here. See, just running away, running away, running away, running away from the blast radius over here. Okay, and who do we send in for the fight? Let's send in Rabidash again. Oh, wait, I probably don't even have to do this. I can probably just throw bombs at him and defeat him. Whatever, we'll just go for the fight. Let's see. Okay, it uses thunder. Okay, it finally lands a thunder. Doesn't defeat us, though. Ah, oh, but we're paralyzed. That is not good. Now then. Agile style doesn't even let us attack twice now. So you know what? I'm just gonna go for strong style. Go big or go home. Let's go for it. I don't know if this will take about. Probably not, but let's see. How was that? It actually did. It actually did. My goodness. Okay. And did he just need that one more hit? I guess he just needed that one more hit. There we go. We have defeated him. Oh, man. That is by far the toughest boss fight. Other than that, the Arcanine boss fight was slightly difficult, but... The Arcanine boss fight, it isn't, it isn't too bad. You can get a bit unlucky, I think, with where the fire is, and you might be, like, trapped on one side. But the Arcanine boss fight wasn't too bad. This one was a lot tougher, for sure. Ah, uh, what an electrode. I remember playing through a Pokemon Fire Red version, like, one of my later times playing through the game, because I played through the game several times. I remember having no... Oh, cool, Zap Plate! Oh, yeah, I forgot about the plates. Nice. And I remember having an Electrode on my team, and I liked having an Electrode on my team, because it was incredibly fast. Its speed is super high. Oh, for shame, what other, what utter calamity. Hey, bros. How's it going, bros? It's like, man, I, I agreed to make those accursed bombs. Yes, 
But now that Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever, it's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relieved to me. Glad its suffering's ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adamant. Seriously? That's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. Wow, that's so interesting that this person has a different view on everything that's going on. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, but if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. Oh, it's this guy. I arrive on schedule. I forgot about this guy. We haven't seen him in a while. Now, what did you bother coming back for? Someone's not happy to see this guy that came through the space-time rift. Only to say that I recalled some things after ZX Men who did the honor of traveling with me. Or are your memories coming back? Things to do with a world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Let's hear about it. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then, there were the Pokemon Trainers. The ones we called Pokemon Trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got. All to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Yeah, whenever they made eye contact, they had a battle. Through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon and with their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong. Or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding- wait, but Pokemon are a lot stronger than us. That's why we make Pokemon battle Pokemon and not people battle Pokemon. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described to ZX Mini? Uh, it sure was, or I don't remember. It sure was! All of a sudden I have my memories back. I'd never have thought such a world could exist. Yeah, it's in the future, actually. Oh, once again, the brilliant Warden Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokemon that need to be strong, it is me as well. The greater my Valor and Might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. This person really cares about Almighty Sinnoh. Hey, Adamant, share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. All right, all right, open your ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Bring not Almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo! Excellent. Great poem, young chap. Please, all of you, do your best and run towards the destination. An even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, ZX Many. It surely lies with the next lord. Who's the next lord? Now this time, I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilife Village. Perhaps with someone like ZX Many to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report. Until next time, ZX Many. Yep, take care, friend. Well, it's so cool, I have a friend who came from the same dimension as me. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sinnoh really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time. Am I right? And it created everything there is. Am I right? Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Oh, man. Oh, number of times you've seen it use a strong move. Okay, if I could let my Rabidash use a strong move one more time, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be another entry for the Pokedex. Okay, any cool Pokemon to catch around here? Let's see. Wait, I could use Sneasler to climb up here? Oh, my goodness. This is, it's like it's becoming a platforming game. This is unreal. I actually can't believe it. This game actually has everything. This is unreal. We actually have everything in this game. Okay, let's climb up these walls then. Man, it's so weird. I've got to get used to knowing that we can just use this Pokemon and climb up everywhere. Can we climb up any higher? Oh, you cannot go any farther. Okay, never mind. Never mind what I said about being able to go everywhere. We're not able to head up there, apparently. That's kind of funny. I'm like, hey, we just unlocked the ability to go everywhere, finally. And it's like, you cannot go any farther. That is, that is the limit. That's as far as you can go. Okay, but you know where we haven't been yet? Where we haven't been is over here. Ah, oh, you know what? Let me take this guy on like this. Because I want to use... One more? Let's see, do we startle him? Do we catch him unaware? No, we don't. Whoa! He's a higher level than I thought. You know what? 
I'll still use a strong style flame wheel because that'll be another Pokedex entry. Let's see, how's that? Yeah, didn't do much at all. Okay, use Thunderbolt. We're probably defeated, right? Okay, so let's use our ground dragon type Pokemon friend to finish this guy off. That will be. Oh, never mind! They're both defeated. Huh. Can we defeat them? Let's see if we can use this Pokemon to defeat it. That would be nice. We could just use an Aura Spear. Let's see, how is that fast enough? No. So you know what? Let's just do a strong style attack like this. Hopefully it won't defeat me. Ha ha ha. Let's see, how strong is that? Ah! I was about to say perfect. Hey, it gets to attack me twice. Thunderbolt doesn't do much damage, but we are paralyzed. What are you gonna do next, huh? What are you gonna do next, bro? Thunder Wave. Why would you use Thunder Wave when we are already paralyzed? That's such a weird second move to use. Okay, let's use an Aura Sphere here, and that will finish you off. There we go, Luxray, finally defeated. All right, and that's quite a bit of experience. I guess this is probably a good place to go train. All right, and it's cool how we caught that Electabuzz earlier. Okay, so let's, let's go, let's go back then. I guess it's time to go back. Okay, Moonview Arena. What is this one? Mountain Camp. Okay, so that's not where we have to go. Highlands Camp. So now we can go back and we can report to the professor, find out what rank we are going to be and all kinds of fun stuff. So let's rest. Just a little while. And wait, wait, wait. What level Pokemon can we control? Can we control up to level 50 or what? I think we can control up to level 50 right now. 50 and above. Okay, I wonder if we can now control 60 and above. I, I wonder if we're going to reach that rank. Because let's see. Let's craft some stuff. I can't craft any Pokeballs. Oh, man. Man, I've got all these items. But it's like, I don't use a lot of them. I could probably craft some more useful stuff with them. Okay, let me swap my Pokemon. I can probably leave Gabite and instead take the Alpha Gabite, level 56, so he's almost too high for me to control. Rhyhorn, I'm still gonna keep with me until we can evolve him. Oh, I forgot about Whalerin. Whalerin, Whalerin. Whalerin will probably replace Rhyhorn over here. And you know what? I'm actually kind of liking Rabidash. If Rabidash could learn Flamethrower, that would be amazing. Star Raptor's proving to be useful. I've got a pretty solid team over here. I've never had a team like this before. Oh, 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 and our Gabite over here. Our Gabite over here. We can actually evolve it because it is high enough level. This Alpha Gabite that we caught. So you know what? Let's evolve it. So we are now going to have a guard chomp, which is pretty crazy. And here we go. Oh my goodness. Not only is it a not only is it a Garchomp, it is an Alpha Garchomp. So let's make our way out over here. Oh, and it counts that we also have one Alpha one Alpha Garchomp. That's pretty cool. Would you like to report your results to the professor? Yes. Let's see if we get another rank up. Let's see. So we cut all these guys. Not a lot of guys. I should go back up to that area where we caught the Electabuzz. There's probably some more interesting stuff over there. That would also be a great place to train our Pokemon. Okay, 12,000 Poke Dollars. 12.6 thousand Poke Dollars. And how many points do we get? Ah, almost, almost, almost rank 5. We need 540 more points. That's close. Okay, yeah, and we took care of Lord Electrode. So let's go back to the village, of course. Let's go report to Commander Kamado. All right, here we are, Jubilee Village. All right, here we go. I wonder if that guy's ever going to evolve his Wormpole. Will he ever evolve his Wormpole into a Beautifly like he wanted to, or will it always be a Wormpole? That sound when you dive, it just reminds me so much of Link. Alright, here we are, Commander. <laughs> so, Warren Melee believes that the frenzies of these Pokémon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Shadow. Well, uh, we can't know if that's the case or not. But it does beg the question, why ever would Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? It's to test me. Is it angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. Good point. And what is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? It was my cell phone with an RCS. Ah, boy, you must be tired. Go on, go to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Yeah, he's gonna do it just for us. Is it gonna be fried on the fire of a Pokemon? 
All right, I guess we have one more night now. I don't know if this is gonna be the last night of the game. I don't know if there's only uh, one more of those. What are they called? Not legendary, what's the word for them? The Lord Pokemon. I don't know if we only have one more Lord Pokemon to beat. Dinner's on Komodo tonight. Eat your fill. Oh, this is great. The professor looks so shocked. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable, isn't it? Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a lot less onerous, or at least dangerous, task. Wait, wait, wait! Look at the lady sweeping in the background! Oh my goodness! I've seen something like this happen twice in this game now, where if something is very far away from you, then sometimes it has a laggy frame rate like this. I've seen this when I've modded Super Mario Odyssey before for there to be lots of people. Sometimes this happens, but I'm kind of surprised that it's happening here. Earlier we saw it with the Star Raptor, so it's kind of interesting to see it with the lady sweeping in the background there. She's a little laggy with her sweeping. It's almost like a fairy tale. Oh, it's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen from the sky and gone on to help the people of Hisui so much. Are you an angel? Is that why you fell from the sky? Indeed, ZX Benny is indeed an angel. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. That is a fantastic line. Oh my goodness, it's like what you do in private is so important. Like that's your character, that's what you become. And you might think, hey, what I do when nobody's looking doesn't matter, but that is when what you do is most important. Great professor. I'm liking this professor more and more. You let your actions do the speaking for you, ZX Betty, and the message is clear as day. Absolutely fantastic. 100% agree. It doesn't matter one whit where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corps at Jubilee Village now. That is right. We are now part of Jubilee Village. Now do we go to bed? The next day, what happens? Who comes to wake me up now? Okay, we're stretching, had a good night's rest. Isn't it nice getting up early? Hey, it's the Diamond and Pearl. Is it? Uh, it's, it's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Oh, that's so funny, I love those two attitudes. You guys can let me know in a comment if you guys wake up early or if you like to sleep in. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Kamado's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. Am I right? You coming too? Well, let's go see what the commander's got to say for us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. Yeah, it's literally right next door. That's so convenient that I live right next to Galaxy Hall over here. Oh my goodness, this game is going to be such a memorable game. I remember one game like this that gave me a similar feeling as a kid was when I played through uh, Harvest Moon. I was gonna say Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon on the GameCube. Quelled quite the frenzy of four nobles. It wasn't easy. On to the next one! When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble! I guess this is the last one. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who fell out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never stops surprising ya. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalon, which lives in the Alabasta Icelands. Finally, we're going to the snow area. He's also the largest of the nobles, according to what Arida told me. And, you know, I can really trust her when it comes to judging the size of big things. So, anyways, your mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord, and perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalog may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabasta Icelands. Until then, alright, let's go. Wait, hopefully I'm allowed to go. Hopefully I have enough stars to go. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you make well, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people- Yeah, okay, I know everyone's gonna distrust you. Okay, we gotta gain trust through our actions. I got it, I got it! Oh, we're walking downstairs now. Are we going to the command? not commander, captain. Gah! What's happening? Are you being attacked by your Abra? Wait, what is she doing on the floor? What's going on? Oh, it's a Wurmple! Is she scared of bugs? Uh, Abra! Teleport this Wurmple outside! At once! That's so funny! Wait, can Abra actually do that? Let's see, I hear some sounds. 
Oh, that was some weird movement from Abra right there. It just got boosted up. Uh -huh. So, you want to stay up the Alabaster Ice Lines next. This is one of the most treacherous climb you'll face in all of his soil. If you intend to go, show me that you're equal to the challenge by earning your fifth star. No, we can't go yet. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go level up to star rank number five. We need star rank number five. So you know what? You actually have to do quite a bit of exploring in the game before you're able to go to the next area. I'm actually quite surprised at how far you have to go and like how many Pokemon you have to catch, how many moves you have to use, how many different types of Pokemon you have to use and stuff like that. Wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, that's item storage. Okay, I wonder if uh, with that person, if you could also change up your Pokemon. Okay, I'm going outside the village. I'm going back to this region over here. Oh, 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 I probably could have picked a different one. Okay, so I didn't catch a Heracross yet. I know that there's a Heracross around there. There's an Alpha Crobat. Maybe I can catch that. Okay, you know what? Do we want to catch this guy? Let's see. I'm just gonna... Oh, noticed me. Okay, I'm just gonna try and catch everything in our way. Let's see everything that we run into. Oh, Psyduck? Okay, we got four out of six of those caught. How about a Psyduck? Wait, wait, wait. We don't have a lot of Great Balls. I'd love some more Great Balls. Let's see. If we could sneak up on this guy, maybe that would be nice. Come on, just turn around, turn around. You know, I'll just go like that for it. Let's see. If we catch it, that would be nice. If not, that's okay. There's Psyduck over here. Is it gonna notice me? Don't notice me. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Look the other way. Why are you coming so close to me? Turn around. There we go. Okay, six out of six caught. Very nice. Oh, whoa, 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 And our A-Palm can evolve. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Because then we'll have another Pokemon. Look at its face. I love its face. Oh my goodness. I used to draw cartoon characters with smiles like that when I was a kid. Oh my goodness. Okay, but now we have the evolved form of A-Palm. Ambipalm. So that's quite nice that that one evolved. Okay, and let's see. We'll go to another area, but first let's report this. Let's see how many points we get for catching just those four guys. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we got $1,000. Wow, that wasn't much work and we got $1,000 already. Let's see, how many points do we get for that? Let's see, we made some new observations. How many points do we get? 180. Okay, we're close, we're close. We need 360 more. I'm pretty sure that you can't fast travel from one area to another. Like, I can look at Coronet Highlands here. I can see that this is Moonview Arena, but it looks like it won't let me fast travel here. Yeah, it looks like you actually have to go back to Jubilee Village if you want to make it back. Okay, this is where I wanted to go. We can make it all the way back up here. Now, let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's get our, uh, let's get our little Baneary to do some stuff for us. So maybe we can evolve our Baneary. And we could also keep our Rhyhorn out front for taking on uh, these guys over here. Because up here, it seems like there are some electric types up here in the mountains. So our Rhyhorn should be able to take them out pretty easily. I'm not sure at what level Rhyhorn evolves into Rhydon, but we should be okay. Yeah, like uh, we could use one of these bulldozers. That probably won't defeat it, right? Let's see. Okay, yeah, like half defeats it. Oh, it actually used Crunch. I am so surprised. Yeah, you know, I was actually thinking that. I'm like, wait a minute. Why doesn't Luxray use Crunch at all on us? Because that's a dark type move, so that'd be normally effective on us. So why doesn't it just do that? Okay, now, oh, oh, another sleeping Electabuzz. Just like last time. So we should be able to catch it pretty easily because it's sleeping. And that should catch it, right? It's funny how the Magmar was kind of difficult to catch. Oh, 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 okay, never mind. We are now defeating the Electabuzz instead of catching it. Unless Thunder Punch. Yeah, great move. Great job using Thunder Punch on me. Okay, let's do a uh, Bulldoze over here. I don't know if maybe we'll try to catch it. Let's see, how much HP will it have? Its HP is kind of low. You know what, maybe it'd actually be good to catch it. Let's try catching it. We'll use a Pokeball on it. It's too bad that we didn't catch the one that we just threw a Pokeball at. Well, this is the same one, but I mean, it's too bad that we didn't catch it when we snuck up on it. Oh wow, and it escaped, okay. 
All right. Okay, keep using your electric type moves on me. That's fine. Use your electric type moves all you want because they don't affect my Rhyhorn. You know what? Ah, oh, I wanted to actually stand in front of my Rhyhorn during the battle because I'm like, all you're gonna do is electric type moves. It's not okay. Good. Now I get to do it. I'm just gonna stand right here, right in front of my Pokemon. You're not gonna hurt it with any electric type moves. Thunderbolt. I'll just stand right here because the Rhyhorn is a ground. Oh, wait, why did my right horn move out of the way? It's like, I don't want you protecting me. And do we finally get it? How hard is this guy to catch? Why was our first one so easy to catch? Yeah, I'm still gonna keep blocking my Pokemon here. Okay, use Thunder. Yeah, look, it attacked twice in a row, but still. Okay, if I miss one more time, if I don't catch it with the Pokeball, I'm gonna start using the Great Balls. Let's see, please just catch it, please. Okay, that's it. I'm using Great Balls. Or should we just defeat it? Okay, I'll use one Great... Ah, oh, man, but I want to keep going. I want to keep going. Okay, let's use a Great Ball. We've got 13 Great Balls. Maybe now we'll finally have some good luck because none of those Pokeballs work. Let's see. Maybe it's harder to catch because it's a high level. Wow, it escaped from the Great Ball. They keep using Thunder Punch. I love how none of its attacks, or at least none of the attacks that it's used, even affect Rhydon. That's so funny that this whole time we're in this fight and it's just doing nothing. Well, basically doing nothing. Okay, but how hard is this guy to catch? My goodness. Okay, so he knows Thunder, Thunder Punch, I think Thunder Bolt. Okay, I'll use one more Great Ball. Oh, I should have used a Heavy Ball or a Leaden Ball when it was asleep. Let's see. There we go. Okay, we finally caught it. Okay, do we get a 2 out of 2 for Electabuzz's caught? Okay, nice. We get a 2 out of 2. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, Buneary. Please take care of this tree for me. Okay, now then. Can we sneak up on these guys? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, it is the evolved form of Electabuzz up ahead. Okay, let's use a heavy ball on this guy. Stop running! You coward, stop running! I just want to capture you! Ha ha! Ha ha Will we get it? Oh! We didn't get it, okay. So you know what? Let's just fight then, that's fine. That's fine! I will take you on! Let's see, Thunder Punch, you know what? I'll just stand in front of my Pokemon. This will be a safe place to stand during a battle. Let's just use some bulldozers over here. Oh! It actually got me. Okay, maybe I should move out of the way. Not because of, not because I'm scared of the Electabuzz hitting me, but because I'm scared of my own Pokemon attacking me, that's why. Okay, let's see. Is there a, is there a Pokedex entry for defeating Electabuzz with ground type moves? Number you've defeated with ground type moves, one out of one, nice. But Neary leveled up. Okay, still not ready to evolve though. Okay, there, what is the evolved form of Electabuzz called? I can't remember, but either way, it is an alpha Pokemon, which is quite scary. It's a really cool looking Pokemon, but I don't know how useful it would be. Let's see, can this catch it? Oh man, it like turned around into me. Let's see, how's this? Okay, it escaped again! Man, you know what? If Electabuzz itself has a pretty difficult catch rate like this, how hard is it going to be to catch that alpha? Oh my goodness. Wait, my Bulldoze attack miss? I thought the Bulldoze has 100% accuracy. Let's see. Yeah, it's got 100% accuracy. That's so weird that it said Electabuzz evaded the attack. I wonder if it's because it has a berry or a held item that lets it dodge, or if it's a special ability, or if that's something that can actually happen if 100% accuracy moves. Yeah, twice now we missed. That's so weird. That is really, really weird. That's so weird that it avoided the attack twice. I don't know if Pokemon can just sometimes avoid an attack with 100% accuracy. Because I know with uh, moves that don't have 100% accuracy, you can do that. Imagine if you could just sneak up on this guy and catch him like that. Yeah, unobtainable. Level 69. Nice. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully he only knows electric type moves. Let's see. Rock Smash! No! Thank goodness we avoided the attack. Thank goodness we avoided the attack. Oh my goodness, and he's gonna get to attack twice. Should I just use a strong style bulldoze? Let him attack twice in a row. 
This might be our best bet. I'll do that. Let's see how much damage we can do. Same type attack bonus, plus super effective. Let's see how powerful will that be. He's a he's many levels higher. Yeah, not even half of his HP Rock Smash were dead, right? What? Rock Smash didn't defeat us? Okay, and then it uses Agile style. Rock Smash. Okay. That's fine. How much PP does Rock Smash have? Alright, let's send out a Luxray. Maybe we could weaken it a bit with Crunch. Or Quick Attack. Well, and if we do a... Okay, if we do an Agile Cell, Quick Attack, then we can go twice. So let's try this. How much will that do? Almost nothing. Okay, and now what if we do an Agile Crunch or a Normal Crunch? You'll get to attack twice either way. Let's just do a strong, or a normal crunch. Let's see how much that does. Avoided the attack, bro! Stop avoiding my attack, thunder. Whoa, that did a surprising amount of damage. Okay, so now we're dead, right? Two thunders defeats us. Too bad both of them landed, that's kind of sad. So sad. Okay, Decidueye, wait, if I use Aura Sphere, I'm not going to defeat him, am I? That's pretty powerful, so let me do Agile style. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how much damage this will do. Or Sphere, please don't defeat him. Okay, I might even be able to do one more of those. Let's see. Okay, Thunder's not very effective, so that's amazing. Let's do one more Agile or Sphere. That'll probably get his HP low. I don't think it'll defeat him, though, right? Let's see. Let's see. Please be alive. Good. Good. He's still alive. That's perfect. That's what we like to see. Agile style Thunder. Okay, so that won't defeat us unless it's a critical hit. Does he attack again? Rock smash. Does that defeat us? That defeats us. Okay. Okay, come back now. Now then, it is time to send out Rapidash. If we could do Hypnosis, then we can make it drowsy, and we might have a good shot at catching it. Let's do this. Hopefully we don't miss. I'm doing strong style just so we have higher accuracy. Okay, good, good, good. We lined it. Okay, so it is now drowsy. So sometimes it might not attack. Okay, use Rock Smash. Great. Okay, that actually did- Oh! Oh, it attacked twice with Rock Smash. Okay, defensive stats were lower. Okay, we're probably dying soon. So, let's use some of our Great Balls now, I guess. It is at low HP and it's drowsy, but it's a super high level, so I don't know if we can catch it. Let's see. It, yeah, it'll probably take a few attempts. I don't know if we'll be able to catch it before it takes out our team. Staraptor is probably going to be defeated very quickly because we are a flying type. So let's see this. Let's just throw some great balls. Maybe we could catch it. It'd be great if we could catch it. Let's see. Oh, man. That's so nice. That's so nice. We got it. Oh, man. And experience candy L. Oh, and that's a lot of level ups. All right. That is great. Oh, man. That is great. That is great. Now, who do I use this experience candy on? You know what? Let's use it on our Rhyhorn. Hopefully, he can evolve soon. Let's see, leveled up. Not ready to evolve yet. Maybe it also evolves at level 40. Oh, wait, here's another one. Experience Candy L. How's that? Okay, almost level 40. I'm guessing that our dude here is going to evolve at level 40. So it's nice that he's almost level 40 now. So let's see, Electabuzz. This is the perfect place to train Rhydon. We just use a bunch of bulldozers over here. None of their attacks hurt us. And they're very high level, so... We get a lot of experience from it. And our whole team gets a lot of experience too, which is quite nice. Let's see, we're probably going to be level 40 now. And I'm wondering if now we'll get the can evolve message. Let's see, can we evolve? Can we evolve? Can we evolve? Oh, oh, maybe it's level 42 that we evolve. Let's see. Let's get Veneri to take care of this course. Oh, there's someone up there too. Let's make our way up here. Whoa, there's a cave over here. What could be back there? Let's talk to this galaxy member. Bro, what are you doing here? This is the stone portal. I've been told to not let anyone pass. Can I enter? This is the stone portal. Ah, that's so sad. I thought that he'd let us through. I wonder if that's like a post game thing. Okay, so let's see anything nice around here. Let's make our way down here. Let's dive down the mountain. Okay, a Gligar. Let's see, I wonder if we'll run into anything interesting on the side of the mountain over here. There is a Gligar. Anything else? Pretty cool how we're just running on the side of a mountain here. Wait, why did I take that damage? Was that fall damage or what? Or is it because it's like dangerous here and there's... You can't... You cannot go any farther. Okay, I guess that's the edge of the world. So foggy here, I can't see what's going... You cannot go any farther. 
Where do I go? Where do I go to go back? Where did I come from? Everywhere I go, it's saying you cannot go any farther. Oh, never mind. Here's where we can go. Okay, Graveler and a Bronzor. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that is an Alpha Graveler, actually, not just a Graveler. Man. Okay, let's catch this guy first. We could probably get him with a Leaden Ball. Now, what about the Graveler? That Graveler looks terrifying. Imagine that growing into a Golem. Golem is a pretty darn powerful Pokemon. Let's see. Yeah, we can't catch it like this. Ah, I wanted to sneak up on it and hopefully get a free shot on it. Let's see. Bro, why are you not attacking it? Attack it, bro. Attack it, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so let's see. Does it get to go first? Does it get to go first? Don't go first. Don't go first, bro. Stealth Rock. Ah, why would you do that? Oh, it's not fair. Wait, it's not very effective. I thought that Rock was super effective on grass. I, I'm guessing Stealth Rock is a Rock type move. Let's see, Leaf Blade. Oh, if I do this, I'll get to attack twice. So let's do that. Let's see, how much damage will that do? I think that's double super effective. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. Ah, I don't like how much HP he has, though. Uh, this will be not very effective. Because I don't want to defeat him. That is the thing. I'll do this Agile style. I don't want to defeat him. This probably won't do much damage at all. But I want to be very careful to not accidentally defeat him. Yeah, that did almost nothing, actually. So, you know what? If I do, like, one or two more of those double edge... Oh! Oh, now he's gonna get hurt with, uh, recoil. So that's actually okay, as long as he doesn't defeat himself. Okay! <laughs> okay! Uh, never mind about him not defeating himself. Okay, but... At least we get an experience candy. Should I use that on some... Oh, let's use the, uh, experience candy on you-know-who. Let's use it on this guy over here, level 41. Okay, I want to evolve this guy. Whoa, that is a big drop. I was just about to run off there. Let's take a step here. Oh yeah, that's right. I could use Sneasler to just go down the cliffs. There we go. Okay. Now let's... Oh, a Wisp is right over there. And now that we can travel in water, that makes these much easier to collect. Okay, 18 Wisps remaining in the area. Haunter. I wonder if Haunter has the levitate ability in this game, or if ground-type moves will be super effective against him. Because I know it looks like he's levitating, but I don't know if... I don't know if uh, Pokemon have special effects like they do. I don't know if it started in Gen 2 or Gen 3. Let's see if this works. It says super effective. Uh, too drowsy to move. Okay, yeah, use Hypnosis again when I'm already drowsy. Good idea. Let's use Bulldoze. Okay, it does work. That's great. And it's super effective. Okay, we defeated a level 41 Haunter, and we are level 41. Okay, we didn't level up yet. Oh, nice. Three out of three defeated, so that's another entry. And you know what? Carabineri okay, isn't evolved yet. Let's try defeating a Ghastly, and then we'll head back. Maybe that'll be enough for us to get our rank number five, and then we should be able to... Then after that, we should be able to... Oh, it avoided the attack. Okay, and then after that, we should be able to head to the next area. I don't know if it's going to be the final area. I'm assuming that it's the final area. And then maybe that cave, that, like, cave that we saw, maybe that's, like, some post-game content. Number defeated, five out of six. Ah, uh, we need to defeat one more Ghastly. Okay, but you know what? We've got to gotta get out of here. Okay, let's report our results to the professor. And hopefully... Oh, we only got three. Okay, but we get $3,000. Okay, this should be enough to boost us, right? Come on, we got an alpha Pokemon. We got an alpha Pokemon after all. Let's see. How many points do we get? 130, 100, 230. No, we still didn't make it. We still didn't make it. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta continue then. Wait a minute. I just realized this statue here, it looks like the, uh, I think this is the evolved form of Nose Pass, right? It's a statue of a Pokemon, but who could have made it and how long ago? That's a good point. Wait a minute. And there's a Clef Clefable or Clef the evolved form of Clefairy. Yeah, Clefable. It's Clefable, right? I think it's Clefa, Clefairy, and Clefable. Wow, that's so interesting. Oh, these guys are here. You know what? Let's take on these guys. Let's go. Ready to fight you, bro. Let's go. Another electric type. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Right? Thundershock. Nice try. I'm going to use a bulldoze on you. And that'll get you. 
There you go. It's super effective. Okay, let's go into the grass. Maybe we'll be able to sneak up on the next guy. Where's the next guy at? Oh, number defeated with ground type moves is four out of five. So let's defeat one more with ground type moves. Bam! Is it startled? I wonder if you have to hit it from behind to startle it and catch it unaware. Yeah, because sometimes they just get to go first, even though I run into them like this. You'd think that you have an advantage if you sneak up on a Pokemon. Hey, can we get this item? You probably have to wait till after the battle to pick it up. There we go. Nice. Okay, we still haven't leveled up yet. Now, who do we want to use? Who's someone that we haven't used? Oh! Oh, I think that there's an entry for number of times that you've used strong moves with Rabidash. So let's try this. Let's try using some strong moves with Rabidash. Let's see. Let's do a strong flame wheel. Oh, wait, but I've done a bunch of strong hypnosis attacks, so I don't know if, uh... I don't know how much that'll help. Oh, man, that did so little damage. I guess the rain is, uh, really making the fire attack weaker. Let's see, Hurt by its Burn, does it attack twice? Yeah, it attacks twice, that's not good. Okay, Hurt by its Burn. You know what? I'll still go for a Strong Style Flame Wheel, because that should finish it off. Its HP is pretty low now. And goodbye, Golbat. Let's see, do we get an entry for that? Number defeated, 2 out of 2, nice. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 let's just use a uh, Lux Ray. We haven't used our Lux Ray in quite a while. Because we've been running into, like, lots of electric types and stuff like that, so we haven't really used our electric type much against them. Okay, let's do a strong style Thunderfang. That should finish them off. 100% accuracy. Plus, super effective, plus same type attack bonus equals goodbye, Golbat. Now then, there was a... There was a... Yeah, right over there. Parasect, okay. Oh! And Rabidash can learn a new move now. You know what? Let's check what the new move is then, because maybe it'll be worth... Learning the new move right now. Flare Blitz. You know what? Let's get rid of Ember and let's learn Flare Blitz then. Because maybe there's a Pokedex entry for seeing Rabidash use Flare Blitz. So let's try using this. Let's see. Flare Blitz is right over here. 100% power. This also... Oh, it also damages the user. Okay, so we get hurt with... I don't know if we get hurt with recoil or if we just take some damage. Oh! Oh! We took quite a bit of damage. Okay, nice. Seven out of eight of those defeated. Oh, a bunch of these are over here. And you know what? We do want to defeat some of these. So let's see. Can we fight just one? Can we fight just one? No, they're both here. They're too close. That's so sad. That is so sad. Okay, let's do a... Uh... If only I had an attack that could damage both of them. If only I had Surf. Well, I guess that Surf doesn't matter too much with Rapidash. But... This Rabidash is a fire type, so I probably wouldn't want to teach my Rabidash Surf. Well, actually, if Rabidash could learn Surf, maybe it would be worth learning. Let's do Flare Blitz. We'll take some damage, but that's fine. Oh, I didn't see if there's a Pokedex entry for number of times you saw Flare Blitz used. But, yeah, we should reach 6 out of 6. 9 out of 20 Paris is defeated. That's a lot of Paris is defeated. Okay, we're getting a few level ups over here. Oh, this guy wants to battle too, huh? Okay, let's do a Flare Blitz over here. Let's do a... Oh, I can't do a Strong Flare Blitz. That's so sad. Strong Flare Blitz. Strong Flare Blitz would probably be pretty powerful. Because by default, the move has, what, 100 power? So Strong Flare Blitz would be pretty powerful. Okay, one out of one Yanma defeated. Let's try getting him with this. Let's see, it's a Bug Flying type, right? So maybe we could use an Electric move. Hypnosis. Okay, it's Hypnosis missed. Let's see. Let's use a strong Thunderfang. Yeah, that'll be super effective. Yeah, so that should take it out. And let's see. My Pokemon are almost at level 50. Like, look, this is a level 48 right here. It would be so cool if you could ride on that Pokemon. Like, if you could choose what Pokemon you ride on, that'd be really cool. I should make a mod that does that. Okay, let's see. Bunch of these guys around. You know what? Let's try and catch maybe one more Pokemon. Okay, never mind. Those guys don't want to be caught. They just want to chase me. Okay, let's see if now, if we have enough points for rank 5 stars finally. Hopefully we have enough points for rank 5 stars. I was thinking that maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe right after we finish the previous mission that we'd have enough points for rank 5 star. But you actually have to do quite a bit. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We made some new observations. Let's see, let's see. Fill it up. Plus 70. No! No, we're 70 away! Oh, it's like each research task gives you 10, I guess. Hey, we are 70 away. 
Okay, I've got to continue then. I've got to continue, bro. I'm getting so close. If I could evolve this guy, then we'd probably be in a pretty good state. Okay, I'm battling two of them at once, right? You know what? That's actually okay. That's actually okay, because they're just going to use, like, a bunch of thunder shocks, probably. As long as they don't use, like, bite and crunch, we should be fine. Let's go like this. Let's use a fast bulldoze. Agile-style bulldoze. And that should be strong enough to beat them, even though it's agile, right? Yeah. Now this one. You're not going to run away, are you? Don't run away. Oh, use bite. Oh, man. It's actually attacking. That's interesting, okay? And we'll just use a normal bulldoze to finish it off. Now then, does our Rhyhorn level up finally, and do we get to evolve? That is the question. Let's see. We didn't level up yet. Okay, let's take on one more. Okay, it starts off with a bite actually dealing some damage onto us. You know what this is? This feels like the first time in the game where I actually have to do a bit of grinding. Other stuff, it just feels- wait, can we evolve? Yes, can evolve. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Other times in the game, I never felt like I had to do any grinding at all. I just felt like I was just progressing through the game, just exploring, and we were getting enough experience points to always be ready for the next mission. I guess maybe except for like the first mission. It's like I had to go and catch some more Pokemon than I thought that I would. Okay, but here we go. We have now got a ride on. So you know what? That's one new Pokemon caught. So let's talk to the professor and let's see if that is enough. Let's see, bro. Is that enough? Do I get 70 points for that? Do I get 70 points for that? Yes! Yes! Oh, wait. I only needed 60. Okay, but I got 70. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's return to the village. Okay, we can finally get the next rank up and go to what might be the final area. All right. So let's make our way over. Back to here. Man, this is such a nice village. I've been enjoying this game so much. I can't believe that, well, as far as I know, we are getting close to the end of the game. I can't believe that we're finally getting close to the end of the game, as far as we know. All right, did you take care of that worm pull, ma'am? Yes, we made progress on your research tasks. Yes, yes, yes. I am ready for the final, well, not the final rank, rank five. Okay, I've earned a star. You rank star number five. Man, it takes quite a while to get the star. And that's crazy, there are still quite a few more stars that we can still get. We finally reached the fifth star. You now use wing balls. Pokemon up to level 65 will obey you in battle. Oh! Okay, I don't know what wing balls are. One apricorn, one sky tumble stone, and one iron chunk. Okay, I see, I see, I see. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the survey corps I can task with surveying the alabaster ice lines. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, you, oh, and this time she doesn't even brief us. She's like, you know what to do. Go get it done. All right, she's finally, she's finally entrusting us with, she's finally entrusting us with independence because we have portrayed our competence through our ability to complete tasks, to complete tasks with minimal supervision. Oh, hello, Akari. Akari, how are you, my friend? I can't dive past them. So... We have to make for the Alabaster Iceland, huh? That's right. Uh, Akari, do you want to battle again? I see. Uh, of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene. But this Avalug out in Alabaster Iceland hasn't harmed a soul as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalug's as great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess, I still have my doubts whether we should be getting involved in this case. More and more people are starting to say that now. No damage has been done so far. But if we send ZX many out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering in its frenzy like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies are truly causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder, that the Commander hopes will come about from the quelling of the nobles? Well, we, maybe we'll find out some more information about the space-time rift, or indeed from surveying any of the Pokemon of this land. What is it he hopes to achieve? What if the Commander's actually evil? A way to coexist, protecting everyone? Protecting everyone, that's probably what he wants to do. That's at least what he says he wants to do, but can we trust people with that much power to do what they say? Can we trust their motives, or do they just want to stay in power? Are they just an idealist, a utopian? Let's see, indeed, the better we understand our Pokemon neighbors, the safer we'll all feel and be. Yes, yes, yes. 
But if the real goal of this mission is to quell a noble for quelling's sake, rather than for the sake of scientific study, then... Professor Laventon? Ah, nothing to bother yourself about. Doubtless, I'm just being a silly little sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you? Then we will support you in it. The best support I can offer you now is another chance to practice your battle skills. All right, I'm gonna win or I'd better not. Akari, I would love to battle you again. Let's see. Wait, I'm just glad to have the opportunity to battle you. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a Survey Corps member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. If I beat you, can I have your Pikachu? I wonder if Pikachu will ever evolve into a Raichu. Oh, she has three Pokemon now. All right, let's see. Who is she going to have? Mr. Mime. Oh, her Mime Jr. evolved into Mr. Mime. Okay. Wait, I've got a... This is a bad matchup. I shouldn't have started with Decidueye. Because... Yeah, that's not a good move, Kate's defensive stats went up. You know what? I am swapping. Let's swap to Luxray. You'll get a free shot, sure. But I do have Crunch. Hopefully I can take you out with Crunch. Let's see, what are you doing now? Psychic! Oh, that is a powerful move. That is a very powerful move! It's a very powerful move, man. Got a very strong Pokemon using a very powerful move. You know what? I'm gonna use a strong style Crunch. You might defeat me with a Psychic, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. Let's see, how good is that Crunch? Ah, no! Yeah, Psychic's taking me out. So sad! That is so sad! All right, at least Baneri's gonna get some experience. Let's see, who do I send out next? You know, Staraptor? Hold on, who does she have? She still has her Pikachu. So you know what, maybe I'll send out this guy, or do I save it? You know what, let's play super risky. Let's give the audience something nice to see over here. Let's do this. We're sending out a Staraptor. If she sends out a Pikachu, it's gonna be an interesting battle we have. Let's do Aerial Ace or Quick Attack. If I do a fast Quick Attack, then I can attack twice. Let's see how much. I don't think that'll take it out, right? Let's see. Unless we're really strong. Yeah, we're not super duper strong. So let's just do another agile style quick attack. And then we'll be able to take out this Mr. Mime over here, which is nice. There you go. Now, I kind of hope that she sends out Pikachu. I want to face Pikachu with my bird Pokemon. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. Pikachu versus the... Oh, it goes first. Thunderbolt. Are we dead? Yep, we're dead. Okay. Oh, critical hit. Okay, okay, okay. But... But now I get a free swap to, to someone that I would like to take on the Pikachu with. Oh wait, are you, um, are you gonna use like Iron Tail or something? Tell me you don't have Iron Tail. Let me use a Strong Bulldoze. Will that take it out? It's five levels higher than me. I'll try it, I'll try it. Let's see, Strong Style Bulldoze. How strong will that be? Let's see. Yeah, goodbye, Pikachu! Wait, hold on. Let me go stand closer to Akari. We can go stand by her. Oh! You have a Staravia! Oh, that's kind of funny. Okay, quick attack. Your quick attack. I'm sorry, you have a poor matchup over here. Wait, you're gonna use another quick attack? It's not gonna do much damage. Brave Bird! Uh... Oh, it's not very effective. Okay. Alright, well, that's fine. Oh, and you get hit with Repel. Do I have a nice Rock-type move? Rock Slide 90% accuracy. Or this one. You know what? Let's do this. It'll be super effective, plus 100% accuracy, plus same type attack bonus. Will that take you out? How do you like that, huh? How do you like that, Staravia? Let me get in your Pokemon's face. Why are you shining that light from the Pokeball in my face? Battle decided. There's something so natural about the sight of you and your Pokemon fighting together. Her face looks like her expression is just like, oh, like she's just making that sound. That's how I imagined it. About your mission in the Icelands, well, it will be a challenge. Be careful out there. I wonder if we're going to see lots of ice Pokemon. If we see a Swinub and a Pillow Swine, I would be so happy. Swinub is one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. I love Swinub so much. It is so adorable. And it's a ground ice type, which is pretty cool. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabasta Icelands forthwith. See you there, my boy. All right. Thank you for the help. Now then, when we get there, I'll change Pokemon, I guess. Yeah, I'll change Pokemon when we get there. All right, let's go. The Alabaster Ice Line's up here. I'm guessing that's probably the final area, even though it looks like maybe there's something here to the left. Or even over here. I wonder if more areas would ever get added. But for now, we're going to the Alabaster Ice Line's, and this might be the final area. Oh, this is so cool. We're finally in a snow area. 
That's so cool. I think there are quite a few games where it's like a snow area is the last area or one of the last areas. Man, this looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm playing the Elder Scrolls, like Skyrim or Oblivion. I've never played Skyrim. I'd love to play Skyrim one day. Oblivion was one of my favorite games ever. The AI is absolutely hilarious in that game. So let's have a look over here. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these alabaster ice lands, apart from Tau Hua leading the Odd Supply Corps excursion to gather materials. Oh, so that's what the Supply Corps do. Oh, that makes sense. They go around to different areas, collect materials, and then sell them. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalug, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission to tackle Avalug will be an another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Arita and Adamant, and try to keep yourself safe. I will do that, Professor. Thank you, Professor. CX Many, Brisk out here, isn't it? Ah, the Diamond and Pearl Clan are getting along now. Isn't this great? How aren't you freezing? He's got a good point. Like, look at her. She's got, like, no sleeves over here wearing shorts. My goodness. You're gonna get sick. Freezing? I'm practically sweating. You think this is bad? Just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're heading. Okay, okay, you don't have to act up. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I think they're gonna really get along, if you know what I mean. I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan cling to your mighty vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not Almighty Sinnoh. Okay, they're back to the time and space. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is? You're talking about the Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalug's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said we'd be headed somewhere even colder? Okay, come on, you don't gotta, you don't need to, you guys don't gotta have the attitude. I want you guys to get along, let's go. Sure, stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See you at Avalug's legacy, ZX Mini. You're not at all like him. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, let's swap Pokemon. Oh, you know who we still could evolve? We could evolve Rosalia. Oh, I kind of want to take Gardevoir with this. Gardevoir is a pretty low level now, though, compared to the others. Okay, I think this will be a pretty good team over here. You know what? Should I... Should I get rid of my Staraptor? I think I might actually leave my Staraptor behind. I think we'll leave Staraptor behind. We've got three Alpha Pokemon with us. We've got Alpha Walrein, level 51. Alpha Drapion, level 46, and Alpha Garchomp, level 56, which is our strongest Pokemon. Alright, it is time to go explore this wintry area. Is that a- Oh! Oh, that's the guy that evolves into Glacy! Gla- is it called Glacy? It, it evolves into that big block of ice thing with angry looking eyes. It's a little triangle Pokemon, right? Let's see, I'm pretty sure it's a Pokemon, right? Uh-oh! Low battery, that's not good. Okay, well, I'll have to swap controllers, I guess. Okay, okay, let's first catch this guy, though. Let's see. If we can get him, that's amazing. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we got him! Snorunt! Okay, I was thinking that it's called Snorkel for a second. Wait. Okay, I was thinking that there's just, like, a big drop down here. Wait a minute. Oh, there's an A-bomb over there! Oh, right, yeah, duh. I forgot that we have the Pokemon that we could just use to climb over that. We've got the climbing Pokemon. We could probably also climb up there. Maybe there's some interesting stuff up there. Man, we just have so many paths open to us now. Okay, you know what? It's time to go down here. Oh, I thought that my Pokemon would, would immediately come. I was trying to press the A button onto it. Okay, anything down there. Let's see, let's swap to this. Let's have you take care of this for me, bro. All right, let's swap into this guy. Let's jump onto that and swap. Yes, yes, we can swap to the climbing guy. Okay, thank you, climbing Pokemon. It's time to do some climbing now. Now then, let's swap to this guy. I really haven't done much searching at all with the bears. Ah, I woke up the a -palms. Maybe I could have caught the a -palms if I didn't sneak up on them. Well, I see- Oh! Yes! 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 Swine up! Yes! Yes, there's a little swine up. Oh, there's probably going to be an alpha pillow swine. Okay, there's a pillow swine over there, but there's probably going to be an alpha pillow swine. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's lock onto this guy over here. And we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Look at its little nose. Look at its little schnauzer there. 
Okay. Wow, so many of them are up ahead, too. Wait, no, he ran away. Why would you run away from I'm not trying to catch you, bro. Come on, bro. Just relax, bro. Why would I try to catch you, huh? Ha! I caught you. <laughs> okay. Oh, pillow swine over there. Okay, it noticed me. Senpai has noticed me. Who are we gonna... Who are we gonna fight it with? Let's see. Ground ice. So what would be good against it? You know, let's fight like this. Let's just see. Would grass be okay? Maybe grass would be okay. Let's try... Let's try just a normal leaf blade. Let's see how that does. Let's see. Super effective. Nice. And just a sliver of HP left. Okay, use ancient power. Wow, that's not very effective on me. Okay. And its HP is very low. So maybe using a Pokeball would be okay. Let's try this. Let's see how that is. Do we catch it? Lovely. It has been caught. Pelo Swine has been caught. Okay, and... Oh, I thought that we got an item. Wait, oh, I did catch a swine up for a second. I'm like, wait, did I catch a swine up even? Oh, and that was also a heavy pillow swine that we caught. That's pretty cool. Okay, another one of these snorkeling things over here. What are they called? Snorunts, that's what they're called. It's like snow and run combined together. I just realized that. Uh-oh, whoops, that was an accident. Let's lock onto this guy. And let's see if we can get him. Let's see, do we get him? Do we got him? Do we got him? Do we got him? Or do you want to fight? No, it is running away. Wait, does it want to fight? Will it want to fight or will it run? Looks like it's just running, actually. Maybe I'll be able to catch it again if I sneak up on it. Let's see. Go, Pokeball! And I'll catch this swine up, too. Oh, no, it's running away. Why are you running? I'm not gonna try and catch you, bro. Bro, why would I want, uh, why would I want a swine up? Why would I want an adorable little... Why would I want an adorable little... Ground ice type. Okay, you're running too far. Forget about you. I'm gonna go for a different one. You're lucky you get to run away today. Okay, let's try and get this guy over here. Let's see. I'm gonna try and catch it with leaden balls. Whoa! Ha why did you jump back like that? What in the world happened to you, bro? Okay, let's see. This is gonna catch you. What? Oh, it's angry now! Oh, no! How did that not work? How did that not work? That's so sad. Okay, I guess we have no choice but to fight. I love how its little eyes come out. Where you can see his eyes. Wait, icicle what? Oh! Oh, oh, yeah. Ice is super effective on me. Hey, you know what? Rabidash, it is your time to shine. Hey, okay, level 45 pillow swine. Let's see how we can do against this. Flare blitz. Nah, let's just use a flame wheel. Oh, and we get to attack twice? Bro, that's great. Okay, let's do a flame wheel. Maybe one will be enough. Let's see. Super effective. Oh, one wasn't enough. But we do get to do one more, which is nice, so that'll finish it off. I wonder if there's a Pokedex entry for defeat Pillow Swine with Fire-type moves, maybe? Okay, well, number defeated one out of one. Oh, I guess there isn't anything special for defeating them with Fire-type moves. Is that a Baneri up there? I wonder if getting that Baneri would be better. Because I do have a Baneri that I trained a bit, but Baneri normal levels up based on how much the Baneri likes you. Like, once it's affection level, reaches a certain amount, not like it's level, like this Pokemon's level 47, this one's level 51, not that level. But Baneri normally levels up based on affection, I'm pretty sure. Based on how much it likes you. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Lots of these Pokemon. What's that in the background there? Man, there's a big area to explore here. Oh! Oh! Oh, here you are, sir! Hello, sir! How do you do, sir? Hello, please make battle with me. No, that's not how you battle. That's not how you battle. Wrong button. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Because I switched to Joy-Cons and it's so weird. It's so weird playing this game with Joy-Cons. Maybe it's because I'm so used to playing it with a controller. Front. Okay, how's that? Not bad. Oh, defensive stats were lowered. So I'm probably dead with one more hit, actually. Let's see. Okay, if I do Agile, I can go twice. So maybe we can attack then throw a Pokeball. Let's see if that'll work. Let's see. How's that? Okay, about half dead. Let's swap to a Great Ball, because it's level 53, that's a nice high level. Man, I remember getting one of those in Pokemon Ruby and having so much fun with it. It's such a cool Pokemon. There's that one cave in Pokemon Ruby where you can catch a bunch of Ice-type Pokemon. You can catch, like, this guy. You can catch Spiel. And, man, both of those are so cool. They're probably some of my favorite Ice-type Pokemon. Oh! Oh, there's an Obama Snow down there. Let's see, let's see. Oh, and there are also the little guys like this. Okay. Now then, I want to get down without dying. Sneezler, thank you. Okay, let's go. Let go. Now, in case there's an Obama Snow over there. Okay, but here's the here's the little ones. These are from Gen 4. 
Let's see. See if we can uh, sneak up on him. Great Ball should probably be enough for this guy, right? Especially if we get him from behind like that. Yeah, that should be good. Now, if we can get the other guy with a... Uh... Oh, what? How did you escape, bro? How did you escape, bro? How in the world did you... Oh, wait. If I use fire on it, it's definitely being defeated in a single turn. Even if I use my weakest fire attack and I do agile style, it's definitely getting defeated because that's double super effective. It is grass ice. So fire is double super effective, plus we have same type attack bonus. That does like six times as much damage as normal. Who noticed me? Who noticed me? Someone sees me. I don't know who sees me, but someone sees me. And they're angry. Okay, well, I'd like to take on this guy. Well, not take him on. I'd like to capture him, actually. Let's try using a Leaden Ball. So this is the Evolve form. This is Obama Snow. Ab Abama Snow, not Obama Snow. But... What is the first Evolve form called? I can't remember what the first Evolve form is called. Okay, let's sneak up on him. And that... Will hopefully catch him. Please tell me that that catches him. Come on, there we go. Yeah, Obama Snow, there we go. Okay, we don't have the first Evolve form. It's funny that we only have the second Evolve form, actually. And it's pretty cool how you could, uh, walk around as that Pokemon. But what we want to do is right on this guy over here. We gotta find one of those, uh... Oh, oh, another Stantler. We got a Stantler earlier. Does Stantler have an Evolve form? This guy almost looks like he's an Evolve form of Stantler. Let's jump over the Pokemon. Wait, what in the world is that? Is that a Pokemon? I've never seen this before. This must be something that came after, uh... This must be something that came after Gen 4. Okay, bro, you know what? Do you want to fight? You want to fight, bro? I'll catch you, bro. I'll catch you. I'll catch you, bro. There's so many of these little icicle things. What are they? They're actually pretty cool looking. It must be some kind of, a uh, Must be some kind of new Pokemon after Gen 4. Oh, and there are those guys over there. Okay, let's catch this guy then. What is this? Oh! Oh, no, it's angry! It's angry. Okay, I guess we gotta fight it. We gotta fight it. We gotta fight it. We gotta fight it once run away. Bergmite! Okay, only level 36. Let's see if a- let's try an Agile Flame Wheel. I don't know if that'll defeat it. If it doesn't, then maybe we can catch it. Let's see. Man, and you guys can see my Joy-Con Drift. My person- I'm not- I wasn't even touching the joystick, I guess. Okay, and we did defeat it in a single hit. Okay, let's try to catch another one. Okay, there's a- there's one over there. Okay, who sees me? Oh, this! Wait, you're not an Alpha, are you? Are you just a regular Bergmite? Look how adorable that looks! It kind of reminds me of Corsola from Gen 2, but like if it was an Ice type. Okay, let's see. We're probably also defeating it with an Agile style, right? Let's see. You're dead, right? Yeah. Okay, so maybe we can sneak up on the one over there. There's one over here somewhere. Where was it? There it is. We can sneak up on that one. That would be cool. Man, this lighting looks so cool. Oh my goodness. I want to go explore the Arctic now. Actually, it's very, very cold there. Why do these bros keep noticing me? I just want to sneak up on some of these. Man, it's so hard to sneak up on these. Let's see. Is the other one still following? Bro, stop following me! Stop it. If I use a different attack, can I possibly let it survive? Let's see. I could use double edge, but then I'll be hurt with recoil. I'll just use another flame wheel. That's fine. Defeat another one of these. Maybe we'll get some Pokedex entries for defeat. Yeah, I'm not even holding left, but my person is running. Oh! Oh, it's still alive! Okay, that's actually perfect. That is perfect. Okay, because now we'll be able to swap to this. And hopefully catch- Oh! Yes, I do want to throw a Pokeball, actually. I do want to throw a Pokeball. Let's see. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Okay, good, good. We did finally get one of these. I have no idea if this evolves or not. Because I've never seen this Pokemon before. This is a completely brand new Pokemon to me. I don't know what game it is from. Alright, let's head over to these guys now. Alright, everybody, how are we doing, my bros? How are we doing, bros? Oh, is this the... Oh, he, uh, he's all right with it being cold over here. Man, and we thought the girl wasn't wearing a lot of clothes. But this guy's like, oh, it's so warm, I don't even need a shirt. Well, that was a real slug fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. Good thing we're out in the... This gentleman is Avalug's warden and my honorable teacher, Gayrek. So show some respect, Adamin. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I'm Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be ZX Many, right? From the Galaxy team? Huh, what? Are you cold or something? Huh? What are you doing here? You're cold, aren't you? He's in a frenzy. That's why I want to help him. Not because I was commanded to. That leads to my next question. What's wrong with him being frenzied? It could trouble others, or I don't know. It could trouble others. Then I have another question. 
Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? To quell his frenzy, or I don't know. To quell his frenzy! We've gotta take care of this. Our mighty lord of the tundra, Avalog, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, pl please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right, but... Um, uh, but, but like, uh, all right, fine, let's battle. Let's start, let's go. I wonder if he's gonna have ice-type Pokemon? Wait, am I battling him? My musculature is as hard and unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? I like his squat. He's not even doing one-legged squats. Look at this guy. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. All right, okay, all right. He's got one of these. Okay, so I'm so glad that we're starting off with Rabidash. This is fantastic. Oh, my HP is so low. Whoa, 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 Oh, I might be dead from that crunch. Don't both attack me. Okay, good, good, good. Just one attack me. Now then. Do I go really hard? Let's see, that has 75 power. Let's go for a Flare Blitz. Let's take out his Glalie. Let's do this. Let's do this, Flare Blitz. I'm gonna take out myself, but we're obviously taking out the Glalie. That's alright, because my HP is so low that I'm probably getting defeated next turn anyway. And this guy's got two Pokemon set out at once, so I don't like that. So let's send out Luxray next, because I think that's partially a ghost type. Frostlass. I think this might be from Gen 4, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure, though. Okay, but Crunch... Let's see. Let's just go for a strong style crunch then. It'll get to attack twice in a row if we do this. But we might- Oh, it's only level 24. Okay, so we're obviously defeating it in a single hit. Yeah, there we go. I didn't even need- I probably could have even defeated it with agile style. Okay, we all get some experience. Oh, I should- Oh, you know what? Why do I- Why do I have my Garchomp with me here? Garchomp is ground dragon. Ice is double super effective against me. This is the worst place to break Garchomp. Outstanding! I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. I suppose you can all get on with it. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like ZX Many, but I'll vouch for him. Then, if you insist on quelling the fury, you want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need brave here. Oh, oh, I wanted to say this earlier. I don't remember if I said this in my playthrough, but I was saying, what if we get a Pokemon that lets us fly? I was thinking about this. There's a moment where I went to the bathroom and I was actually thinking of this. I'm like, we got a Pokemon that lets us surf. We got a Pokemon that lets us climb. We got a Pokemon that lets us move fast on the land. The only place that we can't go is fly. If we, the only place that we can't go is in the air, in the sky. If we can fly around, then we have access to like the entire, oh, I guess we can't go underground. If the bear could make you go underground, that would be absolutely unbelievable. Long story short, you've got to go seek out a young lady named Sabby. Tell the long story though, you're not saving any time if we waste it puzzling out what you mean. Isn't Avalug one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. But listen up, alright? The Eternal Ice stuff can be found atop Avalug's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneasler can climb this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're gonna have to approach by air, with Braviary's help. Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalug's legacy, I'll have you know. He says he made it to within six feet of the top. Might makes right, or at least height. He's like, yes, yes, I did do that. And uh, about Sabby, how do I put this? Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds, if you know what I mean. Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snowpoint Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner. Wait a minute, what? Sabby? Wait, is Sabby right here? Oh my goodness, she's right there! That's so great, how convenient. Wait, it looks like a little kid. My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? Is she possessed? I see what you mean about Sabby, but why would she be up there? Seems like you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi. Me? I'm just gonna keep doing some squats over here, alright? Now then, can we climb up there or no? Or is it too slippery? And they'll say, you can't climb here. There's no climbing allowed. Climbing is strictly prohibited. Oh! It won't let us climb because it's too slippery. But maybe with this guy we can jump our way up. Aha, I reached you. Now what? Can I have your rare bird, please? I found you. Let me have your rare bird. 
Hello, my name is Sabby. Nice to meet you, ZX Mini. Same to you. Pleasure's all mine. Pleasure's all mine. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want Braviary's help so you can quell Avalug's frenzy, don't you? Yes, that is. That bird looks like it's from The Legend of Zelda. Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. <laughs> Let's go, Braviary. How am I supposed to catch you? Where are you going to be running to? Let's see. Wait, do I also fly on a Pokemon? How am I, how am I supposed to catch this person? What's going to happen? Let's see. Catch up to Sabi. Where is Sabi? Wait, what is that down there? I don't want to run off the cliff by accident. Where is she? Where is she? Okay, so it looks like we have to go around like this. I think that's what we have to do. Okay, and I see that there there was a wisp somewhere over here. Hold on, where was it? Oh, right there. There it is. Okay, let's get this wisp. And then... Come on, let me up here. Thank you. And now... Get the wisp. There we go. We got the wisp. Okay, so we... Is this where we want to go? Is there anywhere that we can go to get a bit higher? Oh, man. Do we want to jump into this cold stuff over here? This cold water? I guess our Pokemon... Wait a minute. What is that? What in the world is that? It kind of looks like a Murkrow? Rufflet. Okay. This is another Pokemon that I've never seen before. Okay, let's try fighting it. Let's see. Flame Wheel is effective, but not super effective. So let's just do a normal Flame Wheel. Okay, it's level 50. I wonder what type of Pokemon it is. I guess it's probably something flying. Oh, Double Edge. Okay, so it gets hit with Recoil. Okay, good thing it's not defeated. Now let's just do this. Let's use a Great Bow on it, I guess. So I don't know how hard it'll be to catch. I don't know how rare these guys are. I've never seen one before. It's like a Murkrow with yellow poofy hair. Okay, we caught it. Nice, you caught Rufflet. Rufflet, number caught, one out of one, very nice. Okay, can we get up here? Sneasler. Oh, oh, and then we climb up here. I didn't expect that to work like that. Oh, here's another one of these, okay. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can we climb up here? What's over there? Wait, 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 what is that? Oh, just one of those balloon guys, right? Yeah, it's one of those balloon guys, okay. And then, oh, we can go up there and get a wisp up there. Hopefully no Pokemon try to attack us while we're climbing up here. Imagine if you try climbing up here and you're getting attacked while you're climbing up. That would be so sad. Okay, so let's head down here now. Grab this wisp. Very nice. Got another wisp. Look at that. That's so cool. This reminds me of Majora's Mask, the way that we are playing as these other people. Okay, we probably can't go much higher. Let's see, it's probably soon going to say, you can't go any farther than that. That's sometimes what happens. Let's see. Let's see, we'll just walk across this way. What if all that we have to do is just walk over to the person? Okay, wait, let's just descend. Let's just descend. Let me descend. Let me descend. Joy-Con, stop drifting. Oh, no! Bad idea. Okay, fell into the water. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Let's see. Okay, one of those again. Oh, an Amber Wow, we didn't even have to evolve our Apom. We could have just found one like this. That's kind of funny. Okay, let's see. We can probably get up here. Now then, where's the person that we're going to? Oh, we are all the way up here. Okay, we actually want to go down there. You know what? Let's just try going back down that way then. Let's just go straight for the person. Let's see what they have to say. Let's see. So we're going this way, right? Okay, there's another one of those. Let's not go through this uh, icy water like this. Or uh, let, let's go through the icy water this way. Cool, I picked that up as I was going by full speed on my horse. Well, I guess it's kind of weird to call this a horse. Now then, we want to go a bit left from here. So let's uh, go this way. Oh, cool, another one of those. Can I make it up here? And, yeah, we got it. Okay, 17 wisps remain in the area. We've gotten quite a few wisps. Oh, another one. One alpha, one of these. That's so cool. Okay, let's make a mark on the map. Whoops. Right over here. So there's one of those around. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me back on my guy. Let me back on my guy. Let's run away. Let's run away. We want to deal with that guy right now. Okay, but... Oh, we want to go here. Okay, so we do have that guy. We do have Pillow Swine. We do have Swine Up. Wow, there are even Electabuzzes here. That's kind of surprising. Okay, but we do already have Electabuzz. Wait, is that another Wisp? Another Wisp! The Wisps really stand out in this level because there's a lot of white over here. 
Okay, let's climb up with Sneeze. Oh, there's a lot of white over here because of all this snow, so the purple wisps really stand out a bit. Get another one of those. Okay, and there's the lady. Oh, you know, we're probably gonna have to chase this person all over the place. Once we get to here, they're probably gonna go, ha, ah, now catch me on this other mountaintop. That's what you're gonna do, isn't it? Let's see. We caught you. See, I caught you. There, now can I have it? ZX Many! She's so happy. You made it all the way up here in this cold! But the question is, did you catch me? Or did I let myself get caught, huh? Yeah, that's the real question. Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? You might be. Yeah, you might be or no idea. You might be. Ha! No one but me could really know, right? That is true. Oh man, this is making me think of David Hume. Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. Of course there are more steps, but the real question is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Yeah, that's the real question. Let's go, Braviary! Okay, so they fly away some more, so we gotta chase them some more again. Okay, where are they going to now? Let's see, they are all the way over there. That's pretty far away. Let's see, let's just make our way down here. Man, this is a steep, steep mountain. Oh my goodness, remember earlier in the game when we saw these steep hills and steep mountains? And we're like, how in the world? And we're like, how in the world do we make these? How in the world are we gonna travel here? Is there any way to get up there? And I was trying to like, walk in a special way and do dives so that I could make it up slopes. Oh, whoa, an alpha swine, wait a minute, wait a minute, does it? Oh wait, that diet that made me think that it wants to talk because in Paper Mario, when someone wants to talk to you, they have those three buttons. I'm like, what the? Why does this swine up have a dialogue box for? But that's pretty cool. So if we wanted a if we wanted an alpha pillow swine, then we'd be able to catch the alpha swine up and then evolve it into an alpha pillow swine. That would be cool. Wait, wait, wait. Was that just a plant? Okay, that's just a plant over here. And then there's a bunch of those balloon guys over there. Oh, oh, and I can see the temple up there already. Okay, so we're heading up that way to the temple now. Okay, come on, let me up. I keep thinking it's a Vulpix. Every time I see this, I think it's a Vulpix. I'm like, oh my goodness, we finally found a Vulpix. But every time, it always ends up being some of those stone things. Okay, shall we climb up now? Let's go up as high as we can. Ah, if only we could go up more. Okay, let's start climbing now. Got these nice claws. We can climb up here. Pretty cool to be scaling the side of a mountain like this in a Pokemon game. Never thought that we'd see something like this in a Pokemon game. Wait a minute. Oh, that's just one of those birds. Okay, so we've already had one of those birds before. Okay, let's come over to you. Now that- Oh no, that's not who I'm looking for! That is a Pokemon. Where's my person? Okay, the person that I'm looking for is over there. Okay, so let's go like this. And we're almost at the Snow Temple. Okay, and here is the Snow Temple. We made it to you! Let's go! Oh, and someone else is here, too. Who's your friend? Hi again, ZX Mini! This kid is so excited. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety in numbers, or something like that. Anyway, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question is, am I really having- Okay, you already said that before. But wait a minute. Oh, so now we're gonna go chase her in the temple? This is becoming more and more of a Zelda game. Wait, who are you? I heard what Warden Sabby said. If you have Warden Sabby's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. You'll have to ask Zelda for help. The trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of pattern on their chests, too. Come to think of it. Okay, thank you for the tip. Let's enter now. I am ready to enter the temple. Okay, so they said something about stone statues facing a certain way. That kind of reminds me of- Oh my goodness, and look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. This looks so much like a Zelda game. Okay, a bronze zone is there. I wonder if... I'm really wondering if... Oh, that's an alpha bronze zone. Not just a bronze zone, but an alpha bronze zone. And you know what? Bronze zone is a pretty cool Pokemon. So, mate, I don't think we'll be able to catch it, right? There's actually a chance at catching it. Let's see, if we could catch it like this, that would be phenomenal. And it's sleeping, it's sleeping! Is it really an Alpha Bronzong? Is that really an Alpha Bronzong? Hold on, hold on, because Bronzong got two out of two. Oh, oh wait, it says heavy specimens. Maybe it wasn't an, okay, it wasn't an Alpha. I thought that it was an Alpha Bronzong. Okay, wait, can I move around these statues? There are faint traces of a steel pattern on the statue's chest. Wait, does that mean that I have to use my steel plate on it? I wonder if I have to use all of my plates here now. Let's see. What does this one have? 
steel pattern. Oh, okay, so this one has a plus shape where its eyes should be. What about this one? This one also has a plus shape. Has this pattern that looks like that. Okay, and there's a plus shape over there. And hold on, what about this? This one also has a- oh, this one has like a- this one has a hexagon. What about this one? Okay, this one has a hexagon. This one has like a- kind of like a diamond inside an octagon. Oh, and that's it, okay. So let's see. Okay, so it looks like the left and right, they all match. Okay, bro, I already- I already caught you. Why are you back? You shouldn't be back. Oh, what is this? Oh, I- uh, it looked like that Zubat, it wanted to talk- Oh, and I can't go on my- I can't go on my antler friend. Why can't I go on my antler friend over here? That's so sad. I'd like to go on my antler friend. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is this? There's a sign like this. Can we go there? Is it- is it just a dead end? Can we attack the wall? I wonder if you can attack the, uh, the statues, or if you're supposed to do that. Okay, let's see... Who do we have? Who do we have? Come on, Joy-Cons, let me move! Okay, let's see. What if we go up this way? So we... Do we want to go up straight from there? Because we took the right path that didn't lead anywhere. Oh, this guy's attacking us. Now then, is this another dead end? Okay, the number's getting lower and lower, so this is probably where we have to go. Let's see. Oh! 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 Maybe not. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We've got one of those signs. Does investigating these signs change anything? I wonder if investigating the signs changes the paths. Okay, let's see. What is this one? Okay, now one of those. Hexagon. Investigate. Tell me about this wall. There are three panels fitted to the door each... Each panel has a pattern carved into it. There are faint traces of words carved on the door as well. Whether the statues gaze, which panel will you press first? Oh, oh, I get it. Rock, steel, and ice. Ah, okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay, nothing is happening. Okay, wait, do I have to look at the order of these? Okay, because this one is ice, right? What is this one here? This one is steel, right? Yeah, that's steel. And this one here, is this one the other remaining one? Yes, yeah, so this one is rock, right? Is this one rock? Okay, so rock... Wait, is this like Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, Reggie Ice? Is that what this is a reference to? Okay, so it's rock, then steel, and this one is ice. So let's see if that's the order. Rock, steel, ice. Let's try that. And these statues kind of look like Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, Reggie Ice. Okay, so let's go. Rock, steel, ice. Let's see. And? And the acronym also spells out RSI, like repetitive strain injury. Okay, that's nice. So we open this door. Now then, do we have to... Okay, we probably have to remember another set of patterns. Okay, let's see. Now do we go left or right? That is the question. Looks like she's that way. So let's go that way then. Okay, so this is ice. Oh! There's a wisp over there. You know what? Why not get the wisp? There's a wisp in the corner there. We should go for the wisp then. Very nice. Oh wait, so does this count as uh, the previous area? 15 wisps are remaining in this area. I don't know if this area counts as, like if the temple counts as a new area, or if by this area they mean this whole snowy area. Okay, so first is, that one is, wait, I can't remember. This one is ice, right? I think this one is ice. Okay, yeah, the one that looks like a sun is ice. So it is ice. Then that one is rock. Oh, we can see through there. Okay, and then the next one's probably steel, right? Ice, rock. Is this one steel now? Is this one steel? I can't see. Let's see. Oh, ice, rock, ice. Okay, so it's not always uh, three different ones. Looks like it's ice, rock, ice. No, no, I don't want to do rock. It's ice, rock, ice. Joy-Con, stop drifting, please. Okay, so this second door is ice, rock, ice. Wait, there are four! There weren't four! What do you mean press the- Wait, so we have to enter five? Oh, 
Oh, oh, there's one right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I guess we've got to go like this. Okay, so we came through. So we came through there. Okay, so we came through there. Now then, there's this one. This is ice. And then there's one. Oh, which one comes next? Is it this one or this one? Probably this one. Okay, so ice, rock, steel. Ice, rock, steel. Okay, so IRS, like the IRS, you know. Ice, rock, steel. And then ice. What's this one? Rock. Okay, let's try I, R, S, R, I. Oh, okay, I guess that's the order. Okay, I just had the last two backwards. Okay, that's so weird. I would have thought that it would have been the other way. But I guess this is the way, okay. How many more puzzles are there? Man, sometimes it's like, I don't know what the order of these is supposed to be. Sometimes it's not very clear what the order is. Over here, we don't know how many we have to enter. There are a bunch of these Reggie statues over here, but it's like, you don't know how many buttons you have to press and you don't know what the order is going to be. All right, so let's see what ones we need here, okay. So it looks like it is, this is rock, right? Okay, rock, steel, okay, so R, S. Then what, is there also going to be another one over here? I don't know if it's supposed to go from like left to right, top down, or how's, how exactly is it supposed to work? And then over here there's an R. So there are two I's, two R's, and two S's. But I have no idea what the order is supposed to be. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is the order that they're looking some kind of hint? Wait a minute, because this one looks like it's looking at that one. That one looks like it's looking at this one. That one looks like it's looking at that one. Is anyone looking at that one? Wait, but where's this one looking? This one is looking over there. This one's looking at that one. Is anyone looking at this? Oh, this one's looking at that one. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a second, hold on. Hold on, guys. Four, five, and is there one more? I don't know if that one's also part of it. Okay, so this is probably the order, okay. So, this one is ice. Okay, so I is either going to be first or last. That's what we know. The next is this one. This one is rock. Okay, so R is either going to be second or second last, and that is looking at this one. This one is... This one is ice. So ice is... So ice is either going to be third or third last. Then ice is looking at the one that's in here. This one is... Steel. Wait a minute, I'm missing one, I'm missing one, aren't I? And this one is rock. I don't know if that other one here... I don't know if the one that's back here, hold on, there's the one that's back here, right? Let's see. I don't know if this one is part of this room or if this one was in the previous room. But if we do need it, then it is steel. Okay. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's put these in. Okay, so we now know the order. Well, we know either the order or the backwards order. Wait, oh, this is probably the door that opened. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's right, yeah, because we could have gone left to right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys, we have the order. I just don't know if it's the forwards order or the backwards order. Let's see. It's funny that it took me until the third room to figure out that the panels were looking at each other. Up until now, I was just lucky and I was able to get it correctly. Oh man, that's kind of funny. Okay, so let's go like this. Let's go like this. So it will- Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now the question is, is this the first one or the last one? If I was doing the earlier puzzles properly, instead of somehow being able to get the order correct by just looking at the statues and not knowing that you have to look at where they face, then I know exactly how this works, but let's see. Okay, so here is door number three. Here's the pattern. Let's go. Okay, so I think it might be backwards of what I expect. Okay, so let's see, let's see. So it is steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock. Tell me that's right. There we go. Okay, okay, so it's just backwards of what I thought. Okay, okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. All right. Is that the last time? Because we had three of these puzzles, so maybe this is the last one. Maybe we could finally make it over to that girl and she let me have the bird Pokemon. Oh, and I'm probably getting the ice plate. Oh, cool, a Curlia. Okay, but I'm not too worried about that. Whoa! What is that? What is that? What is that? I can't tell. I don't. I don't. Oh, man. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Whatever you are. Gallade. 
Is this at all related to Gardevoir? What in the world is this? Okay, well, let's do a strong crunch over here. Let's see how this goes. How much damage will that do? Because it's probably defeating me, so I'll just do this. Not much! Oh! Oh! It was caught unaware? Ah, uh, but it gets to go twice. Ah, uh, no. Agile style. Close cam combat. We're dead, right? Let's see. Okay, but it's... Defensive stats go down, so that's nice for us. What type is this? I don't know what this is. Okay, fighting is not very effective, but flying is super effective on it. That's interesting. Ghost is also super effective on it. All right, let's see how much... I like how it looks like our Pokemon's backed into a corner. Let's see if we do just an Aura Sphere. How much damage will that do? That Oh, Aura Sphere will be not very effective. Okay, so let's do an Aerial Ace then. Let's just do a normal Aerial Ace. How much damage will that do? Let's see. Okay, in the red. It's in the red. It's in the red. Okay, Psychic, that's super effective on us, right? Yeah, okay, so we are defeated. Now then, I'd love to be able to put it to sleep with my Rabidash. But will we get to go first, or will it just attack us and defeat us right away? That is the question. Please let me put it to sleep. Yes. Hypnosis. Let's do a strong style hypnosis so we have 90% accuracy. Please land. Please land. Yes. Okay, it is drowsy. It's probably defeating us, right? Let's see. Unless it's too drowsy. Stone Edge. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Let's go to our next Pokemon now. What is this Gallade Pokemon? I've never seen this. I wonder what generation it's from. Let's send out Walrein, I guess. We are sending out an Alpha Pokemon in battle with an Alpha Pokemon. Oh, close combat. That's super effective. Fighting super effective on Ice K. We are defeated. And his defensive stats were lowered. Hopefully it doesn't stop being drowsy soon. I would love for it to stop being drowsy. Wait. Oh, this might be good because poison won't be able to affect us because... Or sorry, psychic won't be able to affect us because we're poison dark. So let's see. If only we had an ultra ball now. I guess great ball is our best shot. Okay, a level 70. Its HP is in the red and it's drowsy so it has a status effect. But this guy might be tough to catch. Oh, we got it with the very first great ball. With the very first great ball, we got it. Gallade has been caught. My goodness. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, man. That was great. That was absolutely fantastic. Wow, I actually can't believe that. That worked out so nicely. Man, having hypnosis on the team is incredible. All right, now... We can just easily and comfortably head up these stairs. And now are we finding- are we finally going to meet that girl? I actually, uh, kind of forgot that we're gonna try and meet that girl. Okay, what's that? That's a Curlia, right? Yeah, there's just a Curlia. Wait, are you just running away from me? Why don't I just throw a Pokeball at you? Bam! What if I just catch it like that? Well, I guess that was a Great Ball, not a Pokeball. Let's see, do we got it? Hey, nice! Two out of two Curlia's caught. Okay, now then, she's not very far. Let's see anything around these corners here. Oh, she's just right over there. Wait a minute. Is there going to be some kind of showdown over here? I'll hide behind the pillars. I'll sneak up on you. You won't catch, you know. Probably when we get close enough, it probably triggers the cutscene. Yeah, you can't sneak past her. Oh, all of a sudden I'm here. I guess I've been caught. So we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with Braviary. Do you think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. That's so funny. We're so cocky. Well, however the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Okay, yeah, sure, let's have a battle. Let's have a battle. Who do I have at the front? Who am I sending out first? Wait, here come Rhyperior, Magmortar, and Electivire. All three of them go. Do I have to battle against all three of them at once? This might be the toughest battle we've had yet. Oh, 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 it's that guy. Oh, great, and I'm sending out Luxray to start. Amazing. Why can I not send out multiple Pokemon at once? Who do I even go for in this matchup? I don't even have anyone. I, I, I don't even have any, like, who do I go for? I guess I can go for, uh, I guess I might as well go for Magmortar. Oh wait, level 30, level 30, and level 50. Okay, so that's not bad. Can I take out this guy in a single hit though with Thunderfang? I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Maybe with Strong Style we'll be able to do it. Uh, I'll just attack him. I don't know if we'll take, it and take him out, but we'll go for it. Ah, uh, so close. I should have done Strong Style. That's so sad. Okay, both of those are just looking around. That guy uses poison gas. Wait, am I gonna get to attack again? Am I gonna get to attack again? You're letting me attack again? You fools! You absolute fools! Okay, let's just use a agile style quick attack on it then. I'm just waiting for my Luxray to faint so that I could get a free switch to a different Pokemon, but sure, if you wanna let me take out one of your Pokemon, that's fine too. Okay, hurt by poison. Who's next? 
Who's next? Thunder Punch. Are you gonna use like Bulldoze or something? I'm surprised that we haven't seen the move Earthquake yet. High horsepower. Okay, are we? Okay, there. We're finally defeated. Thank you. Thank you. Now, who do we send out next? Oh, I could use Whalereen to take out. Or you know what? Um, this might be a good time to have Garchomp shine. Let's see, because ground, wait, this guy, is he rock ground or rock steel? Well, either way, let's see, earth power, oh, that's super effective, okay, and wait. Uh, agile style doesn't make too much of a difference. And I'm not too worried about the electric type guy attacking me. He's level 50, you know, let's do this, earth power. Hopefully it's super effective. Yeah, it's super effective and same type attack bonus and we're six levels higher, how strong will this be? I attacked the wrong guy! I attacked the wrong guy. I didn't realize that I was targeting that guy. Oh no. Oh no. Does he get, oh, he doesn't get to attack twice in a row. I guess we're like super fast or something. But yeah, even if I use strong style. Okay, this is what I meant to do in the previous turn. I wanted to attack this guy with strong style. Let's see, how strong is my Garchomp? How strong are you Garchomp? Yeah, we would have been able to take him out in a single hit. Okay, so the fight ended up being okay. Yeah, that Alpha Garchomp is so nice. So great to have him. Wow! You caught us and you beat us! You've won all our games so far! But Brave Yeri still wants to get to know you even better! Up onto the roof we go! I just want to play my flute for this Brave Yeri. I am ready. It is time to play my flute. Let's have our Drapion out in the front. He hasn't seen a lot of action, really. Okay, so we are running through this hallway over here. Quite the iconic looking level over here. Reminds me very much of Zelda temples. Oh man, oh man. I have got to, oh, you have to press A to leave. I've got to play Breath of the Wild sometime. The more I play this, the more that I am guessing that this game is like Breath of the Wild, even though I've never played Breath of the Wild before. All right, oh, and my character gets a little chilly like this. Hold on, what's around here? Any wisps around here? Wonder if there are gonna be any wisps around here. Oh my goodness, can we go up even higher? Whoa, is there another level to the temple? Oh, now we can go in here. Wait, why is there just this? Why can we just head up here? That's so weird. Okay. Well then, anything over here? If we jump off, we probably die. Okay, so let's be careful. Let's be careful to not run off the edge. This is such a cool area. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at all those mountains. Mountains are so darn beautiful. All right. Can I please have your bird finally? Grog, grog. All right, Braviary. Why not test out ZX Mini's strength for it? Wait, do I have to battle it? Do I have to battle it? Oh! I didn't expect that we would have to battle it. Okay, I guess we're starting off with Drapion over here. Wait, can we catch it? It would be so cool if we could catch the Braviary. No, we can't swap to Pokeballs. That's so sad. Okay, Shadow Ball. Wait, super effective? I thought it would be... I thought we wouldn't be able to affect it because I thought that that would be like a normal flying type. Crunch is also super effective. X-Scissor is normally effective. Okay, wait, 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 but we are part dark type. We aren't part ghost type. So this move, Crunch, will be a bit better because we have same type attack bonus. Okay, pretty good. It's six levels higher than me and we almost take it out in a single turn. Wait, was that move called Hurricane? Whoa, that was strong. Well, sorry to do this to you, bro, but you know, let's finish it off with a, sh with a Shadow Ball, an agile Shadow Ball, just to see what the attack looks like. Let's see. Shadow Ball is such a such Shadow Ball is such a cool move. It always makes me think of Mewtwo. Mewtwo from uh, Smash Bros. Melee. Okay, so we get a few level ups from that in our party. Gah, I can't believe Braviary lost, but that's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll go home now. Bye! Hey, or wait. Wait, are you just gonna jump off the tower? I was kidding! <laughs> Play along with me on your flute. Wow, great joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. Wait a minute. She's using a double hand technique for the flute over here. The other people, they put their other hand at the end of the flute. That's so strange. I've never seen that flute technique. Am I gonna do the same? No, I have my hand at that end. That's so weird. Why is she the only person that uses the double hand technique on the flute? Oh, the bird turns to me. It's like, nice flute playing. I am enchanted by your flute playing. I'm like a cow when you play music to a field of cows. Okay, Braviary opened its heart to me. Oh, cool! And we got- Oh, the sky plate! So we didn't get the ice plate, we got the sky plate. Nice, nice, nice. So we are getting all these Arceus plates here. Thanks, Sabby! Oh, and here comes this guy all of a sudden. You also made it through the temple, or did you just follow me? Did you have to solve the puzzles? Sure, having ZX many to fly around with should be fun for Braviary. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? All right.
Alright, tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? Do you think this is Almighty Sinnoh's anger? Or do you think it's a trial it's putting to us? If it's a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy, and we quell the last noble, call him Avalug, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who have been living here in Hisoi for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamant. No, Adamant's a smart guy. Hush, Sabby. I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you, someday I might get to meet Almighty Suno myself. The question is, does listening to Adamant fascinate you? Or bore you to tears? Huh, <laughs> that's funny. Anyways, the X-Men, it's time for you to go start with Braviary. Alright, let's see. If you jump from way up here, Braviary can take you gliding just about anywhere. Anywhere? Don't forget to get the Eternal Ice. That's why, yeah, we need to get the Eternal Ice. Where's the Eternal Ice at? Are you guys going to tell me where the Eternal Ice is? Am I going to have to jump off and then Braviary is going to come? Avalog's Legacy is down there. Alright, shouldn't take too long to get there because then we can just fly everywhere. Now go get a feel for flying with Braviary. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, just ask him to dive. Oh man, this is so cool. Because... Fly has been a move in Pokemon games. Oh! Oh, we're even on a thing! Oh my goodness, we're on a triangle! With Braviary, you can fly up high into the sky and explore the different areas of Hisoi from the air. You can summon Braviary using the plus button whenever you like. You can also press the A button if you're falling from some height to summon him in a flash. That's so cool! It's just like, uh, just like if you're falling off a cliff, you could summon your friend with A. Alright, now where is he? Where is he? Wait, is this the bird one? I guess this is the bird one. Alright! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, let's dive a bit. Not all the way down. Oh man, this is so cool. We can fly anywhere! Anywhere we can fly! We can dive, we can dash, we can dash, and we can dive. Alright, let's make our way down here. We are heading to right down here. I guess this is where we want to get our ice from. Oh, and over there, up ahead, that's why I made a marker that there's, uh, you know what over there. Alright, let's crash straight into it. BAM! Let's investigate this pile of ice that we are on. This is the ice that we need. Oh, the Arceus phone! Your Arc phone is beeping! You know, our phone hasn't rang in a while. Our character really doesn't listen when they say turn off all electronical devices when you're in the theater. You obtained a piece of eternal ice! Wait, what's the point of the phone beeping then? What's the point of the phone beeping? Whoa! Oh, he's doing a squats up here. At last, this summit is conquered. Wait, so he climbed up it? And I see you made it too. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours? I bro, you climbed up here, bro. You've got a burning zeal over here. Wait, what do we... You gave... Oh, we give him the eternal ice. Okay. I do have respect for the effort you put. Bro, you climbed up here. I used a bird Pokemon to get here. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind. But I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord, Avalok. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Alright, let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. Are you- how are you gonna get down? Now don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. That's Nintendo's way of saying don't try this at home. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Even then, even then I wouldn't risk it. Okay, so is it just going to be easy to go wherever we want now? Crunchy salt. Yeah, there's a bunch of crunchy salt around here. Oh, oh, so I guess we want to go over there. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's jump off and fly with Braviary! Let's go this way. Wait, can we... Can we fly higher? Can we go up? I don't know if there's a way that we can go up. Are we just constantly falling? Can you not go higher? Go higher! Flap your wings! Flap your wings, please! Please flap your wings, I would like to go higher! Let's see. Oh, and right here's where we're going. Nice. Let's uh, drop down. Put me down this instant. I command that you drop me. I command. No, 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 not on the side of the cliff. Not on the side of the cliff. Not on the side of the cliff. Just right here would be fine. That would be perfect, actually. Do I want to fight that Machoke? You know what? I'll catch it. Oh, come here, Machoke. Come here. How does it not see me? Okay, if we catch it, that would be nice. Don't really care for the Machoke, but maybe we'll catch it. Hey, we got it! Nice! Two out of two caught. Okay, nice. Okay, break this for me, please, bro. Snowball time three! Snowball's probably an item that you can throw at Pokemon. Okay, let's save here. Alright, is this going to be 
the final boss fight that is coming up now. We don't- well, we haven't met Arceus yet. I wonder if there's another secret area after this. Why? If it isn't ZX Money, Link, what are you doing here? What a pleasure finding a familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to give this guy some sword caps and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalog. I wonder if Avalog is gonna be like the lord or noble version of Obama Snow. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Yeah, tell me about the Pokemon. Let's hear about it. And why wouldn't you be? So Avalog, yes, the fifth of his soy's nobles. That he is. And you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes. According to what I was told, not only does he barrage you... Oh wait, I think that's pronounced barrage, actually. I remember... Oh man, RuneScape. Ice barrage. I always called it ice barrage as a kid, but I'm pretty sure it's called ice barrage. 94 magic. So he barrages you with chunks of ice. Oh my goodness, just like ice barrage. He also fires off massive icicles, then he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem kind of powerful to take on? What's more, apparently Avalog of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Doesn't that seem too big to take on? Oh yeah, 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 you gotta eat some sword caps and you train and you do lots of squats and, and yeah, let's go to the arena, bro. Let's go, bro. Uh, yeah, well, I did want to see Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. All right, gotta go get the Master Sword and get that Zelda, if you know what I mean. Goodbye. All right, let's go get that Avalog. So Avalog is up that way. Oh, oh, there's that Machamp. Remember how we saw the Machoke earlier? That's actually cool that you can just catch a Machamp like that. Okay, so there's an Alpha Machamp there if we want to go see a Alpha Machamp sometime. That's actually really cool. Okay, let's go. I'm ready for the battle, bro. So, we have to quell Avalog as you wish. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose it's better that I start making some of that eternal ice. I've heard how they're made, and with muscles like mine, it'll only be a moment's work. This guy does not neglect leg day. This guy does not neglect leg day, and he's very excited to start making some of these ice treats. Okay, here we are, and there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on. The path lies before you, but know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging abilities. Okay, let's go. You know what? I wonder if you can do the boss fights in this game without any dodging. That would be unbelievable. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Taking some steps here. Good thing we've got this new clothing to protect us and we're not in our t-shirt from the beginning of the game. Whoa! It's a giant block- It's SpongeBob SquarePants! It is SpongeBob! At first I thought it was a giant block of cheese, but then I noticed that it's Sp Oh, it's not SpongeBob, it's actually the Earth Elemental. It actually is the Earth Elemental for Paper Mario the Origami King. Guys, can you believe it? This is the way that Nintendo wanted to announce that Book of Mario King of Miami is coming back. Okay, I've done this battle once so far. Well, like, I've, I've attempted it and I lost. And it wasn't too bad. I did make some mistakes though, so let's see. Over here, this first attack is pretty easy to dodge. You just dive through it like that. And you also have quite a bit of time to react. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's still one more. I thought that was the last one. Okay, so let's go like this. Now he's probably gonna be ready for his next attack. Now for his next attack, it's gonna be those, right? Let's see, first the middle. Bro, where are you going? Okay, yeah, first the middle. Oh, no, now it's over here. Wait, did I dodge it? I don't know if I dodged it or if I got hit. Okay, his next- Those icicles are the scariest. Those are the scariest. Let's see. Those are the scariest to dodge of all. That's his scariest attack. Hardest attack to dodge for sure. This one, though, is super easy. This one is, I guess, a pretty strong attack, but it's super easy to avoid. Let's just go like this. Let's just keep hitting this guy. Let's see. Okay, down to a quarter. Or, sorry, one quarter down. Down to three quarters, then. Wow, that's actually great. You can get out a lot of hits like that. Okay, so let's see. And we can still probably sneak in a few hits like here and there. Let's go like this. Ah, that was kind of close. I was scared. Okay, his next attack isn't the super scary one. The one after that is the super scary one. But I'm kind of worried that he might start combining attacks soon. Let's see. Now this side, right? Yeah, okay. So we can get out a few hits over here now. But now here come his icicles. That's the scariest attack of all. Go like that. Go like that. Go like that. And go like that. Okay, now it's gonna come his big beam attack. 
Okay, so let's get ready to just jump over that. Jump through it. And let's just keep getting him like this. Okay, so he's half defeated now, which is great. Let's just keep throwing these at him. It's almost down to a quarter, actually. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, I'm ready for you to start shooting out your puffy clouds. Shoot out your puffy clouds, my friend. Okay, there we go. And now he's probably going to start combining attacks. If not now, then soon. Let's see. Let's see, because I'm expecting the little icing. Yeah, there we go, there we go. The little ice circles are also forming. So we want to be careful that where we go, we don't dive into one of those next things. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is icicles next? Or is it these? It's these. Okay, okay. But it's a different path now. Let's see. It's like all the way back here. Now what's next? Is it the big one next? Wait, 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 wait. Are you firing these at me now? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Okay, 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 we are fine, we are fine. Wait, this again? How can you do this attack again? Oh, is he gonna do the beam attack now? Okay, so he's doing the beam attack combined with that. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. You can still avoid that. Now then, I don't know if we'll be able to defeat him right now. Let's see, I don't know if we'll be able to defeat him right now. I don't know if those last hits were even hitting him. I don't think I was close enough. Oh no. Oh no, just a few more hits. Just a few more hits. Do I risk it? Do I risk it? Oh, no. Oh, no. We need just a few more. We need just a few more. What? What? The icicles are coming on top of those? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. There's no way to avoid this. Well, there is a way to avoid this, but those are seriously difficult to avoid. Bro! Bro! It Sometimes they get you, like, right as you're trying to get up like that. Okay, I've got to finish them now. I've got to finish them. I've got to finish them. Did we get them? We got him. We got him. We got him. That's how you can beat that guy without using any Pokemon. There we go. All right. Oh man, that one, it's uh, pretty tough without Pokemon. I think if you use Pokemon, then you could probably deal more, dam more damage every turn. But his attacks weren't super difficult to avoid. Oh, this kind of reminds me of Frostlass, actually. I thought that it would look more like Abama Snow. Am I going to get the ice plate from you, or what kind of plate are we going to get? I'm guessing we get a plate. We nod. You received the icicle plate. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we did get the icicle plate. This reminds me so much of the Legend of Zelda. Oh my goodness. Especially when you don't use Pokemon in a boss fight. It's so much like a Legend of Zelda game. Okay, Rick, sir. You needn't look so downcast. But, but seeing mighty Avalon quelled by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky, is this ZX Mini Boy some kind of monster in disguise? He's no monster. He's the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied, suffering nobles. That's what I did. ZX Many, Garrick cares for Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sin. I guess flag means like waver or something? But that will change. Arida? I know your fears will come to chains once you see what I've seen. ZX Many has much to teach us. He's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife so long as our Pokemon are with us. He's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Zarita. <laughs> I knew you could pull that off, ZX Many. I knew you could pull that off, ZX Many. And here they come. Oh man, the whole crew's here. But wait, where is, where is Akari? You quelled every last frenzied noble. Are we gonna go into the portal? So, is that space-time rift gonna start closing up now, or what? What's it gonna do? Arceus is gonna come out. There's little way no. There's little way of knowing for sure. Though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, uh, let's settle down now. Even after the rift does, although even if the rift does start spinning out more of that strange lightning. We should still be all right as long as we've got ZX Many. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have him at our side. You know something, Arita? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't half bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Uh, does she feel the same way though? Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. All right, let's see. What if he does smile? Report to Commander Kamado that you have accomplished your mission. Let's do that. Okay, so let's travel to the Snowfields camp now. 
And we didn't catch very many Pokemon. We could go get an Alpha Machamp if we want, which is pretty cool. Oh, and maybe I could bring Snowball somewhere else. I wonder if, like, in your village, it'd be funny if you could go to go back to the village with Snowballs and then, uh, throw Snowballs at the villagers. That'd be quite funny. Wow, $10,000. That's crazy. I don't think we even... I don't even feel like we did that much over here. I guess we did catch quite a few new Pokemon, so let's see. What do we get? Oh, just five... Okay, just 660 points. Yeah, I feel like we didn't do that much. So we only got 500 points. We got quite a bit of money, though. So now let's make our way back! And now that we are in Jubilife Village, it is time to go to Commander Kamado. Maybe for the last time, there's that lady that looks like she's from Team Galaxy in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Wait, so we never found out, is Team Galaxy actually going to be bad now? I wonder at what point they start to become evil, because in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, Team Galaxy is bad. So let's go up to the Commander. Man, we have a bit of work going up to the Commander every time. The Commander's on the third floor, we have to go up quite a few flights of stairs to make it to him. Kind of reminds me of when I was back in school. That was fun. Okay, now then. Commander Kamado. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and each of them has been quelled. Still have no explanation for why this calamity, age of calamity, Hyrule Warriors, because this is a Zelda game, am I right? But, uh, yeah, at least it's coming to an end. And to think, peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will be dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Is it really the end of the game? Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps' work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisoi without fearing the Pokemon around us. Until we capture them all. Wow, so mission complete. So let's go back. We're going to eat some of that potato mochi with Akari and the professor. And let's see if the game really will come to an end. It's actually really cool. You know what? This gives the game a sense of chronological sequence. It feels like there's a sense of time in the game where it's like, after you complete a mission, you all get together, you all eat together. It's great to have meals together. Having meals with friends and family is such a nice thing to do. Thanks for the nice sizable helping of potato mochi, Benny old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Like, right, bring in some more potato mochi if you want, mate. So, having the nobles all quelled puts a grave threat to rest. Now it's time to focus on our survey work, though we still can't let our guard down around the titans. I mean, the regular wild Pokemon, of course. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I don't know if I agree with you on that, Professor. Yes, someone might have been under attack by some frenzied noble this very moment if his ex many hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. Yeah, Akari makes more sense here. I still wonder though, just what is this space-time rift anyway? And what will finally make it go? Wait! If the rift were to vanish, would that leave ZX Many stranded here? Her face is so funny. I love it. It's like she's looking into the camera after saying a line in the movie and they're like, don't look into the camera. I guess so, or I'm not sure. I'll say, I'm not sure. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, CX Many. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us. There'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got on our sites. Nothing less than a completed Pokédex. That's right, we'll get it done with CX Many in the lead and me as the valiant assistant. Wait, does she actually help me complete the Pokédex or does it not matter? Assistant? Come on now, Akari. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps too. Well, thanks for that, Professor. Then I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. Uh, that went fantastically. Now, wait, are we gonna see a credit sequence? Or do we wake up and there's a new mission tomorrow? I'm so curious. Let's see. Let's see, loading screen. Okay, okay, okay. Bakum! Oh! Something wild must be happening now. Is Arceus gonna come out of this space time rift? Is Arceus the true final boss? Will we get to catch Arceus? Oh, oh. Mission disaster looming! Okay, looks like there's more to the game. Looks like the game is still continuing. Let's head on out. What's out here? Whoa! The sky is an interesting color. It's like in a Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl when you go see Dialga and Palkia. Hi. CX Many! 
What? What is happening? Oh, is the rift getting bigger? Is it going to suck me back into the future? Oh, here's the guy. He's on the roof. I like that his hands aren't in his sleeves. He's just wearing his jacket. He's looking at it like he's staring down an enemy and he's about to go to battle. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. Commander Silene comes over. I've word from the commander! What's your word? You have to report to his office at once! Alright. Uh-oh, we look disappointed. It's like we got in trouble. Everyone's so sad. Everyone's like, ZX Money! We must sacrifice you to Arceus! The way that the sky changed, it's ominous. Very ominous. You know what? We're gonna have to sacrifice the x many. That's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a more important concern. We are gonna sacrifice the x many. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver. It struck that night that the x many fell from the sky, did it not? Kinda suspicious. The two events must be linked. Bro! You need to read some David Hume. Those two events are not at all connected. Who or what are you really, ZX Mini? Yeah, I am really Arceus. I don't really know. A survey corpse member? Question mark. Indeed, you've done all I've ordered, but that does not answer the question of who you really are. Oh, that is a deep question. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think you could gain our trust by quelling the frenzies that you brought about yourself? And have you gained our trust? Then what? What is it that you're really after here? Like, no, bro, come on, like, I don't know. Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest that ZX Many has wronged us. Ah, ex exactly. And besides, do you think he's got some kind of fearsome power to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he is free from guilt? Oh, we're going into Law 101 here. This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space. This is now becoming Ace Attorney. Who here can guarantee who he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. That is so funny. I never thought I'd see a line like that in a Pokemon game. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on. Let's be reasonable. What is the X-Men supposed to do then? Hey, he's got a point. Look at me. What have I ever done? What have I ever done? Come on, guys. I obvi I'm obviously not evil. He will be given the chance to investigate the latest disaster. But if he fails, then we will have to sacrifice him. No, that's not what he actually said. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome! Consider yourself banished from the village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear? Wow, I actually am excommunicated. Banished from the city. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in ZX Many? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I'll do what I must as the commander. But I've not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That's why I've chosen to let you walk out of here free, rather than clap you in chains. That's actually quite nice, that's true, he could just have me executed, but instead, I don't mean executed like the Pokemon that is a grass type. You're to be expelled from the village? The professor looks surprised, and Akari kind of looks happy. She's like, ah, oh, wow, that's uh, actually so bad that that happened, oh no. I'm so sorry that you're uh, kicked out of the village. What? Why? Orders are orders. All right. Well, let's go. All right, let's go, let's go. Bye, Akari. Bye, Professor. You guys really helped me out a lot. This way. Okay, come on. I want to follow them. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I can actually walk now. Oh, I can only walk slowly. This way. What if we just leave? This way. <laughs> uh, if you try to walk away, then it automatically pulls you back. I've got to play this part of the game when I hack the game so I can see what happens if you uh if you hack your position to just run away from Silene. Alright, let's get going. And you can't even save right now. I can't pause, I can't save, I can't do anything right now. We're just slowly walking along. What are what are all the people from the village thinking? Where's my hairdressing lady? What do you say? What do you have to say? Oh I wanted to see what she has to say. Silene's just like this way. This way, I can't listen to her. Can it really be true? Do you have some more clothes for me? Oh, there. I'm just gonna pop into your shop over here. Can it really be true? This way, this way. I'm going into the shop. I need some more clothes before I go. It's gonna be cold out there. Alright, let's keep going. What if I get in front of you? How could anyone do such a thing? What if I push her? <laughs> oh no, she's so fast. She's too fast. I'm gonna go over here. 
Oh, it's the kid who asked me to collect the wisps, and it's Link! Link, is that your little sister? Link, Pokemon character, and Link's child. Or sister, probably. Family portrait. Everyone, let's take a picture together. Look at how sad my character looks. But I can't walk away. Wait, wait. Oh, I was wondering if the game would actually get stuck like this. Because when it says this way... Hold on, I wonder if you could actually softlock the game here. Oh, this is actually so smart. The way that these guys are spread out. If they were spread out a bit differently, then maybe when you got pulled forward like that, then you'd just get stuck between them and you wouldn't be able to go by. But that's actually pretty cool. How it... How they designed the game so you don't get soft love. Oh, this guy. We can take it from here, ma'am. Oh, and Akari and the Professor came by, too. I, it makes sense that they came by to say goodbye. Understood. However, this decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort him from the village and to the field land camp. I'll also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Let's go ahead, everybody. Then, I'll mark you all down as bound for the field land camps. Safe travels. Thank you, sir. Oh, man. What's going to happen now? Am I going to be allowed to access my Pokemon anymore? Where am I going to have to go? Oh, I guess I'll still have all my legendary Pokemon like the deer. I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his own orders when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Oh, yeah, why didn't nobody bring that up when we were in the courtroom? Quite right. Moreover, even if he did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. That's also true. Man, why weren't you guys speaking up back in the- You guys should have came up to the office with me. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absurdly unscientific. Well, this is what happens when good people stand down. As a man of science, I must fight such a logical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. What's gonna happen? You'll only cause DX many more pain if you are driven out as well for defending him. That's a good point. Oh, man. This is so sad. What a corrupt system we have. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course. Perhaps Adamin or Arita might take you in. Though I'm afraid they both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could try and go find Leon. He's likely to be in the Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That is an order. I'll ensure you have all you need to complete this survey. The commander has tasked you with. If I may offer my advice, in this life, you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is only of the choices that you make. You cannot make it for you. All that matters here is that you hold firm to your own values. I am liking this commander. What if the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach to uh, complete the Pokedex? That simply won't come true without you. Wait, but Akari's right there. What about Akari? You don't think Akari's gonna help? Oh, and this guy over here, he's like, hey, need to switch up some Pokemon or buy items? Wait, why is my uh, Drapion's HP in yellow here when it's uh, 184 out of 184? Why? That's so weird. Why is his HP yellow? I have no idea why his HP is yellow. Everyone else's HP is green. All right, let's go. We want to go all the way over there. Wait, can we fast travel? Oh, uh, it's funny. There's just a Bidoof over there. Okay, let's go to the Grand Tree Arena. Oh, oh, yeah, we can just fast travel to the Grand Tree Arena. Okay, nice. Now then, here's the end. You! What in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in his soy could be... Oh, what if all the Pokemon go into a frenzy? I should have known that the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. I need help or never mind then. It'd be funny if we just go, never mind then. Help! Ah, well, it's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but I could put Arita in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a Karen woman, after all. You'll most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. Where is the Warren Bridge? I'm certain that somewhere in the fastness of his soy, there's a place for you as well. Like, all right. Wait, so Mai is... Oh, the Warren Bridge is up there. Okay, let's teleport to uh, Heights Camp, and then we should be able to get up pretty quickly from here. We need to go... Where are they? <laughs> what, if we, what if we're like, hey, let's pop some balloons right now? It's like, people are worried that the world is going to end, and we're like, hey, bro, can I come pop some balloons right now? Can I do your balloon challenge? Hello, Stantler. Stantler must be scared seeing uh, another guy with big horns like this. Like, whoa, man. Take a, look at the, take a look at the horns on that guy. Or wait, antlers, not horns. That's what they're called. 
Let's see. What if we go like this? Fly, bravery! Take me down! Let's go, bring me down to here. I'd like to go over to my. Hello, I flew over to you. Oh yeah, she's got a munchlax. My, my, what a frightful sky. We might all die, and that isn't a lie. Let's go, my guy. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? You weren't the one that did it, did you? I don't know, or I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to find out. I wonder if I have to go back and talk to all my friends. I wonder if that's what we're gonna do. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all of this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. Oh no. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Wire Deer took a liking to you. I want to offer my support, but forgive me, I can't help you. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. That is so true. Yep, this too shall pass. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Wait, so where do I go next? Do you have any other advice for me? Oh, we're just walking over here. Nice waterfall in the background. Man, this is such a beautiful scene. Oh my goodness. The sky looks kind of funny. And we have these funny sandals on still. Car! What's that? Some kind of Pokemon? A little Sphinx! Hello? Or Shinx, not Sphinx. What's up, man? Wait, these are normally supposed to be aggressive. Why is it just coming up to me? We're like, ah. What's up? Do you have any advice for me? Do you want me to follow you? Oh, and there are two Luxios over there. Mom, Dad, can I play with the human? No, son, let's go. Come on, listen to your father, let's go. We're like, oh man, I wish I could live with a family. Wait, no, this can't just be how the game ends. Oh, it's Link! Of course, the hero of Hyrule has come to save us all. Strange events seem to follow wherever you go, don't they? It's Link, I know it's Link, yeah. All right, Link, what do you have to say? Found you at last, ZX Many. I've been looking all over for you, you know? What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I already heard what happened. A good merchant knows all the important news right away. Seems like you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of the Galaxy Clan and how they treated you. But don't worry, there are still corners of the Hisoi region where he can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. Wait, is there still another area? Let's see, where are we going? Here we are! Wait, is this the camp that I came by before? I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Yeah, it's beggars can't be choosers, that's the saying. Let's see, disaster looming. Speak to the person who dwells here. Wait, let's look at the map. Where are we, ancient retreat. Oh, so there actually is something that fills in this space over here. There is one more area. Oh man. So I wonder if there's gonna be an area down there maybe. And if there's maybe gonna be an area over here. Wow. Can I go in the fire? I can't go in the fire. Who's this? Shrooky God wants to come pester me again. Even beneath the bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasant, Mistress Kajita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hisoi's myths and legends. No mistress, thank you. Just good. Oh, I think my voice is too old for her. No mistress, thank you. Just Kajita. And this is. Why, ZX Many is the man of the hour. He's the one who calmed down all the crazy Pokemon, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last. Thanks to you. Lost one. Duty? What do you mean? Indeed, I am to guide you, Lost One, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. Alright, let's get inside that house then. Oh, this is a very green and bright looking area. I like this a lot. This is super cool. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. The Diamond Clans or the Pearl Clans? The Diamond Clans? The expanse from antiquity to eternity, and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from the here and now into the future, while space yawns all-encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. 
You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? You can't really. Or they're inseparable. You can't really. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a warden such as you. One who has known other ages. Oh, wanderer, not warden. Now listen, lost one. Here is what you must do. His soy holds three lakes of great importance. Lake Verity, Lake Velo, and Lake Acuity. Am I gonna have to go catch three legendary Pokemon? And each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the riff? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardships it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty and you'll do it, won't you? Of course, or I can't possibly. Of course, I'll do it. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Yeah, that's nice. That's important to do. Oh, my phone's beeping. Your arc phone is beeping. Yeah, we haven't had it in a while. You can see the locations of the three lakes on your phone. Okay, cool. Let's get to these three lakes. Mistress kajita has got a lovely workbench here. And if you need materials, I'll be glad to help you. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? I'll need rest too. Oh wait, I probably care more about the pastures because then I can switch Pokemon. No need to worry about that. If you don't draw too much attention, I imagine you could steal a bit of Shut Eye from one of the base camps. Aba! What is there, Pokemon outside? What was that cry? We now have have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, ZX Many. Let's check it out. Let's go. I wonder if it's gonna be like the Mesprit and the other three ones. The ones that kind of look like Mew. Oh, there's an Abra. Why, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport from, little fellow? Is it this the one from uh, the captain's office? And it's got a letter. It's addressed to you, ZX Many. Let's check it out. Thank you, Abra. Take a closer look at the letter. To ZX Many, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your in your ability as an adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Survey Corps Captain, Galaxy Expedition Team. Oh, well, that's quite nice. Oh, I guess it is her Abra. Good tidings from the letter, letter then. That's right, or it's a secret. That's right. Yeah, I'll let Link know. We got some good news. It's not a secret from him. Now then, so we're to visit Three Lakes? Doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guild merchant. Oh, and here come these two. What, are you guys gonna help me out? I've managed to reassure my people for now. The wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Seems all is quiet for the moment, and so here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. Wait, what are you doing here, then? If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relationships would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention, so it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you, though the answer should be obvious. Oh, I can only pick one of them? Alright, so I've made a copy of this save file so I can see if something different happens if you pick one person or the other person. But, let's pick Adam in this time. Obviously, you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestica flute in the first place? That's right, it was me. Yeah, I choose you. Thought so, you can count on me. So then, the leftover leader will... Yeah, Link, what's gonna happen? Leftover? I'm not someone scraps. I will keep watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course, you are useful. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. All right, let's go. Are all three of us going to go to each lake together, or are each of us going to go to one lake? Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisoi's region's three great lakes to fin to visit first, not to finish first. Right, we better get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever you decide to go. We'd be in hot water if we're seen traveling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adamin. Don't cause ZX many more trouble. We nod. All right! The trial of Lake Verity, the trial of Lake Valor, and the trial of Lake Acuity. So I guess we have to do all three of these missions. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are these things that are showing up here- Wait, mass outbreak? Does that mean there's a mass outbreak of Machokes? I was thinking at first that the map is showing me where there are some- What is it called? Where there are some 
alpha versions of the Pokemon, but it looks like what we are actually seeing is there are like mouse outbreaks of those Pokemon apparently. All right, let's go over here then so then we can travel. On oh, what a beautiful area we are at. Oh my goodness. It's where you headed. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go to Field Lands Camp. I think I don't know if that's the closer one. All right. Everything looks basically the same. Wait a minute. But this guy's here instead of the professor. He's looking at me very suspiciously. He's like, "Huh, why does everybody think you're so great?" And my Drapion's HP isn't yellow anymore. That's so strange. Okay, so then where's the lake? Where's the lake? The lake is over there to the right. Oh! Oh, maybe we couldn't reach it before because we wouldn't have been able to climb high enough. But now we can climb and we can fly and we can do whatever we want. Let's do this. Let's fly up high. Actually, let's drop down here. Let's fly from here. Let's go like this. Take me to over there! Take me to over there, bird. Yeah, it looks like, oh, 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 because it's so high up here so we couldn't reach. I see, there's some shiny stuff down here. Stuff to collect over there, some Pokemon over there. Let's go stop by this lake down here. Oh man, this is just like in Brilliant Diamond and, uh, and Shining Pearl. All right, let's head down here. Ready to head down. Okay, that might kill us though, so I'm gonna drop down carefully. Oh, wait. Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness, I thought we took fall damage and died, oh man. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano, then it erupted, leaving a huge crater th that filled with water. And so Lake Verity was born. Okay. It is protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Oh, that's how the old- or that's how the old tale goes, anyway. Okay, let me check my phone. Your arc phone is beeping, Arceus, what do you have to say? Whoa! It's, it is a face ID, face ID. That's how our phone unlocks, except instead of face ID, it's rock ID. Oh my goodness, now we can head into the tunnel. Are we gonna have to catch this one? The cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that the art phone the professor was going on about? Yeah, that's my art phone. The merchant's like, I want one of those. Let's go, ZX Many. The mistress Kajita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard the lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. Do I have to catch them or do I have to prove my way in some other way? Let's see. I'm assuming there aren't any more like huge areas to explore. There's something about this place I can't just quite put into words. Whoa! Uh, that's not what I remember Mesprit looking like. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Trounce that thing, ZX Many! Prove to the Pokemon of the lake how strong you are! Alright. Battle the Pokemon lurking within Verity Cavern. Can I catch it? Let me sneak up on it. Oh no, I can't sneak up on it. I have to actually go up to it. I'll roll into it. Hey, I was right in the water. How did I get back here? Go! Is it go or goo? Alright, so it looks like we are having a battle. Let's see if we can catch this guy before. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, it's level 58. Level 58, Gudra or Gudra. Whoa! Uh, we're almost dead. Oh, that was crazy. Okay, so let's do, uh... Okay, not very effective. Not very effective. This is super effective. Let's do an Agile style like that. I don't know what type it is. What type could it be? If fighting is super effective, grass is not very effective. And flying is not very effective. Okay, normal or strong? Let's do a strong one now. Okay, so our Decidueye is probably going to faint. But at least we'll get this guy's HP low, right? Let's see. Okay, almost in the red, but not quite in the red yet. So you know what? Oh wait, is he gonna attack twice in a row now? Okay, defensive stats were raised and became obscured. No, he gets to go twice. Okay, we're dead, right? Iron Tail, yeah, we're definitely dead here. Okay, so who next? Who next? That is the question. Uh, Thunder Fang is not very effective and it might paralyze. So that would actually be great. If we could paralyze it, that would be amazing. Let's see, so this is not very effective. Agile style will let us go twice, too, so let's do that. Oh, wait, but it's obscured, so we might miss. Let's see. We hit. Got it into the red. Didn't paralyze it. You know what? I'll do one more Agile Thunder Fang just to get his HP a bit lower. I don't know if... No! The attack missed! That's so sad. Okay, Hydro Pump. Are we dead? Okay, we're not dead. Okay, well, that's good. Okay, let's do an Agile Thunder Fang, then. Hopefully, we could land this one. The last one missed. Let's see. Nice, we landed it. Please be paralyzed. 
Ah, oh, that's so sad. Okay, so our Pokemon's gonna be defeated now. This is a pretty cool arena we're in over here. Okay, Luxray fainted. We've gotta send out our next Pokemon. Okay, it's no longer obscured. Defense returns to normal. So you know what? Let's put it to sleep with Ravidash. Or not put it to sleep, make it drowsy is what they call it in this game. And let's do that strong style so that we have greater accuracy. 90% accuracy instead of 70% accuracy. Very nice, looks like we hit. So we should have a better shot at catching it now. Okay, it uses shelter. And you know what? I imagine this is just a guess. Oh, wait, will it attack twice in a row? Will it use Hydro Pump now? Oh, too drowsy to move. Perfect. Okay, if we can catch it right now, that would be amazing. I imagine this is probably going to be pretty hard to catch because it's probably some kind of legendary Pokemon. So let's see. Its HP is really low, though. Ah, that's so sad. I was kind of hoping that we'd just be able to get it right away like that. Hydro Pump. Ha ha! Rabidash avoided the attack. Good job, Rabidash. Now, uh, let's use another Great Ball. Let's see. I kind of wish that we still had Ultra Balls. We did get an Ultra Ball earlier in the game. We had one Ultra Ball, but we did use it. Oh, I thought that meant it. We caught it. I was about to get very excited. I saw that light. I'm like, what? We caught it? Okay, let's see. Rabidash fainted. Okay, it turned its back on an opponent. Maybe that means that it'll be easier to catch. No, but it's just a joke. I don't think that matters in battles if you throw a Pokeball at it from behind or from the front. Wait, it's so weird. It's facing backwards. That's so weird. That's so weird that it is facing backwards during the battle. It didn't learn its lesson from bumper balls. Or wait, uh, bumper balloon cars. What? We caught it! We caught it! I was trying to make a joke about Mario Party and we caught this Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's fantastic. Great job, everyone. Now what's gonna happen? Hey, we caught the first one. That's the way, ZX Many. I can tell by watching that you and the Pokemon that you've caught in those little balls truly understand one another. Now, let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel a mysterious presence. Oh wait, are we not gonna be able to catch the Pokemon here? Oh, we're very shocked. Hey, it's one of these! Hey, what's up, Mesprit? Wait, 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 wait. Complete Mesprit's trial. What is Mesprit's trial? Let's see, what is your trial, Mesprit? Speak to me, Mesprit. Wait. Your emotions. Share them with me. They're yours or not a chance? They're yours, of course, of course. Of course. So it speaks from its mind straight to yours. Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies an aspect of the mind, I guess. Wow, that's super interesting. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Surprise. Next question. Wait, are there more questions or is that it? How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting, bizarre, or heartening? Exciting. Heartening would also be a good answer. Bizarre would be weird. It's like, it was so bizarre to strange with Pokemon. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? We're all so different. It's a wide world. I don't know. We're not very different at all. Wait, why is the guy face palming in the background? It's like, don't look at me. It's a wide world. That's a weird reply for, how did you feel? What did you feel when cast out of- Oh, when cast out of Team Galaxy. I felt bitter. Life is complicated. I accepted it. It's alright. It's alright. I knew it had to be done. It's like when you're playing Mario Party and your friends steal stars from you. It's like they're not doing it because they hate you. It's like business is business. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Wait, do my answers matter? I wonder if my answers matter. Wow! We've got this golden ball of light. Oh, it is a pentagon! Mesprit's plume. Proof that you have completed the trial set by Mesprit, the being of emotion that lives in Lake Verity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. Wait a minute, the red chain? Red chain? Do they mean like the same thing that's used on Dialga and Brilliant Diamond? Oh my goodness. There are so many references to Brilliant Diamond in this game, it's unbelievable. I can't even imagine what that must feel like, having a Pokemon talk to you without words. That's some crazy stuff, man. The world's full of mysteries, I guess. I could hardly even be surprised at things like this after seeing the sky itself so warped. Now then, we got two lakes left. Let's go, man. Alright, are you gonna heal up my- Where's the exit? It's like when you go into a corner store, and you have a really bad sense of direction. You're like, where's the exit? How do I get out of here? Okay, let's leave. All right now, looks like that worked out well, ZX Mini. Yes, it did. Gotta admit, you sure know plenty about his soy bolo. That's right, I am Link. I am the legend of Hyrule. That's exactly why I know, or more accurately, the legend of Hyrule. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you sure are the Legend of Hyrule. Hey, what's your favorite Zelda game anyways? Well, Majora's Mask is a pretty fun one. I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet, but I've heard very good things about it. Do you want to return to Mistress Kojito's home? No. Or, you know what? Yeah, let's go back, let's go back. Why not go back? Because then we can rest. Perfect! I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. Ah, oh, man, maybe I don't want to talk to her then. I just want to go get the next, uh, spirit. Here we are. Oh, she has some tea, and I'm also drinking some tea right now. Ah, Mesprit's plume. So the legends told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. It's like you didn't you didn't believe this stuff before. You're like, oh, now, now, it looks like it actually is true. I guess this all makes no sense to me. These Pokemon represent our minds, and they'll give us this thing, and that'll let us bind the world and solve the mess? But how? Why? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? Well, maybe right before it happened, we would think that it's about to happen. One might even say the world, time, space, all creation, exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. There are a lot of interesting philosophical questions in this. To be is to perceive, to be is to be perceived? There are so many different thoughts on that that philosophers have had throughout the ages. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I get it even less now. Ah, <laughs> what a funny guy. Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. That is such a great line. It's like we do learn, we do learn so much from myths in incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right! Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study, especially the Legend of Zelda, where I'm from! Ha ha ha! Oh, how funny you are, Link. What a funny person you are. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. As if you haven't been to enough ancient ruins already, Link. Oh cool, the Abra's here. I wonder if I could write a letter back. Oh, oh! Oh, Abra lets us transfer Pokémon back and forth. I understand. Okay, what type is this guy that we just got here? Steel Dragon! Oh, wait, 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 that's the same type as, uh, what is it called? Isn't that the same type? Oh, whoa, 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 Psychic Fighting? Wait a minute, is this like a different form of Gardevoir? Psychic Fighting is such a darn cool type matchup. You know what? You know what, I'm getting rid of Thundershock and learning Thunder Wave. Because maybe we'll need another Pokemon to inflict a specific status, status condition, so that might be useful. Alright, let's go to the next lake, bro. I'm ready to go. Where are you headed? Let's see. The next lake? Oh, up here. We're going up to the one up here. Alright, we are in this snowy area here. So, let's see. Where do we have to go? Let's see. Jump off, fly! Oh, we're not flying very high. Ah, oh, we reached the ground. Oh, but immediately we transform into this. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Let's jump and fly! Fly with me, my bird, fly! We're probably not gonna be able to fly all the way up there. I don't know if this is faster, or if my other friend is faster. I don't know if my antlered friend is faster than this. Let's see, we're gonna fly over there. Okay, we can go quite quickly like this. And it's nice that we don't have to worry about the terrain when we are moving like this. We can just go quickly like this. Oh, that looks like it's some... I wonder if I could use Rock Smash to get through those? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That rock over there, the one that's kind of broken. Wait, when is Craig ever going to show up? Wait, is there going to be like a camp here or something? Who are you? Who are you, bro? I can set up another base camp, but I don't spy Craig from the construction corpse. I told him to meet me near the base of the falls, so where is he? He's not the type to usually get lost, so I'm a bit worried. Do me a favor, will you find Craig for me? Okay. Well, if I come across him, I'll let you know. But yeah, I am curious about that, uh, that rock formation there. Very curious about that rock formation there. I wonder if we could use one of our current Pokemon to break through there? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, we don't have one of these yet. So, uh, can I catch you now? No, you're aggressive. Okay, so I'm gonna come back for you sometime. But that's cool to know that there's some other Pokemon that we can get that we don't have yet. Okay, more of these guys. And let's climb up here with Sneasler. Sneasler, bring me up here. Let us ascend. 
Okay, so we're just making it up this mountain here. The next lake should be over there. But yeah, I don't know if we're getting another one of these Pokemon because we already have quite a few. Let's go like this. Okay, bring me the bird. I require the bird, Pokemon. Okay, so why is dive? So let's dive down now. Let's just dive down straight to these guys. Bam! And there we are. Made it right to them. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon. Yeah! You know, we have been seeing a bunch of uh, salt crystals everywhere. Okay, Uxie. Oh, problems were born in people's minds since uh, since Uxie was around. Is that right? Okay, let's use our arc phone. Man, we're really starting to use our phone a lot. We didn't see our phone a whole lot at the beginning and middle of the game, but now we're seeing it a lot. Every time we're going into one of these caves, we're using our phone to get in. Wow, Adaman looks so shocked. He's like, it's not like I've just seen this happen before. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. Let's go. What kind of Pokemon is it going to be? I wonder if it's going to be the same Pokemon or a different Pokemon. Very curious. Now let's see what's waiting for us. Whoa! What is that? Oh, whoa! That's crazy. I know you don't need me to tell you this, but I've got to say it. Be careful around that thing. Yeah, I will. I wonder what type it is. Let's see. Let's go up to it. That looks crazy. Looks very angry. It's like a fox demon. It's like Naruto. Okay, go whale ring. I wonder if it's part fire type because it's a little bit red. Let's see. Zozoar. It's filled with might. Oh, does it attack me? Shadow Claw. That's probably pretty strong. Okay. Okay, took away a good amount of HP. Water Pulse is effective. Ice is effective. Wow. So all these moves are just normally effective. Okay, if I use... Oh, I can't use Strong Form Blizzard. Let's use Strong Ice Beam. Oh, it could leave the target with Frostbite. That would actually be pretty cool if that happened. Because maybe that means that it can't attack for a turn. And also it would be a status effect, so that might be nice. I wonder what type this guy is. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. More than I thought it would, actually. Okay, there's one Shadow Cloud. Now it'll probably attack again and we're defeated, right? Agile style? Agile style what? Nasty plot. Oh, wait, that puts up its special attack, doesn't it? Well, I guess, uh, over here. Offensive stats were raised. Normally, I think... Whoa! And you got to attack again? How many times in a row do you get to attack, bro? Oh, my goodness. That was, like, three attacks in a row. Oh, fighting has no effect on him. So maybe he's, like, partially a ghost type or something? Normal has no effect on him. Okay, so he's probably partially a ghost type. And Dark is super effective. Yeah, so this guy's probably a ghost type. Ghost or maybe ghost something. Alright, let's try using a weak attack on him. And uh, getting his HP a little bit lower. So you know what? Aerial Ace and Magical Leaf are both our weakest. So if we do Agile Style, then that'll make it even weaker. And then hopefully we can just get his HP nice and into the red here. Let's see, how's that? Great, 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 great. That's very good. I like that. Okay, it uses Agile Sour. Are we dead in one hit? Shadow Claw, let's see how's that. Okay, half dead, but he gets to attack again with Shadow Claw. Man, this guy really enjoys his Shadow Claws. I guess it is probably a Ghost-type Pokemon, so that makes sense. Now then, let's go like this with Luxray. We should be able to get out a nice Thunder Wave to it. If we do a uh, Strong Style, then it goes up to 100% accuracy, so that should hit. But I think he'll get to attack twice in a row. Oh, his tail almost looked like something different. I thought for a second that there was like an Abra walking around or something. Okay, it is paralyzed. So there might be some turns where it's unable to move. Okay, Shadow Claw, are we dead or no? Oh, that did surprisingly little damage. Okay, and then paralyzed, can't move. Okay, great. Now then, Great Balls or Poke Balls? That is the question. Let's try with a Great Ball. Let's see how that goes. And I wonder if Leaden Balls are also good during a battle, or if they're only particularly- OH MY GOODNESS! We caught it with the first Great Ball! That's hilarious! Oh man! Wow! Wow, I was just getting ready, I'm like, I only have 9 Great Balls left and I still have to catch this guy and the next guy? But man, we caught him right with the first ball throw, that's amazing! Knew you could do it, ZX Many! Hey, uh, you feel a mysterious- oh, you feel a mysterious presence! I thought that was the guy talking. Okay, we're just as surprised as before. Kion! Okay, let's have a chat with this person now. Hello. Too bad you don't catch these Pokemon. You just see them. Come, I will test your knowledge. What is the integral of X cubed from the range minus three to two? Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't read the, I didn't read the first one. Something, something, something. How many are their eyes? 
Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. I'm ready to answer. Can you- Yo, thank goodness, can you repeat that is an option. Oh my goodness, okay. Combi? Okay, so Combi has six eyes. Wait, does Zubat have two eyes or zero eyes? Because he can't really see its eyes. Does Zubat have eyes? Does Zubat have eyes? It has no eyes. Okay, so Zubat, I'm pretty sure, has zero eyes. Unknown has one eye. Magneton, does Magneton have two eyes? Wait, 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 wait. No, Magnemite has two, but Magneton is, I think, three Magnemites together. Wait, 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 oh, they've got one eye each. Okay, Magnemite has one eye, but Magneton is three of them together, so Magneton will be three eyes. Dusclops, is Dusclops one eye? Okay, and Dusclops is one eye. How many are their eyes? Tell me each one by one and yet all at once. Okay, I'm ready to answer. Let's see, I'm ready to answer. Enter your answers. Oh, enter your answers together as a series of numbers. Okay, so you go six, oh, one, three, one. And that's what we have to do, is that right? Let's see. Let's see. Kion, is that right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, so I guess the answers that you choose when you're talking to these people are really important. Because if you give this person the wrong number, then they probably don't give you this item. Okay, we got the claw. Very nice. We got two of the three items. We just need one more. Then I'm very curious to see what will happen after that. Just one more to go. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go see what that final Pokemon is. Man, we are catching some pretty cool Pokemon here. This guy that's using all these Shadow Claws, really cool Pokemon. Reminds me a bit of Groudon, which was one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Absolutely love Pokemon Ruby and Groudon. I assume all went well, zx Mini. Link, why are you not coming into the cave with us? Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? It's all this running about. It's because they want to... Yeah, exactly. This guy knows. They want to test us. Perhaps you're right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands, after all. Yeah, you're right, Link. We wouldn't want Ganondorf to get that, would we? What would some villain use with it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you could be right. Guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, shall we go back to Mistress Kajita's house? Let's go back. Wonderful. Then we can see if Mistress Kajita has any more insights to share with us. Alright, back to the village we go. Back to this beautiful village we go over here. You know, I think they could have made the sky look a little bit nicer. The way that it has those shapes, it almost makes it seem like it's a sky from an older game with like poorer graphics. So I kind of wish that the sky was a bit different. So that's Uxie's Claw. I sense a warmth to it. Let's see. Indeed, you may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Kamado has raised a force. Not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should the need arise. Oh, one of those Ginkgo Guild merchants. You make it sound as if you're not one of them. No, I'm not one of them. I'm Link. I'm Link. Yeah, that's right. That settles it, ZX Many. He is Link. We've got one more thing to go to get the red chain. Let's go. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold too. Now that Zelda's safe in her castle, watch. Is that really all you do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. Yes, we will. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Oh, and our team's already healed. Okay. Okay, where are you headed? We are going to the final lake now. We're going to the lake down here. Oh, I don't know if that was the right camp to go to. I don't know which camp is closer to the lake. So let's see. This is so exciting. It's actually so cool that a lot of these areas are very similar. Or at least they have similar names to... Oh, we want to go all the way over there. Or at least they have similar names... Wait, 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 wait. Can we go anywhere closer? Yeah, let's go to the diamond settlement here. That'll be much faster. Yeah, but it's really cool how a lot of these places are either similar or they have very similar names to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Oh yeah, and I forgot about the Psyducks. These Psyducks, they still have a headache all this time. Meanwhile, I'm just like, oh, got stuff to do. Got stuff to do. Sorry, everybody. This is like a super jump that we can do. Okay, nice, nice, nice. That's a nice, fast way to make it over here. Okay, I don't want to dive straight into the water. Wait, wait, wait. That looked like a Rayquaza in the water, but I'm sure that it wasn't. 
There's no way that there would be a Rayquaza in the water over here in the lake. There's absolutely no way. There's absolutely no way that that would be that. It's got to be a different Pokemon. All right, caught up with these guys now. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake... Yeah, I was going to say, isn't that how the first lake was made? Though there are also other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. Wait a minute, I thought I was behind you already. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts. Well, that is what legend would have us believe. How does Link know all of these legends? Okay, all right, my phone's ringing. That means take out the phone and activate. Are we all gonna be surprised that the cave opens a third time? As we've seen it twice already, we shouldn't be shocked this time. What's gonna happen now? Let's see our faces. Is it gonna show our faces? Oh, we're pretty calm. A cave appears when there was none. Yeah, in we go. Okay, at least we weren't that surprised this time. Okay, let's head on in. And let's see what kind of Pokemon we are going to run into this time. Who are we gonna run into this time? Let's see what we're up against. What if there's- Oh! <laughs> Man, is this like the evolved form of that, uh, Quill- Is it called- No, not Quillava. I can't remember what it's called. I've heard about this one from my grandfather. Those quills, they're venomous. Yeah, they certainly look like it. I don't know if this is just an alpha Pokemon, or if this is actually a legendary Pokemon. You know what? Since it looks like a water type, maybe a water poison type, maybe it'll be a good idea to start off with a Luxray over here. Oh wait, we're standing in the water. We probably don't want to be standing in the water if there's going to be electricity here. I don't think it actually works like that in this game. I don't think you can get electrocuted through the water in this game. But in real life, water and electricity are enemies, as Davy 504 says it. Oh, double edge. Oh, that did quite a bit of damage. Wait a minute. This guy might actually defeat himself with double edge if we're not careful. Okay, if we do an Agile style here, then we can attack twice. But let's see. Uh, you know what? I'll just do a normal Thunder Fang. Let's see how that goes. Oh, that does much less than I thought it would. Um, should I use one more then? I'm not going to use a strong Thunder Fang. You know what? I'll do a normal Thunder Fang. Hopefully it doesn't use Double Edge again. I don't want his HP to get too low. Uh, okay, it uses double edge, okay. Is your HP going into the red? Let's see. Okay, his HP is going into the red. Should I try to make it drowsy with Rabidash? Or do I just try to catch it? Wait, is it called Overquill? Overquill! That is hilarious! It's like Overkill, but it's Overquill. That is actually so funny. Okay, let's do a Hypnosis over here. Come on. Avoided the attack! Avoided the attack! Avoided the attack. It avoided the attack. The attack was avoided. It avoided the attack. With a 90% accuracy move, it avoided the attack. You know what? I've got to revive my Pokemon then. I, you know what? I'll even revive a uh, Luxray. That's what I'll do. Let's see. Are you going to use double edge? Don't keep using double edge. I don't want you, I don't want you to defeat yourself with double edge. Okay. It's HP is pretty low. I'm kind of scared that it might actually defeat itself with double edge. So let's try using a Great Ball while his HP is low. Even though it doesn't have a status effect, we'll still try to catch it. Let's see. Maybe not, but let's see. Okay, it escaped. Don't defeat yourself with Double Edge. Don't. Bro, you're going to defeat yourself with Double Edge. You're going to defeat yourself with Double Edge. Look at that. Why would you do this, bro? No, I didn't defeat it. It defeated itself. I think this might be a better strategy. I tried using a Thunder Wave at the beginning just to get it to have a status effect like this. And twice in a row now, it hasn't been able to attack, so that's pretty good. You know, should I try a Leaden Ball? Should I try a Feather Ball? No, I'll just go for a Great Ball. Its HP isn't in the red yet, but it'll probably use a few double edges and it'll get hit with Recoil Hurt itself. So I'll just go like this for now, just so we have a few more shots at catching it. Because, yeah, it defeat. You know, I'll try even a regular... Ah, no, you know what? I'll try a Great Ball. I don't know if we're going to need Great Balls, because I don't know what's coming up after this. I don't know if this is the last Pokemon that we have to catch in the game, or at least in the main storyline. Okay, there we go. It took two Great Balls to catch once we were able to catch it. And we didn't even have to get its HP super low. That worked out great. That strategy is very good. Just using a Thunder Wave, an Agile Thunder Wave right at the start. And then I think I did, like, one or two Thunder Fangs. That's my ZX Medi! You feel a mysterious presence. Oh yeah, now what kind of, a uh, kind of trick are we gonna have? Or not trick, what kind of trial are we gonna have over here? Kyun! This one over here with the blue head. 
in the red gem over there. Show to me your unyielding will. Strike me if you can. What? Wait, do I have a... Oh man, 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 oh man. Did those bombs just appear out of nowhere? I guess you're meant to throw them at Azel. Oh man. This is gonna be something. Okay, let's see. Let's see, can I get you? Come on, you're not gonna move, are you? You're not gonna move, right? You're gonna move as soon as I throw it, I know you are. Ah, you moved! You moved, I didn't even have to throw it. Where are you going, bro? Where'd you go? There you are. Don't move, bro, don't move. Don't move, don't move. Did I get you? No, I think it teleported as soon as I went to throw it. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have to guess where it's going to go? And then like, okay, I think this might be the plan. Oh, 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 I got too close. Where are you? Okay, if I go like this, then maybe I'll teleport to there. And maybe I'll hit you where you teleport to. Ah. Wait, what is happening? Are you gonna give me a tip now? You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? I'm not through yet. Oh wait, maybe the point is that we're just supposed to keep going? Maybe that's actually the point. Maybe it's actually not possible to hit Azel. Oh, I actually almost got them there. See, where are you going next, bro? Where are you going next, bro? I'm gonna be ready for you. Oh, you're over there. You're all the way over there, huh? Where are you going next? Where are you going next, bro? Where are you going, bro? Right here? Ah! Come on, you should have given me a chance to do that. I don't want to give up yet. I want to keep going. I want to keep going. Seem to hear a voice inside. Seems... No! I'm not through yet. I actually want to continue. I'm starting to think that it is possible now, but maybe, maybe they just make you repeatedly do this. I hope that if you miss too many times, they don't force you to give up. This is probably like the person of will. Ah, I probably could have gotten it if my aim was better. Let's see, where are you now? Ah! No, I want to keep going! I wish to keep going. What is the voice? Give up! No, I will press on. I am not done. Now is it gonna go? Oh, you have... Bro, 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 come on. Kion! Wait, did I get it? Did I get it or what? Take this piece of- Wait, I'm not sure if I got it or if it's because I was continuing for long enough. Because I don't know, that- 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 It kind of looked like it was close. Okay, as Elf's Fang, we got another Pentagon over here. Okay, so we got the three pieces. Let's go make the red chain! Let's go, bro! Let's go, bro, the journey's complete. Wait, and the bombs are gone now, too. So now let's make it out of here! Took care of all the lakes, let's go. It seems we finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the shrouded rooms. Oh yeah, that's right, we gotta go to the shrouded rooms. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient rooms. Of course you are, Link. Let's be on our way, let's go, let's go indeed. Okay, here we are at the ruins. We didn't even have to walk here. The cutscene just automatically brought us here. Now let's see, the shrouded ruins. Mist is so good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're somehow to bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then, we, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems like, oh Kajita, seems like I've made it in time. Showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess, am I right? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but like, how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? What? When? What are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste! So, who are we going to, to make the chain? Do we need Arceus to make the chain? What do we do? Oh! Here come these guys! Hello, the three guys! Yo, what's up, Pokemon? Ah! Ah! The Pokemon of the lakes! They're glowing red! Uh-oh! They're not becoming evil, are they? I don't think they're glowing red because they're evil. I don't think they're gonna want to fight, no. They're just gonna help make the red chain. They've been helping me so much. Oh, cool! A red chain! What if we just put it on instead of our scarf? You received the red chain. Let's go! Thank you, guys. Thank you all for your help. Now what? What do you have to say about this lady? My lady. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. 
You've succeeded once again, ZX Mate. Thank you, Link. I'm wondering if other people also see him as Link, because he just looks so much like Link. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. Oh! What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what does he think he can do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't know that our zx Many has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's right! We've got to let him know that it'll be alright that we have the red chain. And even the commander should see reason then, and call off this foolhardy plan of his. What are we gonna do with the red chain? Is Dialga and Palkia in this? Is Arceus in this? Is Darkrai in this game? Find out! In a few moments- Oh, it's Akari! Hey, Akari. Why are you so sad? What's wrong, Akari? Don't be so sad! Why are you so sad? Oh, I'm running by- CX Mini! Ah, oh, she's so happy all of a sudden! Hey! Welcome back! Thank you. It's been very grim here. We in the Survey Corps hardly speak to one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Silene's appetite for potato mochi will return! Anyway, wait here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the captain know you're back. Alright, thank you, Akari. Hey, Professor's back too! Oh my dear zx Money. The Professor has been awfully worried about you, zx Many, and so have I. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I can hold a candle to the distress you showed, Akari. Uh, that's blowing it out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. That's kind of funny. But, uh, where's the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, Professor? She's buried under a mount of work, I'm afraid. Way to join her in the Survey Corps office. Seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Commando's gone. The Commander's gone? He's not here? Well, he set out from our coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokémon that's been spotted on the other side. That's why I was filling in for the regular guards with Pikachu at the ready. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the Captain. I thought that maybe we would want to head up to Mount Coronet and try and stop that guy then. Hopefully he doesn't run into any trouble going up to Mount Coronet. So, you managed to not die just as I ordered. Well done, sir. Thank you, Captain. Oh, I could have said thank you, Captain, or I owe it to Adam, and I just said thank you, Captain. I have no idea what you are implying. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. <laughs> Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you managed to learn something of use. I visited the Three Lakes. I got this red chain. Yo, I got this red chain. Check it out. Go on. It's like, uh, yeah, that's all. I got a red chain. Pretty sick, isn't it? Wow, that's a pretty sweet chain. A legendary tool to bind the world. Uh, Commander Komodo is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The security corps has been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they reported sightings of something strange on the other side of it, something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. However strong the commander himself may be, he should have gotten ZX Many to help. As a captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. ZX Many, take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Alright, let's go. There's the next mission. Are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? Uh, no, I'm not, but I'm going to do it anyways. If he didn't wish for me to decide things in his place, then he should have not left me in charge here. <laughs> Her face is so funny. I love Akari's face. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the security corps. Naturally, no one suggested that you should not. You cannot take my Abra, though. All right, let's go. What in the world? There's a Lucario right here. I can speak to it. Grove, what are you doing here? Something the matter, Lucario? Whose Lucario is this? Who is this? Where are you from? Oh, I thought his hair was sticking through his hat. I'm Rye, like Rye Bread. And you are? I'm ZX Mini. Oh, you're ZX Mini. Nice to meet you. Grove. What is it, Lucario? Grove. Seems Lucario sense your strong aura too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Oh, man. I don't think I'm ready to battle a Lucario right now, but maybe another time. That's just a, that's just a side quest right now, but that's so cool. I really want to go battle that guy, I want to see. So he's at the training ground, so there's a guy up there, over there at the training ground. But instead, we're going to head out here, because this is where we have to go to continue the game right now. We've got to continue the game. There, there's like, people's lives are at stake. I can't battle some guy with a Lucario just because he wants to battle right now. 
Got other important things to do. Oh, I wanted to dive past him. I love diving past people in cutscenes. Or before a cutscene starts. There you are, ZX Many. Arita's already headed to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? The commander's already at Mount Coronet! He's already started up the mountain? He must be more reckless than that dignified manner of his lets on. Not that I blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time, am I right? Well, all right. Guess I'm going after him. Am I right? Let me go first, DX Manny. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's wasting. See you there. Huh, who is the reckless one now? Wait, who's this kid? Oh, oh, it's Link and his and his uh, little sister. Hey, uh, you got to run out of the village, why? But you still try to find a way to help us all? Yeah, that's right, I still want to help you guys. That's right, CX Many worked hard to get that red chain to help us, didn't you? Too right, and a fine job he did too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon and Titans. Thank you, uh, please take this. What do we get? A Max Revive? Okay, yeah, sure, I guess I'll take it. That's nice, that's nice, thank you. Just hoping that maybe it'd be like a Master Ball or something. But yeah, sure, Max Revive's pretty cool. Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here, alive. No dying allowed. If you die, you will be in grave trouble. Let's go. I think we are approaching a peak, and I don't mean we are approaching a literal peak to the mountain. Well, I do mean that, but I think we are also reaching a peak to the game. I think we are soon reaching the climax of the game. I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the Galaxy Team, have you? Well, not according to the Commander. I haven't spoken with the Commander yet. I suppose congratulations are in order. Some max potions to celebrate, bro, thank you. Can I have some, uh, Great Balls or Ultra Balls, maybe? I think that might be even more useful. Looks like the big moment is upon us at last, but no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Yes, I did. And there's some shiny stuff in the background there. Both Adamant and Arita have headed to the peak as well. Time for me to head up there. We're finally gonna find out what that is. My good friend ZX Many, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly, I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. I've literally never bought anything from you. Not once. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. Wait, but if I buy something from the people at the base camps, then am I technically buying it from him? I don't know if this guy is a merchant, or if he just goes looking for items. As for me, I think I'll set up shop closer to the temple itself. Okay, sure. So maybe we'll run into you soon. Who's this? Oh, it's this guy! It's this guy. Things certainly seem to have, like, gotten out of hand, man. Like, if anything goes wrong, like, the great Melly will be here for, like, moral support and stuff. Thanks, Melly. I appreciate it. Alright, so we want to head up here. You know what? Let's get going fast like this. Oh, I'm like, what's that Pokemon there? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh, we're finally going up this way! This is the thing that I was wondering if this area is for the post game. Okay, we've already caught one of those, I'm pretty sure. Bro, 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 stop, stop, bro. Stop, bro. Okay, there we go. Now we can go here. Wait, now are we going to be allowed to go here? Because normally we're not allowed to go here. Can I enter? Is he still going to say no one can pass? Oh, I can just enter. I can just walk by him. He doesn't stop me now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's make our way through. Oh, I'm like, what is this Pokemon? But it's not a Pokemon. It is a person. Kind of looked like him a chop from behind. There's some cave paintings, some markings to the side there. Hello there, sir. Oh, I heard people mention some stuff about, like, some white markings around people in caves. And it's something that I didn't notice yet until just now. Oh, still alive. Wait, what are you doing? Is it- why- You're supposed to be making potatoes. You're supposed to be making potatoes. What are you doing here? That Taskmaster Commando has gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. Ha <laughs> ha. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for- Wait, do you want to battle? Are you serious? Or I don't understand. Are you serious? What, you want to battle me? I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plan. So is Kamado actually evil? And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. Benny, so you're evil? You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. I've never used them before. Wait. Who are you? When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, 
did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last, what a plot twist! One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. Oh my goodness, the potato cook is secretly an evil ninja that wants to battle? Oh my goodness, the galaxy team's Benny challenged you to a battle. I did not expect this. This is quite the plot twist, okay. Miss Magius, do we have a one-on-one -on -one fight or do we face four of his Pokemon at once? Okay, Miss Magius, use hypnosis. We avoided the attack. What if we use hypnosis back on him? That would be kind of funny. Let's use a fast flame wheel. Let's see how much damage that'll do, because we'll get to attack twice. If that does about a third, that'll be okay, or more than a third. Ah, uh, if it did a bit more, I would have been more comfortable. Hmm. Because I don't know if a strong will finish it off. I'll just go for a normal flame wheel, then it won't finish it off. Let's see. No, I don't know if a strong would have finished it. Okay, but he does get burned. Max Potion? Bro, what are you doing using a, a Max Potion, man? You can't use Max Potions. Only I'm allowed to use potions. I'm sending out a Luxray. I'm switching out. Come back, Rabbit Ash. That's it. I'm switching to a Pokemon that's super effective against you, bro. Let's go, Shadow Ball. Go ahead. How strong is that? Oh, that's quite strong. Don't attack twice. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Do I get to attack twice? Oh, I get to attack twice even if I don't use Agile style. Okay, how strong is this Thunder Fang on you? Let's see. Okay, not strong enough, but... I'll do an Agile style. Hopefully that finishes it off. Let's see. Let's see. Thunder Fang. And there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and that was a critical hit. Okay, one Pokemon defeated. Who's up next? Who's up next? Who are you sending up next? Sneasler. Wait a minute, this is the uh, this is the Pokemon that I have. Oh, strong style, uh-oh. Uh-oh, quick attack, that might defeat me actually. Okay, it does. Now then, Sneezler, is that partially an ice type? Okay, fighting, not very effective. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, but wait, flying is super effective. You know what, why don't I send out this guy then? I'll send out this guy. This might be okay. It's probably like dark fighting maybe? No, wait, I don't know. Or wait, maybe it's dark fighting. I don't know if that would make sense. Uh, if I go normally, then it gets to attack twice. So if I do Agile style, then it only attacks once. So I'll do that Agile style. Maybe next turn I'll use Strong, depending on how powerful this is. Okay, okay. Oh, and that was a critical hit, huh? Okay, use Quick Attack. Okay. Dire Claw. Uh-oh, I'm scared. Uh, we're dead. We're dead. Uh-oh. Two Pokemon down. Two of our Pokemon down, that is. Oh, Earth Power would be super effective against, and you know what, and Garchomp is super fast, and I love my Garchomp, and it is an alpha Pokemon. Look how big I am compared to it, that is terrifying for it. So you know what, I think this might be able to finish it off, let's see, hopefully this can finish it off, because our Garchomp is pretty strong. Let's see, we're two levels lower, but that's super effective, yeah, and same type of attack bonus, so even though it's Agile style, that's enough to finish it off. Who's up next? Gardevoir! Oh man, I love Gardevoir. Gardev oh wait, Ares, super effective on Dragon. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I only have- Wait, Iron Head is super effective? Oh, and I get to attack twice now, that's pretty cool. So let's use Iron Head then, let's see how strong that is. Let's see, oh, oh, stronger than I thought it would be. That was pretty strong, okay. And that was just normal, that wasn't even strong cell. Galley, oh, and this is the fighting, fighting guy. Okay, Drain Punch, I'm probably dead, right? Yeah, okay, I'm dead. Oh, man, I remember Drain Punch being ve a very difficult move to deal with in one of my challenges in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Okay, Shadow Ball is super effective. I'm only level 49 here, though. But let's see if this will be all right. We're up against a pretty tough fight over here. Let's see. Oh, whether I do Strong Style or Agile Style, I attack once, then it attacks once. So I'll just do Strong Style Shadow Ball, I guess. Let's see, how strong is it? Eh, pretty strong. Granted that it's also 11 levels higher than me. Oh, and it uses a Drain Punch. Heals up quite a bit, but... One more strong style Shadow Ball should probably finish it off. But if not, then it gets to attack twice and it heals up a lot of HP. Let's see. Nice. Nice. Okay. All of Benny's Pokemon have been defeated. Nice try, Benny. It seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. Wow, so earlier when I said that Commander Kamado is actually evil, it looks like we were right about that. 
Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, ZX Mini. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. How many times has that been said in this game? Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. If, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself, by force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. What a funny guy. That's a sudden change of heart. Okay, now is this gonna be the final trainer battle over here? It's weird how- Oh, nice, and I'm all healed up. That's amazing, actually. It's weird how there are so few trainer battles in this game. But now, towards the end, there are so many of them. Well, I guess there are two right now. Well, there's one. I'm guessing there's gonna be a second one over here. And there's also that guy that wants to battle uh, our Lucario. Let's head over here. Oh, there's Link. Hey, here are you guys. Oh, it's the Diamond and the Pearl friends. You brought the red chain? Yeah, I got the red chain. CX Many, you're the only one who can stop whatever's unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon that's apparently been sighted through the rift. Uh, I think it might be Almighty Sinnoh, but Commander Kamado stopped us from heading towards the temple. Am I gonna have to go through the temple or do we just have a battle? I'm curious. Let's see. Oh, is my arc phone gonna start beeping now? Curious to see if my arc phone's gonna start beeping. Let's go! Wait, is this the commander here? Is that the commander? It's the commander! Oh! And he's wearing armor! He's wearing black armor over here! Black plate body, black legs, black headband. You are good. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. Welcome idea! Can I truly put my faith in such tales? Of course! You'd say, of course, or trust me, I'll say, of course. Fee thinks about it. Oh, look at the cleaver statue on the top right there. And there's another statue on the top left. What? Do you even think the red chain is a trick on ZX Many Spark? He worked mightily hard to get that thing. And I should know, I was with them the whole time. I saw him rise to the trial set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If he's somehow connected all of that on his own, then what hope do we have anyway? That's such a good point. That's actually hilarious. Perhaps you are right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? So uh, we're gonna battle. I can see that he has Pokeballs on his side. Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility, eh? Forget about it. He looks at me. Fine! Enough! Are you gonna battle me? Come on, you have Pokemon. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger shall prevail. Face me with your Pokemon ZX Mini. Today, we battle in earnest. Let's go. Let's go. The ultimate showdown in the mountains over here. All right. He's got four Pokemon also. Let's see. What is he going to send out? I'm ready. Braviary. Oh. 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 And why am I starting off with Rabidash? Ah. It's level 61. Let me do a hypnosis. 70% accuracy. Please land. Okay, good. I don't care if he defeats my Rabidash right now. I'm just hoping that at least one of its attacks end up uh, not being able to land. Okay. Oh, too drowsy to move. Okay, well, there was the one of its attacks, I guess. Okay, let's do... Oh, let's do this. Let's do a flame wheel first with agile style so that we get to attack first. And then we can do a strong style double edge to deal a lot of damage. Because we know that we're going to be being defeated anyways. Wait, unless... Wait, this does 100, it goes up to 120. This goes up to 75. And hold on, same type attack bonus. That ends up being 112.5. So this one is actually stronger. So I'm gonna use this one over here. Oh, but there's a chance that uh, it's too drowsy to attack. Well, anyways, we'll just attack like this. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, almost defeating it. Okay, but we defeated ourselves. Oh, wait, does this mean that it's going to attack the next Pokemon that we send out now? I hope it doesn't. Do I send out Luxray or do I save my Luxray? That is the question. Let's... Ah, uh, do I send out my Garchomp or save it? That is the question. You know what? Let's send out Drapion. Drapion's 
not a super high level, and we can... He'll probably be able to hold out against basically anything. Oh, both of these are super effective. Oh my goodness. Let's do an agile style shadow ball then. That should finish it up. That'll be great. That'll be great. Yeah, it'll be great. Okay, goodbye, Braviary. Braviary. Very nice. Okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? Snorlax! That's so cool. Snorlax is such a tough Pokemon to face off against. Okay, let's see. We are Dark Poison, right? So I think Crunch would actually be stronger than X Scissor. Should I use Swords Dance? I don't know how much Sword Dance boosts our attack, so I'm just gonna use Crunch over here. Okay, it does a bit of damage. High horsepower. That's super effective on us. Okay, we're almost done. Should I use a strong version of this? I think Crunch might still be stronger. Yeah, I think Crunch is still stronger because we have same type attack bonus. Okay, so we'll attack him. He's going to defeat us now, but that's okay because Snorlax's HP is going to be pretty low. Oh, nice. And defense was lowered. Okay, he uses a max potion. Great. Great. I was, I was actually going to uh, wonder. I'm like, huh, I wonder if he's going to use any items. I was wondering if he's going to use any max revives. You know, I'll stand over here with you. Why don't I do this? Okay, so Drapion's gone. Come back, Drapion. Oh, and you know what? We have some fighting type moves. So why don't we send out this Pokemon over here? Because fighting will be super effective on Snorlax, because Snorlax is a normal type. Its defense is lowered. I don't know if we'll be able to finish it off with this. You know what? Uh, do I... You know, if I go for a strong Aura Sphere... Let's do that. Let's go for a strong Aura Sphere. Let's see, because Snorlax is a pretty slow Pokemon. And... Nice! That finishes it off. Goodbye, Snorlax. Okay. I don't know if we needed the decreased defense to do that. Okay, he's got two Pokemon left. Clefable. Okay, that's a normal fairy type, right? Or actually, I don't know what it is. Normally? Oh, no. Psychic super effective. Okay, good. We're not dead. Don't attack again. No! No, I would have loved to use a fighting type move on it. Okay, that's not good. Oh, wait. And this guy knew poison moves. And... Wait, wait. Did he? No. Who knows poison moves? Someone knows poison moves. Oh, I thought he knew poison moves. I guess he doesn't. Okay, Steel is super effective on them, though. I guess I'll send out Garchomp now. Let's see how Garchomp can do against this Clefable. The Clefable is a bit higher than me. It's four levels higher than me. This is... Oh, and I get to attack twice? That's amazing. Okay, let's just do a normal Iron Head and let's see how strong that is. Okay, very strong, apparently. And if I do an Agile Iron Head... Then I get to attack twice in a row again anyways. So it's like, I could have gotten three hits in a row on this Clefable. That's pretty unreal. And we could almost take it out in one. If we did a strong Iron Head, we would have been able to take it out even. Okay, Golem is the final Pokemon. Okay, do I still get to attack? Ah, Stealth Rock. Okay, okay. Not very effective, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Let's see what I've got for you. Okay, super effective, effective. Not very effective or super effective. This one is same type attack bonus. So let's do a strong style earth power. Let's see how that goes. Super effective, same type attack bonus, strong style, and how much damage does that do? Takes it out in a single hit. Let's go. Golem has been defeated. And it's pretty cool how we are also under leveled compared to them. But man, alpha Pokemon are great. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Wait a minute. Is he changing his mind or, or what's happening? Let's see. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. He's thinking. He's thinking. Opens his eyes. He kneels. Do what you like. Oh, <laughs> wow, he's bowing. GX Money, the face have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. You know what? I trust him. No, wait, uh, I don't trust him. I don't trust him, actually. This is all a ruse over here. He's just trying to trick us. I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the people living in Hisoi. We smile, we nod. Don't worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. Man, it's a chain and it's red. Isn't that crazy, man? Bring the red chain to the dice in the Temple of Sinnoh. And our Pokemon healed. Okay, our Pokemon are all healed after that battle. So that's very nice. So now... Let's just head up there. Let's just head up there. Let's see what's going to be in here. Oh, wait a minute. Who's that? 
Oh well, anyway, we'll head up here. Okay, there are statues of all of the Pokemon. The Pokemon that help us, and the Pokemon that we have battled. All of them. Oh man, that's so cool how they're all there. Oh, and here's everybody. Everybody's all together. The whole crew is here. Wait a minute, I thought you guys were just back there. How'd you get up here so fast? It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. My head. Something's talking inside my head. What's going on? Whoa. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh, I, I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. Oh, is he gonna turn evil? It's telling me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human, for the fight to come. Take this. What is he gonna give me? Ten Ultra Balls! Okay, guys, I think we might be facing off against Arceus now. I think we might be facing off against Arceus, and I think we are being given those Ultra Balls because now... Now we probably are going to want to catch Arceus. Let's see what's gonna happen. That is my guess. Whoa! Everything is shaking! What in the world's happening? Okay, a rift to space-time is opening here. It's a black hole. A large black hole. Is it pushing stuff out? Wait, 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 wait. It is Dialga! I didn't expect it to be Dialga. I thought that it would be, uh... I thought that we'd be facing off against Arceus here. Okay. Wow. Oh! I wonder if you get, uh, Dialga or Palkia. You probably get Dialga or Palkia based on who you choose. Whether you want the diamond guy to help you or whether you want the pearl girl to help you. That probably decides who pops out here. That's probably what it is. I'm guessing that's what it is. Let's see. And I wonder if I could bring the girl to the Three Lakes later, and then if we could also get Palkia. I wonder if that's how it works. Okay, cool! Alright, Dialga, let's go! Okay, let's go, Garchomp! Great way to start here. Level 65, Dialga. Roar of Time! Uh, that's super effective, isn't it? Yeah, and we're dead in a single hit, and it's a critical hit. Okay, come back, Garchomp! Maybe this can be a good idea. I don't know how good of an idea this will be. Okay, we'll get to attack twice if we do this. Once if we do that. So let's do an Aura Sphere over here. That'll be super effective. How strong is that? It's 15 levels higher than me. Oh, that took away about half of its health. You know, let's do a weak... Let's do an Agile style, a weak Aura Sphere. Hopefully that doesn't defeat it. Please don't defeat it. Whoa, man. Look at that little bit of HP that it has left. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I don't mind you almost defeating me like this. That is fine. Because what I'm gonna do- you know what? I'm just gonna try using- uh, I'll try using a Great Ball right now. I'll try using a Great Ball right now. And next turn I'm gonna switch to either... Rabidash or Luxray, and then we can try and affect it with the status condition. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Because this way we basically get one more free attempt. Because if I switch to my other Pokemon, then it might get defeated before I even have the chance to inflict a status condition on it. Okay, so let's go with... Wait, wait, wait. Does Paralysis ever wear off? I don't know if Paralysis wears off in this game during a battle. Because Drowsiness wears off, and some other things also wear off. Oh, Thunder Wave? Wait, wait, wait. If I go onto Strong, then we have 100% accuracy. But wait, if I go Normal... Or if I go Agile, then it's 90% accurate. I think that's enough. Let's see. Hopefully we get it. Hopefully we get it. Please don't miss. Oh, okay. I thought that we'd miss for a second because I didn't see the animation playing. I'm like, oh man, oh man, oh man, what is going on? Okay, now let's start to use these Ultra Balls. It's paralyzed. It has a little tiny sliver of HP like that left. So this is probably our best shot at catching it. Are you serious? Are you serious? We caught it with literally our second Pokeball. Oh my goodness. We used a Great Ball, we didn't catch it, then we used an Ultra Ball, and we caught it. My luck in Pokemon is unreal. Oh my goodness. Everyone's like, wow, uh, that was a uh, kind of uh, anticlimactic. I thought it'd be much more difficult to catch it. The red chain has shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the Lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Look at Akari smiling in the background. Well done, Zax Mini, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time you battled and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. You did great, Akari. Thank you so much. Wait, uh, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, no, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga speaking to me in my mind. What's it saying? Space-time is torn. 
Awful power spills forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even ZX Many could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one. Just uh, Actually, that fight wasn't too bad. I actually would be ready to take on Palkia right now if Palkia appears. I wouldn't mind that. Is Palkia coming out now? Oh my goodness, it is Palkia! Oh my goodness, I actually can't believe it. I can't believe it. Who would have expected that? Oh my goodness. That is so cool. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, that is so cool. Here is Palkia. Whoa! And we're all being pushed back by this. Wait, can I fight it now? I want to- Why am I running away? I want to fight it. I'm ready. Let's go, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. Yeah, I'm ready. Come on, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of you, we must vacate this. Yeah, forget the fancy talk. Boot it. Come on. We got to make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. No, I want to take it on. But, but Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce! You won't be use. You won't be any use to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. No, I'm ready to take it on. I'm ready to take on Palkia, especially if my Pokemon are healed right now. No! Why did we run? Why did we run? I wanted to take it on. Such dreadful power! It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it's the X Many. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of this same energy was what caused this strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I can't believe there are really two Almighty Sinnoh after all. Maybe there's gonna be a third one. Guess neither of our clans were right after all. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart to both of you as fellow leaders. Wait, what about to me? You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in ZX Many. And to you, ZX Many. I acted on in I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisoi. Yes, I did. Is the game ending now? I wanted to catch Palkia. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift, am I right? And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, uh, might I suggest that we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash, a rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having ZX many about has been a good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We got no chance of getting through this disaster without you, know what I mean? We're still not through it! How is he to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. What, do we have to get a blue chain now? Relax, I got a plan. Thanks to what Mighty Dialga told me, if you know what I mean. Dialga, is that the Pokemon that spoke to you? Yeah, and along with its name, it also told me what we need. And I know just what we need. The stone of creation's being. The chain of red, the vessel of humankind's invention. Use these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, Mighty Dialga said it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have it at least. The pieces anyway. I did collect them. The ves- And the vessel of humankind's invention. I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. That's gotta be it. But what about that stone of creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Laventon? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? He thinks, thinks, thinks. Brain blast! Oh, my word! Perhaps I do. See, it's many, my boy. Could you lend me those plates you received from YG and the others? The ones that Follow said had messages engraved upon them. Oh! Do I put all the stones together and maybe I get something then? Let's see. Ah, just as I remembered. Here, on the back of the Earth plate, it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think that may be a hint to what we need. Uh, how do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. 
Now that I mention it, that Volo fella's come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plagues before too. Seems to be like a lead worth following. It's decided then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, you say? How about we call it Origin Or? Wow! Every time that I think the game is going to end, there's just more and more. Arita, may we ask your clan? May we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course. I'll call Leon to the summit camp at once. So where could we possibly get this ore that we need? I waited as long as anyone could like reasonably expect. But, like my invitation never came, so like I'm here. So like be glad, everybody. Like, uh, you guys have like tasks to do, but what about me? Like, what's my role? I'm like pretty great. I'm your leader, Melly. Show a bit of respect, all right? Fine, like, whatever. Like, just give me a job, okay? Like, make it a good one, please. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others, all right? Everyone's busy, okay? Take a hint, man. Oh, oh, you, you're like such a, like, silly, foolish boy. Like, don't you understand? Everyone has work that they're good for and not good for. Uh, but you know what? Like, you weren't useless at all, Galaxy Grunt. Well done, dude. Take this, like, as a reward. It's just a way of encouraging the little people. You're all, like, so little compared to me. Wait, does he give me a plate? Three candy truffles. It is a material needed for crafting various items. I wonder if we actually need that to make the, uh, the balls. Or not the balls, the plates. I brought Leon! Oh, uh, he doesn't like his hat. Yeah. That, like, ugly hat, like, suits you as poorly as, like, this important role does. I don't like it. I should be, like, consulted for my wisdom and stuff. His toys, ores, and stones are a precious resource. Since I was the first one to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle with that bumbling ball of yours. Oh, they make their noble Pokemon battle? Excuse me, that bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and your ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? That's so funny. Melly, like, give it a rest. Just play nice. Play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, okay? There are bigger things at stake here. But Adam, in like, everyone back home is, like, all worked up about, like, how you got spoken to by Sinnoh or Dialga or whatever. This is, like, the Diamond Clan's day. Like, you should be, like, proud and stuff, man. Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the Primeval Grotto. Primeval? Primeval? I don't know how that's pronounced. Oh. Okay, so I guess we're going this way. Doesn't look like it's uh, very far, luckily. Let's see, we're just heading down this way. It's the one that's at like 180 or so, not the one that's at 500. The one that's at 500 is a marker that I make. Whoa, it's one of those guys. Um, oh, oh, I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? Why did we fall off? No, 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 I don't want to turn into this thing. I want to turn into the flying one. Where's my flying bird? Here's my flying bird. There's my flying bird. Okay, now then, where are we going? Down here? Go down here. Wait, where is it? How do we get there? Hold on, where exactly are we supposed to go? Hold on, give me back my. Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 Oh, there's an alpha nose pass here. Oh, we probably go down here. Okay, let me go down. Braviary, catch me! Braviary, catch me! Oh, no, 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 let me down, let me down, let me down. Okay, let's get off of this Pokemon. There's... That's such a small nose pass. The other nose passes that we saw were so big. I wonder if there's anything interesting in this cave. Oh! There's an alpha nose pass over here. With big red eyes. Let's go over here, then. Let's see, here's what we need. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? There's this kid here. Eh, those are some pretty cool red markings over there. Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, as in Minecraft, and the strength of my Sligoo's moves. What does he mean by that? I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? Sure, we'll get out of your way. Give us that ore. We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Who is this? Stop right there, criminal. Oh, these guys again. Oh my goodness. How many times are we going to run into these guys? Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with. Clover, we haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where you been all this time? Ha! Huh, I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. 
Actually, I was kind of hard to follow. I was on this, like, big bird Pokemon. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. Ah, that Ernest Goody Two-Shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough. I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's way. The three of you and the three of us. Let's go. ZX Many, you take charm. All right. Wait, so do we each battle one person each? I'm battling the leader now. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest and I'll be your unlucky charm, especially in this battle, the battle of a lifetime. Let's go. Oh, she's only got two Pokemon. Okay, but wait a minute. The last two battles were very tough, so let's see how tough this person's going to be. Starts off with a Rhydon. Okay, we're starting off with a Garchomp, so that's a pretty good type matchup. We can do a ground type move, it'll be super effective. And same type attack bonus case, okay, only level 61. So let's see, maybe even Ag will Agile Style be enough or should I use this? I think I'll just use Agile Style. Let's see, if we don't defeat it, then it will get to attack. Let's see if that's strong enough to defeat it. Let's see, almost, I shouldn't have done it. I should have done a normal attack, that's so sad. It uses Bulldoze, does a little bit of damage. Okay, let's use another Agile Style Earth Power. That'll finish it off now. Bam! Defeated. How do you like that charm? Where's your good luck charm now, huh? Huh? What do you think? Look at me just staring her down in the battle. Gengar. Okay, okay. Gengar used Hypnosis. Okay, the attack missed. Alright, I like how I'm just staring at her. And you know what? This will be super effective. Uh, you know, I'll do strong style then. I'll do strong style. This earth move, earth power. And how strong is that? Let's see. There, defeated it in a single hit. So if my first attack was normal style instead of agile style, I would have defeated both of our Pokemon in a single hit with my Alpha Garchomp. What a strong Pokemon. Well, you are rather formidable. Yes, indeed I am. That Garchomp is an absolute beast. What a strong Pokemon. <clears throat> Okay, here we all are. Come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. And we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all its stupid rules. Look, we better... Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you better do something about that sky. That's so funny. You are as strong as ever, ZX Many. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Now that they disappear into smoke. Ah, oh, they've got smoke bombs. They disappear. Okay. I've never used my smoke bombs before. This guy shakes his head. Honestly, those three. What did they even come here for? Oh, well. I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's quite the nice thing to do. The coin I remember never hesitated to help someone in need. Even if she groused as she did so. I suspect they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. Then they should have said so. What a pain they are hiding behind all that attitude. Okay, wait. Oh, 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 is that the little Pokemon that uh, he fought me with? It looks adorable. Look at it. That's so funny. I was able to extract some of that origin ore, or whatever it is you wish I call it. I suppose it had better go with you, ZX Mini. Yeah, give me that origin ore. Are we going to face Palkia now? I wonder if we're going to face Palkia now. You obtained a piece of origin ore. Very nice. That was surprisingly easy. We had to do some random battle for it. No, you simply failed to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work. Honestly, that's so funny. I knew we could count on you, Liam. No wonder Cleaver recognizes you as a worthy warden. Yeah, that's what you got to say. You got to give people, you got to tell people stuff that they want to hear. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we've got. That Lavatin's got sound judgment, plus knowledge to spare despite his silly streak. Let's go. Then we can fast travel back to Moonview Arena. And then, where is it that we have to go? Oh, right over here. Professor, Professor, we've got some news for you. So, this is the Stone of Creation's beginning. The origin ore. Ah, uh, yeah, one can certainly feel an imposing ore emanating from it. Ah, uh, wrong accent, whoops. Could this be? This feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything, by the sound of it. 
Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilee Village. What was the point of coming here then? Why wouldn't we just meet him at Jubilee Village? Okay, here we are back in Jubilee Village in the blackboard room. Here you are, Professor Laventon. What remains of the red chain, broken as may be. Splendid, even in pieces. I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for the purpose. We're jolly lucky you have the foresight to pick up all the broken bits back at the temple. Yeah, Akari, you haven't done anything to help in a while. Your turn, ZX Mini. Next comes the Stone of Creation's beginning. Yes, I'll give that too. You handed over the Origin Ore. Wait, now does Akari hand, hand it to the professor? That's what she does. I hand it to her, she hands it to the professor. The fragments of the Red Shade, collected at great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. Then the Stone of Creation's beginning, which we first learned thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now, it's time for the Galaxy Team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Akari, my girl, you are one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Can I ask you to do the honors? She's doing something! She's contributing! Thank you, Akari! This is my true battlefield ZX Mini, even if it may be safe indoors. This may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you had best wait outside while we work. Is there gonna be a new mission that takes place while she works? What, we can't go and bother Akari while she's working? We have to wait for... Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurry it up in there. I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time is a cover for your own impatience. That's so funny. Hey, if sitting back and waiting to actually solve things, I'd sit forever because that'd be using time well. Unlike this here, he's got a good point. She's like, ah, oh, yeah, he does have a good point. We've done it, ZX Money. It's complete. I dub the. I dub it. The Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Wait, so do I just have to go and throw this ball at it? Is that all? Oh my goodness, look how cool it is. You obtained an Origin Ball. Is this like a Master Ball? A singular and irreplicable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all his soy could rest in something so tiny, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of those things brings the two of you closer together. Whoa, hold on, it's that voice. I hear it in my head again. This guy's going crazy. What's Dialga gonna tell him now? You mean Dialga? Yeah, seems like Mighty Dialga's willing to lend its strength to this fight. That's what it's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. The Diamond Clan's almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps I should say, Dialga, is fearsomely powerful. Everything's ready now, ZX Mini. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Dialga. All right, so do I have to bring Dialga with me? Maybe I do, I'm gonna bring Dialga. Prepare well to make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I wonder if we're gonna have to go there a third time to go and get Arceus, that'd be quite funny. Okay, who's at the front gate here? Oh, it's this lady again! The lady who helped me when I was, uh, a when I was kicked out of this village. And here you are, lost one, ready to face your fate atop Mount Coronet. It seems a vicious battle might await you. I'll go where I must go. Me and my friends will be by my side. Oh, well said. Now hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. We're all like, we're just kids, we don't understand you. What do you mean, old lady? The being you will encounter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Palkia, ruler of all of space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend here in his soy, and eventually, the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Dialga, the ruler of time, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now take Dialga at your side, and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Let's go! Wait, do I have to talk to you? I just spoke to you! Now hearken to my words, young one. You just said this! You just said this! Are you gonna keep saying the same thing to me? You just gave me this line of dialogue. I'm ready to go. Take that out. Okay, I will. Oh! Oh, she's saying take Dialga! Oh! Oh, that's why she keeps saying that. Okay, can I... Can I swap Pokemon with you? I don't- okay, there are those pesky Badoo- and this lady's in the cutscene! That's so funny! That's so funny! I look away for one second and the scoundrel's making it into the village! That's so funny! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, she wants to go catch those Badoo. Okay, I need to bring a- 
I need to bring some Pokemon with me. I don't want to team up with you. Can I switch? No, this is just item storage. Okay, so I actually have to go to the pasture if I want to change my uh, Pokemon. That's so funny that the Bidoofs ran by as that lady was there. Whoa, you can actually see my Pokemon in there. That's pretty cool. I think those are my Pokemon. Okay, we've got to take a Pokemon. We've got to take our Dialga. Let's leave our Drapion, probably. That's probably the least important one right now. Man, this guy's strong. This guy's strong. Got some pretty strong Pokemon. This is a really cool guy. So, Zoark. Normal Ghost type. That's an interesting type combination. Okay, now we do have Dialga with us. So, I think now we can pass by. I think now this lady isn't going to stop us anymore. I think that's why she was stopping us earlier. She was stopping us earlier. And look at our shoes. Our shoes are all so funny. Excuse me, is this time for shopping? Well, I'll hardly have time for shopping if the world ends. Will I? Oh, that's so funny. Okay, fair point. So what, she's gonna go shopping now. All right, CX Manny, once you feel ready, set out. We make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Let's go. I wonder if this is gonna be the last time that we go there. I kept thinking that the game ends. Every time I think that the game's going to end, it never does end. But maybe now it will. Okay, so we've gotta go this way now. Let's just make our way through over here again. Is there gonna be one of those big electric guys that attacks us as we try to sneak by? Well, I guess we're not really sneaking by. Don't notice me, don't notice me. Don't notice me. Aha! He did not notice me. Lovely. Well, let's just go through here. Let me in. Well, let's just make our way through this tunnel where we fought Benny earlier. Wait a minute. Is that Link? Is that our Link friend? Link, what are you... Just the boy I've been waiting for! I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here closer to the temple. Well, that would be nice. I want to have front row seats if there's a chance. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you don't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. I've got the Master Sword after all. I've got no doubt you've got this whole thing under control, and you'll be able to tie it up in a neat bow before there could possibly be any danger for me. Wait, so do you have anything for me? Whoa! Whoa, Ultra Balls, yes. I don't have a lot of money at all, though. Full heal, full restore, max potion. I think I'd like some Ultra Balls. That might be the best thing to get. Max revives might be useful, too. Man, they're super expensive, though. I'll buy two more, because maybe they'll be useful. And the rest I'll spend on Ultra Balls. And some Great Balls. Oh, I can only buy one Great Ball, actually. Okay, maybe now... We'll be ready to take on Pal- But you know what? Every time that I thought that we'd have a super difficult Pokemon to catch, we caught it with like two Pokeballs, which was crazy. Okay, are we going to Palkia now? I think we might be going to Palkia now. Alright, let's make our way up. I'm ready, guys. It'd be funny if you could sneak past them. Wait, can you sneak past them? Let's see. Oh, no, we can't fly past them. It'd be so funny if we just flew past them and went over there. Oh, but now we drop down, take some fall damage. Now all of a sudden I'm in front of them. So weird how that happens in cutscenes. For so long, I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilee Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you've shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready to fight. Let's go. Hey, ZX Many, let's meet tomorrow together. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, it's a saying we've got in the Diamond Clan. It means you hope you'll both stay safe. That's a nice saying. Huh, perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I support you in whatever way we can. Oh, I doubt you'll need it. How about you let me use your Pokemon? Can you support me in that way? Protect his soy and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. I am ready. Let's go. Another cutscene over here. Time to take on Palkia, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, here's Palkia. Here's my Ultra Ball. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I guess that's uh, my Dialga that I have in there. Whoa! Shooting up beams of light at us. Go, Pokeball! Whoa, it's nice and shiny. There's a big explosion. 
I've got to see what happens if you hack the game to get here without Dialga. Because I think you need Dialga in this cutscene, so it'd be so funny to come here without Dialga. Let's see. Alright, here's my Dialga. Uh, giving me memories of when I played Pokemon Diamond when I was younger. Uh, there's a big ball of light over there. Oh wait, is it going to become frenzied? Because they said something about it becoming frenzied. Okay, we use like Roar of Time on it. Oh, blue and yellow makes green! Whoa! Oh! My goodness! Palkia isn't supposed to look like that! Palkia became a horse. It's like it merged with Arceus. What in the world is this? That is the strangest Pokemon I have ever seen, I think. I never thought that I'd see something like this. Is this going to be a... Oh no, it's one of these boss fights. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah! Oh man, okay, you can just teleport up to me, sure. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, okay. So, where are you going, bro? Oh, let's get out of there. Very nice, let's throw some of these at it. Okay, let's get out of that circle. Yeah, and you'd think that this would be a... Oh, oh, man, that was close. I didn't realize that that was starting already. Run, bro, run, bro! My goodness, bro. Okay, blue waves, jump over the blue waves. Second blue wave, jump over that one. Third blue wave. Okay, third one, of course, because things come in threes. Let's see, what's next, what's next, bro? What's next, bro, huh? What's next, bro? What is next, bro? What is next, bro? Let me jump over there, bro. What's next, bro, huh? What's next, bro? Where's the next line coming from? Over there, jump, bro, jump, bro. Jump, bro. Okay, what's next, bro? What is next, bro, huh? Where's the next line, bro? Where's the next line, bro? Over there. No problem, bro. I can avoid that. I can avoid that. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. What? You ready? You ready? Oh, I didn't realize I was in one of those circles. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think we've gotten hit yet. Whoop! Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, Wave number three. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's next? What's next? You gotta make one of those circles or something, bro? Where are your circles at, bro? Where are your circles at, bro? Where are your circles at? I'm not seeing any circles, bro. Where are your circles, bro, huh? Over there, huh? Ah, oh, we did get hit. We did get hit. I'm pretty sure we got hit. Okay, let's go over here. I think we did get hit. I don't think it was damageless. Pretty good fight. I think we got hit once, so I'm not sure if that was damageless. That was actually almost damageless, but no Pokemon used. Oh, and you automatically throw this Pokeball. That's pretty funny. All right. Wow! That was a pretty cool boss fight. I enjoyed that boss fight. Okay, and what? I'm guessing that it automatically catches it. Like, there's no way it's gonna break free from that. Because if it breaks free, then what do we do? Are we gonna start throwing Pokeballs and Ultra Balls at it? Okay, now there's a bunch of like- Oh! Our character's so happy! It's like... When you see snow for the first time. You guys can let me know in a comment if you've ever seen snow before. Wow, it's so nice and bright now. The lighting looks so much better here. Ah, uh, isn't that lovely? The mountain's back to normal. Okay, now is this the end of the game? I don't know how they'll be able to top this if this isn't the end of the game. He, he caught it. He really did it, didn't he? My eyes aren't lying, right? He actually went and caught it. Oh, good show, what a catch! You contained that fearsome thing in the origin bowl. Absolutely astounding as ever, ZX Mini. Thanks, Sinnoh. Ah, formidable as usual, ZX Mini! Thank you, Akari. You are always my favorite, Akari. Huh, yes, Snivel. So, even the commander sheds a tear every now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. Huh! What are you guys saying? Oh, is he the- yeah. <laughs> ah, what gives, Commander? Not sure I deserve a sumo throw. Huh, well, at least it seems this is no dream. Huh. Listen up, all of you. What, free potato mochi on the house? We face a calamity unlike any we have ever known, except for Link, who's watching in the corner. He was a- he was part of Hyrule Warriors' Age of Calamity, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for all of us. Gather your clans. This will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? Two clans together, huh? You know what they say? 
Two clans are better than one! Well, since it turns out we are both following a true almighty Sinnoh of our own, I guess the times we'd fight over whose was wrong are right are ancient history now! I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree now, but this may well be the best path towards protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hisui region. That's fantastic. This has got to be the end. This has got to be the end. I keep thinking that the game's ending. This has got to be the end. Oh, now Link's going to come out and he's going to go, Ha! Surprise! I'm actually a legendary Pokemon. Or wait, or is there more? What about Arceus? Is Arceus going to whisper in my ear now like, There are still more legendary Pokemon to be caught, my boy. We look back. Smile. But what about the space-time rift that we came from? That was so weird that the Palkia and the Arceus, it's like they fused or something. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. I've heard, I've heard that there is a humongous amount of post-game content and that there is so much more to do after this, like this is just the main storyline, but I've heard that there is so much post-game content, so I've got to see that as well. The best way to describe Pokemon Legends Arceus. Is it Pokemon Legends Arceus or Pokemon Arceus Legends? I don't even know. But the best way to describe this game is the perfect modern Pokemon game. Absolutely amazing, phenomenal game, fantastic storyline, very engaging. The way that rewards are used in the game to make you play the game and do all kinds of things like catching multi- you know what like getting rewards for catching multiple of the same Pokemon is amazing that's something that I did as a kid when I played Pokemon games earlier like sometimes you'd see a Pokemon that you like you're like ah I want to catch another one of these even if you're not going to use it so it's amazing that in this game you actually get rewarded for that and another cool thing about this game is this is something that makes not only a good YouTube video, but also a good movie, but also a good video game is, sure, there's the main storyline that's going forward, but there are also engaging subplots. There are so many engaging subplots and sub-stories. Great characters in this, very engaging, great lessons in this too. It's nice how everyone came together in the end and everyone gets along together in the end. Fantastic, very, very enjoyable game. Having so much fun with this. Very excited to continue it into the post game and see what it's like. And you know what? Yeah, the boss fights too. The boss fights were phenomenal. I honestly felt like I was playing a Zelda game. I'm sure that, well, I'm guessing because I haven't played Breath of the Wild. I don't know what Breath of the Wild is like, but I'm guessing that Breath of the Wild fans are gonna tell me like, this game is like Breath of the Wild, but Pokemon. That's how I imagine this will be described. I haven't played Breath of the Wild. I really want to play Breath of the Wild. This game makes me want to play Breath of the Wild, but absolutely fantastic Pokemon game. I've played like the first four generations of Pokemon. Absolutely loved all of them. Played the Pokemon Stadium games, the Pokemon Snap games. Both were fantastic. And man, this is fantastic. Game Freak and Nintendo did an absolutely amazing job with this. Fantastic, phenomenal. Like, this is an amazing direction for Pokemon to go. Pokemon is a game that, like when Pokemon first came out, it's a pretty revolutionary idea. Well, I don't know if revolutionary is the right. No, you know what? With how it swept the world and its sales and how, and what impact it had on culture. Yeah, you could say the Pokemon was pretty revolutionary when it first came out. And there's like, you want to collect all 151, like the original 151, like that's the goal. You've got to do a lot of training, you got to search different areas, you got to play the different games to get all the different Pokemon, but it's like, how long can you keep doing that same thing? It's like, you can't just keep releasing the same game with better graphics. And that's not what happens with Pokemon. Like in every generation, there were new innovations being added, things like double battles, held items, Pokemon contests, like all kinds of side quests and fun things that you could do, new HMs, and, and just all kinds of, all kinds of great stuff has been added, like from generation to generation, and in this Pokemon game, they just did so much right, it is so incredibly enjoyable, such a fun game, I, I have very, very, very few complaints about the game, and overall it's extremely enjoyable, oh, look at that! Thank you for adventuring with us. And there's the professor to the side taking photos. I'm in my kimono. That looks like Akari right there with me. Oh, and we even saw the haircut lady with the red hair over there too. How great is that? Oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh, your arc phone is beeping. It looks like there's more to the game after all. Seek out all Pokemon. Oh man. We wake up. 
The counterpart complete. Palkia caught! We have Palkia now! We have Palkia now! I guess Palkia's in our bank now. So I really appreciate you watching this video, whether you watch just the ending or a few parts here and there, or if you watch the whole thing, I really appreciate whatever you did watch in this video. I'd love if you could leave a comment letting me know how long it took you to watch this video, if you watched it all in one sitting, or over two days, or over a few days, or over a few weeks, let me know. So I hope that the rest of your day is a phenomenal one, thank you so much for watching, and take care everybody.